me show me while I play my cat piano? No, Jeffy. But dang, I already got you a microphone. That's not a microphone, that's a razor. What's a razor? I use that to shave, Jeffy. God damn, bitch! You got a bunch so big you gotta break out the power tools? I got a song about that. We don't want to hear a song, Jeffy. Turn off your cat piano and go to your room. Go. Mommy needs to shave her hairy bush, shave her hairy bush, shave her hairy bush. Mommy needs to shave her hairy bush before it gets long and stinky. That's it, Jeffy. You are you are grounded. Oh, am I grounded, Daddy? I'm just speaking straight facts. Look at the hair on this thing. At least we know that the carpet matches the drapes. Ew, Jeffy, just put that out. Ow! There's someone at the door. Baby, just go, go wash his mouth out. Hello? Howdy, neighbor. Hucker dudes, what do you want? Well, I'm taking my wife on a date night to a fancy little restaurant called Outback Steakhouse. Ever heard of it? Really hard to get into. 45 minute wait with a reservation. Bloomin' onion to die for. Filet mignon melts in your mouth. I've been to Outback Steakhouse. Oh, I didn't know you could afford it. Father, why can't we go? Now, Timmy, what did you get on your report card? A B? A B? Well, I B positive you're not going to Outback Steakhouse. Steakhouse. Oh. Anyway, Marvin, I'll see if you'd watch the tots for us. The last babysitter got fired for sleeping on the job. Now, Hank, tell him where she was caught sleeping. In bed with me. <laughs> that's right, you cheating bastard. Yeah, that's why I'm taking her to Outback Steakhouse. I gotta apologize somehow. <laughs> it's not enough. Oh, come on, honey. I told you you could get two appetizers just as long as one of them's that bloomin' onion. Well, here we have a list of huck do's and don'ts for you. Yeah, it's like an instruction manual for kids. Sometimes you just want to take the batteries out, huh, Marvin? <laughs> well, I'm really busy. Here you go! Yep, phone number's on the back. See you later. What? I didn't say yes. <sighs> come inside, kids. Who was at the door, Marvin? It was the Hucker Dudes. They want us to watch their kids. And you said yes? They didn't give me a choice. Come on, Daddy. You know Mommy wanted to spend some alone time with you. That's why she shaved her bush. So what are your names? Hello, ma'am. My name is Timmy. And I'm Susie. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. What do you two do for fun? Well, we follow a very strict schedule. First, we practice our instruments. I play the violin. And I play piano. Then we have our vocal lessons. La, la, la. <laughs> Susie needs a few more lessons. Then we take a bath together to save on water. Then we go to bed at 8 p.m. sharp. <laughs> I hate my life. Are you kids hungry? Well, we are. But our mother packed us some romaine lettuce to nibble on in case we do get hungry. <laughs> Kill me. Okay, you kids are not eating romaine lettuce for dinner. I'm going to get Chef Pee to make them something else. And I'm not going to follow your mom's stupid list because I've raised my own son and he turned out fine. I'm a shithead. All right, Jeffy, take them to your room while we cook dinner and show them your stuff. All right, guys, come to my room. I'm going to show you my shit. All right, guys, this is my playroom. That's my shit. Wow, you have so many toys. Our parents don't let us have toys. <laughs> Seriously, kill me. Do you guys want to see my mommy's favorite toy? Sure. sure. It's a dildo. What is a dildo? Well, she uses it to relieve stress and it smells like pickles. But I'm still confused. What is a dildo? Well, it's dough that smells like dill pickles. Here, play with it. Wow, thanks, Jeffy. <laughs> it's so squishy and slimy and ew, pickles. I want to try. I want to see what it tastes like. Okay, here, Susie. Um, ew, it tastes like pickles. <laughs> wow, Jeffy, thanks for letting me and my little sister play with your mom's dildo. I can't wait to tell my parents. Yeah, it's pretty fun, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm, this looks so delicious. Ooh, I'm going to be a fat ass tonight. Hey, Chef PP, what are you cooking for dinner? My signature double donut double cheeseburger and double donut chicken sandwich. What? Is that a McDonald's double cheeseburger in between two Krispy Kreme donuts? Yeah, but I'm the first one to think of it. Isn't that a little unhealthy? Yeah, but it's Unhealthy Wednesday. And on Unhealthy Wednesdays, we make bad decisions and eat bad food. All because my parents got a divorce on a Wednesday. And I'll never forget about it. <laughs> well, I'm babysitting two kids. Can you make two more of these donut double cheeseburgers? Oh, yeah, you got it. Let me get on it. Whoa, it's so stretchy. And long. All right, kids, it's time for dinner. Oh, hey, Mr. Marvin. We're having a blast playing with your wife's dildo. What? It tastes horrible, though. What, Daddy, what are they talking about? This, Daddy, it's dildo. What? Where'd you find this? I found it in Mommy's bedside table. It was right next to the big rubber dick. Well, well, Jeffy, don't play with this near the carpet. I don't want it to stain anything. All right, kids, come downstairs. It's time for dinner. All right, kids, here's your dinner. Wow, this looks really unhealthy. And here's some ice cream to dip your burgers in. Holy macaroni, that's a lot of sugar in that drink. We're not allowed to have sugar. Oh, come on, Timmy. We already broke one rule today. We played with that lady's dildo. You're right, and it smelled like pickles. Ew. What the fuck? You know what? I don't even want to know. 
Come on, kids, just eat your food. Are you sure we shouldn't just munch on this romaine lettuce our mother gave us? No, you need to eat some new food. Your parents are lame and they make you eat a bunch of healthy stuff. Sometimes it's good to eat unhealthy food. Well, I guess you're right. Hey, Daddy, where's mine? Uh, you got these green beans, Jeffy. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. They get the fun food and I get these green beans. Well, you want to know what I think about your green beans? No! <laughs> Jeffy, you go to your room! Planned on it! I am so sorry about him doing that. Oh, it's alright. Our parents fight all the time. Now for me to try this food. Uh. Woo! Holy shit! Susie, you gotta try this stuff! It's like crap! I'm gonna try this monster energy drink! Do it, 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 do it! Holy shit, I did it! I sugar! Me too! You wanna run around house and break stuff? Yeah! I don't want to run a break stop. Oh my god, what'd I do? Woo! Susie, look at all these plates! Let's do what Jeffy did. Four! I want to do one! Okay, here you go. Woo! What are you kids doing? Hey, Susie, let's go play in the garbage can. Woo! I'm gonna call your parents! Ugh. Marvin, what's all that noise downstairs? The kids are running around the house and breaking things. What? I thought they were supposed to be nice. They're supposed to be. Well, what did you do? I just fed them dinner. What did you feed them? A donut double cheeseburger and a monster energy drink. Well, you should have fed them green beans like you tried to do me, you bald, ugly douche. Marvin, where's that list they gave you? We don't need the stupid list. It's just a bunch of dumb stuff. Marvin, right here it says don't drink soda and don't eat candy. Well, I didn't give them soda or candy. I gave them an energy drink and I gave them donuts. Marvin, that's even worse. Well, look, they're already breaking like four of the rules because they ran around the house and they've been breaking things. I'm jumping on the couch! I'm watching TV! Okay, now they've broken all the rules. What are we going to do? I don't know, Marvin. Oh, yeah, I remember. They said they left the number on the back of the paper, so I'm going to call the dad. Okay, I got my phone. It's ringing. Hey, howdy, hey. It's Hank. Hey, listen, Hank, it's an emergency. You need to come back. How's it going? It's not going good. Your kids are running around the house and they're breaking things. Fantastic. What? No, that's not fantastic. They're breaking every single one of your hucker rules. Is that right? Yes, come back right now. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's not really me. It's my answering machine for Hank Hucker Dude. Please leave a message after the lawnmower. I got his voicemail. Uh, Marvin, there's a kid about to jump off the balcony. <laughs> Hey, Susie, look! I'm a chicken! Watch me fly! But chickens can't fly! This one can! Woo! Okay, I wrapped your broken leg in a paper towel because we don't have a cast. And we don't want to call a doctor because we don't want your parents knowing you broke your leg. Gee whiz, I can't believe I got that crazy over a little bit of sugar. I guess that's why it's a hucker don't. <laughs> My dad's going to kill me. Your dad's not going to kill you because he's not going to find out about this. Marvin, how are we going to hide a broken leg? Because when they get back, he's going to take the paper towel off his leg, he's going to hop over to his house, and he's going to act like he falls down the stairs, and that's how he breaks his leg. But that would be lying, and lying is a hucker don't. Well, you already broke all the other Hucker don't, so you're gonna do one more, or I'm gonna tell your parents about all the stuff you did. Yes, sir. So, Jeffy, rumpus time is over. You're gonna take these kids to your room, and you're not gonna let them leave, okay? Yes, sir. All right, guys, we're going to my room again. And you stay in that room, and if you leave, I'm telling your parents. Oh, this is a nightmare. All right, guys, you gotta stay in my room. My daddy said so. Ooh, can I play with your cat piano? Sure, just don't break it. I'm gonna play Roblox on my computer, but first, I'm gonna watch this video. Wow, what are those two girls doing? They're naked and wrestling? Yeah, something like that. Is there a video of two guys doing that too? Is is that a thing? Can you look that up? Uh, oh! oh! I'm so sorry, I broke your cat piano! You bitch! Oh. oh my god! You hit my sister with a baseball bat! What's wrong with you? You want some too? Daddy! Daddy, the fucker dude's gotta go! Jeffy, language! No, mommy, that little girl broke my cat piano, so I hit her in the head with a baseball bat! You did what, Jeffy? Baby, go check on her. Okay. Jeffy, why would you do that? Because she broke my shit! Oh my god, she's unconscious! Do you think she's dead? Hopefully! You murderer! Alright, everyone calm down, stop yelling. Here's the plan. When your parents get back, we're gonna put sunglasses on her, and we're gonna pretend she's still conscious, okay? Oh, like weekend at Bernie's? Yeah, just like that. And if you don't do that, I'm gonna tell your parents that you guys broke all these rules. I still think we should tell the truth. Yeah, I agree, Marvin. They're here! You know, we're gonna do my plan! Grab some sunglasses, go! Hello! Howdy, Marvin! We're just getting back from the old Outback Steakhouse. How was it? Oh, it was delicious. The bloomin' onion was crispy. And guess who works there part-time as a waitress? The babysitter! 
Yeah, I gave her a big tip. For the second time today. And then I gave her some cash. Again, for the second time today. Yeah, so Marvin, how are the old kids? Uh, they're upstairs reading a book. Oh, what piece of literature? Uh, a math book. Oh, Susie does need to work on her math. Yeah, she does. But uh, we'll just grab our kids and be on our way, Marvin. Well, no, no. If you want them to stay the night for like a month, they can. Yeah, no can do. See, it's 8 one so it's past the bedtime. And also, we still got to do our family prayer, so we'll just grab the old tater tots and be on our way. Uh, okay. So your kids are in here, but meet my wife Rose. Oh, does your husband cheat on you too? Oh, honey, stop it. Why don't you fetch me a toothpick? I think I got some blooming onions stuck in my teeth. Why don't you have the waitress get it out with her tongue? You know, I think I might. Well, kids, it's time for you to go home, so go with your parents. Susie, why are you slouching? Oh, uh, Susie isn't slouching. She's, uh, practicing for a limbo competition. Oh, well, you know, your mother was a ten-time limbo champion. Yep, why do you think we got two kids? Your mother sure knows how to bend it over. Tell me, what'd you do today? Oh, we had a lot of fun. We got to play with Mr. Marvin's wife's dildo. Man, was it stinky and slimy. Susie fit the whole thing in her mouth, but she spit it out because it tasted like pickles. <laughs> Come on, kids, we're getting out of here. We're going home. This house is sick, sick. What's wrong, mother? It was just a dildo. Shut up. Get your ass home. We're going. Marvin, don't you ever speak to my family ever again. You don't understand. It wasn't a real dildo. It was like a silly putty. I don't care what type of sick thoughts you have. Just keep them away from me and my family. Hey, before you leave, your daughter has a concussion and your son has a broken leg. What? Jeffy, slide down the slide. I can't. Yes, you can. It's easy. Just slide down it. Junior, I physically cannot slide down the slide. Why? Because the person playing me would have to slide down the slide with me and his arm stuck in my butt. We'll just bring him with you. Okay. Come on, Lance. Let's go. All right. Whee! <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Yeah, it was really fun. Now let's go on the teeter-totter. Okay, let's go. All right, Jeffy, are you ready? What do I do? All you have to do is hop up and down on it like this. That's what I told her to do. Hey, you kids look like you're having fun. Sorry, my dad said don't talk to strangers. How about strangers with money? I'm listening. If I have to do something with your toes, I gotta charge double. No, that's okay. I don't even have legs. Look, I need you kids to go to a store and buy me some tricks. But tricks are for kids. Yeah, exactly. See, it's illegal for me to buy them because I'm an adult. But you're kids, so if you buy them for me, I'll let you keep the change. Okay, I'll do it. Hey, Jeffy, we're gonna buy some tricks, okay? Okay, let's go. Okay, so all you want me to do is go inside Target and buy you tricks. Yeah, just give me some tricks, bring it back to me, and I'll let you keep the change. Come on, Jeffy, this is easy. All right, let's go. All right, mister, here's your tricks. Thanks. All right, you're under arrest. Wait, for what? It's illegal to give tricks to an adult. They're only for kids. I thought that was just a commercial. Nope, nope, this is a sting operation, and I'm charging you with distribution of tricks to a senior. Get on the ground. Uh, you'll never catch me, cops. Oh, man, we got to run it. You stay here. Uh, hey, uh, hey, 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 get back here. Not. Get back here. No. Uh, hey, you. Uh, Oh, oh man, oh, I am out of shape. Oh, that's okay, I know where he lives. <laughs> what, Jeffy, why are you out of breath? Oh, Daddy, four girls at the same time. That or I'm running from the police. You're under arrest. Wait, wait, what's going on? They saved me. Your son gave tricks to an adult. <gasps> Silly Jeffy, tricks are for kids. Yeah, Jeffy, tricks are only for kids. You're not supposed to give them to adults. That's illegal. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. All right, your son's going to jail. Well, actually, he's going to court, and if he's found guilty, then he's going to jail. All right, come on, let's go to court. Oh, no. No. Welcome to Pooby's courtroom, where you're always guilty till proven innocent. Order, 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 order. I am Judge Booby. Today, we will be hearing the case of Jeffy and Junior. They are charged with supplying tricks to an adult. Guilty, 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 guilty. These are not intended for adults because everybody knows that tricks are for kids. Well, I didn't know we couldn't give them to adults. I hereby sentence you to to 30 days in prison. Court adjourned. What? 30 days? Judge, you can lick my butt. All right, boys, welcome to prison. For the next 30 days, your life is going to be a living hell. Who's that? Oh, that, that's Bubbles. <laughs> hey, you too. 
<laughs> well, you're cute too. <laughs> Thank you. Kiss me then. Right. No, 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 no. No one's kissing bubbles. Hey, hey, you gonna kiss me? You kiss me then. Okay. <laughs> Oh, God. Hey, I'm about to go sniff my toilet now. Uh, let's just get you to your cell. <laughs> okay, boys, this is your cell. Cell B for bad boys. This is going to be your home for the next 30 days. I don't want to go to jail. Yeah, well, you should have thought about that before you committed such a terrible crime. Now get in there. <laughs> That's annoying. All right, boys, you're locked in there and you're not getting out for the next 30 days. No matter how much you scream and cry and beg, you're stuck in there. <laughs> what, what are you doing? What? Damn it. What? Get, get, get back in there. What happens if I don't? I, I, then, then we'll have to keep you here for, for a year. Oh, all right, here I go. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna trust you boys not to break out, okay? But you got another inmate coming, and he's gonna be your cellmate, okay? He, he's in the electric chair right now. This is this is his third time, and it just hasn't worked yet, and I know it's not gonna work this time, but he'll be here shortly. I don't want to be in jail. Well, it's not too bad, Junior. We have a bed, we have our own toilet, we have a sink. It's just like being in my house, and we're like best friends, and we're in here together, so at least we're safe. Hey, Fresh Meats, I want you to meet your new cellmate, Face Eater. Get in there. Oh. Hey, boys. Hey. Your faces look delicious. Thank you. Um, um, when's dinner time here? Right now. Give me those faces. Ah! 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 Oh, come on, Face Eater. You've already eaten three faces today. Ah! Like you're going back to the electric chair for the fourth time today. Are you okay, Jeffy? Yeah, but he bit my nose. Okay, I'm really sorry about that, boys. That won't happen again. I probably should have figured the guy named Face Eater was gonna try and eat your faces. But don't worry, I got you another cellmate, and he's really calm. He's great with kids, that's why he's in here. Okay, Mr. Winkle, get in here. Ah! That's scary. All right, in you go. <laughs> Why are you so scared, Junior? Because he's a weirdo! Hey, everybody, it's Mr. Winkle. He seems nice. He's not nice. Hey, I think it's time for a shower. Who wants to take a shower? I brought the soap. Here you go. <laughs> oh, you dropped the soap. I guess you're gonna have to pick it up. Well, I got another one right here. <laughs> you dropped it, too. So who's gonna pick up the soap, huh? Huh, who's picking it up? A guard! <sighs> Get out of here. I'm sorry about that, boys. I am 0 for 2 today. Okay, how about this? How about we just don't even give you a third cellmate and it'll just be you two in there together? I like that, I like that. Just me and Jeffy. Only me and Jeffy in here. Huh. That was kind of weird how excited you were to be in here alone with your friend. You boys weren't thinking about escaping, were you? Because if you do, I'm gonna get you. What, what are you? No, 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 you, you get back in there. Aww. Okay, now I'm gonna go over there and take a nap on my little napping chair, okay? And I don't want to hear any noise. And don't even think about trying to take these keys to the cell that are hanging right here, okay? Because they would definitely open up the door to your cell and help you escape. So don't do that. I'm going to be right here taking a nap. Jeffy, Jeffy, there's keys to our cell right there on that wall. So if we get those keys, we could escape. Okay, let's try to find a way to get those keys. All right, Junior. All right, Jeffy. We have to try to find something long enough to be able to reach those keys. Okay, Junior. Um, let's look, let's look. Uh... Uh, oh, Junior, what about this day? Oh, that's perfect! Oh, you can grab the keys with that, but, but you have to be really careful. Try not to wake up the guard. All right, Junior, let's try it. Okay, Jeffy, try to get the keys. All right, Junior, I'm trying. I can't reach it, Junior. Well, what do you mean you can't reach it? It's not long enough. Well, well, maybe we can find another piece to make it longer. Oh, hold on, Junior, I got an idea. Oh, yeah, 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 go get the keys, go get the keys! Come on, just, just go a little bit closer. I'm trying. Wait, wait, what's that? Ow. I got the keys. Come on, Jeffy, get back in, get back in. I'm trying. Oh, Jeffy, you dropped him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, no, 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 grab him, grab him, grab him, grab him. I'm trying. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 you don't. You boys are in so much trouble. That's it. I'm separating you two and putting you in different cells. Oh, Jeffy, you messed it up. All right, I'm separating you two, because when you're together, you come up with these mastermind escape plans, and you're too dangerous. All right. See you later, Junior. Bye, Jeffy. Just remember, keep it swinging. All right, inmate. Here's your new cell. Get in there. Oh, no more alone. Hey there, Jeffy. It's me, Mommy. Ah! Hey! Hey you! Hey! Stop, stop it! 
What? I don't like you being alone in there, so I got you a new cellmate. I got you Bubbles. <laughs> bubbles? Yeah, don't worry, he promised to keep his hands to himself. Alright, now you get in there. Oh. Gotcha. Ha ha ha! What's up, young blood? <laughs> What's up, Bubbles? Hey, why are you so sad? Look, you in paradise! <laughs> That's what the B stands for. Paradise, yeah. Paradise starts with a P. Hey, don't me. I know a pair that starts with. It starts with a B. It makes a p sound. Well, uh, you're right. You're right. And it's also in bubbles. Yeah, that's my gang. <laughs> what? How did you just blow a bubble? Hey, that's the part of the gang. You gotta be in the gang to blow a bubble. I wanna be part of the gang. I wanna blow a bubble with my fingers. All right, you gotta be initiated first. All right. How do I be initiated? Look, you gotta take this punch without you know backing up or nothing like that. All right. Wait, wait. Take a punch. Yeah, yeah. J just take it. All right, and uh -oh. then you win. All right. <laughs> Hey, you good? Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell the guard, because he'll add five more years to my two life sentences. And I'm trying to get out in time to be reincarnated as a spider. <laughs> get up! Uh, how's my eye? <laughs> it look good. <laughs> Purple like Barney. So am I in the gang now? Nah, nah, nah. You got one more step. Well, what's the next step? I gotta give you face tattoos. What? Face tattoos? You don't have face tattoos. That's because I'm the leader. And I got tattoos all on my chest. Oh, okay, so I, I guess just give me a tattoo. Hold on. Uh, let me look in the toilet see if there's a rusty fork in here. What are you going to do with a rusty fork? That's how I give you the tattoo. What? Oh, okay. Ah. Oh, Jeffy, you locked me up in here, and I never get my money. But if I kill you in here, they'll give me my money when I get out. Um, actually, that won't happen. You'll get life in prison if you kill me. Well, I'll figure it out. Get over here. Ah! Oh, God! Help me! Help me, God! All right, check out your new tats. <laughs> what are they? All right, you got to be on your forehead for paradise or bubbles. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, and we put a leaf over here. <laughs> well, what's the leaf for? Because we like leaves. When we fall down, we don't get back up. Yeah, unless the wind blow us, or you got a rake, or a leaf blower, or somebody just step on you with their shoes. Yeah. Oh, oh, and we got bubbles right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and I got a heart right here because I love you. Oh, 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 oh. So, so can I blow bubbles with my hand? I don't know. Try it. Nothing, no, nothing, I wasn't doing anything. Hey, 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 I don't want to hear any more fighting. I'm taking a nap over there. Wait, hold, hold on, the phone's ringing. Oh, this better be good. Hello? Well, judge? Wait, really? Is that so? Hmm, okay, if you say so. All right, Jeffy, you're free to go. Let's get you out of there. Heck yeah. What? No, 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 I was so close. Jeffy! Uh, what am I doing again? Hey, you cover it for me while I dig a hole out of here like a chopper. Okay, okay. Hey, Junior? Uh, yeah? Come on, you're free to go. Wait, wait, I'm free to go? Uh, Bubbles, they let me out. Oh man, for real? All right, little Bubble. Mario, how do you think Jeffy's doing in jail? I don't know, but he shouldn't have done the crime if he couldn't do the time. Hey there, your son's free to go. Wait, what? Yeah, he got out on technicality. You see, the judge said because these are family-sized tricks and not just regular tricks, they can be eaten by the whole family, including adults. What? He, Wait, really? Yeah, if he had just gotten me a regular box of tricks, that would be a crime and he'd be in jail. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that, and I also forgot to read him his Miranda rights. Ah, <sighs> Joseph, I'm bored. Me too, dude. Let's play a board game. Ooh, let's play Mousetrap. Okay. <laughs> what? That's not mousetrap. Dude, it is. It's a mousetrap. How do you play? Ooh, just touch the yellow peas. I'm good. Well, he's such a wimp, dude. Watch this. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, I love the pain. Oh. Guys, guys, guys. Look what oh, I... Oh, hold on, Cody. His leg got stuck in a mousetrap. What? Ow, how did that happen? We were playing mousetrap. You want to play? I'm good. But I invented a dream machine. Well, a dream machine? What's it do? It lets you go inside of people's dreams while they're sleeping. Nuh-uh, liar. Yeah, huh, it does. Well, well, then how's it work? Well, you just put this black part on the head of whoever's sleeping, and then you put another one on your head, and it lets you go inside their dreams. Well, what if you get stuck in their dream? Well, all you'd have to do is just slap whoever's dream it is. So if you're in my dream, you'd slap me. So I slap you? Yeah. Ow! What? No, you slap me in the dream! Okay, so when we go in your dream, we slap you. No, you slap whoever's dream it is. So I slap you. No, it's the person whose dream you have, you're in. So if I'm in your dream, I slap you. But yes, but now, no, no, no. Look, if I was in your dream, I would slap you to wake up. 
but we're in your dream. When, when, uh, no, out. We're not in my dream right now. Okay, but when do we slap you? Ooh. I want to slap Cody. Yeah, okay, slap no, him. No, it's not about slapping. Ow. Stop, stop slapping me. Okay? You said slap you. I said slap me in the dream if it's my dream, but we're not in my dream right now. Okay, so whose dream are we going to first? I think we should go into Joseph's dream. So we slap Joseph in Joseph's dream. Yes. Well, my dream is not going to be too fun, guys. Uh, okay, let's go inside Joseph's dream. Set him up with your machine. Okay. All right, we're all set up. So whenever Joseph falls asleep, we'll go inside his dream. Oh, dude, I'm so ready. Okay, Ken. If for any reason we don't wake up within an hour, push this emergency stop button, okay? Why would that happen? Well, I don't know. Maybe if the dream just goes really bad. Well, aren't we supposed to slap you if it goes bad? Well, no, we're supposed to... Ow! Ow! <sighs> No, we're supposed to slap Joseph because we're in Joseph's dream. So if the dream goes bad, we slap Joseph, not Cody, Joseph. Okay, Joseph. Wait, my little thing fell off. Well, maybe if you weren't slapping me, that wouldn't happen. Okay, Joseph, go to sleep. Well, it's pretty hard for me to go to sleep. Wow, he fell asleep fast. <laughs> uh, Cody? Where are we? It's so dark and scary. Joseph must be having a nightmare. Where is Joseph? <laughs> Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, Daddy! I miss you so much, Dad! Oh, I wish you were here with me right now! He's having a dream about his dead dad. That's so sad. Mommy? What? Mommy? Where are you, Mommy? What? Mommy! Mommy, where are you? Joseph! Mommy? Well, where are you? I hear you! Where are you? Mommy! Oh, come here, Mommy! Please! Please! Mommy, don't leave me! <laughs> ah, Cody, he's chasing his mom! If that was you and your mom, you would have already caught her. You know, because she's a hippo and she can't run fast. Junior, shut up! <laughs> mommy! Where are you going, Mommy? Joseph! Mommy, please come here! Please! Please! Okay. Mommy! Mommy, where did you go? <laughs> mommy! <laughs> Is that a killer clown? I hate to have dreams like him. Junior, let's wake him up. Oh, okay. Ah! Joseph! Oh, thank God you guys are here. There's a killer clown trying to kill me. That's why we're going to wake you up. <laughs> ah, I'm doing that. Ah! Joseph, what was that? Oh, dude, I dream that every night. Joseph, those are called nightmares. Wait, there's dreams that are actually happy? Well, yeah, do you want to see one? You can come to my dream. Yeah, dude, sure. Okay, I just have to go to sleep. Uh, does anyone have some warm milky or a banky? What? Well, I can't go to sleep without my banky. Cody, go to sleep. Okay, can somebody at least rub my tummy? <sighs> lower. I'm not going lower. Okay, fine. I'll go to sleep. So we slap you if we want to wake up? Yes. <laughs> what is this place? Dude, I feel uncomfortable. Hey, guys. Welcome to my dream. This is what you dream about, Cody? Yeah, it's just one big party. Hold on. Let me introduce you to the boys. That over there is Scrotom Hussein. This is Balls Aldrin. That's Rick. And this is Luke. Get your ass out of the guacamole. Probably tastes better now, to be honest. Hey, you guys should help yourself to some chips. They're just kind of scattered around everywhere. Wait, wait, what? Oh, you need me to get up? Okay. What? Who's that? Oh, that's Todd. He's a freak in nature. Why does he have a gas mask on? So he can breathe. Where's Ken? Oh, he's up there keeping an eye out to make sure that nobody escapes. Why would somebody want to escape? It's your dream. Well, it's hotter for me if they don't want to be here. Dude, I'm ready to leave right now. Yeah, Cody, we want to leave. What, really? So soon? But we haven't even had the who has the tightest buns competition yet. Don't tell Ken, but it's Rick. See? Well, we want to leave, Cody. Okay, just let me finish my Red Bull. Hey, anybody want the rest of this before I shit can it? No? All right. All right, we want to go. Okay, I guess we can... Oh, no. What? Here comes Action Man. What? Who's Action Man? Uh, his real name is Zack, but he thinks he's hot shit. And to be honest, he kind of is. He has bulletproof underwear. What do you want, Zack? What? Bro, come on, you're always doing this. You're ruining my vibe. Who invited him? You know what, you guys are right. We should just leave. Wake me up. Okay, wake up, Cody. <sighs> I can't believe you guys didn't like my dream. I like my dreams more. I can't agree. Ow! We're out of the dream! I just like slapping you. All right, guys, let's go inside my dream next. Sometimes I dream I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> like that. Okay, go to sleep, Jim. Okay. <sighs> Wait, dude, we're in the classroom. Wait, why am I so cool? This isn't that different from my dream. Oh no, guys, I have this nightmare all the time. It's that I'm fat, I'm at school in my underwear, and everyone won't stop making fun of me. Ha ha, Junior, you're so fat. See, guys? And also, Cody, you're the coolest kid in school. Well, that's not that different from real life. No, it's a nightmare. Guys, wake me up. No, I just want to see how this plays out. All right, class, today we're going to be learning about why is Junior so fat? He is fat as shit, because he won't stop eating. Ha 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 ha. Come on, class, let's wrap it. 
Dad Jr. because he's so fat. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, wake me up. Hey, we all laughing at the fat kid? Now, what did I say about being so fat? Guys, wake me up! You know, it's actually illegal for you to be that fat fatty. But guys! You know what? You're actually under arrest for being so unbelievably fat! Guys, it's a nightmare! Yeah, Cody being the coolest kid in school is a nightmare. <laughs> ah! Guys, that was not my dinosaur dream. That was cool. I like that dream. I didn't like it, Cody. Uh, ow! Okay, look, I'm gonna go back to sleep so I can try to get the dinosaur dream. Hey, guys! What doing? Ooh, we should go inside Jeffy's dream. Hey, Jeffy, put that white thing on your head. Okay. Now go to sleep. <laughs> ah, guys, we're animals! Dude, I'm a cow! I'm a lion! Yeah, well, you don't tell the truth. Huh? Like, lion? All right, screw you guys. That was a good one. Ha, oh, Cody, you're a pig, so you're just like my mom. I know, I'm like my mom. I get it, because my mom is all fat animals, right? So Joseph's like my mom, too, because he's a cow. So my mom's a cow and a pig and a hippo and an elephant. I get it. She's fat. Wow, Cody, you're really going to call your mom fat? Dude, she gave birth to you. Yeah, she carried you for nine months just for you to call her fat. What, you guys were going to say it? I would never disrespect your mom. You get it, Joseph? I'm lying. <laughs> Uh -huh. But that was my joke. No, it was my joke. I just thought of it. Oh, dude, watch this. <laughs> Eat more chicken. Ah! Like the Chick fil A Ooh. slogan, the slogan Ooh. thing they say. Get it? You get it, Cody? Guys, I just want to get out of this stupid dream. Okay, then wake Jeffy up. Well, we can't. We have to slap Jeffy. That's the only way to get out of the dream. All right, let's go slap him. Marvin, let's watch a movie. Hand me the remote. Okay, baby. Ugh, you're so slow! Baby, you're the one who married me. You knew I was a turtle. You knew I was gonna be slow. I don't bring up your quack addiction. <gasps> hey, don't bring that up! Hey, Mommy! Hey, Daddy! I got suspended from school today. Jeffy! Why'd you get suspended, Jeffy? Because I was dragging my balls across my desk. Jeffy, you're grounded. Well, duck you, Mommy! Well, Jeffy, don't speak to her like that. You're going to your dungeon for 50 years. Oh, I hate my dungeon. But I'm hungry, Daddy! What do you want for dinner? I want wings. Well, you got two wings on your back because you're a dragon. Go to your dungeon. <sighs> okay, Daddy. Aww. Hey, Jeffy. Oh, hey, guys. You not in my dream? Well, sorry we got to do this to you, but we got to wake you up. <gasps> guys, I had the weirdest dream now. I was a hippo. Well, we went through everyone's dreams. Yeah. Wait, wait, guys. Chef Pee-Pee's taking a nap downstairs. We should try to go inside his dream. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Pee-pee, <sighs> pee-pee, pee-pee. All right, guys. There's Chef Pee-Pee. Hey, do you guys think he dreams about me? Like he's secretly in love with me and he dreams about me all the time? No. Let's find out. <laughs> what? Guys, we're in my kitchen. Oh man, oh man, I gotta hurry up with this burger. Lord Beep's gonna be mad. Is my food ready yet? Oh, yes, I'm almost done with dinner, Lord Beep. Hold on, hold on. Is the food ready? Oh, Jesus H. Christ, I need to hurry up. Where is my burger? It's right here, it's right here, sir. Oh, let me see. <gasps> A piece of bacon? Not on my burger? What's wrong with you? I know you see that. I know you see it. Oh, my bad, it must have fell out. I'm so sorry, sir. Hmm. Oh, you're bad, huh? You're making mistakes now? <gasps> I'm not eating it. You <laughs> All I do is cook and clean, and I'm never appreciated. <laughs> wow, Chef Pee Pee's really mean in his dreams. Yeah, why is he being mean to my dad? Let's go mess with Chef Pee Pee. Okay. Ah, finally get the rest of my royal throne of cash. Hey, baby, what's my name? I don't see anything. It's Lord Peep. I don't even want to look in your direction. But show me them toes. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. <laughs> Junior, what are you doing here? I sent you and your friends to 50 years of hard labor. Well, we escaped. Uh, uh, Royal Guard! Yes, Lord Pape. These three escaped. Take them back to the work camp. All right, you guys are coming with me. <laughs> Shepard, you're so dumb. Uh-uh, execute that one. Well, execute me. Oh, no, Junior. If you die in the dream, you die in real life. Well, I die in real life. Slap them, slap them. Uh. <laughs> How dare you try to assault me? Execute them all. Uh, uh, Cody, slap them, slap them. Uh, uh, I, I can't. He's too fast. Uh, 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 Lord Peep, you, you have a fly in your face. What? A fly on my face? Oh, I don't see anything. Uh, it's right there. It's right, it's right on your nose, though. Wait, wait, is a fly on my face? Is there a fly on my face? Oh, I don't see it. It's right there. It's right there. It's, right, it's gonna bite you. Get the damn fly on my face. Get the damn fly on my face. You really wait. want me to hit you? Get off my face. Right. <laughs> Junior, why did you guys ruin my dream? Chef Pee Pee, I'm really upset that I wasn't your hunky little manservant. Yeah, Chef Pee Pee, you treat people really mean in your dream. Because it's my dream. I get to live it how I want to. Well, I don't want to be a part of that. Hey, Chef Pee Pee, keep that thing on your head. I'm gonna go to sleep, and then you're gonna go to somewhere really cool. What? Huh? Where am I? Hey, Chef Pee Pee, welcome to the party. Help yourself to some guac, or maybe if you stick around long enough, you can have something that rhymes with that. Ew, no, Cody, I'm leaving. Ow! Come on, Zach, you always do this! Be my friend! 
Joseph and Cody! What's up, guys? Uh, Joseph? What's up, dude? Only Joseph? Where's Cody? I don't know. He usually shows up right next to me. Uh, I hope Cody's coming over. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird. Now I have no one to make fun of. Yeah. Nice shirt, dweeb. You're wearing a shirt too, dude. Yeah, but mine is orange, the color of oranges. Yours is green, the color of boogers. That's gross. Is that all you could think of? Yeah, Cody's so much easier to make fun of. Yeah, he is. I hope he's still coming over. <gasps> Ooh, maybe his mom is so fat, she's blocking the doorway and he can't get around her. <laughs> that is a big issue. Yeah, big. <laughs> issue. Yeah. <laughs> Come inside. All right, dude. So, Joseph, you really don't know where Cody is? No, dude. Usually, after I knock on the door, he appears right next to me. He just appears right next to you? Yeah, he spawns in like a video game. What? That's crazy. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But what do you have planned for us today? I was thinking we could try these Oreos. It's just Oreos, dude. Well, these are double stuffed. Kind of like Cody's mom. <laughs> Facts. What? Oh, that must be Cody. Let's answer the door. Okay. Hey, hey Cody. Cody. Hey, guys. Cody, you're late. Come inside. Yeah, dude. But but I have the... Okay. Cody, what took you so long? You're late. Well, I had to get ready. For what? For, for this. To hang out? But no, no. For, for this, you know? You want to try these new Oreos I found? But Junior, those are just normal Oreos. No, these are double stuff. They're like your mom. <laughs> fat. She's fat. Yeah, she is. If you say so. Well, that's all I had planned for the day. I'm bored. Well, I had something planned. What? Well, look at me. Notice anything different? Do you have a booger in your nose, dude? No, I don't have a booger in my nose. Well, most noses have boogers in them, Cody. Well, okay, maybe I have a booger in my nose, but that's not the point. Why don't you check? Well, I'm not gonna check. There's probably a booger in there. Oh, can we see it? No, you can't see the booger. It doesn't matter. Forget about the booger. Is that what you want us to see? No, no, look at me. Do you notice anything else that's different? Oh, you have glasses. Yeah, I, I do have glasses. Yeah, have you ever noticed he's wearing glasses? Dude, it's something new. Like, it's, well, it's new I, glasses. I've be. worn glasses as long as you've ever known me. No, you've never worn glasses but today. Well, I promise I've always worn glasses. Look, that's not important. Look, I'm a magician. So you fix lights? No, th Junior, that's an electrician. I'm a magician. I do magic. Well, you don't do magic. Well, yes, I do. Well, then do some magic tricks, you, you dumb electrician. <sighs> okay, hold on. Okay, I'm going to show you I can do magic with a card trick. Ooh, a card trick. Okay, Junior, pick a card. Okay. Wait, why does he get to pick a card? I'm going to pick a card. Okay, Joseph, pick a card. Yes. No, he told me to pick a card. Dude, you always get to do stuff. You have your own month. And we deserve that month. Uh, okay, guys, can we just focus on the trick? How about we play rock, paper, scissors, and whoever wins gets to pick a card? Okay, best of three. Best of seven. Best of 15. No, no rock, paper, scissors. Joseph, pick a card. Okay, which card? It doesn't matter, any card. But I just don't want to pick wrong. What, you can't pick a wrong card. Just pick a card. All right. Nah, nah, nah. What, just pick a card. Um, dude, help me pick. Okay, uh, pick that one. This one? No, lower. This one? Lower. This one? No, up. <laughs> oh my god, somebody just please pick a card. So I can pick a card. If you want to. Dude, I want to pick a card. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> no, all right, let's go. Joseph, pick a card. All right, all right. But why not that card? No, I don't like it. What, no, just pick that one. Oh, well, you, want you, you want him to pick that one because you memorized that one. Yeah, what? cheater. No, I don't have it memorized. Just pick a card. Yeah, pick a new one. All right, I'm going to pick a new one. Uh, okay. Okay, you have the card? Yeah. Do you know the card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the six of club. Wait, you're not supposed to tell me the card. But you asked me which card it was, well, dude. I just wanted to make sure you knew. I'm not supposed to know. Of course, I'm, of course I would know. I picked the card, dude. Okay, just put the card back. All right. Now pick a different card. Um, good choice. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, okay, so you know the card. Mm-hmm. All right. No, no, no. You... Oh, that one, that one has a king on it. Yeah, it's what? a king of spades, dude. You're not supposed to tell me what the card is. You asked me if I knew the card, dude. It, it looked cool. What, you're not supposed to know. Put the card back. Put, put the card back. Okay. You gotta be specific with the rules. Pick a new card. All right. <clears throat> okay, okay, do you know the card, Joseph? Mm-hmm. Okay, don't tell me. Just show it to Junior. See it, dude? Oh, that's like the Lucky Charms logo, like the ten of them. Yeah, it's ten of clubs, dude. No, no, you guys keep saying the card. But you, you wanted me to show it to him. Yeah, I thought it was cool. But don't tell me the card. I'm, I'm not supposed make, to know. I'm just making sure he knew, though. What? Okay, my, oh my god, put the card back. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, just pick a different card. <sighs> okay, okay, so you have the card. Yeah, I have the card. Do not tell me the card. Okay, so you know it? Yeah, I know the card. All right, now put the card back. Wait, well, why, why, wait, why would he put it back? So you can feel where he put it and you know what it is? No, I have to do the magic trick. No, don't put it back. He's trying to cheat. Are you cheating again, dude? No, I'm not cheating. I don't care what you do with the card, okay? Just do anything with the card. But don't show me the card! You said do anything with it! I want to show you the card! Well, and then anything else, don't show me! But it's a cool card! Yeah, say that. Say, do anything but show me. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was doing magic for idiots. You're just a really bad electrician. I'm not... Put the card back. 
Okay, pick a different card. Oh my god, okay, okay. Don't tell me the card. Do not show me the card, okay? Do whatever you want with the card. Oh, I'm not flushing in the toilet. Okay, fine. Jesus Christ. <sighs> All right, dude, I got rid of the card. Okay, so it's gone, right? Yeah, it's gone. And it's not coming back? Nope, it's not coming back. Okay, is this your card? Hmm, I don't know, maybe. What, maybe? Yeah, I don't know, look, you made me pull a lot of cards. What, I did, no, no, this this is your card. You, you just had this one, right? Nah, I thought it was the three of hearts. Yeah, what, the three of hearts? Right, I think so, too. Yeah, it was three. No, 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 it was the two of hearts, that was your card. No, I saw a three. What, no, 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 look, you just had this card. You flushed it down the toilet. No, it was the three of hearts. Wait, mm -hmm. No, you just flushed this card. Wait, if you flushed it, how do you have it? Yeah. That's a magic trick, the whole point. Did you go in the toilet to get this card? Wait. Ew, gross. No, I didn't go in the toilet. Like, who digs in the toilet for cards? What, Creeper. Cut the crap. This is your card. Ta-da. It was the three of hearts. Yeah. It's not the three. Okay, fine, whatever. Are you going to do another trick? Yeah, sure. Pick a card, Junior. Okay. Uh, what card do I want? I want this one, Ooh, right nice on the ground. You're not supposed to, all right, fine, pick that card. Oh, what do I do with it? All right, I want you to take that card and shove it up your butt. Wait, shove it up my butt? Yep, shove it way up your butt. Why? Well, that's the magic trick, Junior, you'll see. Hey, Joseph, can you help me put that in my butt? Okay. It's gross, but okay. Make sure you get really in there. Uh, yep, deep, deep in there. Oh, hold on. There you go. Uh, okay, it's in my butt. <clears throat> yep. Ta-da! Wait, what? That's the trick. Wait, what? It, it's in your butt. Wait, but yeah, it's in my butt. Now what? Well, that I mean, that's the trick. It's just up your butt now. Is it supposed to come out of his mouth or something? No, but it will appear in the toilet next time you use the bathroom. Oh, cause cause he flushed the other one. Wait, no, no, because it's because it's in your butt. You suck at card tricks. Yeah, this is a bad trick. Okay, whatever. We're done with card tricks. Can I have one of those Oreos? Yeah, sure. Get one. Okay. Okay, guys, I have a totally normal Oreo cookie, right? Yeah, I saw you grab it from the bag. Yeah, nothing weird about it? No. Okay, I guess I'll just take a bite then. Mmm, <sighs> that's a good cookie. Now watch this. <coughs> Whoa! How did you do that? Dude! Once the cookie came back! That was crazy! Mind freak! Oh, let me see that cookie. Oh. Uh, Wait, dude, it's a fake! Uh, uh, how about we just do a hat trick? It's then? a fake! Wait, it wasn't even double stuffed! Alright, guys, sorry about that last trick. That last trick was dumb. Yeah, where do you even get a fake Oreo? From the magic store. What if I wouldn't have had Oreos? How would you have brought it up? I would have just said I brought one from home. Why would you just bring one Oreo from home? I, I don't know. It would have gotten stale. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, you guys want to see a hat trick? Sure. Okay, now look in the hat. Is there anything in the hat? No, just your lice. Ha, <laughs> itchy scalp. Well, I don't have lice. Or dandruff? No, I don't. Just, just look, there's nothing in the hat, right? No. Okay, well, I'm going to make something appear in the hat. Are you going to itch your head and have your lice fall in it? <laughs> but no, I don't have lice. Look. Okay, do you need my magic wand? Oh, you like Harry Potter. Well, yeah, sure, I'm like Harry Potter. Okay, ready? One, two, three, Alakazam! <laughs> A lice monster! It's not a lice monster, it's a rabbit! Wait, that's a rabbit? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a fake rabbit. Wow, so you just carry fake rabbits around in your hat? Well, yeah, it's like a magic trick thing. Fake rabbits, fake Oreos, real lice. Well, I don't have lice! Oh, okay, you know what? No more hat tricks, no more card tricks. I'm gonna show you guys a real magic trick. Where's my sexy assistant? Oh, sexy assistant! I'm ready for the water trick, Ken. All right, for my next trick, I'm going to be using my sexy assistant, Ken, here. Oh my god, Cody, he's a doll! Joseph, let's not get into this right now. I'm doing magic tricks. What's this container for? I'm glad you asked, Junior. Ken is going to be placed inside this container as it slowly fills with water. Will he get out before he drowns? It doesn't even matter. He can't breathe. He's a doll! He's not a doll, Joseph! Wait, so he'll be able to move his arms and legs? No, he's going to be tied up. Okay, I got to see this. All right, Ken, get in there. All right, everybody. Ken's in there, and he's all tied up. Tied up. Cody. Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. So Ken's in there, and he has to escape before he drowns. Oh, my God, dude. This is a waste of time. No, it's really cool. We don't know if he's going to get out or not. He's not. He's a doll. All right. The trick's about to start. Remember what we practiced, Ken. Okay, here comes the water. Oh, the water. Oh, no. Ken, you have to get out. You're going to drown. So stupid. You better hurry, Ken. You don't have long. Uh, why isn't he untying himself, Cody? He's about to do it, Joseph. Oh, no. It's filling up really fast. Ken, you gotta hurry. His arms is even isn't moving, dude. Yeah, 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 they're not moving. Ken, you better hurry up. You sure he's not a doll? No, no, no. He's Come on, not. move, Ken. Oh, Ken. Oh, no, it's getting pretty high. Oh, Ken, you're gonna drown. Oh, no, Ken. 
Uh -oh. I told you this uh -oh. was a waste of time. No, 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 he might he might do it. He might actually do it. Wait, um, I, I, I think I saw him flinch. Wait, uh oh. I, I ran out of water. I, I have to go get more water. Hold on. Okay, hopefully this is gonna be the last one. Okay, hopefully. Let's just let's try it. Uh, uh, uh oh, it's getting really close to his head. Close again. Oh no. He really needs to get out or he's gonna drown. Dude, he's a doll. He's not gonna drown. Not a doll, Joseph. Oh, oh no! He's about to cover his mouth! Uh oh. Uh oh, Ken. Oh, oh no! Oh no! He's gonna start drowning! Oh no. No, Ken is fine. Oh, oh no! He's underwater! Uh, oh, he's underwater! He's gonna drown! He's not even moving! Oh no, he'll because get out. He's a dog. That's why he's not moving. No, he's not moving because he's a professional. He's not scared. Oh no! He's underwater! He has to get out! He's gonna drown! Cody, he has to get him out! He's gonna drown! No, Ken's gonna get out right now! Mind free! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ken got out! Ken got out! Ken got out! Ken got out. Junior, the card that was in your butt. Oh, that was in my butt. That was in my butt. I put it up your butt. Yeah, that's in my butt. Oh, Cody, how'd you do that? A magician never reveals his secrets, Junior. Oh my God, Cody, you're the coolest magician ever. Dude, I believe in magic now. Me too, me too, me too. Oh, Cody, you have to do another trick. Yeah, okay, but I need Joseph for this one. Okay, dude. Oh, so cool. Oh, kid, it's so dry. Okay, so for my next trick, I'm gonna saw Joseph in half. Wait, what? Saw Joseph in half? Dude, you can't saw me in half. Yeah, you might kill him. Well, he's not gonna die. I'm just gonna take this saw and cut him in half. But saws are dangerous, and saw is also a scary movie. Yeah, it's rated R. And dude, I don't even think you're a real magician. And there's a lot of sequels to that movie. Well, I mean, that's true. But look, you saw my last trick, and Ken was okay. I mean, Cody's kind of got a point. I mean, he did make Ken come out of that water. That was a cool magic trick. Yeah, that last trick was cool and all, but I don't know about this one. This is dangerous. I mean, will it hurt Joseph? Oh, no, no, no. You won't feel a thing, I promise. He promises you won't feel a thing, so, I mean, that'd be kind of cool if he could cut you in half and put you back together. I don't know, dude. I mean, you will put him back together, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, Joseph, you gotta do it. I wanna see. I guess I'll give it a try. Okay, lay down, Joseph. All right. All right, are you ready? Yeah, just make it fast. Okay. Wait, 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 Cody, Cody. he will be okay, right? Oh, yeah, he'll be fine. Ta-da! Oh. Oh, God. What? Oh, God, I did the trick wrong. What? Uh, you cut him in half. I killed him. Wait, I you... actually killed him. You killed him. Oh, my God, I killed him. Oh, you, you said you were going to cut him in half and put him back together. Oh, you can't put this back together. He's actually dead. Well, well, well you said you were going to cut him in half and you cut him in half. What would you do wrong? Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I was supposed to have, like, a box and he was supposed to bend his legs. It was like a trick. Uh, I practiced it on Ken's cousins and they didn't die. Well, how did you forget the box part? I, I don't know. I don't know. But oh. I actually cut him in half. Oh, Joseph, Joseph, speak to me. Oh, he's not going to talk to you, Junior. He's dead. We what? killed him. What are we gonna do? Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I, I can just do another trick. It's called Make the Body Disappear. Uh, mind free! The body's gone! Yeah, it is. Well, where's Joseph? Is he okay? Uh, no. Joseph's dead. I mean, you saw him. He was cut in half. Joseph's dead! You said he was gonna be okay! What is wrong with you? It's Junior. I made a mistake. I don't know what to tell you. Ah, oh, Joseph's dead! I want him back! Come on, Junior. Ah. Look, here, here, pull this yellow thing. W will it bring Joseph back? Maybe. Okay, that's done. That's it? Yeah. And that was my last trick. That's lame! Cody, where'd you go? Break down the back right now! You can't just poof away! Because you did something bad! Mind freak! What? The card! Oh, Cody! That must be my friends. <sighs> hey guys. Hey Junior. Hey, how do you do? <sighs> it's still hard to get used to that. Yeah. All right, guys, come inside. <sighs> what do you want to do, Junior? I don't know. I've been constipated for like a year. That sucks. I like feet. Yeah, we know, Pangy. <sighs> I really miss Joseph. You know what today is? The one year anniversary of me song Joseph in Half. Yeah, I just really miss Joseph so much. We have this dumb, stupid penguin we hang out with. But I really miss Joseph. Yeah, but you know what, Junior? What? Mind freak. What? what? Joseph? Whoa! Joseph, where have you been the whole time? Dude, I was in your butt! What? I'm not constipated anymore! Mind freak! Jeffy, are you ready for school? Sure am, Daddy.
What, Jeffy, what'd you do to your shirt? I cut it up because I wanted it to look like Swiss cheese. Jeffy, you can't go to school like that. Yeah, they're gonna send you home for having holes in your shirt. Darn. Didn't know that was gonna happen. You're still going to school, Jeffy. But I don't have a shirt to wear. Sure you do, Jeffy. I got you this shirt for Christmas. It has a turtle on it, and it says, Turtly cool! Oh, that's so sick, Mommy. I want to put it on right now. <laughs> All right, Mommy. How do I look? You look turtly cool, Jeffy. Damn right I do. All right, Jeffy. Let's go to school. Danny, everyone's going to be so jealous of my new shirt. I'm going to pull major hose. Oh, that's good, Jeffy. Come on. Hey, idiot, what happened to your old shirt? Did you wipe your butt with it? You're just jealous you don't have a cool shirt that has words on it. Oh, yeah? What's it say? It actually says, turtly cool, and it has a little turtle with sunglasses on it. <laughs> it should say that you're returned or, or returned. Yeah, that's it. You're returned. <laughs> My mommy told me that I was turtly cool. <laughs> Your mommy dresses you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't want this stupid shirt anymore. <laughs> well, calm down, Incredible Hulk. Well, wait a minute. You don't have any nipples. Hey, everybody. Jeffy doesn't have nipples. <laughs> it's not my fault I was born without nipples. <laughs> 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 Jeffy, why'd you take your shirt off? Because I thought that shirt was gonna make girls give me major treatment, but all it did was get me made fun of. They made fun of your shirt, Jeffy? Yeah, because apparently it's not cool to be turtly cool. They called me retarded. <laughs> Marvin. That's funny. Those kids are just mean, Jeffy. Well, I'm never wearing that shirt ever, 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 ever again. That's okay, Jeffy. I got you another shirt, and it says, Mommy Whaley loves me, and it has two whales hugging. You really want me to get made fun of, don't you, Mommy? Oh, it's it's cute, Jeffy. Is it going to make girls turn into bobbleheads? I don't know about that, Jeffy, but go ahead and put it on. Okay, Mommy. I'll wear it tomorrow, but it better not get me made fun of. <laughs> I see you got your old shirt back. Wait, that's not your old shirt. That's a new shirt. What's it say? Nothing. I want to know what your shirt says. No. No, show me your shirt. I'm not showing you my shirt. What does your shirt say? It says, my mommy Whaley loves me and it has a whale on it. <laughs> my mommy Whaley loves me? That's Whaley lame. Well, at least my mommy loves me. <laughs> well, what, is your mommy a whale? Hey, everybody, Jeffy's mom's a whale. <laughs> yeah, your mom's a whale. Shut up, Cody. Your mom's a whale. <sighs> I was just really glad the joke wasn't about me for once. <laughs> you gonna go to the ocean? Ocean and see your mommy. Mm. That's it! I'm tired of this! <laughs> what, are you gonna go kiss your mom's big whale lips? <laughs> it happened again! They made fun of your shirt again, Jeffy? Yeah, and they called you a whale, mommy! What? <laughs> Marvin! You eat a lot of Cheetos, baby. Marvin! Oh, look, uh, Jeffy, your mom got you another shirt. I did! It says hanging with mommy and has two slots. Oh, absolutely not! I'm done with shirts! They want to bully me? I'm gonna become the bully now! Oh, this is not gonna be good. <laughs> hey, loser, what's with the new look? Your balls finally drop? <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get off! No! No! no stop! Stop! It. Stop! No! No! Oh, no! He, he pulled my underwear up over my face! Oh, God, I have doo doo stains on it! This is so gross and embarrassing! I'm gonna get pink eye! <laughs> Anyone else want some? Huh? Cody called your mom a whale. What, Junior? What, no, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, yes, Daddy. Uh, he gave me a wedgie. Should have pulled harder. Ha ha, Cody! You have rainbow pony underwear? Junior, they're not underwear. They're panties. Oh my god, I have those! Can I smell them? Ew, no, Junior! You're gross! Jeffrey, stop worrying everyone! Go into principal's office now! Jeffy, what are you doing? Jeffy, 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 Oh, Jeffy, why do you pull my underwear over my face? Ew, I got doodle stain! Ring Ring doesn't do my laundry! Ah! Hey, Jeffy, how was school? Shut up, nerd! Jeffy! What'd you call me? Nerd, because you are one! <laughs> what are you doing? Jeffy, what are you doing? Ah, he, he put my underwear on my face! Jeffy! That is it, Jeffy, you are grounded! Oh, you're, you're gonna ground me? I'm gonna show you grounded! What? Jeffy, what are you doing? Giving you a swirling, nerd! Wait, what? Jeffy, if you put my head in that toilet, you would just... <laughs> oh, Jeffy, dear God, please help me! <laughs> you had enough yet? I had enough, I had enough! All right. <laughs> Marvin, what's wrong? Jeffy gave me a swirly. He what? He put my head in the toilet. Jeffy, why would you do that? Because he's a nerd. Jeffy, that's not how we act. We treat others the way we want to be treated. Well, everyone wants to bully me, so now I'm going to be the bully. So no one mess with me! Marvin, what do we do? I'm calling the cops. He assaulted me with my underwear and a toilet. 
Hey there, somebody called the police? I heard an old lady say that at the barber shop today. She called me the police. I like that. I'm gonna say that from now on. Police. So what do you need? My son is bullying me. He gave me a swirly and he put my underwear over my eyes. <laughs> classic. Not classic, he's assaulting me. Well, I know how to deal with that kind of situation. You do? Oh yeah, I used to get bullied a lot in high school. Let me tell you a story. I always get bullied by this guy named Trevor. He used to call me names like Brace Face, you know, because I wore braces at the time. And he used to pull my pants down in front of all the cheerleaders. And they would all laugh at me and say, ha ha, tiny. So one day, I decided to get revenge on him by pulling his pants down in front of the cheerleaders. And boy, did that backfire, because he was hung like a horse. All the girls like him, even Miss Jenkins. I, I, I had a crush on her. She was kind of a hot teacher. But anyway, me and Trevor became friends after that because I helped him get so many girls by pulling his pants down. So I guess the moral of this story is what you should do is pull Jeffy's pants down in class. No, that don't do that. That's not right. That's that's not what I meant at all. Okay, okay, okay. Better example, better example. Okay. I also used to get bullied by this guy named Travis. Now, Travis was a real freak. He put a wasp nest in my backpack. So whenever I opened my backpack, a bunch of wasps flew out and they started stinging me. So I ran around the classroom taking my clothes off. And then everybody just pointed at me and laughed and said, ha ha, tiny. So I wanted to get revenge on him. So the next day, I put a wasp nest in his backpack. And then when he opened his backpack, he got stung by wasps and he ran around the class taking his clothes off. And boy, did that backfire because he was all the girls liked him, oh yeah. Except we didn't become friends because he was pissed that I put a wasp nest in his backpack. So the moral of this story is you should put a wasp nest in Jeffy's backpack. No, don't, don't do that either. That was, okay, that sucks too. Okay, 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 okay. But last example, this one's gonna be good. This will make sense, I promise, okay. So I also used to get bullied by this guy named Trent and we rode the bus together. So what he would do was put gum in my hair, which sucked because then I'd have to shave my head to get the gum out and then everybody would laugh at me and say, ha ha, baldy and also tiny, you know, because they remembered from when I got pantsed and the whole thing with the wasps. So I wanted to get revenge on him. So what I did was I put gum in his hair and he had to shave his head. And then the next day he got hit by a car and I felt kind of bad. So I went to visit him in the ICU and I walked in when they were changing his body cast and he was packing. I mean, all of the nurses wanted to help him. So the moral of this story is you should push Jeffy in front of a car. No, 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 don't. Oh man, I'll admit, I, I, I'm not the right guy for this. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. No, 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 let me just talk to him and I'll explain to him why bullying people is wrong. Oh, okay. Hey champ, what are you doing? Writing hate comments on SML videos. Oh, but they work so hard. But they won't bring back their plushies. Oh, well, they can't do that. Uh, look, I wanted to talk to you about something. What do you want, loser? Oh, okay, so you're already starting with the name calling. Now, I know the only reason you're doing that is because you're just lashing out because you don't know how else to express yourself. Well, you're ugly. Okay, that one kind of hurt a little bit. But look, what I wanted to say is that I used to be just like you. I, I mean, I wasn't cross-eyed like that, but I, I did get bullied a lot. You did? Oh yeah, I get bullied all the time. And you know how I got over it? I found out that everybody was packing. Uh, I don't really know why. But then, when I grew up, I became a cop, so I can bully whoever I want. It's my job to bully people. You going too fast? Boom! Speeding ticket. Speeding tickets are my swirlies. So, wh what I'm trying to say is I know that deep down, you know that bullying is wrong, right? <laughs> Well, that didn't work. Oh no, he did it to you too? Yeah, the only thing I learned here is I gotta start wiping better. Well, what do we do now, officer? Yeah, what do we do? I don't know. He's probably just going through a phase. I'm sure he'll grow out of it, or he'll end up in prison. He might be packing. I don't know. I'm just gonna go. No, don't go. We need your help. We really need your help. Well, I've done everything I can do, and I don't want my face to end up in your toilet again. Look, I have an idea that'll, that'll get him to stop bullying people. Wait, really? Yeah, let me show you. Well, I won't be able to see it, because I got underwear in my eyes. <laughs> Thank you, but I would wash my hands if I were you. All right, we're all gonna wear these shirts, and when Jeffy sees them, he's gonna bully us for wearing these shirts, and he's gonna realize he's became what he hated most, being a bully. I hate this shirt. I look like a dingus. Aw, it's cute. Hanging with mommy. I hate my mother. I would never hang with her. I also hate sloths. They're all lanky and they're creepy and I hate them. Look, you only have to wear the shirt for like a few minutes for Jeffy to see you. Yeah, so he can make fun of us and then shove my face in the toilet again and then put my poopy underwear in my face? Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. No, he's gonna realize that he's a bully and he's not gonna wanna be a bully anymore. Jeffy, get in here! What do you losers want? Don't hurt me! Oh god, no, please! Wait, just, 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 look at our shirts! Look at our shirts! Turtly cool? That's retarded. Well, look, Jeffy, look. You just bullied me the same way you used to get bullied in school. <gasps> You're right. What have I become? I've become the same thing I swore to destroy. I'm like Darth Vader. Die.
I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't want to be a bully. I was just tired of people bullying me. It's okay, Jeffy. Yeah, Jeffy, as long as you promise you won't bully anyone ever again. Yeah, Daddy, I won't bully anyone ever again. <laughs> I bet you're not even packing. Oh, no, I totally am. I got a wiener like a Coke can. Damn it. Jeffy, it's time for bed. Daddy, can I send it one more time before bed? Jeffy, what is this thing? Well, there's a little car in here, and when I hit this thing, it goes around the doodah. Then just do it real quick. All right. Oh, Jeffy, you hit me with the car. Can I do it one more time? No, Jeffy, it's time to go to bed. Come on. Let's do all the things you want to do. Okay, Jeffy, just lay down and go to sleep. But I want fried okra. Wait, what, Jeffy? No, it's too late. You're not getting fried okra. I want it fried. You're not getting it, Jeffy. In my mouth. Jeffy, just go to sleep. I don't want to hear a peep out of you. Peep. Peep, peep. Jeffy, shut up. <laughs> Wait, Jeffy, did you just shoot me with a Nerf gun? No. Wait, Jeffy, what is that? Fried okra. Where'd you get fried okra? The fried okra tree. Jeffy, why don't you just eat that fried okra? Because that's yesterday's fried okra. You can't expect me to eat day old okra. But Jeffy, I don't know what's going on. Just, just go to sleep, please. Aww. All right, Jeffy. Good night. This door is so squeaky. Jeffy? I want fried okra. No, Jeffy. You have fried okra in your bed. Go to sleep. That door is so squeaky. I have to get that fixed soon. Oh, I just want to lay down and watch TV. <laughs> Jeffy's dumb toys on the couch. I'm going to play with it. It's broken. It's dumb. Jeffy, your dumb toy's broken. Jeffy, close the door. Okra. No, Jeffy, you're not eating okra. Okra. It's too late for okra. Close the door. Okra. I'm closing. <laughs> Jeffy, I said close the door. Thank you. J J Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! It's so annoying! I'm getting a fix! I'm calling somebody to fix it! Hey Leo, somebody call a handyman? I can do literally anything except give handies. So I guess I'm a not handyman. But I can fix things, so what do you need? Well, my son's door is Oh, really is this Hot Wheels? Oh, that's so sick. Hey, do you mind if I send it? <sighs> sure. Oh, so close! Oh man, that was cool. Hey, do you mind if I try again? Okay, fine, but like, yeah, listen to what's wrong. So, my son has this door that's really squeaky. I'm listening. The, 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 my son has this door that's really squeaky. Oh, right there, every time! Okay, I'm trying again. Oh, no, but my son door is really squeaky, and I want you to fix it, and you're not even listening. Oh, okay, this thing sucks. Uh, what, what were you saying? So my son has this door, it's really squeaky, and I was wondering if you'd fix it. Oh, squeaky door? Yeah, that's easy, I can do that. Just show me. Okay, it's over here. All right, here's the door. Listen. Hey, hey, you know what that sounds like? My bed springs in college. Huh? Yeah, because I was doing a lot of this, you know? Yeah, I'm just kidding. I didn't actually have a girlfriend. But you know, good for the people who can get hoes. Can you please fix my door? Oh yeah, it's an easy fix. I just gotta use some of this WD-40. What's WD-40? You don't know what WD-40 is? Pfft, what an idiot. Everybody knows what WD-40 does. It, it, uh, it, 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 uh, it, it stops squeaks, removes and protects, loosens rusted parts, frees sticky mechanisms, drives out moisture, and is fatal if swallowed. Nah, I'm just kidding. But can you imagine, though? Just, and that's it. I'm gone. Dead. That's it. No more me. Can you please fix the door? Yeah, sure. You weren't gonna stop me? Pfft, yeah, some friend. No, I just want you to fix my door. No, 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 no. You act like you're gonna do it. Well, no, I don't want to do No, that. act like you're gonna do it. No, 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 don't do that. Don't you know that's fatal if swallowed? You're gonna die. Hey, hey, man, I care about you. I don't want you to do something like that. See, that's what you should have done. Oh, look, I just want you to fix my door. I know you're not gonna do it. Okay, fine. Okay, I put a crap ton on there. Now let's see if the door squeaks. What What the hell? It's still squeaking. Uh, okay, fine. I'll just put more on there. And you know what? I'll do all the hinges. Except for that one. That one's too high up. That one's higher than my ex-wife during the custody hearing. I mean, she still got custody of the kids because I had two DUIs. But let's see if the door squeaks. What? Oh, oh okay. What's going on here? Does this stuff not work? I bet it's not even fatal if swallowed. What, really? You weren't gonna stop me again after all that? You know what? You're a bad friend. You deserve to have a squeaky door. Hm. What, no, 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 I just want you to fix my door, please. <sighs> okay, fine. Give me some peanut butter. Peanut butter? Who's the handyman here? Me or you? Go get the peanut butter. Okay. 
Why are you putting peanut butter on my door? Because it's gonna muffle the squeak because it's so thick. Just like my ex-wife. You know, she was thick, fat. All right, whenever I close the door, you're not gonna hear the squeak anymore. What is that? What is that crunching noise? What Oh, no, you didn't. What? You got extra crunchy peanut butter? Yeah, I like it. What, what, are you sick in the head? Who the hell uses extra crunchy peanut butter? I do. What, do you put glass in your cake? What? Do you, do you eat eggs with the shell still on them? No. Well, it's the same thing. Well, I just like extra crunchy peanut butter. Do you have creamy peanut butter? No, just that. Well, see, that's the problem. You used crunchy peanut butter, so now we got a crunch and a squeak. You just added a crunch to the squeak. Oh, well, can you just fix my door? <sighs> Go get me a belt. A belt? Yeah, because the door's making a noise, and when I was a kid and I was making noises, my mom would beat me with a belt, and that sure shut me the hell up. A belt's not gonna work with a door. Go get the belt! Ugh. Okay, here's your belt. Oh, that's a good one. That looks like it's gonna hurt. Okay, hold on, let me get into character. <clears throat> Brookie, get your ass in here! Yes, Mommy? Brookie, let me see your report card! Have you been drinking, Mommy? Shut up and let me see your report card! What's this? All C's again! No son of mine's gonna be this average! Ugh, ugh, ugh. You think I like doing this? Well, I do! It hurts you so much more than it hurts me, and I love it! Okay, this door's definitely not gonna squeak after that. Oh, you want some more, do ya? Stop, stop, it's not gonna work. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, man. I've, I've never seen a door this squeaky in my whole life. Well, can you fix it or not? Hey, do you think there's more doors in the world or wheels? What? Like, in the whole world, do you think there's more doors or wheels? I don't know. Well, like, if you think about a car, there's, like, four doors, but there's also four wheels. So, I mean, I guess it kind of evens out there. But if you think about an 18-wheeler, there's so many more wheels than there are doors. Oh, and, like, in skyscrapers, like, there's a whole bunch of doors, but, like, no wheels. I mean, I guess there's wheels in the elevators. But then there's, there's, there's also doors, too! Well, in a car, there's also a steering wheel. Oh, my my God, you're right, they got like five wheels. Oh, okay, so how many cars are there in the whole world? I don't know. Well, Google it. No. Okay, fine, I'll Google it. How many cars are there in the world? What? There's 1.4 billion cars. Wow, oh, okay, so you multiply that by five, that's that's like almost six billion wheels. Man, that's, that's, cra that's crazy. That's a lot of wheels. Oh, oh my God, you know what else has wheels? Trains, trains have wheels, and, and trucks, and buses, and, and not boats. Oh, they have a steering wheel. Oh my God, I gotta Google so many things. Oh, no, 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 can, can you please just fix my door or not? <sighs> Listen, man, I think only God could fix this door. <gasps> That's it! We can ask God to fix the door! God is too busy to fix my stupid door. Oh, it's worth a shot. God, please fix this door. <sighs> hey guys, what's up? Uh, God, I'm sorry for bothering you. Oh, not at all. I was just in my room looking at TikTok. You know, I've been alive forever. That's a really long time, so I'm pretty bored by this point. You know, I used to watch dinosaurs fight and kill each other. Now I just watch people lip sync and dance. <sighs> what happened? I'm gonna send a meteor and reset this whole mess. So what's up? Um, well, see, my door's really hey, squeaky. Hey, hey, God, are there more doors in the world or wheels? Oh, that's a really good question. It's actually wheels, but it's close. I knew it. Well, God, so my door's really squeaky. No, no, sorry, that's all the time I had. I gotta go meet Poseidon at Cracker Barrel. Ugh. You know those little peg games they have on the tables? I've never been able to figure those out. All these years, I've never been able to do it. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Oh, great. Not even God was able to fix my door. Yeah, sorry. I'm just really obsessed about this whole doors and wheels thing. Glad I got my answer, though. Are you able to fix my door or not? No, man. I don't think I can do it. This door's a lost cause. I knew it. I knew you couldn't do it. What, excuse me? I knew you weren't good enough to fix my door. What? Hey, I'm pretty good. No, if you were good, you'd fix my door by now. I'm gonna go hire a real handyman. What? Oh, okay. Okay, you want your door fixed? All right, fine. I'll fix your door. What? 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 What, what, what are you doing? I'm fixing it! What, 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 what are you doing? I'm fixing your door! No, you just broke my door! Oh, that was just part of the plan. Uh, I was gonna break the door so that I could buy you a new door that doesn't squeak. What? Oh, you're gonna go get me a new door? I, I, yeah, I'll go get it right now. Uh, oh my god. Uh, here you go. Here's your new door. It looks just like the old one, except it doesn't have a big hole in the middle. Yep, and this one doesn't squeak. I guarantee it. Well, then install it! Alright, here we go. Alright, the new door's installed. But does it squeak? Let's find out. Oh, please, 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 please. Ah, you hear that? No squeak! But you did it! Yes, I am so good! Why am I so good? Well, mm. Where'd you get the door from? Oh, I took it off my daughter's bedroom. She doesn't need it. You know, she's getting older. She might start having boys over. So anything she does not there, she's gonna have to do with no door. Well, how much do I owe you? hundred bucks. A hundred bucks? Yeah, man, I did a lot today. I, I had to steal my daughter's door. I had to relive childhood trauma. I did a lot. Okay, let me grab my wallet. Okay. 
All right, here's your $100. Thank you. I think I'm gonna use this to buy a Hot Wheels set like this one. It's so cool. Oh my God, I didn't even think about all the wheels on toy cars. They got like four wheels and no doors. Oh my God. How many Hot Wheels cars do you think there are in the world? I don't know. I'm gonna Google it. How many Hot Wheels cars in what? Oh my God, there's like four billion Hot Wheels cars. And it says if you lay them all end to end, it'll circle the entire globe four times. So there's four billion cars. That's like, that's like 16 billion wheels. No wonder the wheels are winning. That's so crazy. Oh, I didn't even think about legs. Lego wheels, all oh, the wheels are just piling up. Ugh. Hey, Danny, why'd you replace my door? Because it wouldn't stop squeaking, Jeffy. Oh, you mean this noise? What? Jeffy, was you making the noise? Maybe. What, Jeffy, so we'd have to replace the door? Maybe. Wait, Jeffy, why would you do that? Because I wanted fried okra. Oh, that sounds so good. Hey, you want to go to Cracker Barrel? I heard God's going to be there. Oh, my God. Leave. Both of you guys leave. Nightmare. I dreamt Tom Brady retired. Boyney, that wasn't a nightmare. He retired months ago. Oh, God. Boyney, oh. you have that nightmare like every night. I know. And then I wake up and it's real. Oh, Boyney, it's okay. Do you want to fool around? That'll help you feel better. No, it won't, Karen. You know, ever since Tom Brady retired, I've had no feeling at all down there. I might as well just donate it to somebody who can actually use it. Well, Boyney, do you want to watch Tom Brady highlight reels to help you fall asleep? Mm-hmm. Okay, Boyney. But not Super Bowl 52. I hate that one. Okay. Or when he lost in the playoffs to the Rams. Okay. Breaking news, okay? Tom Brady has announced he is coming out of retirement, and he's going to continue playing football for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, my God, Boyney! Is this real? Boyney? Are, are you okay, Boyney? Boyney, what's wrong? You know what that is? That's the goat! The MFA goat! The goat is back! Boyney, when did your clothes come off? I don't even remember. They just melted off of me from pure joy. Oh, what's this, Karen? Take a look. <gasps> oh my god, Boyney! I've never seen it like that before! I know. It's like the Grinch's heart. It grew three sizes this day. See, this is what Tom Brady does to me. He makes me that happy. So, Boyney, how do you want to celebrate? I want to go run in the street. I got to tell everybody. But, Boyney, it's on the news. The people know about it. Hey, everybody! He's back! The gold is back! All of our problems are over now! Brady's back! Attention, everyone! Attention! I have crapped my pants. Now, who wants to wipe me? I'll start the bidding off at $10. $10, do I hear $10? Mommy in the back, $10. Daddy up front for $15. $15, Daddy, $15. No, Jeffy, we're not gonna bid on who gets to wipe your poop butt. <laughs> uh, I'll answer the door. Baby, you wipe him. What? No! Jesus, who is this? Hello? Marvin! <laughs> What's going on, buddy? The goal is back. He's back. What? Tom MF and Brady, he's back. He came out of retirement. He did? Yeah, he said I'm not done bending over all the other teams in the NFL. He's like, mm, mm, take this every other NFL team. That's what he's doing tonight and his supermodel wife. You know? Why are you naked? Oh, I got so excited when I heard the news that I just ran out of my house naked. You know, both of my grandparents are dead, but I'd rather have Tom Brady back. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Yeah, it's really exciting. I mean, he was only retired for like two months. I know. I don't know how I was going to live. But, you know, do you think he came out of retirement because he saw all the letters that I sent him saying that I was going to end it all if he didn't come back? I'm, I'm sure he read them. Yeah, I bet he did. <sighs> Never responded, though. Man, I'm so pumped. I just want to throw something. Hey, can I throw this? Uh, no, please don't. Sorry, I already threw it before you said no. Hey, you got a shirt I can borrow? It, I have a spare shirt inside. Oh, man, can I come in? I'm not done talking about this. Oh, sure, 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 buddy. Marvin, I wiped Jeffy. Thanks, baby. <gasps> Marvin, I didn't know you had a twin brother. Okay, that's just insulting. I am not nearly as bald as him. I mean, look at this. Look, look, how, look how bald that is. So bald and ugly. But you know what? I'm not going to get upset because it's Brady Day. I heard about that. He's back. That's right. He's back because he's the go. High five. All right, screw me then. Hey, do you mind if I go into your fridge and get a beer? Thanks. Well, no, no, no. Uh, Marvin, what's he doing here? I don't know, baby. He just showed up to the front door naked. What? I, I don't know. Chef Pee Pee? Chef Pee Pee, please answer me. Hey, what's going on here? Ever since Chef Pee Pee found out that Tom Brady unretired, he hasn't moved. He just keeps making that face. Bah! Chef Pee Pee? Bah! Mm -hmm. 
Well, what's he doing? Oh, he's doing that because Tom Brady's the GOAT and he's back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It should be me! His head exploded! Yeah, Tom Brady can make you feel like that. Oh, shit me! No! Speak to me, shit me! No, shit me! Hey, everybody! I'm back! Just like Brady! You said one beer. Yeah, yeah, well, Tom Brady said he was gonna retire. So I guess sometimes shit just doesn't work out the way you think, huh? Because he said, one more beer! A year! Well, one more year! Yeah, I mean, it is pretty cool. Hey, hey, why are you guys celebrating? This is a fucking goat, man. Well, I mean, it, it, it's just, it's, it's awesome, you know? It's cool. Cool? No, it's more than cool. It is astounding, okay? Yeah, it is amazing. So, I, I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take and lie, I'm gonna lie down. And then when I wake up, this better not be a dream or I'm going to be pissed. Just let him sleep, Marvin. <sighs> Who's that? It better not be another drunk person. Hello? Hey, it's me, Tom Brady. Tom Brady? Well, what are you doing here? Well, I need your help, son. What, my, my help? What do you need my help with? Well, let me come inside and explain. O okay, sir. Yes, sir. Who's at the door, Marvin? Tom Brady! What? Hi, I'm Tom Brady. Ba ba oh, no, ba no, no, settle down, settle down. Oh, oh, is he okay? Oh, well, he found out you were unretiring and he got drunk. Oh, yeah, that'll happen. You know, today is a national holiday. It's national me not really retiring day. Well, what do you need my help with? Well, ever since I retired, the Buccaneers signed a new quarterback and now they can't afford to pay me. Well, what do you want me to do about it? I want you to go to that new quarterback and break his kneecaps, you hear me? Well, what, break his kneecaps? Yeah, if he doesn't have kneecaps, he can't play football. Who's the new quarterback? Um, something like Cack or Yak or Snack or something like that. But listen, you break his kneecaps or I'll break yours. Well, uh, did Tom Brady just threaten me? I think he did! That's not a good thing, baby! But Marvin, we have to do it because when Tom Brady tells you to do something, you do it! We don't even know the name of the new quarterback. Hmm. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm done answering the door. You go answer it. Okay. Hello? Hey, babe. Dak, what are you doing here? Guess you just signed a two-year, $100 million, fully guaranteed contract with the Buccaneers. I did. You see the money? You're the new quarterback for the Buccaneers? I sure am. They signed me just before Tom Brady came out of retirement, so I guess that old fart's just gonna have to sit on the bench while I'm throwing darts. Pew! Well, what are you doing here? Well, I just came to see if you wanted to run away with me. You know, be my trophy wife, live in a big mansion, occasionally get cheated on, but that's just the life of a sports wife, you know? Being with a big superstar like me. You know what, Dak? That sounds great. How about you go upstairs while I'll go pack my bags and tell my husband all about it? <laughs> with pleasure. Marvin Dak's at the door. What? He's the new quarterback for the Buccaneers. You have to break his knees. Uh, hey, poor. Did you just call me poor? Yeah, because you are. I am not poor. Oh, yeah? Well, how many hundred million dollars do you have? I have no millions of exactly. dollars. Exactly. That's why you're poor and I'm rich, because I have a hundred million dollars. So you're the new quarterback to the Buccaneers? Yep, sure am. Well, what about Tom Brady? Pff, he's old news. He should never have retired. Now I have his job. Well, what are you doing here then? I just came to tell you that I'm stealing your wife. Now break his knees. Uh, uh, so, uh, how's your knees feeling? Oh, my knees? What a weird question, but my knees are great. I have very healthy knees. I have like a newborn baby's knees. Newborn babies can't walk. A newborn baby on steroids is what I meant to say. Look, man, my knees are unbreakable. Oh, well, uh, baby, before you run away with this millionaire superstar, um, I want to fix this couch because it, it, it is crooked. Oh, yeah, it sure is. So I'm going to grab a hammer to fix the couch. Pff, poor people have to fix their furniture. Rich people like me can just buy a new couch. Okay, I got the hammer. Make sure you hit it nice and good, Marvin. <laughs> That's what she's going to say to me later. Oh, look, there's a spot. Wait, whoa, bro, watch out. You almost hit my precious kneecap. Sorry, I was aiming for the couch. Huh, that was weird. You know what? I'm gonna hide my knees around you. Oh, baby, he's hiding his knees. Think of something, Marvin. Uh. If you're happy and you know it, show your knees. If, if you're, you're happy, happy and you know, know it, show your knees. knees. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Why are you so interested in Dak's knees? Oh, dang it, I thought that was gonna work. Uh. Hey, Dak, while my wife packs up all her stuff and moves in with you, uh, you want to go throw the football in my house? Sure, little man. I'll play football with you. What, did your daddy never play football with you when you were a kid? <laughs> Maybe you both want to call me daddy, because she already does. Uh, yeah, you know what? Sure. You know what? Yeah, well, let's just go play the football in the house. Come on. Okay. All right, little man. Catch. What was that? I just ate popcorn. Marvin, why are you playing games? You're supposed to be breaking his kneecaps. Baby, I'm distracting him by playing football. I hired a sumo wrestler to run at his knees. You did what? Oh, there he is. We're going to break a knee. Ah! 
Dodge a sack! Whoa, 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 that was close. He almost hit my kneecaps. Hey, catch, Marvin! Ugh. Dang it, I thought the sumo wrestler was gonna work. What now, Marvin? I don't know. The sumo wrestler was my last option. Throw the ball, loser! <gasps> I got an idea. What if when I throw the football, you throw a hammer at his knees? He'll be too busy focused on the ball, he won't look at his knees. Good idea, Marvin. Okay, I'm gonna get the ball. All right, Dak, are you ready? Yeah! All right, baby, after I throw the ball, you throw the hammer. Okay. Ah! Whoa, bro, is that a hammer? Okay, my, my knees feel unsafe. What? Baby, you missed! Oh, I'm sorry. I don't throw hammers every single day. Oh, look, we have to go break his knees, come on! Dak, where are you going? I'm getting my money and I'm leaving. Buddy! Why? Well, why are you trying to leave? I'm starting to feel like you guys are trying to break my kneecaps. Well, why to break no. your kneecaps? Why, why would we do something no. like that? Well, maybe Tom Brady hired you to get me out of the way. No, that's, I don't that's know the, Tom Brady. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I mean, maybe. But what? I mean, look, Tom Brady hires to break your kneecaps because he wants to play and you're taking his job. And look, you suck. Just give him the job. What? Okay, that's it. I'm out of here. What if we got, we got to break your kneecaps? Well, you guys are never going to break my kneecaps. Never, 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 never. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, Marvin. He fell down the stairs. Do you think he broke his kneecaps? I hope so. Oh, God, you guys are so loud. Oh, man, my head hurts. What are you screaming about? A guy fell down the stairs. Oh, oh no. I'm a doctor. I'll go check on him. What are, uh, uh. I can't feel my knees. Uh, Dak, are you okay? Uh, my kneecaps. Hey, I'm a doctor. I can tell you what's going on. Uh, I think I have a concussion because I'm seeing two of you. Well, he just barred my shirt. We're not twins. Oh, yeah. This is pretty bad. Both of your kneecaps are broken. No, not my kneecaps. No. Well, Marvin, we did it. Yeah, we broke his kneecaps. Wait, you did that to him? Well, we were supposed I to, know. but it was like an accident. You know? guys actually did it. You sick bastards. Tom Brady? Yep, that's me, Tom Brady. You guys are fucking weird. What? Tom, don't go! Tom! Guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know, dude. I'm bored. Me too. I. You want to go play basketball? We did that yesterday, dude. We can pick our noses. I can't reach my nose. I said arg. Cody, why are you dressed like a pirate? Well, guys, I want a free pirate cruise for me and my three best buds. What's a pirate cruise? Well, that's where you dress up like a pirate and you get on a boat. How'd you win that? Well, I ate the most parrots in under a minute at the live parrot eating contest. You ate a live parrot? I ate three live parrots. No ketchup, no mustard? Nope. Raw parrots. What? Jesus. You didn't eat three live parrots in under a minute. Yes, I did. I have the video right here. Wow, look at this young man go. He's on his third parrot. Hurry up and die, parrot. Eat me. Yeah, it's pretty graphic, but I sure can scarf down some birds. Isn't that wrong, Cody? Well, you eat chicken, don't you? Yeah, but it's cooked. What, you guys are telling me you've never eaten live chicken? Oh, you guys are missing out. It's the best. When they're gobbling for their life and pecking at you? Yeah, there's nothing like choking down some cock. Chicken's pretty good, too, though. Well, Cody, what three friends are you going to take with you on your pirate cruise? Well, the three friends I have right here in front of me. Jeffy, Joseph, and Ken. But why Ken? Well, these guys like pirate stuff and you don't. Like, Ken likes getting pegged, and Joseph knows all the words to every Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Never seen one of them. And Jeffy likes booty. Sure do. Well, I want to go on the pirate cruise. Leave Ken behind. No, I'm sorry, Jim. You're just not pirate material. What can I prove to you that I'm a pirate? Well, I did get a parrot to go from the competition. <laughs> Eat me! Yeah, if you can eat this parrot in under a minute, you'll be a real pirate. Can I use ketchup or mustard? Nope, you gotta eat him raw. raw. Eat me, pussy! Yeah, eat him, Junior. He wants to die. Um, where do I start? Where do I bite? Oh, the eyeball is my favorite part. Raw. Oh, yeah! Raw. Uh, I don't know, Cody. See, he likes it. <laughs> okay, I'll... Yeah. <laughs> well, Junior, he ate the whole thing, bones and all. The way it's supposed to be eaten. You want me to pick that up? Yeah, please. It's, um... You know what? Leave it. Anyway, congratulations! You can come on the pirate cruise with us. Okay. Aren't you happy? Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, you all have to dress up like pirates for the pirate cruise. Oh, dude, I already got an outfit picked out. Yeah, me too. I don't have a pirate outfit, but I could dress up like Peter Pan. What, Junior, you're gonna dress like Peter Pan on the pirate cruise? Well, I mean, I don't know how to get a pirate outfit, and I already have Peter Pan. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. Look, the cruise is tomorrow, and I'll meet you guys on the boat. Your hat. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna need that for the cruise. You didn't even tell us where the boat is. Yeah, well, well, what boat? What time? How? 
I guess we'll figure it out, dude. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Jesus. All right, guys, welcome to the Pirate Cruise. I'm your captain, and I'm a buccaneer. Yar. You get it? I, I didn't have a pirate costume. Okay, you guys want a pirate cruise, so I'm going to be sailing you around the seven seas looking for a party and, and maybe some booty. You guys into chicks? Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, fat ones. Not really. Okay, well, I'm going to be sailing you guys around. You guys just have fun and try to stay away from the back of the boat, okay? I don't want you guys falling out. What, kid, what are you supposed to be? You don't look like a pirate. I'm dressed like Peter Pan. Dude, you're definitely an elf. Yeah, you look like an elf. This is the only thing I had to look like Peter Pan. Okay, well, you kids just have fun, and I'm going to go drive the boat. All right, kids, hold on. I'm about to floor this bitch. Screw boat of safety. If there's any kids under this boat, they're about to get chopped up by the propellers. Beep, beep. Let's go. Yo ho, yo ho. Where did all the hoes go? I love this pirate cruise, Cody. Man, it is windy out here. Come on, Joseph. Let's go get some Capri Sun. Oh, yeah, dude. Hey, Junior, I found this froggy float. You should get in with me. Oh, hell yeah, a froggy float. It is so much fun. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, uh, Jimmy, we fell off the boat. Oh. Hey. Suns. I know you got some. Yeah. Oh, we don't have Capri Suns because pirates don't have Capri Suns. I mean, I have alcohol. I'm not really supposed to have it, but I won't tell if you guys don't. Oh no, Jimmy! They don't hear us! Now we're stuck! What are we gonna do? Arg! Arg! I love this ship! Wait, dude! Where's Junior and Jeffy? I don't know. Yarr! Anything you need can bring me Peter Pan. Thank you! Now I can finish me peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh, could you actually open it for me? It's, it's hard with my hook hand. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, and could you actually take that little lid off too? That's, I, that's kind of rough. I, I, I couldn't really... Yeah. Th thank you. It's, I, I mean, no, it, it, yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. Yes, that's for... You know what? Actually, on second thought, could you actually just make the rest of me sandwich for me? Yeah, I, I'll go look around the ship. I'll, I'll look around the ship. Thank you very much. Sometimes the pirate life is not for me. Yo ho, Captain! So when you gonna let me touch your cannon? My cannon specifically says don't touch this cannon or you'll walk the plank. Come on, I've been a pirate for two months. I wanna shoot it. Let me shoot it! No, only I can touch the cannon. God, pirate life sucks! Oh, yo ho, Captain! Oh, it's somebody in that damn water! What, somebody in the water? Is yeah. it a mermaid? I'd be lonely. Ain't no mermaids like that. It's actual people. It look like kids. They're drowning. With kids? Well, go reel them in and get the net. Oh, okay, okay. Oh man, Jeffy, they're never gonna find us. We're gonna be stranded here forever. Pirate ship. <gasps> pirate ship? Hey, a pirate ship! Wait, hey, right here! All right, Captain, I'm throwing the net! Ugh! Ugh! We got him, Captain, we got him! Bring him on board! Uh, thank you so much for saving our lives! Are you boys okay? Yeah, what y'all doing in that deep ass water? Well, we fell off our pontoon well, boat. It isn't Peter Pan. Wait, the boy that took your hand? It sure be. Oh, I've been waiting for years to get me revenge on you, Peter Pan. I'm not Peter Pan. Arg! Oh, good. We rescued one of our fellow pirates. I'll give you all me booty for getting Peter Pan for me. He's definitely one of us. But well, I'm not Peter Pan, though. Oh, okay, Peter Pan. Well, I have a crocodile on board. I've been waiting to feed your hand to. Come on! What? Uh, all right, uh, what was your name? Captain Crunch. All right, Captain Crunch. I know the sign says don't touch me treasure, but you can touch me treasure because you brought me Peter Pan. Okay. Touching the fuck out of it. Yes, just make sure you don't touch me pet rat Gerald. He's me only friend. What? Hold on. I've been on this ship for two months and I ain't get the chance to touch this gold. Well, you're a pirate. I don't trust you around me treasure. Hold on. He a pirate too. Well, he brought me Peter Pan. Look, look, I just gotta ask. Is it because I'm black? No. I'm the only black person on this pirate ship, and you won't let me touch the gold. No, no, it, it's not that. Oh, look, look, can I play some music then? Only if it's 100% copyright free. What? No Drake? No, no, no. See, we're pirates, but we don't pirate music. That, that would be wrong. You wouldn't download a car, would you? Oh, I guess not. Just, just put on some royalty-free music. <sighs> and you, Peter Pan, time for you to meet me, Crocodile. All right, Peter Pan, meet Carl, the hand-eating crocodile. <laughs> now I want you to feed him your hand like you fed him mine. I didn't feed him your hand. Oh, yeah? Then why do I only have one hand? I bet it hurts to wipe. Oh, it do. Sometimes it pokes through the toilet paper and I give myself a colonoscopy. But you, Peter Pan, you need to feed him your hand. But I don't want to. Do it! Uh <laughs> oh, oh, I should have been more clear. Fe feed him the hand that doesn't have a sword in it. Uh... 
Get him, Jimmy! Ow, 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 ow. I don't know. My first mate, Tyrone, help me! Ow, 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 ow. Nah, you good. I get to touch your treasure now. Touch, 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 touch. Jimmy, feed the crocodile's other hand! No, please, not be good hand. How will I wipe? Hey, Jeffy, can you drive this pirate ship and get us home? Sure can, Junior! <laughs> Screw you, Peter Pan! You made me lose me good hand! Now I'm really gonna kill you! Uh, you're not gonna kill me? Yes, I am! Uh, Ow, me good eye! Uh, uh, Jeffy, I'm gonna go tie this guy up! You just drive us home! All right, Junior! <laughs> of Captain Hook, who is being accused of kidnapping a child and then trying to feed said kidnapped child's hand to a crocodile to get his glorious revenge. Captain Hook, you do realize that the year is 2023 and pirates are not really a thing anymore, so what the hell were you doing? Why? Because Peter Pan fed me hand to a crocodile! Well, now both me hands, actually. Hmm, very interesting. Peter Pan! Is this true? Did you feed both of Captain Oak's hands to a crocodile? I'm not Peter Pan. My name's Junior. I'm just in a Peter Pan costume. Oh, shit. Wrong Peter Pan. Well, you still fed me other hand to a crocodile, and you hit me in the eye. So I hate you just as much as the other Peter Pan. So, Junior, not Peter Pan. I guess now you are being charged with feeding Captain Hook's hands to a crocodile. But I did that in self-defense. But I saved you and your friend from the ocean. You could have drowned. Wait, wait, hold on. Captain Hook, you saved Peter Pan's life, but not Peter Pan. And then you tried to feed his hand to a crocodile? I, I don't understand. When I saved him, I didn't realize he was Peter Pan, and then I realized he was Peter Pan, even though he's not really Peter Pan, so I tried to feed his hand to a crocodile back when I thought that he was the real Peter Pan, which he's not. Okay, this shit doesn't make sense. Are there any witnesses who saw what happened that could tell me what the fuck is going on? Me, me, me! I was there! I saw the whole thing! It was self-defense, and uh, Captain Hook is racist. He wouldn't let me touch his gold or his cannon. Well, it's not a racist thing. It's a pirate thing. It's me cannon and me gold. I don't let anyone touch me cannon and me gold. Except for that cracker ass you say from the ocean. You let him touch all the gold. I've been there for two months and ain't got to touch it. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. How about this? This sounds like something I don't care about anymore. Captain Hook, you lost both of your hands, which seems like punishment enough. And you are dressed like Peter Pan, but you're not Peter Pan, so I order you to take that off. Because that seems like where we got confused and started losing hands, so get rid of that. Uh, I do order Captain Hook to get rid of that crocodile, because that seems like a liability. And I also, I still don't understand how you have a pirate ship in 2023. That still doesn't make sense to me. I, I don't really know where we go from here. I, I, I just, I'm gonna dismiss the whole case. You know, I don't really know who's in trouble, so case dismissed. I, I don't really know what the punishment is, so I, I think we can go home. I, I want to bang this one more time, just to clear the air. There we go, that feels good. I feel, I feel like we're done. I think we can go home now. Man, what you think happened to Joseph and Jeffy? You're Joseph. Shit, what do you think happened to Junior and Jeffy? Do you think they got lost at sea? I the sea be a cruel mistress. But seriously though, I am pretty worried. I, I'm so worried I haven't even touched my parrot I ordered from Uber Eats. <laughs> Eat me, daddy. I will later. Hey guys. Junior, you're alive! Dude, what happened? Well, me and Jeffy fell off the boat and then Captain Hook saved us and he thought I was Peter Pan because I was dressed like Peter Pan. So he tried to feed my hand to a crocodile because apparently Peter Pan fed his hand to a crocodile. But then I fought back and fed his other hand to a crocodile and then we went to court. What? I, I'm so confused. That's what the judge said. Arr, I'm here to get me revenge. I'll kill all of you. <laughs> Captain Hook! Uh, what are you doing here? The judge said just forget about it. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Is, is that Patches? <laughs> Captain Hook? Oh, Patches, I missed you so much. I'll tell you what. If you let me have me pet parrot Patches back, I won't kill all of you. Okay, you can have them. Oh, come on, Patches. <laughs> you couldn't think of an ending, could you? No.
Jeffy, stop clicking that pin. I'm practicing. For what? I'm trying to set the record for most pin clicks in one second. What's the record? I don't know. I haven't set the record yet, but I think I can do 40. There's no way you can click a pin 40 times in one second, Jeffy. Yes, I can, Daddy. It's easy. It's light work. Then show me. All right, Mommy, time me. Okay, and go. One Mississippi. All right, how many was that? I don't know. I was too busy saying one Mississippi. It was at least 20. No, Jeffy, it was like five. Well, then you counted wrong. All right, Mommy, let's do it again. Okay, and go. One Mississippi. Jeffy, you kept clicking when she was done counting. Well, it took my brain a second to tell my finger to stop clicking after I heard it. What? Yeah, I thought I counted at least 35. No, Jeffy, you only got like six. If you take away the ones you cheated, you did like four. All right, well then let's do it one more time, Mommy. Okay, and go. One Mississippi. You're still clicking when she's done counting, Jeffy. Well, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Jeffy, there's no way you're going to set the record for 40 pin clicks in one second. All right, well then I'll try to set the record for most pin clicks in an hour. Wait, Jeffy, no one's going to count for an hour. I'm counting. We're not doing this. G give me the pin. <laughs> hey, where my pin go? <gasps> Marvin, look the news! Breaking news, okay? A 21-year-old woman is selling her used bath water for $250 a jar. I have an exclusive interview with her now. So, Gamer Girl 69 tell me about your business. Okay, so I eat a bunch of Taco Bell, right? And then I take a massive dump, and I don't wipe. I jump straight into the bathtub, and then I take a jar like this, and I fill it with my bath water and sell it for $250 a jar. Fascinating. And how many jars have you sold? I don't know, like 10000 So you've made $2.5 million on selling your bath water? Yeah, and I just bought my second house in Miami. Well, that's wonderful for you. I'll actually take a jar. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Go ahead and Get your jar of bath water for $250. Ew, that's disgusting. Marvin, who would buy someone else's bath water? What are you even supposed to do with it? What do you think it tastes like? Ew, Jeffy. It probably tastes like germs and poop. Well, so she was naked in that tub? Yes. And she didn't wipe? No. You should buy some. As a prank. No, Jeffy, that's degrading to women. Yeah, we're never going to spend money on something stupid like that, Jeffy. Well, then can I save up my money and buy some? No, Jeffy, just go to your room. You don't even have a credit card, so you couldn't buy it even if you wanted to. Damn it. <sighs> Jeffy's so weird sometimes. I bet I can nut faster than you, Joseph. No way, dude. I got the fastest nut. Then let's race our nuts. All right, bet. One, two, three. Ha, ha, ha. I won, dude. I got the fastest nut. <laughs> well, there's no way you cheated. You pushed your nut. No, you're just mad because I got the fastest nut. Hey, guys, I'm mad. What's wrong, Jeffy? Well, there's this gamer girl selling her bath water for $250, and my daddy says I can't buy any. Well, that's disgusting. Why would you want to buy someone's bath water? Because she ate Taco Bell and pooped in it. Ew, that's gross, dude. But she's hot. Whoa, 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 whoa. You didn't say she was hot now. Yeah, if she's hot, we want some. She's super hot. Oh, my God. That would be so cool to own a hot girl's bath water. Yeah, and we get to take turns taking sips of it. Oh, I wonder what it smells like. Shit. Oh, my God. That would be so cool. Okay, so we could buy some. And do you think if we put our hand in the water, we technically touch the hot girl? Oh, dude, definitely. Technically. Yeah, but the only bad thing is that she only accepts credit cards. We don't have a credit card. We're only kids. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Why don't you go steal your dad's credit card? That's a good idea, Junior. I'll be right back. Ooh, Marvin, I'm getting hungry. What should we eat for dinner? I don't know. What do you want? Cheese pizza. Ooh, cheese pizza sounds good. Can we order one? Uh, yeah, let me grab my credit card. Okay, I'll order it online, but I'm a really slow typer. Well, look, the credit card's right there. No, Joseph, I can only nut so many times in a day. Dude, we gotta race one more time. I'm definitely gonna shoot it off the table. I'm aiming for the wall. Okay, let's do it. Hey, guys! I got your credit card! Oh, my God, you gotta order it. Order the bath water. All right, I'm ordering it right now. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. Yeah. Well, guys, guess what? They got same-night shipping. Oh, dude, you gotta get it. It's a sign. Yeah, I want it tonight. Ordered. Oh, oh yeah, dude. I can't believe we get to touch hot girl's bath water. Smell it and lick it. Okay, guys, uh, you gotta return uh, your dad's credit card. All right, I'll be right back. Don't get caught. Yeah. Okay, Marvin, it's time to pay. Wait, where's the credit card? What, you lost it? I didn't lose it. I put it right there and said, there it is. You must have put it somewhere. I didn't touch it. Oh, check the couch cushions. Hey. I can't believe you lost it. I don't know where it is. I don't know. I'm going to check this cushion. Hey, look, there it is. Well, how did it get there? Wait, I just checked right there. You must have found it and put it right there so I wouldn't get mad at you. Marvin, this is not my fault. Well, you just order the stupid dumb pizza. Ugh. All right, guys, I'll return the card back to my daddy. Okay, Jeffy, I just thought of something. Whose name did you order the bathwater under? Well, I had to put my daddy's name because that name had to match the name on the card. Smart. They can't trace it back to us, dude. Yeah, we don't want to get caught buying this stuff. Oh, that, that must be it. Go get it, Jeffy. Go get it. All right. 
Ooh, Marvin, that must be the pizza. There's no way. You just ordered it like 30 seconds ago. Well, maybe they cooked it really fast. I put in the notes that we were really hungry. No, something's not right. I'm gonna answer the door. I'll get it, Daddy. No, Jeffy, you stay in your room. It's just pizza and you don't get any. Oh, no. Hello? Hello, sir. Special delivery. Wait, that's not pizza. Oh, it's way better than pizza. Plus, it's discreet shipping, so if you have a girlfriend, she'll never find out. But there's no way you'd have a girlfriend because only desperate guys order these. I ordered 20. What is it? Oh, you'll find out. Oh, okay. Was that the pizza, Marvin? No, it was this weird package. Oh, maybe it's the drinks. Why would they deliver the drinks and not the pizza? I don't know, Marvin. I don't know what it could be. Well, let's open it. No, 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 don't open it. What if it's like a bomb or something? What, are you hiding something? No. <gasps> Game of Girl bathwater too, Marvin! You sick on you free! I did not order this! Then why does it say too, Marvin? I don't know. Someone's pulling a prank on me. That's an expensive prank, Marvin. $250! Well, I did not order this. You can check my credit card statement. Okay, fine. Yeah, it's not going to be on there. <gasps> what? It was charged to your credit card! Well, someone's like doing fraud or something. Oh, is that why you lost your card, Marvin? So you can order your Gamer Girl bath water? No, I swear I did not order this. Okay, fine. Then I'm going to pour it down the sink. Well, I mean, that would be a waste of money just to pour it down the sink. <gasps> so you do care about it? No, I just think we should probably try to return it and get the $250 back. Oh, no, I'm pouring it down the sink. I did not order this. All right, Marvin, say bye-bye to your weird fetish water. I did not order that. Well, then you won't care when I pour it down the sink. I'm not going to care. I just think we should possibly try to return it. No, because then you're just going to try to keep it. How does that make you feel, you pervert? I didn't order it, so I don't care. <gasps> guys, 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 my daddy entered the door, and he got the package, and my mommy made him pour it down the sink. Dude, I needed to taste that. I wanted to brag to people and say we had it. I know, but fortunately, I saved my daddy's credit card information so we can order some more. Savage. Oh my god. She's selling her dirty underwear and her dirty socks. Oh, dude, get it. Get the socks. I need the socks. I got a foot fetish. I said it. Oh, there's also another option where she'll send you a pizza that she stepped on with her feet. That. We need that. We need that right now. Look, look. I'll wipe my mouth with the socks. Ugh, okay, I said it. I got a foot fetish. Yeah, get, 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 the, get the underwear. Ordered. Oh, yeah! Thank you, Jeffy. Okay, okay, Joseph, go look out the window. When the delivery guy comes out, uh, we'll, we'll run out there and meet him so he doesn't ring the doorbell. Okay, bet. Oh, we're going to get it this time. Yep. You're sick, Marvin. Sick. I told you I didn't order it. Well, you know what? I'm going to take a bath now, and I want you to pay me $250 for my bath water. But that's gross. <gasps> it's gross because it's my bath water because I'm not some hot gamer chick? I told you I did not order that water. You know what? Fine, Marvin. Okay. Whatever. Guys, guys, guys. He's pulling up. Jeffy, go grab it. On it. Hey. Whoa, you scared me. I didn't even ring the doorbell. Yeah, there's a baby sleeping upstairs. I didn't want you to wake him up. I hate kids. Here you go. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you already paid online. Yeah, I know. All right. All right, guys, I got it. All right, give me the socks. Another pizza. No both. Joseph, calm down. We're all going to share. No, dude, I can't wait any longer. All right, who's ready? I am, I am, I am. Where are the panties? Where's the footprint? In the socks. This is just a normal pizza. We got ripped off. Oh, no. Do you think we got the wrong pizza? Yeah. Ooh, that must be the pizza. You sure it's not more Gamer Girl bath water? No, it's not. It's just a pizza. Yeah, okay. Danny, don't answer that. Jeffy, stay in your room. I'm answering the door. It's just pizza. Well, you said that last time. Let me answer it. No, Jeffy, it's just pizza. Stay in your room. If you leave your room again, no electricity for a week. I will turn off the electricity to your room. Jeez. Yeah, you stay right there. You can go back in your room. Hello? Hey, somebody order a pizza? Or should I say, pizza? <laughs> I order these all the time. It's just a pizza. Yeah, sure, buddy. Listen, do not deliver any of those disgusting packages to my house ever again. You got me in trouble. Oh, I get it. Of course, I'll never deliver anything disgusting to this house ever again. Here's your package, buddy. Okay. Okay, baby, I got the pizza. I'm surprised it wasn't more bath water. Baby, you said you were hungry. You ordered the pizza. Let's dig in. I know you want a pizza, this ass. I stepped on this for you, too, too. Marvin, love gamer, girl. P.S. I stuffed the crust with my underwear. Marvin, you're sick. Your crusts are disgusting. I did not order this. Actually, I really didn't order it. You're the one who ordered the pizza. Yes, but I put it under your name, and I use your credit card. You must get this all the time. No, 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 no. You know I would not order a pizza that was stepped on, apparently, in, in socks. Why are there dirty socks on the pizza? I don't know. 
like, they, there's a crust that's stuffed with dirty underwear. I promise you, baby, I did not order this. I would never order this. Someone is screwing with me. Marvin, I don't know who you are anymore. You changed. I'm leaving you. <laughs> but I did not order this. I did not order it. Who, who, is, who is doing this to me? Who? Jeffy, it sounds like your parents are about to get a divorce. Yeah, maybe. Don't you think you should tell them the truth? Yeah, dude, I don't have parents. But if I could bring them back over an apology over a feet pizza, I totally would. Yeah, guess I'll go do the right thing. Marvin, my bags are packed and I'll send you the divorce papers in the mail. You cannot leave me over this. I did not order this pizza or the bath water. Hey, Mommy. Hey, Daddy. I got a confession to make. Not right now, Jeffy. I'm the one who ordered the Gamer Girl bath water and the feet pizza. Aha! Aha! We, we find out who did it. It was Jeffy. Jeffy, that's so sweet of you to lie for Marvin. Yeah, I am pretty great. What? No, 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 no. Jeffy, did you really order all this stuff? Yeah, I stole your credit card when you guys weren't looking. See, 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 that's what my credit card. That's why we couldn't find it. He, he moved it. Marvin, are you sure you're not paying him to say this for you? I am not paying Jeffy at all. Jeffy, am I paying you? Nope. See, see I am not paying him. He, it was his fault. It was Jeffy's fault. Marvin, I'm so sorry I didn't believe you. Yeah, Jeffy, you are grounded. As I should be. You know what? I'm going to take this pizza straight to the trash. I'm going straight to my room. Yes, you are. For two weeks with no power. Uh, yep, I will turn the lights off. Right in the trash is where this will be. Yeah, you, you go. You get out of here. Oh my god. I'm glad you finally know the truth. Hey, wait a minute! <laughs> oh, dirty feet! What? Jeffy, what are you doing? Oh. What, what, what is going on with you kids? I am ashamed. Oh, Jeffy, you're coming with me. Get, get the top of your head. Come on! All right, Jeffy, you're gonna sit on this couch for two weeks. No TV, no video games, no electricity, except for the lights that are on in this room, but you can't look at them. Don't look. Don't, don't ever look up. You, you're, right. you're not allowed to, okay? So no electricity, no fun. Just sit right there grounded. Okay, but you want to know what doesn't use electricity? What? Breaking the world record for most pin clicks in an hour. Start counting. One, two, three. What do you want to do today? We should stay inside and read a book. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I was kidding. Anyone else have any bright ideas? Well, we could go in the forest and light this firework. <gasps> that would be such a cool idea! Oh, dude, we have to do that. That's fun! Uh, okay, hold on, guys. It's daytime, so you wouldn't even be able to see it. And also, it's the dry season, so we could cause a forest fire. And the firework is bent, so it won't even fly straight. It might hit somebody. Cody, are you a firework expert? No, but I have eyes and I can see that it's bent. Then I don't want to hear your opinion if you're not a firework expert. I want to see your firework license. <sighs> All right, fine. Well, we're going to go light this firework, Cody. You coming? No, I'm not going. Wow, stay here and be a loser. Come on, guys. Loser. Okay, Jeffy, light the firework. All right, Junior, this is going to be sick. Yeah, dude. Oh, stay back, stay back, stay back. Oh, oh. Stay back, stay back. Oh, dude. Oh, it, it hit the tree. Uh, dude, we just started a forest fire! Let's get out of here! Ah! Uh, uh. Jesus Christ, Simmons, there's a forest fire and there are houses around. Should we go in the houses and check for cats? No, I think we should focus on putting out the fire. You go get some bottles of water and start throwing them on there. On it! God, I really wish we had a real fire truck with water. We don't really get any funding these days. Okay, I'm gonna call for backup. Hello, Chief? This is Station 4. Thank you, thank you. We need backup. Over. Yes, Lieutenant Guy? What do you need backup for? Yeah, Chief, I got a forest fire here, and you didn't give me a truck with water, so I don't really know what to do. Also, the Dalmatian you gave me is not a Dalmatian. He's just really cute, and all he wants is cuddles. To be fair, I don't know what the Dalmatian was supposed to do anyway. Well, what I would do is ask any nearby houses if you can use their water hose. And if that doesn't work, spit on it. Oh, yeah, I got it, Chief. Over and out, thank you. Hey, mate, I found this lighter. A lighter? That means kids might have been playing with fireworks. Simmons, take that back to the police station and look for fingerprints. Screw this fire. We have a suspect to look for. Ah! What are we gonna do? I don't know, dude! So how'd it go? Based on your reaction, I would guess not great. It went great, Cody. Yeah, perfectly fine, dude. Shut up! Yeah, shut your pie hole, Cody! So how'd it go? Why do you keep asking questions? Yeah, just shut your mouth, God! Yeah, you're acting like we started a forest fire or something. We did it. You're totally innocent. You know what? I'm gonna turn on the news just to see. Breaking news, okay? A forest fire is currently burning the forest. The cause is unknown. Please stay away from the area. Wow, looks like somebody started a forest fire. I wonder who did it. Dude, 
they're totally onto us. What are we gonna do? Ow! Shut up, Joseph. No one knows we caused that forest fire. Oh, yeah, we totally did not cause that forest fire. Technically, it was the fireworks fault. <gasps> it was the fireworks fault. It wasn't our fault. So you guys did start the forest fire. No, Cody, tell us whose fault this is. We took a firework into the woods and we lit it, and then it blew up randomly and then made the forest catch on fire. Randomly. Well, you guys lit the fireworks, so it's not that random, is it? Well, we didn't want it to go in the forest. We lit it so it'd blow up in the sky. It curved and went into the woods. It was bent. I told you that was going to happen. So everyone who buys a firework is supposed to bring you with them to tell them not to do it? There are warnings on the fireworks. Well, no one's going to read the warning. They're just excited they have a firework. They just want to hurry up and light it. And we're kids. I think they just assume it's common sense. Well, I don't have that. I know. So look, I think we should sue the firework company for making fireworks to begin with. Dude, that's a genius idea. I think you guys should just stay quiet because nobody knows you started the fire. But if you try to sue somebody, they're going to find out. Well, no, if we sue them first before we get arrested, then they're gonna get in trouble because we could sue them because why would they even make something that explodes? That's dangerous. And that's stupid. So we should sue them, we'd win, we get more money, then we buy more fireworks, then we cause more forest fires, then we sue them again. Ooh, the infinite money glitch. Oh, we gotta do it before they patch it. Yeah, infinite money glitch. Okay, you guys can just do whatever you want. I'm gonna stay here. Okay, I'm gonna call a lawyer. Hey there, you called a lawyer for some legal advice? Yeah, we did. Well, I want to let you know that I charge $10,000 a minute, so start talking. We don't have that kind of money. Well, then I'm leaving. Well, no, 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 don't leave. We know your son Richard, and he said that you'd be our lawyer for free. He said that? He sure did. I'm gonna beat his ass. Richard, get your privileged ass in here! Yeah, Dad, you told me to wait in the Lamborghini. Do you know these poor people? Hey, Richard. Hi. I've never seen him a day before in my life. Okay, good. You lied to me. Well, no, we didn't lie to you. We, we know him. Look, here's what's going on. They started a forest fire by lighting some fireworks in the woods, and now they want to sue the fireworks company for making fireworks. Uh, ow! We didn't start the fire. Someone else did. It was a friend of ours. A friend of theirs started a forest fire. I see what's going on here. First of all, you can't sue the firework company. And what I would do is, I would hide, and I wouldn't say anything to anybody. There, there's your free legal advice. See, Junior, I told you. Why would you tell him that we started the forest fire? Now he's gonna go tell the cops. It was pretty obvious. No, you should have said our friend caused it. Oh, we're, we're, we're gonna go to jail now. We're so going to jail. Hey, Susan, can you run the fingerprints on this lighter for me? All right, let me see. Trying to figure out who started this forest fire. Oh my God, it was you! Oh no, Mike, get in here! What's up, Simmons? I was putting my cop outfit on. It was me who started the forest fire! His fingerprints were on the lighter! Simmons, how could you? I don't even remember doing it, Mike. All those poor wild animals. Simmons, I'm so sorry, but I hate to do this. I have to arrest you. I understand, Mike. I deserve it. Wait a second, are you wearing gloves? No, no, I am not. Hold on, there's a second set of fingerprints on here. Enhancing, enhancing, bingo, Jeffy, age 18. Oh, that makes way more sense, Simmons. I was with you the whole time. It couldn't have been you. You should just wear gloves next time. I'm gonna go arrest Jeffy. Freeze, Jeffy, you're under arrest for starting that forest fire. See, Cody, I told you that lawyer snitched on us. Well, nobody snitched, except for his fingers, because we found his fingerprints on the lighter. Well, if I chew them off, you won't have any proof. Hey, hey, hey you can't do that. Spit your fingers out. Stop eating your fingers. Damn, Pooby, you have a hairy arm. I sure do. And it's right up my ass. Well, Jeffy, have fun in jail. What, Junior, you and Joseph helped? Ooh, you dirty cracker! Yeah, you stupid honky, why would you tell him that? Oh, we gotta stick together, bro. Yeah, brothers gotta protect each other. What, you guys were really just gonna let Jeffy go to jail? When the pinky gets gangrene, you cut it off to save the body, Cody. Wait, hold on, you're saying these two kids also started the fire? Yeah. Well, no, listen, it was my idea to shoot the firework off in the forest, but I didn't light the firework, he lit it. But I, I also provided the firework, and Joseph... I ain't do shit. I'm out! Uh, it's true. He really didn't do much. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess you and Jeffy are under arrest then. Well, I want to sue the firework company for inventing fireworks. W what? Okay, look, let's just go to jail and we'll let the judge sort it out. Yeah, let's, let's let him sort it out. Order, 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 order. I am Judge Poobat, and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy and Junior. These two boys are being accused of starting a forest fire and killing chipmunks and squirrels and lizards and lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. You boys, why did you start this forest fire? Did Smokey the Bear teach you nothing? Well, you see, Your Honor, it wasn't our fault, it was the fireworks' fault. Yep, it was the fireworks' fault. Go on, please continue. 
See, Your Honor, what happened was we took the firework into the woods and we lit it and then it flew in the woods and caught on fire. So my argument is, is that if fireworks were never invented, then that we could have never gotten one and then it would have never caught the forest on fire. So we want to sue the creator of fireworks. I see. So you boys are going with the insanity defense because, I mean, you must be stupid to think you could sue a firework for blowing up. I mean, that's like me going to a restaurant, ordering food and choking on it and then suing the restaurant because I didn't chew my food. That's that's like me hiring a prostitute and then her giving me herpes and me suing her because she gave me herpes. I mean, I knew the risk and that's just, that's a memory I'm going to have to live with. And my burning urethra. So you two boys are going to have to live with the consequences of your actions the way I live with my herpes. Now, you two are obviously guilty, but what punishment do I give you? Hmm. Let me just check the punishment book real quick. Oh, there it is! Screw you, forest haters! I sentence you to plant one tree, and I sentence you to one night of community service with police supervision. Uh, Officer Guy, you accompany them. Uh, can't do that, Judge. The heat game's tonight, so you're gonna have to find someone else. Go heat! Oh, you're going to supervise these kids, or you will spend the next month in jail. That's an order. Go Knicks! Oh, you look like a Knicks fan, you bastard. Come on, kids. Ruining my night. Ugh, I hate you kids for ruining my night. Hey look, Cody left us a note! I know you guys are going to jail. Call me when you get out. Love, Cody. That was nice of him. Okay, kids, here's the deal. See, you guys are supposed to plant a tree tonight, okay? But fuck that. Mr. Beast already planted like 20 million trees, and I'm pretty sure he's got you guys covered. We're just gonna say one of those trees was yours. Now, you guys are also supposed to do community service tonight, and I'm supposed to watch you. But see, here's the thing. <laughs> the only thing I'm watching is the heat! See, because when we win this game, we're gonna go on to the Eastern Conference Finals, and then I get to wear this shirt. See that? Hemi stands for Hemi Butler. See, what he does is he whips out his ball sack on the court, and he rubs it on people's faces while he's dunking on them. But I thought we were supposed to do community service. You are doing community service. You're helping a police officer watch the Heat game. Thank you for your service. But, like, aren't we supposed to, like, tell the community that we're sorry? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell them they're sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say that by playing the game sorry while I watch the Heat beat this sorry-ass team. Like, who even are the Knicks? You really thought you could beat Jimmy <laughs> in your dreams, New York? But aren't we supposed to pick up trash on the interstate? What, the only trash that would be on the interstate is if the Knicks' bus broke down on the way home. Well, like, we can't go pick up trash outside? What? No, because there's no TV outside and I couldn't watch the Heat game. Aren't we supposed to, like, go clean up the forest? Well, okay, you guys can just do whatever the hell you want. Just don't tell the judge, okay? I'm gonna watch the Heat game. Hey, Junior, you wanna go outside and light more fireworks? Yeah, let's go do it! Oh, thank God they're gone. Ooh, the game is starting. What? what? Breaking news, MK! Okay? A second forest fire has started, and this one is so bad that we will have to interrupt the Miami Heat and New York Knicks game with around-the-clock coverage. Sorry if you're trying to watch the game. You won't be able to. <laughs> uh, we kind of just started another forest fire. Yeah, I know! I just saw it on the news! That means I don't get to watch the Heat game! Bam at a buy! No! For anyone who didn't get that, there's a guy on the Miami Heat whose name is Bam Adebayo. You know, Bam Adebayo, Bam Adebayo, no. it's a pun. I can't wait to eat my meatball sub. And I can't wait to eat my vegan tofu ball sub. Mm, mm, mm. I can't wait to eat dog shit. Jeffy, that is healthy. Well, then why don't I have to eat the green bean sub and you guys get the yummy meatball sub? Because, Jeffy, you're really young, so you have to live a long time, so you have to eat healthier. Oh, well, so that means if you eat that, that means you'll die soon, and then I'll get to eat whatever the hell I want? Jeffy, just shut up and eat. <laughs> Well, I had to make room in my belly for my meatball sub. Oh, well, I had to make room in my belly for this. <laughs> Ew, Jimmy, don't, don't blow it this way. Go open up a window. All right, I'm just going to take this with me. You're disgusting, Jeffy. I open your window. I'm just going to throw this out there. Jeffy, where's your sandwich? I uh, ate it. Where's the plate? I put it in the dishwasher. Aw, good job, Jeffy. Yeah, I'm a responsible boy. Well, Jeffy, you let two flies in the house. Go close the window. Okay. Oh, no, Marvin, one's on my sandwich. Shoot, shoot. Ugh, there's one in my face. I got it. Ow. Ow. Oh, no, Daddy's on the back of your head. Ow. 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 Daddy, stop it. Aw, it's back on my sandwich again. I got it. Ow, Jeffy, give me that. 
Ow! Yeah, that's what you get. Ow! Ow! You don't. Boy, stop it! Ow! You won't stop hitting me. Stop Ow! Me now! You won't stop hitting me. Ow! Oh, you know what, Jeffy? That's it. Do, do me that. We're gonna use raid, okay, to get rid of these stupid flies. No more hitting me with it. Okay. I got the raid. Where are the two flies at? They flew away, Marvin. Did they fly back outside? No, Dan. You told me to close the window. Oh, Jeffy, can you go looking for the flies? You want me to search the entire house for two flies? Well, your eyes look in two different directions, so it shouldn't be too hard. That is true. I'm on it, Daddy. Marvin, that was mean. Baby, I want those flies dead. They ruined our meatball date. I was about to go down on these balls. That was sus, Daddy. Jeffy, go look for the flies. All right. Hmm, where could these flies be? What the? Daddy! Okay, meatball sub, get in my mouth. Ah. Daddy! The two flies are banging on my bed! What? Yeah, come here! Oh, they're trying to reproduce, baby! Not my watch. Take that, you flying bitches! Yeah, you flying whores! What? Stop banging on my bed! No, Jeffy, where are the flies at? I don't know, Danny. They were just right here. You're not lying to me, are you? No. <gasps> Danny, look. Oh my god. They had babies! Jeffy, quick, let's leave the room and close the door and lock them in here. All right, Danny. Okay, Jeffy, we locked him in the room. Well, what do we do now? We're gonna have to call a bug guy. Come on. Baby, where's my phone? What's wrong, Marvin? Those two flies. They reproduced and now there's thousands of them. What? Yeah, but don't worry. I locked him in a room. Well, is that gonna work? It's gonna work for now until we call an exterminator and I know exactly who to call. Just, where's my phone? Okay, I found my phone. It's ringing. Please answer. Hello, I'm cooking dinner. What you want? Uh, we're trying to hire an exterminator. I'm retired. I'm sorry. Well, no, you don't understand. You're really good at killing flies, and there's a bunch of flies in my house. I stopped killing flies a long time ago after I avenged my dead grandfather. Oh, can you come please kill a few more flies? They're all in my house. I vow to never kill another fly again. I'm sorry. You'll have to find someone else. Oh, uh, Marvin, look! <gasps> oh, my God! There's thousands of flies coming out of my air vents! I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. Hey, your grandfather was a what did you say to me, Fry? I said your grandfather was a pussy and you're a pussy too. Oh, I'll come over there. Kick your ass, Fry. I'd like to see you try, pussy. Oh, pussy. I'll show you, pussy. I'm on my way and I'm going to kill all those flies. Okay, he's on his way to kill the flies. That must be him. Hello? Where is it? Where's the goddamn fry? What is that? This is my assault rifle. It shoots salt at fries and kills them. Salt kills flies? Yes, because to fry, salt is like little tiny bullets. See the salt? Yeah, because real bullets are too big to kill the fry. Well, this is gonna kill the flies. Oh, it's gonna kill the real good. Oh, okay, come upstairs. Look, 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 all the flies are in here. Oh my oh God, that's a swarm of fries. Now, which one of them called me pussy? Uh, I think it was that one. Oh, you're gonna die, you son of a bitch! They're dropping like flies! Oh no, I ran out of salt! <laughs> it's time to whip out Old Faithful. This is for my grandfather! He ain't no pussy! And neither am I! Oh no, they're taking me away! Help me! Oh no! Oh no! They're getting me too! Ah! <laughs> What's going on? They tied us up and they're gonna kill us like they did my grandma! I don't wanna die! I don't wanna die either! Listen up! Today, you killed 13 of my brothers, so you will be punished with your lives! Currently, we are spreading lighter fluid around your house, and Tommy here will use this match and set your house on fire, burning you to death! Yeah! I'm gonna burn you all to death, you pussies! Damn it, I didn't get him! Oh, come on, can we work something out? Nope, you're gonna die. So don't even try escaping, because we have flies guarding the door. Oh, man, I don't wanna die. I got an idea. We can call my son. He's very good at killing flies. But if someone can reach into my pocket and grab my phone, we can call him for help. My hands are tied up. So are mine! Oh my god, Jeffy, your hands are free. If you can just reach in his pocket and grab his phone, we can call his son. Hurry! Hurry! All right, I'm looking for it. I think I got something. That's my egg roll. Oh. oh, okay, I found your phone now. 
All right, it's ringing. Uh, hello, welcome to the Great Wild China Restaurant. How may I pick your oob? Oh uh, yeah, can I get two orders of yum yum rice, please? Oh uh, yeah, the rum and rice. Anything else? Oh, don't forget the egg roll. You got one in your pants. Ooh, I want some spring rolls. And an order of spring rolls, please. Oh uh, yeah, the spring roll. You want something to drink with that? Only six dollars a month. What are you guys doing? Tell them about the flies. Oh yeah, your daddy's tied up and there's flies everywhere. Holy shit, the flies got a bad hapu. I'm on my way. He's Danny's on his way. Is he bringing the spring rolls? Forget about the food, we're about to die! Wah! 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 Die, you stupid fry! Where's my papu? Save you. you did good, too. Did you bring the spring rolls? Shut up about food. Untie us. Okay, I will untie you. Yeah, you gotta untie us so we can avenge your great grandfather. The papu, whatever happened to the great grandfather? You never tell me. I think you're old enough to know, too. Everyone got time for a story? I'd like to be saved first. I'll tell you a story. Your great grandfather was a warrior. A Chinese samurai defending the Great Wall of China from the Mongolian fries. The fries would try to fry over the Great Wall to take over China, and he would shoot them down with his bow and arrow and cut them in half with his sword. And after a long day of battle, he'd go home and he'd make a bowl of chicken fried rice, and he was eating it with his chopsticks. And as he take a bite, a fry fry into his mouth. And he started choking, like <laughs> And he fell over and died. I was just a little kid at the time. And I woke up and went into the kitchen, holding my Branky to get a glass of rice milk. And I see my grandfather on the ground and I say, Wake up, grandfather! Wake up! And I poke him with his chopsticks. And I find out he dead. And I cry. So I take his samurai sword and I go outside and practice. And next day, I go out and kick Mongolian fried ass to avenge my grandmara. <laughs> that story is so sad. I wish I could have met my great grandpa. That's why we have to kill all the fries to avenge your great grandmara. That made me want to kill every fry. Can you untie us first? Sure. Come here, fry. Go get him, too! Why didn't he untie us first? Uh, Jeffy, use your open hand and cut us open. <laughs> okay, I got the rope off. Let's get out of here. We gotta go see if my son, too, needs help. He might need backup. But the house might burn down. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Come on, Jeffy. Well, then it's up to me. Mm-mm-mm. My meatball sub is almost done. Get out of here, you stupid fly! Me, you pussy! Wait, what'd you say? What the? Oh, thank you for killing that fly for me. Oh, this is no problem. Oh my god, Tommy, no! Get him, guys! Wait, ah, where did all these flies come from? I'm out of here! <laughs> oh, you're dead now, and no one's here to save you. <laughs> There was salt in the pantry. You saved my life, father. No, too. You saved my life by carrying all those fries. You just like your great grandpa. <gasps> I'm like a great grandpa. I'm so honored. Yeah, let's go celebrate with some chicken fried rice and some rice milk. Okay. Marvin, I'm so glad all those flies are gone and that the house wasn't burned down. We're never opening a window ever again. Oh my god, Marvin, there's a fly! Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. No, no, don't kill me. I'm a baby. Oh, Morton, it's just a baby fly. Can we keep it? What the? Good job, too. Uh, it's dead now. Well, now time for Bill. You call exterminator and we exterminate. Uh, I forgot that I had to pay you guys. Get him, too. What the? Ow! Next time you pay, pussy boy. Yeah, pussy. Are they gone? Jeffy, I swear if that hits me. What are you gonna do? I'll rip up your dumb toy. Okay. Mommy, can you throw that back to me? Here you go. Well, don't, don't give it back to him. Ugh. <laughs> it's good! Well, that's just rude. Jeffy, you're grounded. Why? Because you hit me with the stupid toy and... <sighs> Let me answer the door.
Hello? Hey, Marvin. <laughs> Why do you have a cat? This is my $5 million cat, Mrs. Bigglesworth. Why is it $5 million? Because it's a Himalayan Yeti long hair. A Yeti and a cat banged, and this popped out, and I bought it for $5 million. Well, why'd you bring it here? Because I need you to watch her for me, Marvin. Every time I watch your animal, something bad happens. Oh, come on, Marvin. I have this wicked hot girl coming over, but she's allergic to cats. And I don't want her sneezing on me. Ew. So I just need you to watch her for 10 minutes. Why only 10 minutes? Because I don't last long. Plus, the post-nut clarity's gonna kick in, and I'm gonna want her to leave. Actually, it's gonna be nine minutes because my pants are already down. Oh, okay, fine. Give me the damn cat. Alright, thanks, Marvin. <clears throat> Marvin, why do you have a cat? Goodman wants me to watch it for ten minutes. Oh no, something bad always happens. Not if we watch it for ten minutes. Oh, no, no, no. Kitty, kitty. Oh, oh, darn it. She what do went, we do now, Marvin? She went under the table. Kitty. Oh no. Oh, let, let me try to get like a, a toy to get her out. Kitty, kitty, kitty. All right, baby, I got this, like, mouse toy. Okay, and I got this spider on a string toy. All right, let's try to get her out. Okay. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty. Kitty, 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 you want Come the toy? Here. Come on, kitty. Let me see what she's doing. Uh, yep, she is under there, and she is not trying to come out. Oh, no, what do we do? Ooh, let's call a cat whisperer. Okay. Yeah. Hey there, somebody call a cat whisperer. Yeah, so there's a cat stuck in the... Shh, quiet. We have to whisper. We don't want the cat to hear us. Do you speak shh, cat? Shh, shut the fuck up. Just whisper. Okay, I'm a cat whisperer. Okay, what's going on? So, I'm supposed to watch this cat for like 10 minutes. Well, actually, like 9 minutes. And so, the cat got stuck under the table. I need you to grab it. Oh, that's it? That's all you need? Yeah, I need you to grab the cat. Well, we don't have to whisper for that. Usually, people just want me to talk to their cat and figure out its felines. Feelings? Felines? Yeah. Well, people usually just want me to, like, talk to their cat and figure out its favorite color or its favorite food or something. I mean, it's all a scam. I can't talk to cats any more than you can, but that's what I do. I scam people. Well, can you get the cat from under the table? Oh, yeah, that's easy. I got the perfect thing right here. Got some catnip. One smell of this, and it'll come running. And it'll get high out of its goddamn mind. Okay, well, let's use the catnip. Hey, man. You wanna like this shit? Huh? You wanna like this fucking shit, bro? Huh? Oh, man. <laughs> I am zooted right now. <laughs> I'm not even me. I am a different puppet completely. <laughs> this shit is so purple it should be asking where's Ronald. This is that shit that killed Tupac. <laughs> oh, bro, 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 bro. Peep, peep, Jeffy, look, look. <laughs> he is cooked, my guy. He is looking into the eyes of eternity right now. Dude is smelling shapes. <laughs> he, is, he is talking to God. Motherfucker's over there in Avatar 3. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Hey. Hey, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, wait. I forget. Well, why am I even here, man? My cat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kitty, kitty. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> Oh man, hey, 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 you know igloos, you know igloos, how, how does that even work, you know, like, because they're made of snow and ice, but they're round, and ice is slippery, they should, they should just fall over, how does that even, how's that, oh, oh, bro, 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 I got, oh, this is gonna be so cool, bro, how about we get some ice from your fridge, and we make an igloo. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. Okay. 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 I got. I got the ice. Here comes the igloo. I'm gonna build an igloo. I'm gonna live in it <laughs> with my little penguin family. Wait. These are not. Hey. These are not stacking. This is. This is impossible. The world lied. Igloos are impossible. They use bricks. They they use bricks and they paint them white. That's what they do. Oh. Uh, that was a good nap. Wait, why is there a plate of water here? Oh yeah, igloos. Baby, baby, baby. Goodman can be here any minute. We have to get the cat out. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the I got the nip right here. Um, you want to go one more time? No, we have to get the cat. Okay, lame. Okay, Marvin, where's this cat? Underneath the table. Let me take a look. Go oh, look at the geeky. Your oh, geekies. Okay, yeah, it's under there. Let me try the cat nip. Hey, hey, you want some catnip? Some pretty dank nip, huh? Take the nip. Take the catnip, you stupid cat. Ugh. Maybe we should light some up just to show the cat it's good. No, we have to hurry up and get the cat out. Okay, yeah, I got something else. I got a laser pointer. Cats love laser pointers. Hey, you want the laser? Go get it. Go get it. It's not working. Okay, this is stupid. I'm just gonna go in there. It's a cat. I can grab it. Yeah, just grab it. Oh, oh God! Oh, get off my face! Ow! Oh, oh, God, it's scratching me! Are you okay? Morgan, you should do something! Well, get off! What am I supposed to do? I don't know! Oh, God, it hurts! It hurts! Oh! 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 
God, it scratched my face! Well, are you okay? Uh, no, I'm not okay! It bit my ear and it scratched my eye! God damn it, I hate cats! Well, uh, but you're a cat, Whisper. No, no, I'm a dog person! God, I hate cats! I wish they'd all die! I hope you die, cat! You hear me? Uh, okay, alright, I'm getting that cat out of there. This is personal now! <laughs> All right, I'm going in. Well, what is that? It's a lightsaber. What do you think it is? Get out of here, stupid cat. I have the high ground. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. What? Well, what are you doing? I'm trying to get the cat out of there. It's a Sith. That's inhumane. Yeah, well, it's inhumane what it did to my face. Don't use a lightsaber. <sighs> yeah, you're right. It's not the Jedi way. Master Yoda would be pissed. Anyway, I have a better idea. I can use this hammer and maybe try to scare it out with loud noises. Get out of here, stupid cat. Stupid idiot cat. Get you know what? Get out of here! Get out of here! No, 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 stop it! Use, a, use other things other than weapons. Okay, fine. I will get it out humanely. All right, I got this dog. Oh, oh. His name is Killer. How is that dog gonna help get the cat out? Like this. Sick him! Get him! Tear him apart! Fuck him up! Rip his head off! Humanely! Oh. Yeah, humanely rip his head off! Oh, no, no, get, get, get that dog out! Listen, I want the cat alive, not- I don't want you to kill it. Killer's not gonna kill anybody. Well, okay, maybe he will. His name is Killer. I need the- I need the cat in one piece. <sighs> really? Oh, God, you're not making this easy for me. You can't get the cat out? Hey, do you wanna try? You saw what it did to me! Well, listen, can you do your job or not? Yes, I can. Okay, but you're sure you need him alive? I need him alive! Okay, okay, I got it. Alright, I got this. What is that? This is my police issue taser. A taser? I said don't kill the cat! I'm not gonna kill the cat, I'm just gonna electrocute it with 100,000 volts! And that's not gonna kill it? No, look, it's just gonna knock the cat out so I can drag it out from under the table and then it'll wake up wherever you want it to. And you promise it's not gonna hurt the cat? No, I don't know, who cares? Look, I electrocute bad guys with it all the time and they're fine, they still do bad things, so it can't be that bad. Okay, I'm going in. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, you little bastard. Yeah, take that. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, bite down on it. Yeah, put it in your mouth. Yeah, that's right. Oh, come on. Okay, what the hell is that cat made of? I tasted it three times and it didn't go down. Uh, it's part Yeti. What? Part Yeti? You didn't tell me that. I didn't think that was important. What? Not important? Of course it's important. I need fire. What, fire? Yeah, hold on. I'll be right back. All right, I just got back from the fireworks store. Fireworks store? Yeah, I figured I could use some fireworks to scare the cat out because they're loud. Like, see, I got this bottle rocket that could work and then oh check this out this is pretty badass it's a pinball machine that explodes i mean i don't know how that'll help with the cat but i thought it was pretty cool and then i thought maybe i could throw one of these bombs under there and try to scare the cat out is that gonna hurt the cat no no but it's probably just gonna make like a little flash of light that's all well it's not gonna have like fire no i mean not much no i, I think the cat will be fine it'll probably run out before it even explodes oh, okay okay so i'm just gonna light this all right and then i'm gonna just toss that under there Oh! Uh, is the cat okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure the cat's fine. Uh, let, me, let me just take a look. Ooh, oh, um, hmm. Uh, did, ah! Oh, whew, that's, that's, um... Go! Oh, okay, yeah, that's not good. Well, is the cat okay or not? Uh, well, remember when you said you needed the cat in one piece? Yeah. Well, there are several pieces. What, several pieces? Is the cat dead? No, no, it's not dead yet. I mean, it's close. Well, no, fix it, fix it, fix it! Okay, look, it'll, it'll be fine, okay? I'll, I'll just take it to the vet and see if I can put it back together. You're the vet! Yeah, I know, I'll just take it to my office. Look, it'll be fine. Just, just go sit on the couch. Uh, okay. Ugh. Okay, nurse, we're gonna do surgery. What do we got, doctor? The uh, cat. It was in a fireworks accident. Oh my god, what happened? Uh, I have no idea. I, I wasn't there. But, you know, I heard the cat was a real asshole, so, like, no big deal if it doesn't pull through. Uh, I'm gonna still do my best to try to put this together. Okay, needle and thread. Thank you. Uh, Alright, let's get to sewing. All right, nurse, cut. All right, it's all sewed up. It looks stunning, doctor. Yeah, I just hope it's my size. I don't know if I got the measurements right. You're gonna look great. Yeah, I just didn't want that cat to go to waste. Waste not, want not. All right. Marvin, do you think the cat's okay? It better be okay. That was a $5 million cat. What? Yeah, it was Goodman's valuable cat. Marvin, I hate when Goodman leaves his expensive things here for us to watch. Me too. I also hate it when Brooklyn guy leaves his catnip around Jeffy because he got into it again. Hey there. Is the cat okay? Uh, no. It died during surgery. It died? Yeah, I'm sorry. On a related note, how you like my coat? That is a really nice coat. It's very white. Go ahead and feel it. 
Oh man, that is a soft coat. Oh, I know. It feels just like the cat. Yeah, because it is. What? The coat is the cat. You killed the cat made a coat? No, the cat died during surgery and I made a coat out of it afterward. I Cruella DeVille the shit out of that cat. And I'm starting to see why she wanted 101 of those Dalmatians. That's sick. Thank you, I think the coat is pretty sick. No, as in you're sick in the head. No, it only would have been sick if I killed the cat to make the coat. I killed the cat out of anger and then made the coat after it was already dead. That's wrong. What, do you want all that fur to go to waste and cremate it? No, this is much better. I'm going to be warm in the winter and hot in the summer. Damn. Oh my god, Goodman's gonna kill me. Who's that? The owner of the cat. Oh, well I did him a favor because that cat was one mean, mean lima bean. Oh no, that's probably Goodman. I don't want to answer the door. I'll answer it. Anything to show off my new coat. Hello? Hey Marvin, here's the $100,000 I was going to give you for watching my cat. Wait, who are you? Oh, uh, I'm not Marvin. Marvin's upstairs. Oh, okay. But damn, I love your coat. Oh, thank you. I made it myself. Yeah, I'll give you $100,000 for your coat. <laughs> damn, okay. Yeah, sure. Great. Hey, Marvin. Oh, hey, Goodman. I was going to pay you $100,000 for watching my cat, but the guy who answered your door was wearing this amazing coat, and I thought it would look stunning on you. So instead of giving you $100,000, I bought this coat for you. Y you bought this coat? I sure did. Now, all you got to do is just give me my cat back, and I'll be on my way. Uh... No, Marvin, this coat's for you. Just give me my cat back, and you can keep the coat. Yeah. I don't understand why you're doing this, Marvin. I just want my cat back, so just give me the cat back and stop playing these games. I gave you your cat back. Your, that, that's your cat. Your cat's the coat. What the fuck? Alright, Jeffy, we're gonna play a game called Horse. Without the S? Yeah, so I'm gonna make a shot, and then you have to make my exact same shot, or you get a letter. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna shoot it behind my back. <laughs> Yay, I made it! Easy, Junior. My turn. Aw, uh, you missed it. Darn it! Now I'm a whore! Well, no, you only get an H. Oh, okay. Okay, dog. Go in there. There you go. Good girl. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I was walking over here and this dog started following me. What? Uh, a dog? <laughs> it's cute, right? Are you gonna keep it? Uh, no, Junior, it's a stray dog. It might have rabies or something. <gasps> Do you think the dog's good at basketball? What? No, why would the dog be good at basketball? In the movie Air Bud, the dog was good at basketball. That was just a movie. Well, look, look he looks like he likes it. Yeah, look, he's sniffing the basketball. He might be good at it. All right, if you think so. All right, let me grab my phone. We're gonna record this dog making a shot. All right, Cody, I'm recording. Pass the ball to the dog. Okay, Junior. Oh my god, he actually made it! Oh, he made it! Oh, wow! Yeah, but actually, no, I don't think he made it. I think I just bounced the ball off his head. What? No, no, the dog made it like Air Bud, and I'm gonna upload it on TikTok and get a billion views. Come on, ladies, run the play! Come on, do what I told you! Good ball movement! Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah! He missed. He missed a wide open dunk. God, I can't stand it. Big Bird! What's up, coach? What the hell was that? I tried to dunk the ball in the hoop, and I missed it. Yeah, no shit. Look, you're 6'9". Start playing like it. I'm sorry, coach. Can I get some Gatorade? No, you don't deserve Gatorade. Now get your ass back out there. All right, coach. Jesus. Okay, let's run another play. Pass the ball! Pass the ball! Dude, I was open! No shit, you're open. Everyone's open. It's practice. Look, guys, the game is in 30 minutes. Pooby, come here. Oh, me, coach? Hey, you wanted to speak to me, coach? Yeah, look, I'll be honest with you. This team sucks. We haven't won a game all year, and if we lose another game, I'm going to be fired as a coach, okay? So I need you to go out there and show this team what teamwork is and maybe make a few shots too, okay? You got it, coach. Uh, could you get off my hand so I can play, though? Oh, yeah, hold on. Ball me. No, 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 no. Oh, Pooby, Pooby, are you okay? No, coach, I broke my ankle. Well, that doesn't look too bad. No, it snapped in half. Oh, damn it, you're our best player. I know, coach, I'm sorry. We're gonna lose that game tonight, and then you're gonna lose your coaching job. No, the hell I'm not. Okay, team, everybody huddle up. All right, team, Pooby's out for the season. I know, he was our best player, and we're 0-10 right now. Woo! That's, oh! Man, that's a bad thing. That's not good.
So we suck at the basketball? Yes, you suck at the basketball. But, but coach, it could be worse. We could be 0-11. That's true. Yeah, yeah, and we're going to be tonight when we lose and I lose my coaching job. But that's not going to happen because we're going to win. But coach, we got four players. We need five. I, okay, I, I will find us another player, but it doesn't even matter. We're still going to lose. Uh, excuse me, coach. We're going to lose because we are uh, white skin, not uh, dark complexion. So... Here we do this. But, Th but it's true, Coach. We need some flavor. Well, you guys got black jerseys, though. The, this this fabric, not, not skin, no. Huh. I guess you're right. We do need some brothers on the team. Okay, I will go find us a brother. You guys stay here and practice. 9 and 11, you guys are my two tallest players. You're, you're, my, you're my twin towers, okay? I need you guys to stay here and practice dunking. Coach, we're tall like Michael Jordan? Yes, you were tall like Michael Jordan. Just just practice dunking and try not to collapse. Okay. Okay, four and seven. I need you guys to practice your three-point throws. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Ugh, where am I going to find a new player by tonight? Ugh, that's not going to happen. I'm just going to sit here and watch some TikToks before I get fired. <gasps> oh, my God. This dog can play basketball like Air Bud, and it's black. <gasps> Team, I'll be right back. All right, guys, what should we name this dog? Uh, how about Albert? No, Cody, we're not naming it Albert and the Chipmunks. That's Alvin and the Chipmunks. Same name, it's still ugly. Listen, you gotta name it a fun dog name, like Barry. Barry? Yeah, like Blackberry, because the dog's black. Hmm. What about Michael Vick? No. Ooh, how about, how about Nighttime? Nighttime? Because the dog is dark, like the nighttime sky. Junior, that sucks. How about Blackie? No. Well, no, no, I meant like Blackie because he's black, not in a bad way. Well, now that you said that, I can only think of it in a bad way. Well, what about Spanky? <gasps> Ooh. Spanky Munez. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Let's name him Spanky Munez. You like your name Spanky? Hey, kids, uh, I saw on TikTok that dog that's good at basketball. Oh, that dog's right here. I recorded the video. Okay, cool. Good shot, I guess. Uh, have you kids seen the movie Air Bud, where the dog plays basketball? Yeah! Well, I think we have a similar situation here with this dog. I think it's good at basketball. Oh, yeah, it's super good at basketball. I mean, it's the next LeBron James. You saw it make that shot. Well, actually, I think I bounced the ball off the dog's head. No, 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 couldn't know what he's talking about. This dog has raw talent. I mean, you saw it make that shot. Oh, well, yeah, that's great, because I have a basketball game coming up in, like, ten minutes, and we lost our best player, so I think I need to borrow this dog. Oh, you can borrow this dog. It'll definitely win the game, just like an Air Bud. Oh, that's great. Come on, dog. Swish! All right, team. I found our newest player. Let me introduce you to Spanky Munez. Uh, coach, that's a cat. Actually, it's a dog. And in my country, dog can actually be a wife. Where are you from? I know, I know, it might seem a little crazy, but in the movie Air Bud, the dog actually helped them win the basketball game. And this dog is black like your jerseys, so there should be no confusion about whose team it's on in case the other team has a dog on their team. Now, we don't really have any time to practice with this dog, but trust me, this dog is great. I've seen it in action. Okay, let's play this game! So what do you guys want to do tonight? I don't know. Hey, guys! Guys, what are you doing? We have a basketball game tonight! What, we do? The game tonight? We gotta play! Oh, yeah, that's right. We do have a basketball game. I totally forgot we are on a basketball team. Man, we play a lot of sports in between videos. But wait, where's Joseph? What, Junior, you don't remember? He got hit by a bus. He broke every bone in his body. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Well, we have to win tonight's game for him. Yeah. L let's go to the hospital and tell him we're gonna win tonight for him. Hi, boys. Is this your little friend? Yeah, how's Joseph doing? Well, as well as someone can do once they've been hit by a bus. He can't talk because his jaw's wired shut, and he can't move because he's in a coma. But he can hear you, I think. Well, Joseph, we're going to win tonight's basketball game for you. Yeah, buddy. Getting hit by a bus is quite easy. Yeah, we're going to win for you, dog. All right, guys. Let's go win this basketball game for Joseph. Yeah. Hello and welcome to the NCAA Basketball Tournament. NCAA stands for No Cats Allowed at All. Fuck! No, I don't have enough players! Big Bird, Big Bird. He's a dog. Moo! Today's matchup is the Pirates versus the Pipsqueaks. Whichever team reaches 10 points first wins. Dip off will start shortly. All right, you bunch of sissies, listen up. My coaching job's on the line tonight. Now, you see how many fans we have? None. Zero, because we suck. That's okay, coach. They would just be a distraction. I hate you. Oh, okay, but if we're gonna win, we will at least get one fan, okay? So, there's only one rule tonight. All of you need to pass the ball to Spanky. He is our Kevin Durant, okay? He's gonna win this game for us. Everybody got that? Okay, yeah. coach. All right, let's play. Uh, Cody, we're playing the team that took our dog. Well, we're gonna win at least one game this season. Wait, dogs can play on the team? Yeah, it's the Airbud rule. There's no rule that says he can't play basketball, only cats. 
Well, let's go play, guys. All right, it's tip-off time. Wait, wait, is that a dog? Time out. Dogs are not allowed to play basketball. Nowhere in the rules does it say a dog can't play basketball. Huh, really? Hmm, I guess that's true. It's only cats. All right, let's play ball. I got the ball! I, I got the ball! I'm wide open, I'm wide open! But, but Coach said to pass it to Spanky. Jesus, can you get the ball? It's just a dog. Well, I didn't know we could grab it! I'm, I'm open, I'm open, I'm open! Oh! Oh! Come on, guys! You let him score that fast? Give the ball to Spanky! I got you, Coach! Here you go, Spanky! I got the ball! God damn it, Big Bird, you bounced it over Spanky's head. Give it to him. My bad, coach. I got you this time. Yeah, I got the ball again. Yeah. Oh my God, six to zero. Time out, time out. Team, get over here. Okay, team, we are getting our asses kicked out there. We got to come up with another plan. We give the ball to dog, like you said. Yeah, but Spanky's not the problem. He's a professional. No, I think maybe Spanky's more of a catch-and-shoot kind of dog. So what you guys need to do is drive the ball down the court, find Spanky open on the arch, and then pass it to Spanky, okay? You got it, coach. All right, let's, let's go. go kick some ass. Let's go. Here you go. Play on. Ooh, you're not going to make a shot. You're not going to make a shot. Junior, go get the ball! Oh. <laughs> I saved it! Ooh, our ball again! Good hustle, Seven! Good hustle! Pass ball to Spanky! Pass ball to Spanky! No, I'm going for it! Oh! Whoa! Let's go! Oh my god, time out, time out! Team, get your ass in here! Coach, coach, I made it. I got two points. Yeah, you made it. You're about to make your way to the bench. C but coach, I made two points. Yeah, you get two points, but guess who was open for three? Ooh, ooh, Spanky. Yes, that's right, Big Bird, Spanky. But coach, Spanky messed up three times in a row already. No, 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 I will not hear you talk bad about Spanky, okay? Spanky knows what he's doing. Coach, Spanky was laying down. Yeah, well, that's just Spanky's style, okay? Spanky lays on the ground until the other team forgets about him, and then boom, he strikes like a snake, okay? Everybody just give the ball to Spanky. It's not that hard, you got it? Okay. Yes, coach. Okay, get your ass out there. Here you go, Cody. Here you go, Vanilla Bee. Get out of my way, dog. Get out of my house! Way to go, Spanky! <laughs> he distracted us so that Big Bird could block her shot. <laughs> and people say this dog can't play basketball. Here you go, Penelope. Pass the ball, Penelope, pass the ball! No, Junior, I got this! Wow, he stole it because you're a girl and you don't know how to shoot. Shut up, Junior. <laughs> I'm open. I'm open. But Coach said pass to Spanky. I don't care. I'm uh, open. Uh, here you go, Spanky. I can't do this anymore. Damn it, Big Bird. You know you're supposed to set a screen so Spanky can get open. <laughs> <laughs> All right, secret team meeting! Secret team meeting right now! Guys, Spanky sucks at basketball. I agree, dog only good for wife. Yeah, and Coach is bonkers for thinking that a dog is gonna win us the game. But Coach says pass the ball to Spanky. I know, Big Bird. So, I got an idea. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the shots, and we're gonna make it look like Spanky Spanky's making them. But how we do this? Just follow my lead. Oh, great. It's eight to two. What, what the hell are they doing over there? Hey, 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 what are you guys doing over here? Chit-chatting? Well, chit-chatting is not winning, okay? The other team is only one shot away from winning, and then I lose a job, and you guys are all out on your ass, okay? So get your head in the game and pass the ball to Spanky. All right, coach. We'll pass the ball to Spanky. Let's go, guys. Pass the ball to Spanky. Pass the ball to Spanky right here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh man, look at Spanky go! Go, Spanky, go! <laughs> Woo! Whoa, you guys just see Spanky hit that layup? I told you Spanky could play basketball! All right, guys, just grab Spanky, make the shot, and Coach will think that Spanky's making it. Who wants Spanky next? Ooh, me, 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 me! All right, here you go. Let's go! Hi, doggy. All right, Patrick, passing the ball. <laughs> Basketball, Junior! Okay! Shoot it, Spanky! 
Spanky just hit a three. Go, Spanky, go! Yeah! We can actually win now. Thanks to Spanky. Yeah, whatever. Who wants Spanky? Uh, Spanky, Sp Spanky, what are you doing? Sp Spanky, Spanky, get back here! Spanky, no! Uh, guys, what are we gonna do? Spanky just left! Listen, coach, coach, we never need a Spanky in the first place. I know he just left, but it was us making the shots the whole time. Don't try to make me feel better. We can't do it without Spanky. And besides, we don't even have enough players. You're right! If you don't have five players, you're gonna have to forfeit. Coach, what are we gonna do? Uh, I guess we're gonna have to forfeit, guys. You got me, coach. <gasps> Pooby? But your ankle's broken! I can still carry this goddamn team. Yeah! Oh, you, got you got this, go. Lay on! Here you go, Penelope. <laughs> Give me the else. Hey! <laughs> I don't know who to pass it to. Pass it to Pooby! He's open! <sighs> Wow, guys, we actually just lost, all because of Penelope. No way, Junior, it's not my fault. Guys, we just lost to a dog and somebody with a broken ankle. What? It's all because of Penelope's fault she kept losing the ball. No, they're grown-ups, Junior. I knew we should have had a girl on our team. Boom, let's go. Yeah. You boys played one hell of a basketball game out there, and I get to keep my job. Yeah! yeah. Let's go! That's right. That's right. Let's go. That's right. But I'd really just like to thank Spanky. We couldn't have done it without him. Actually, we could have, Coach. It was all us. Uh, technically, number seven, we, we were not together as team before Dog, but Dog bring us together, and we better as team, and we win. Okay, I guess that's right. And I'd especially like to thank you, Pooby. You won this on a broken ankle. You're the goddamn GOAT! Yeah! yeah. Let's go, yeah. Let's go! Go, 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 go! Let's go out and celebrate! Yeah. so sick. Is there anything I can get you, Marvin? Uh, I think I'm gonna need more tissues. Okay. Hey, Nanny, can I show you my SpongeBob Giggle Blaster? That's really cool, Jeffy. Can't play with it? Um, I'm really sick. Can you play with it tomorrow? No, no, I cannot. It has to be today. Jeffy, Marvin doesn't feel well. Too bad. I have an appointment to play with my SpongeBob Giggle Blaster, and I want to show Daddy what it does. What does it do, Jeffy? SpongeBob Creams. <laughs> Yeah, SpongeBob just creamed. He's SpongeBob cream pants, and I just pooped, so I'm SpongeBob poop pant. Jeffy, you made a huge mess. You better go get some napkins and clean all this up. Uh. Here you go, Danny. Here's your paper towel. All right, Jeffy, start cleaning up the mess. Too hard. No, it's not too hard, Jeffy. Grab a paper towel and wipe it up. My hands don't work. They work when you're playing with the SpongeBob Giggle Blaster. Well, that was fun. This isn't. Jeffy, I'll clean it up, but go get Marvin a thermometer. He might have a fever. Okay. Baby, you don't have to clean this up. Jeffy did it. It's okay, Marvin. Here, Daddy. Here's your thermometer. But I'm feeling kind of sick, so can I take my temperature first? Hurry up. Oh, yeah. Jeffy, you just took that up your butt. Uh-huh. What? Jeffy! Oh, I think it's ready. Oh. Yep, yeah, smells like I have a fever. All right, Daddy, your turn. Hey, oh, get that away from me! Marvin, I think you should go see a doctor. I really think... <laughs> <laughs> you put that in my mouth, Jimmy! Uh -huh. Look up your ass! Uh -huh. Okay, that's it! We're going to a hospital! I didn't get tested for literally everything! Get the cat carrier! Okay! Well, hold on, let me taste! Jeffy, get, uh. ins get inside your cat carrier! But I don't want my cat carrier, Daddy! No hissing! Ow. Jeffy, listen! Ow. You have to get in your cat carrier because we can't trust you inside the house when we're gone because you might break everything. But Daddy, it's not my fault my hands break things. Yes, it is, Jeffy. So look, get in the cat cage and we'll let you out when we get back. <sighs> Fine, Daddy. Hey. Get in there. Go. 
All right, Jeffy, you stay in your cage. We'll be gone for like an hour. Okay, but what if I have to poop? Just do it in the corner of the cage. Okay. All right, baby, let's go. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, are you ready to play dodgeball? Heck yeah, dude. <coughs> we haven't started yet. Yeah, Joseph, we didn't start yet. Oh, my bad, I'm just ready. You guys ready to play dodgeball? Heck yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. All right, Cody, who's gonna be on your team? Because me and Joseph are gonna be on our team. Well, that's not fair, that's two against one. Well, you gotta find a teammate. Well, do you think Chef Pee would wanna be on my team? Is he even good at dodgeball? I don't know. All right, how about we throw a dodgeball at him and see if he's good at dodging it? Okay. Mm-mm-mm, -mm, my hibachi stir fry looks almost done. Man, it looks so delicious. I just love watching it cook. Ah. Chef Pee Pee just got wrecked, Cody. He just got pwned. Is that really who you want to be your teammate? No, I guess not. But to be fair, he didn't even know we were playing. You no, know, he sucks at dodgeball. Good dodgeball players are always looking out for balls. Yeah, I guess you're right. That's why you're a good dodgeball player. You're always looking for balls. <laughs> yeah, I sure do. You, you want to go see if Jeffy will be your teammate? Okay. Hey, Jeffy, you want to play dodgeball? What? Have you seen Jeffy? Ooh, look, a thermometer. I'm going to take my temperature. I think I'm getting sick. This has been in someone's ass. Are you sick, Cody? Well, now I am. Where's Jeffy? <coughs> Wait, do you hear a cat, Cody? Yeah. <coughs> Jeffy, what are you doing inside a cage? My mommy and daddy don't trust me, so they put me in the cat cage. Why don't they trust you? Because they say I break things. Well, Cody needs a partner in dodgeball. You want to play? Sure. You just got to let me out of the cage. All right, Cody. Let him out of the cage. Okay. <coughs> Okay, we got our teams for dodgeball. So the rules are, if you get hit with the ball, you're out, okay? Okay. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> throw it, Joseph, throw it! <laughs> throw it, Cody! <laughs> oh no, I broke a vase! Come on, we gotta grab a ball! <laughs> All right, Cody, I got the ball. Hold on, let me see where they're at. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, Jeffy, they're defenseless, hit him! All right. Avenge me, Joseph. Oh, I'll avenge you, bro. Uh, ah, this is Virginia! Wait, 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 ah. For him and Cody, you're gonna die now! You suck, dude! Ah. Woo! I won, I won! You guys suck at dodgeball! Well, well, technically, me and Joseph were on team, so we won at dodgeball! Yay! Dude, you didn't do anything! But, but we were on team, so yay! No. Not gay. I'm gonna go check on Cody and Jeffy. You guys okay? No, I think he broke my nose. It doesn't look too bad, Cody. Really? You okay, Jeffy? Jeffy? Oh no, I think he got knocked out. Oh no, what if he's dead? Let me see. No, he has a pulse. Oh no, but if his parents find out that we knocked him out, they're gonna tell our parents and we're gonna get grounded. Oh no. Okay, so let's go put him back in the cat carrier. They'll never know. Okay. All right, Cody, get his legs. Okay, I got his legs. <laughs> <laughs> No, but push, push more. Uh, okay. Um. Oh man, he's heavy. Uh, Close it. Shoe in there. Close it. Okay. Um. All right, let's get uh, out of here. Uh, hey there, you came to see a doctor? Yeah. Marvin, is that you? You are getting so big. How old are you now? Forty. Oh, they grow up so fast. Last time I saw you, you were knee high to a grasshopper. How's it going, mom? Um, I'm his wife. That's great. That is just great. I'm gonna listen to your lungs now. Okay, so what grade are you in, Marvin? I'm not in school. Uh, mom, why is he not in school? What What are you doing right now? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm still in pediatrician mode. This is how I talk to kids to make them feel good about doctors. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm me now. I, I gotta listen to your lungs. Hold on. Just, just breathe for me. <coughs> Okay, I said breathe, not cough. Ew, but I can tell you're sick. Is he gonna make it, Doctor? Uh, I don't know, open your mouth and say ah. Uh. Ah! Uh. Not you, dummy, him. Ah! Uh. Mm -hmm. What was that for? I don't know, turn around and bend over and spread those cheeks. Okay. Oh man, that prostate is the size of a golf ball. Oh. <laughs> Well, I can tell you're sick. Well, do you have anything to help me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got this medicine right here that should clear it right up. Oh, thank you. But I just want to let you know that there is a global shortage of this medicine, and a lot of old people are dying from what you have, and they need this medicine. And if they don't get it, they're probably going to die. So you're saying I can't get the medicine? No, I'm saying you can get the medicine. It's just you're perfectly healthy. Your immune system's fine. You'll get over this in a few days, but they're going to die. So if you take this medicine, that means you're a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. So I can't have the medicine? Oh, you can have the medicine. It's just by taking the medicine, you're admitting you're a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't like the elderly. But, I mean, personally, I wouldn't take it because I'm not a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. But you, I don't know. We'll see.
Wow! Okay, so you're admitting you're a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. Uh, I just, I'm just tired of the no, cough. No, it's, it's fine, it's fine. It's just, if you're gonna take that medicine, I need to record a video of you saying you're a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. Marvin, let's just go. But, <coughs> I'm tired of the coughing. You don't need the medicine. Go ahead. I'm a weak pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elder. Okay, got it. Thank you. Marvin. Marvin, I can't believe you took that medicine. Baby, I'm tired of <coughs> coughing. I'm sick. I need to get better. But there's a global shortage. There's no shortage. It's just something they say to save money. I don't know, Marvin. All right, Jeffy, it's time to get out of the cage. Jeffy. Marvin, maybe he's sleeping. Jeffy, wake up. Get out of your cage. Baby, open the cage. Okay. Drag him out. Come on, Jeffy. <coughs> Jeffy, wake up. Jeffy? Jeffy, wake up. Marvin, he's not waking up. Wake up, Jeffy. Marvin, we should call a doctor. No, he's, he's just faking it. Oh, no. Uh, call a doctor. Okay. Call a doctor, Jeffy. Hey, there. Somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor. My son's not. Oh, look who it is. The weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. You know, I put that video online. It already has 10 million hits. People hate you. Listen, my son's knocked out. He's not moving. Well, let me see if he has a pulse. Well, he's got a pulse. He's still alive. Okay, so what, what do we do? Well, tell me what happened. All right, so we went to the hospital to see you because of my cough, you know. We put him in his cage, and then we got back Hold up. I'm sorry. You, you put your son in a cage? Yeah, yeah, so we put him in a cage when we leave because we don't want him to break stuff. You, you're telling me you put your son in a cage? Well, yeah, because like he likes to break stuff. We don't want him roaming around. So, so, so how, how old is he again? He's 18 years old. So you put a grown man in a pet taxi? Well, listen, we put him in the cage to protect him because, you know, he likes to break stuff and make messes, so we just put him in a cage for, like, a few hours. Well, that maybe that's why he passed out is because he didn't have a lot of circulation in the pet taxi and, and you didn't leave him any food and water. Did you at least let him use the litter box before you put him in there? Well, listen, no, he usually can hold it for a long time. You know, I'm thinking maybe I should be putting on my cop outfit. Well, no, no, you don't need your cop outfit. He likes the, 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 the cat cage. Marvin, maybe Jeffy needs some water. I'm going to go get him some. Yeah, get some water. Yeah, and while she does that, I'm gonna put my cop uniform on. No! What a Jeffy! Tell, tell him you like the cage! Wake up! Alright, I am dressed to arrest. Now, you better tell me that cage thing was some kind of joke, but I can see the cage, so, I mean, you're pretty guilty. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin! I found a bunch of broken glass downstairs and this dodgeball! What? A dodgeball, you say? You know, in high school, I was a dodgeball champion. I knocked out all the other kids. You know what? I'll tell you what. I challenge you to a one-on-one -on -one dodgeball game. If you beat me, I won't arrest you. But if I beat you, you. Not only will I arrest you, I'm taking your medicine too. Come on, Marvin, you don't want to be arrested, do you? But I'm not good at dodgeball. But what do you have to lose? Huh, Marvin? Come on, you want to get arrested or play me? <sighs> I guess I'll play you in dodgeball. Yes! Oh, you're gonna get creamed! <sighs> All right, Marvin, I blindfolded myself because my old coach Patches O'Houlihan taught me if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Okay? One, two, three, go! <laughs> Got you, slut! Now, ow! Well, Marvin, you won fair and square. I guess I probably shouldn't have worn that blindfold. That's what I get for being cocky. Unless I actually did hit you and you were lying. No, you didn't even come close to hitting me. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I won't arrest you then. Uh, oh, Jeffy, uh, are you okay? What happened? I'll tell you what happened. You locked him in that cage. That's what happened. Yeah, no more cage. Yeah, you better get rid of that cage unless you want to get arrested. All right, fine. I won't put Jeffy in a cage anymore. Good. And we all learned a lesson because I will never wear a blindfold while playing dodgeball again. So, you gonna take that medicine? Yeah, I really wanna Weak take- Weak little pussy bitch! Hold still, Danny! Hold still, Danny! I said hold still! I've been holding still! And done! It's a masterpiece! I present to you, Daddy Raph! Aw, Jeffy, that's such a good drawing of Marvin! I mean, it's a good drawing of my face, not really my body. I will now draw Mommy's face on a silverback gorilla making sweet love to a squirrel. Marvin, look, the news! Breaking news! The police station is looking for a sketch artist and is willing to pay $250,000 a year. So if you're good at drawing, come down to the police department. $250,000 a year to draw pictures? Marvin, Jeffy could do that job. He's great at drawing people. I'm um, sorry to interrupt, Mommy, but if you were to have a wiener, how big would it be? What? Actually, I should probably draw a silverback gorilla's wiener to keep the theme going. I wonder how big they are. Should I Google it?
I'm gonna Google it. Jeffy, do you wanna draw pictures for the cops for $250,000 a year? That's crazy! I know, it's so much money just to draw pictures. A silverback gorilla's wiener is only three to six centimeters long. That means my wiener is barely bigger than a silverback gorilla's because I clocked mine at six and a half centimeters. Jeffy! Ha! Ah! Look, do you wanna draw pictures for the cops? What kind of pictures? All you'd have to do is draw pictures of people without animal bodies, just normal people, and they'll pay you $250,000 a year. All right, daddy. But first, let me add the three to six centimeter hog to this gorilla. No, no hogs, Jeffy. Listen, I need you to draw a picture of just me so we can show the cops how good you are. Okay, Danny, but this squirrel was about to get the business. All right, look, just draw a normal picture of me with my clothes on, okay? All right, Daddy. Squirrel humping or no squirrel humping? No squirrel humping. Got just, it. just a picture of me. Mm-hmm. And done. What do you think about that, Daddy? Pretty lame if you ask me. I could have given you some udders or a stoma. That looks so good, Jeffy. Yes, Jeffy, this is exactly what the cops are gonna want you to draw every single time. Every time? Yeah, just normal people, no animals, just like that. Just like this. Just like that. Okay, I got it, Daddy. Locked in my brain. All right, let's go down to the cop office and show them that drawing. The police station? That, that, that's what I said. No, you said cop office. Cop office, police station, it's the same thing. Look, let's go down to the police station and show them the drawing, come on. Oh. So, uh, this is my drawing of a bad guy. What do you think? It's pretty good, right? It's crap. Oh, man. Oh, God, these people suck. Next person! Jeffy, get in here. I'm nervous. Jeffy, come on! What? All right, Mr. Chief. This is my son, Jeffy. He's really good at drawing. Look at the drawing he did of me. Well, that's pretty good. He even colors him, too. That'll come in handy. Okay, he's hired. Wait, he's hired already? Yeah, we're pretty desperate for sketch artists. Jeffy, you got the job! Yay! So when does he start? Right now. Oh, oh wow. Well, all right, Jeffy. Just do your job and come home when you're done. All right, Daddy. All right, Jeffy. Sit right there and use this sketch pad to draw the suspect based on the victim's description. Send in the victims! Okay, Jeffy, I have the first victim here. Ma'am, tell him what happened. All right, I'm ready. Well, there was a man with a big old cowboy hat on, and he lassoed me up, tied me to the train track so the train would run me over and kill me! Cowboy hat, huh? Yeah, it's a big cowboy hat! All right, I think I got him. Is this your man? Oh, uh, well, he has the cowboy hat on. I, I guess that's him. Ma'am, if you're telling me that's who attacked you, I know where that guy is. I can arrest him. Yes, that's him! Okay, I'll go get him. Baby, Jeffy got the job! He did? Yes, the police chief loved Jeffy's drawing of me. That's amazing, Marvin! I know. I love that Jeffy actually got a job that's something he's good at, and he's gonna make a lot of money. Let's just hope Jeffy doesn't mess this up. Freeze, Marvin, you're under arrest! For what? For attempted murder and kidnapping. What are you talking about? Oh, don't pretend like you didn't just tie a woman to railroad tracks like you're in some kind of western movie. I did it! Yeah, well, we have all the proof we need. Let's let the judge decide. Marvin, how could you? Order, 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 order. Today, we will be hearing the case of a most brutal crime. Marvin, you are being accused of lassoing a woman like a cowboy, tying her up, and then placing her on the railroad tracks in hope that she would be run over by a train. How do you plead? Not guilty. Hmm, not guilty, you say? Very interesting. Well, I suppose I'll let you go if you can explain this! This drawing that our professional and very overpaid sketch artist made of the suspect based on the victim's description. Hmm? Hmm? Explain it! That's a drawing my son made. He's the police sketch artist and he made a mistake and drew me. Well, Marvin, based on this sketch looking exactly like you and there being no other evidence brought into court today, I have no choice but to find you guilty and sentence you to 30 days in the county jail. And boom goes the dynamite! Guilty! But I didn't do anything! I didn't do it! Come on, I come didn't on, do let's it! Go. Get in there, you! Please let me out! I didn't do anything wrong! Yeah, yeah, I hear that all the time. I'm not guilty! You saw that sketch, it was spot on. It looked just like you. Listen, my son is a sketch artist and he accidentally drew a picture of me. No, no, no. Your son knows he'd get fired if he drew a sketch of the wrong person. He should be fired! He drew me! Look, just because your son tattletailed on you doesn't mean you're getting out of this. Listen, please, I don't want to be in prison. No, you should just do your 30 days and be happy that you you only got 30 days for trying to kill a lady with a train. That's brutal. I did not do that! Look, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. The time is what you should think about before you do the crime. Crime doing equals time doing. Hard crimes gets you hard times. The, the, the time is what happens when you do crime. You don't, don't do the crime because you should think about the time before you do the, the crime. Okay, look, I'm just gonna go. No, please let me out of here. I can't spend 30 days in here.
All right, Jeffy, good job on that last one. Here's your next victim. Ma'am, tell him what happened. So, I was cleaning the house with Windex, but when I go to grab the Windex, I realize we are out of Windex. So I go downstairs to grab the lemon pledge, and then I see this man climbing through the window with a Santa hat, and he's trying to steal things and shot him in his sack. Santa Claus hat, huh? See, si, see, si, Santa Claus hat. And a big sack. Yeah, see, si, see. Si. All right. I think I got him. Is this your man? <gasps> see, see, that's my man with the Santa hat. Oh no, not Marvin again. Ugh. <sighs> How was your 30 days in jail, Marvin? I was false imprisoned. Well, a judge convicted you, so obviously there was enough evidence. No, baby, listen. Jeffy's a sketch artist, and for some reason he drew a picture of me wearing a cowboy hat, and they arrested me based on Jeffy's photo. Oh no, Marvin, we have to fix that so it doesn't happen again. You're right. I'm gonna call the cops and explain what happened. Freeze, Marvin! You're exactly who I want to talk to. You're under arrest! What, for what? Don't pretend like you didn't impersonate Santa Claus and break into someone's house and try to be the Grinch. What? Don't what me, mister. You're going to jail. Marvin, how could? Marvin, I am very disappointed to see your face in my courtroom again. Did those 30 days teach you nothing? Hmm? I didn't do anything. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? You are being accused of breaking into a house dressed like Santa Claus, and instead of leaving jolly good gifts for the little boys and girls, stealing their valuables. How do you plea against this grinching? Not guilty. Very cute. Too bad I have this. A drawing of you dressed like Santa Claus based on the victim's description. 60 days in the county jail. 60 days? Come on. I didn't do anything! No. Have fun in there. Listen, I didn't do anything. I promise. Oh, you promise? Yes. Oh, well, in that case, I guess I'll let you out. Wait, really? No, you idiot. I'm not stupid. I have a GED. I wasn't born yesterday. Listen, I don't want to spend two months in jail. <sighs> okay, Jeffy, you've been doing a great job so far. Thanks. Okay, here's your next victim. Tell him what happened, Dolphin. Well, I was just riding my Harley, and then I pulled into a gas station to get some Hubba Bubba chewing gum and some white powdered donuts, because... I really like those. And I left my keys in my Harley because I didn't think anyone had the balls to try to steal it from me. But then I look out the window and I see this guy wearing sunglasses and he jumped on my Harley and just drove off with it. I didn't really get a chance to see what he looked like. Is this him? Oh yeah, that's definitely him. I'd know those sunglasses anywhere. Oh, damn it. Oh, kill me. Marvin, you deserve those 60 days in jail if you really did try to impersonate Santa Claus just to steal. Baby, are you kidding me? I'm not actually doing these crimes. I've been next to you the whole time. It's because Jeffy's a sketch artist and he keeps drawing me as all these criminals and it's the only evidence the judge has so he keeps arresting me. Oh no, Marvin, we have to fix that in case it happens again. I know, so if they keep arresting me, then you gotta tell them it's Jeffy doing fake drawings. Freeze, Marvin, you're under arrest. What for what? For stealing a dolphin's motorcycle. What? Well, you did it. What? How could you? Order, 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 order. Marvin, why am I seeing your face in my courtroom again? Did 60 days in jail not teach you your lesson? What do I have to do to rehabilitate you? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Ooh, I didn't do it. Marvin, you sound like a broken record. If you did not do it, then explain this. That's a drawing my son did. He keeps drawing me. Marvin, this is the face of a hardened criminal. Someone with no remorse. Look at you with your sunglasses. You must think you're a real cool dude, especially because you stole a motorcycle from a dolphin. You did it on porpoise! Why would a dolphin be driving a motorcycle? I don't know, Marvin. It's not my job to understand sea animals and their means of transportation. It is my job to convict criminals like you, and you've been on quite a crime spree lately. So, based on this drawing and the complete lack of remorse on his face, I send in you to 90 days in jail. And for every crime you commit from now on, we will increase your sentence by six months to hopefully teach you a lesson. Go! 90 days? I can't do it! I, I can't do it! How can you convict over a drawing? You must really like it in here. Listen, I really don't. I have one question for you. Okay. You're falsely imprisoning me, so that means the real people that are doing those crimes are out there causing more crimes. Oh, I have a feeling that the real criminal is right here in the cell. That's you! You! You're my little criminal! Yes, you are! Hey! No biting! 
I hate it in here. Okay, Jeffy, here's your next victim. Ma'am, tell him what happened. Well, I didn't see what the guy looked like, but here's what happened. I was walking to the grocery store to buy tampons, heavy flow, and then all of a sudden this man walked up to me and he smacked me in the face with a chicken and he stole my purse. Hold it right there, ma'am. Is this him? Oh, oh yeah. I mean, I didn't see what he looked like, but that rubber chicken is very familiar. Oh, no. Hey, Marvin. Did you enjoy those 90 days in jail, Marvin? It was a lonely three months for me. Listen, I was the one that was in jail for three months. I'm the one that was lonely. I'm looking out for the cops. I don't have much time because they're going to arrest me again. I just know it. Listen, this is what we should do. Go to the police station and just tell Jeffy to stop drawing. Please just tell him to stop drawing. Please, Marvin, you're under arrest. No, let me finish explaining it to her. No, no, no. You beat a woman with a rubber chicken and you stole the purse. What? Come on. No, go to, go to the police station, please. Marvin, you monster. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. Marvin, 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 Marvin. Oh, Marvin. Poor Marvin. 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 Oh, Marvin. Marvin? What? Really, Marvin? Assault with a rubber chicken. To steal a woman's purse? I just don't know what to do with you, Marvin. I gave you 30 days in jail. It was a cakewalk. 60 days. Mm, big whoop. 90 days. <sighs> That's a week in Marvin's world. Let me ask you a question, Marvin. Do you enjoy jail? Do you have a good time in jail? Is jail fun? Let me check. Hold on, Marvin. Let me see how jail is. Oh, give me a second here. Oh, I'm Marvin. I love being in jail. Jail is so much fun. I wish I could stay here forever. Is that you, Marvin? Is that what you say in jail to all of your jail buddies? Answer me, Marvin. Answer me when I'm speaking to you. No, I don't like jail. Could have fooled me, Marvin. Could have fooled me. You know what, Marvin? I'm gonna drop the ball. One year in jail. No, make it two. Ten. It doesn't matter. It's all the same to Marvin. He loves jail. You know what, Marvin? I'm gonna do a little reverse psychology here. Ten minutes in jail, because apparently you love it so much that being there is a reward. But I better not see you back in my courtroom again. Ten minutes? Only ten minutes? Come on. Thank you! I'm not even gonna close the door. I'm not gonna lock it. I think you get off on that, you sick freak. What? <sighs> ten minutes and I can leave. Okay, Jeffy, I'm really mad about this one. Somebody robbed my wife. Honey, tell them what happened. Okay, there was a little redhead girl who was selling Girl Scout cookies. So I gave her $100 and she ran away with my change and didn't give me my cookies. I'm sorry, were you saying something? Yes, there was a Girl Scout. Oh, I think I got that part. Is this her? Yes, yes, that's her. I recognize the best and my cookies. Oh, Marvin. Baby! That was only 10 minutes, Marvin. Please! Oh, no, come on, that's bullshit. No, come on, you're stealing Girl Scout cookies. That's horrible! Uh, Judge? Are you okay? I think he's really mad. Yeah, I think so. Marvin. Here we are again, Marvin. It's me and you. Another crime, you're guilty. Another drawing, it's you. See, Marvin, I just couldn't figure you out. But now, I think I finally have. It wasn't jail that you loved so much. It was me. You're in love with me. That's why you keep doing these crimes, so that you can come here and see me. Well, Marvin, since you're in love with me, I can no longer preside over your trials. So, my final sentence to you is a life sentence. I'm sending you to Alcatraz Island. Yes, that's right, Marvin. We opened it up just for you. Your own little playground where you can do your crimes away from civilized society. And if you try to escape, there are shark-infested waters. So you will spend the rest of your life at Alcatraz. I will give you five minutes to say goodbye to your family. Bailiff, go with him. 
A life sentence? Let's go say bye to your family. All right, make it quick. That was fast, Marvin. Yeah, not really. He's going to be spending the rest of his life on Alcatraz, or as we're going to call it, Marvin Traz. What? Listen, baby, there's one favor I need from you, just one. He's in love with the judge. <gasps> All right, everyone, just shush, please. Everyone, just listen to me, please. All right, you know my son, Jeffy, was hired as the new sketch artist at the cop office. Cop office? Police station. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's pretty good. All right, do you notice that all of his drawings look like me? Well, yeah, because you did all the crimes. No, 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 I didn't. Listen, please just do me one favor. I'll go to Alcatraz for the rest of my life. Just do me one favor. Go up to Jeffy and describe a criminal that looks nothing like me, like different skin color, completely different looks, and see what the drawing looks like. Hmm, okay, I'll try it. Okay, Jeffy, this time I'm going to describe someone to you, and I need you to draw him. All right, what do you got for me? Why, why have you already started drawing? I haven't described him yet. Keep going. Okay, well, he's a really large black man with one eye, and he's in a wheelchair, and he has 11 scars on his face. All right, I think I got him. Is this him? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, 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 Marvin. It appears there's been a huge misunderstanding. And to make up for all of that jail time where you were falsely imprisoned, we are willing to offer you... This small chocolate frosty from Wendy's. It was going to be my lunch, but I am now offering it to you. Here, take it, go on, take it, before I change my mind. All I get is a frosty? Well, I suppose I'll eat it myself then. Court adjourned. Marvin, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Yeah, Marvin, I feel really bad. I probably should have put that together. Like, how are you doing those crimes if you were already in jail? I'm not apologizing. It's 100% your fault. What? Because you said to make every drawing look just like this. And I clarified. I said, just like this, and you said, just like that. And you said, every time. So every time I made the drawing look just like this, this is your fault. You did say that, Marvin. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot Jeffy's an idiot. It. Come give me a hug, Jeff. I'll forgive you. Really, man? Yeah, okay. come here. Come here. Ow, ow, hey, no hitting. No hitting. Stop it. I, ow. I should probably arrest you for that. He's 18. Ow. Okay. I just say. Discovery Solar Robot. How long is that gonna take, Jeffy? Not long at all, because it's 197 easy build pieces. 197 pieces? Come on, Marvin, just help him out. It's gonna take forever, baby. But it says easy build. Yeah, Danny, it's so easy an eight-year-old can do it. See, it says age is eight plus. No, Jeffy, I think that's how many hours it's gonna take to build, eight plus. No, Danny, look at how many pieces. What the, what the hell is this? You gotta break every little individual piece. That's gonna take a whole day by itself. Danny, that's light work. It's not light work. It's gonna take forever, Jeffy. No, it won't, Danny. Look at the instructions. What? This is like hieroglyphics. I'm not a scientist. I can't read this, Jeffy. Look, how about we just play with something else, Jeffy? Like, you can go play with something fun. Okay, Danny. I guess I'll just play with matches. No, 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 Jeffy. <laughs> hey! Where fire go? I blew it out. You're not gonna play with matches, Jeffy. But where fire go? I blew it out. Where fire go when you blow it out? It disappears. But where does it go? It goes back to the sun. That's that's where fire comes from. Why? Uh, Jeffy, just go take a bath. <sighs> okay, Danny. Never gonna build that. It'll take forever. Time for me to turn on the bath. Wait, wait, what the? What is that? Elephant poop in the bathtub? Daddy! Daddy! What do you want, Jeffy? You're supposed to be taking a bath. Well, I was going to, Danny, but there's six elephant turds in the bathtub. You took a crap in the bathtub, Jeffy! It wasn't me this time! Jeffy, you're supposed to poop in the toilet, not the bathtub. It wasn't me, Daddy! It's the size of elephant poop! Well, Jeffy, you go clean it up because it's yours. No, Daddy, you have to see it. Come see it! Marvin, just go with him. But, baby, he crapped in the bathtub and he's just trying to show us to brag about it. Okay, you know what, Jeffy? I'm gonna make you clean it up. Come on. See, they look. What, are those potatoes? No, it's elephant poop. Jeffy, that's not elephant poop. There's no smell. It looks like they're kind of eggs. How are you getting eggs out of that? Because of the shape of eggs, and I don't know what these are. They look really old. Let me call an egg expert. Pick them up and bring them to the couch. All right, daddy. Hey, Leah. Somebody call an egg expert? I expected that to get more of a laugh. <laughs> Get it? Now you're just exaggerating. <laughs> now I'm just egging you on. <laughs> 
Jeez. Okay, let's get started. What do you got for me? So we found these in our bathtub, and we don't know what they are. Hmm. Well, at a glance, they look like dinosaur eggs. Dinosaur eggs? Or they could be bombs. Bombs? Yeah, you can never be too careful. Okay, everybody duck. Frag grenade out. Huh. Not a bomb. Well, I guess I know what these are now. Dinosaur eggs? Exactly. They were in my bathtub. Yeah, well, dinosaur eggs are extremely rare because dinosaurs are extinct. So destroying or disturbing these eggs is a serious felony. You can get a lot of time in prison. Didn't you just throw one out the window? Hey, that was for science. I had to make sure these weren't bombs. Why would these be bombs? Well, you never know what those crazy terrorists are planning. One minute you think it's a dinosaur egg and then you try to grab it and then bam, your hand ends up looking like Jason Pierre Paul's. Well, where would dinosaur eggs even come from? Hmm. Let's think about that for a second. Let's let's really think about that. They're they're dinosaur eggs, so they probably would have come from dinosaurs. Huh, how about that? Context clues as fuck. But like, but where would a dinosaur even be at? Mervin, we have a pet dinosaur. We do have a pet dinosaur. Jeffy, go grab your pet dinosaur. All right, Donnie. You forgot you had a pet dinosaur? Well, yeah, I'm getting old. All right, Donnie, there's Booger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's our dinosaur named Booger. Oh, don't say that name. Hey, Brooklyn guy! Jesus Christ. It's me, Booger! Yeah, I know, Booger. Hi. Did you miss me? Not really. Who are you talking to? I have an imaginary friend named Booger, and whenever you said that name, he thought you were summoning him, so now he won't get the hell out of my ear. Hey, who's these people? They mess with you? No, they're not. You want me to ruffle them up? No, you don't have to do that. They're fine. Okay, good, because you're the man. I know. They should know that, too. No. You're the guy. Yeah, I you're understand. the best. Yeah, you're okay. awesome. I get it. You're the uh, yeah, okay, uh, Jesus Christ, Booger, just let me do my job. Oh, you're doing your job? You want me to help you? No, Let's I don't. Pee your pants, I didn't Jack. pee my pants. Hey, you didn't pee your pants. Good job, buddy. Uh, you know, That's seven days free. Uh, yeah, okay. Pee your pants, the man. Thank you. Yeah, hey, hey, Booger, hey, you know what you can do for me? You can get me some tissues for all my boogers. Oh, you got some boogers? Let no, me, I don't. Check you get out of my nose, there. Booger. Hey, no boogers up there, but there's a booger right here. Could you just get the tissues, please, Booger? Yeah, I'll be right. Holy shit. Okay, can we please make this quick before he comes back? You see that dinosaur right there? That dinosaur laid these eggs. It's a girl dinosaur. Congratulations. But I thought Booger was a boy. Nope, it's a girl. Okay, so then how did she get pregnant? Well, you know, another dinosaur had to... <gasps> oh, yeah. I got your tissues, Brooklyn guy. Thank you, Booger. Okay, look, I helped you with your problem. Just don't destroy these eggs, all right? Take care of them. Come on, Booger, let's go. Oh, we get nice. Oh, fuck! I can't believe Booger's a girl. But Marvin, who got Booger pregnant? I don't know. We don't know any other dinosaurs. Ooh, my bibs, can I borrow $70? Why do you need $70, Dougie? To get the new Harry Poopers game! There's a new Harry Potter game? Yeah, it's Harry Poopers and the Expedition of Hobbops. You get to see Dumbledoofus, you also get to give a Dobby his sock back, and you get to see Hermione's fine ass. Okay, well, I thought you played Call of Duty, not Harry Potter. Well, usually I do be playing some Call of Duty, but now I want to play Harry Potter. I want to be on Hufflepuff. How about that, Bibs? Okay, well, all I have is a... It's a hundred dollars. Oh, that'll do. Well, I need my change back. Well, if you want some change, then you need to vote for Obama. What? Yeah. Oh, you be collecting some rocks? No, these are dinosaur eggs, Dougie. Dinosaur eggs? Eggs is expensive. Wait a minute. Uh, Dougie, you see that dinosaur over there? Oh, yeah, that got my cousin Pookie. Well, did you and your cousin Pookie, you know... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah? Uh. Oh, no, man, no, that's my cousin Pookie. She ratchet, she a thot. Well, I thought, I thought Booger, I mean, I, I thought your cousin Pookie was a boy. Nah, I mean, she's so ugly, she could be a boy. But I ain't, I ain't do nothing with her. So these are not your eggs? No, those ain't mine. All right, baby, we really got to protect these eggs. They're very valuable. Let's go! You said they were valuable? Yeah, they are valuable. They're dinosaur eggs. They're worth a lot of money. Well, how much is they worth? I don't know. Thousands? Oh, the thousands? Stacks? Mother, we should sell these right here. But uh, we're not selling them, Dougie. They're going to hatch, and they're, they're, they're like, dinosaurs are extinct, so they're endangered. We'll go, we'll go to jail if we sell these, Dougie. Oh, come on, Ma Bips. We could get some money. We're not. We'd be really ripped. We're not getting money. Just go buy your Harry Potter game, Dougie. <sighs> okay, Ma Bips. All right, baby, let's protect these eggs. Hey there, welcome to the black market. Why I gotta be black? Cause of my skin color? No, it's cause it's dark in here. All right then, as long as it's cause of that. So, you buying or selling? Well, I'm trying to sell me some dinosaur eggs, but I ain't got any. Okay, well, if you did have dinosaur eggs, you could get a lot of money for them, cause dinosaurs are extinct. Well, how much money I be gets? Probably a couple million, cause they're pretty rare. Millions? Like a million, but do you? Uh, yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna go steal them and I'll be right back. Okay. Marvin, can we go out to eat tonight? No, baby, we have to stay home and sit on these eggs until they hatch. But how do we know they're 
going to hatch. Because they're eggs, baby, and eggs hatch when... Oh, no! You caught me! Dougie, you put that egg back right now! No, I got to sell it for some money! You're not selling these eggs, Dougie. They're in danger. Let it go. But, folks, I need some money! No, you, you put the egg down. No, you, no, this is my money. Egg. Give it to me! Oopsie daisy. Dougie, you just killed that egg! Well, if you would have let me have it, then I could have sold it for some money and it would still be alive. Dougie, I'm gonna get in so much trouble. That was illegal what you just did. Well, if you're gonna get in trouble anyway, why don't you just let me have one of the eggs? No, you're not having any more of these eggs. Fine, just keep it. Wait, wait, no, 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 Dougie! Dougie, get back here! Oh, no! Ah, Dougie, you broke another egg! No, you broke the egg by tackling me and makes me drop it! I ain't do nothing wrong! Well, Dougie, just get out of here! Baby, we lost another egg! What? How? Because Ma Bibbs tried to push me down the stairs because he's mean. No, you were trying to steal the eggs, and now we only have three left. If Broken Guy finds out we lost two of the eggs, we're gonna get arrested! Hey there, just here to check on those eggs and make sure they're not broken. Uh, Why are there three? B because five is a lot to sit on. <laughs> That's what my ex-wife didn't say. Well, look, we needed help sitting on the eggs to help them hatch. So Booger sit on two of them. Don't say that name, please. I'm talking about Booger the dinosaur. God damn it. Hey, Brooklyn guy, it's me, Booger. I'm back. Oh, good. Oh, why are you in your cop uniform? You gonna catch some bad guys? Yeah, well, I am a cop, Booger. Oh, you should shoot him. I'm not gonna shoot anybody. Um, is it happening again? Oh, yeah. I am in hell right now. Oh, Brooklyn guy, great idea. You play good cop, I'll play the bad cop. They can't hear you, Booger. That wouldn't work. Okay, you go first. <sighs> what happened to the other two eggs? What happened to the dead? It doesn't matter if you yell, Booger, they can't hear you. We should arrest them. You know what? That's a good idea. Go get the handcuffs, Booger. Oh, okay, okay. But don't forget, by that time in middle school when you misspelled house in a school spelling bee, H-O-W-S-E. Now, everyone else thought you were wrong, but I thought you was right. It should be spelled that way, because you're the man. Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you, Booger. Okay, I'll go get the, those handcuffs. Please, please do But that. don't forget about that time in high school when you asked how you crush Rebecca Smith oh, and no, you Rebecca. pooped your pants. Oh. Remember everyone called you stinky, smelly, ugly, stupid Brooklyn guy? Yeah. Not me. I called you the man. Poopy pants the man. Yeah, you did say that. Thank you, Booger. Okay, we don't have long before he gets back. Uh, what happened to the eggs? Oh, because uh, I told you. I told you that the, 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 the dinosaur was sitting on them, and that, that's what's happening. Well, that's really interesting, because I found one of the eggs broken at the bottom of your stairs, and when I pulled into the driveway, I found the other one broken there next to the one that I broke for science. So so there's two in the driveway? No, you just reused the footage of you throwing the last one, you lazy piece of shit. Well, well I, I didn't feel like doing it again. I'm tired. Oh, wait, listen, listen. listen. We, got, we got three eggs, and it's not my fault. You know, it's, it's, it's Dougie's fault. Well, it's not my fault. I just really wanted the eggs so I could sell them for a million dollars. Ah, I got those handcuffs, Brooklyn guy. Oh, that's good, because it looks like I'm going to be arresting these people. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, I'm sorry. Did, did you just say that you were going to sell these eggs for a million dollars? Yeah. Oh, you could be a rich man. The man's man. The manliest man that ever man to man. Huh, I do like the sound of that. Yeah, be do the right thing, Brooklyn guy. Wait, you, we can't sell these for a million dollars against the law. Screw the law. I want to be a millionaire. If we sell these, we can get a million dollars each. I mean, there are three, and... There's three of us, so we all have a million dollars. Let's go sell these eggs. All right, let's go sell them. All right, here's the dinosaur egg. Hey, no cops. That's like rule number one in the black market. Well, no, 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 he's cool, he's cool. We're just trying to sell these eggs. So we'll really get a million dollars per egg? Yeah, if these are real dinosaur eggs. No, these are not real dinosaur eggs. What are you talking about? You said they were real. They are. Hey, if Brooklyn Guy says they're real, they're real. So, so the these man. are not real. No, no, there's a lot of fake eggs going around. See, there's this kid's toy you can buy at Target. It's the dig em up dinosaur eggs toy. I opened mine already. It's actually really fun. Oh, yeah. I, I think I bought these for Jeffy like a few months ago. I just forgot. Yeah, that'll happen. So we don't get a million dollars per egg? No, sorry. But I'll tell you what, if you have a built version of this thing, I'll give you 10 million. Oh, that's not worth it. I know. A new toy. Look what it can do. That's my face. That's really cool, Jeffy. And that's my ear. Awesome. That's a really cool toy, Marvin. Yeah. And Daniel, look at this. What? Jeffy, ew, don't put your thing in that. What, Daniel? It was just an upside down piece of broccoli made out of Play Doh. Oh, I, I thought it, I thought it was something else. Uh, Jeffy, go, go play somewhere else. All right, Daddy. What did you think it was, Marvin? I don't want to talk about it. All right, Junior, check out my new toy. Whoa, what's it do? Well, Junior, can you get your cat out of the way? No, she's fine. Okay. Well, you just stomp on that pad right there, and it launches the rocket. Ooh, can I try it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Whoa, it went so high in the air. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, so what I need you to do now is stomp on that pad again. But then it's going to go up your... Yeah, I know. Do it. 
Okay. Hey guys, what doing? Uh, Jeffy, stomp on that pad right there, please. Okay. Ooh, it was supposed to go deeper, but that's okay. Oh, Cody, what if we did this outside? I think it'll feel the same for me either way. No, like, what if you don't get in the way and it goes all the way up in the night sky? Oh, well, I guess we could try that. Yeah, let's take it outside, guys. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys, let's see how high this thing can go. Maybe it can go to the moon. Oh, that'd be so cool, but it's really dark outside. I wish it could light up. Oh, don't worry, Junior. Check this ish out. It can light up? Yeah, I did that so the doctors could find it in case it got lost in my colon. All right, Jeffy, you stomp on that thing as hard as you can. All right, Junior. Uh, did we just hit something? I think it popped whatever it hit. Uh, oh no, guys! We hit a hot air balloon! Oh no! Oh, we just killed someone! Yeah. Oh, right side! Ah. Ah. What's wrong, boys? Uh, can we sit on the red couch and you guys leave? Oh, um, okay. Guys, we just shot down a hot air balloon! But who would be flying a hot air balloon at night? Planes couldn't see it. I don't know. They're probably going on a joyride because they didn't think someone's going to be shooting random rockets in the air. We could have killed someone. Uh, let's just check the news! <laughs> Breaking news, okay? An unidentified flying object was shot out of the sky by a random missile from an unknown location. The military is looking into the situation now. Guys, did you hear that? Unidentified flying object? We shot down a UFO? What if we shot down aliens? Aliens finally come to Earth and we kill them? My god, what have we done? Lieutenant Guy, get your hairy ass in here. You've seen it, sir? We all have. We all shower together. Now tell me what the hell's going on in the skies over Florida. Well, sir, it looks like a Chinese spy balloon was shot down by an unidentified missile. Was the missile one of ours? No, sir. Satellite surveillance shows that it might have been three kids goofing around. Well, how did three kids get their hands on a missile? I don't know, sir, but we do sell to some pretty shady people. Well, how did these kids find the balloon and we didn't? I don't know, sir. The balloon didn't show up on our radar, so we're lucky the kids found it at all. Now you listen to me. You get those three kids and bring them here because America needs them. Yes, sir. <coughs> Junior, what are you doing? Writing an apology letter to the aliens and I'm gonna go outside and let the balloon go with the letter attached to it so it can go to their planet. Junior, this balloon's not just gonna go to space. Yes, it is, Cody. When you let go of a balloon, it keeps going up until it hits space. No, balloons just keep going up until they pop. Well, they don't pop unless they hit a sharp object. I don't think there's random needles flying around in the sky or space. What? No, that's... Okay, fine, Junior. Even if it goes to space, how's it going to get to their planet? When the aliens see a balloon floating in space, they're going to grab it. No one can say no to a balloon. And what makes you think they even speak English? Of course the aliens can speak English. If they can make a UFO that can go to the speed of light to go to our planet, then they obviously can decode this message. Yeah, the frowny face is really going to help. All right, guys, let's go outside and, and release the balloon. Junior, this balloon doesn't even have helium in it. It's just somebody holding it. What? No, it has helium in See? We couldn't afford helium, Cody. There's a helium shortage, and and we didn't think of this part of the video. Let's, let's just... Okay, so apparently the kids live here. Hmm. I don't want to scare them when they open the door and see a big old army man. Oh, I know. I'll put on this alien mask. That'll make me seem all friendly and fun. Guys, there's someone at the door. What if it's more aliens? They're mad that we killed their friends. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go open the door, and I'm gonna hand them the letter. No, 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 Junior. If it is the aliens, and they're mad at us for killing their friends, we can't just open the door. You're right. They're gonna try to kill us. So we gotta kill them. How? Uh, I got an idea. Grab your rocket. <sighs> All right, I'm grabbing it. No, like, grab your rocket. Oh, I got a handful of rocket. My crotch rocket. No, the rocket toy. I know, I know. Oh, come on. <gasps> Guys, it is an alien. All right, all right, when I open the door, Jeffy, you shoot the rocket at him, okay? All right, got it, Junior. Okay. Hello? Hey there. <clears throat> what, why'd you duck? Oh, my balls are in the nuts. You're not going to kill me, alien scum. Get off me. Get off me. All right, guys. What do we do with this alien? I think we should put stuff up his butt and probe him. Or we could let him do it to us. No, don't touch my butt. I'm not an alien. Says the alien. I know what to do with him. Move out of my way. Ow, what the hell was that for? Yeah, he's an alien. I'm not an alien. Then why do you look like that? This is just a mask I bought at Party City. Oh, that's just a mask? Yes. So you wouldn't mind if I took it off? No, go ahead. Wait, Junior, don't touch it. What if his antenna are like jellyfish tentacles and they sting you? Good thinking, Cody. You just saved my life. They're not like jellyfish tentacles. This is a normal mask. Before we try to take off that mask, prove you're a human. Okay, how? Ooh, I think we should check his butthole and see if he has a human butthole. Yeah, every human's butthole is the same. No, don't touch my butthole. Why? Because you have three alien buttholes? You don't want us to see it? What? No, I have one human butthole. I just don't want you touching it. Take the damn mask off. Okay, I'm gonna take it off, Cody, but if I get electrocuted, you beat him up, okay? Okay. <sighs> See? See, I'm not an alien. I'm human. I'm with the U.S. military. Now untie me. Okay, I'll untie you. Wait, Junior. What if he's an alien, but he just looks like he's with the military? I think we should check his butthole. If you touch my butthole, I swear to God, I'll send your whole family to Guantanamo Bay. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll untie him. 
Okay, now that you boys finally untied me, we can do business. So why are you here? Well, do you boys remember shooting something down earlier? Uh, yeah, are we in trouble? We were really scared. Oh no, boys, that was a Chinese spy balloon that even our radar couldn't detect. Really? Yeah, now the Commander-in-Chief wants to give you all medals of honor for your bravery. That's so cool! But boys, I just gotta ask, how did you even manage to see it? Oh, we didn't even really mean to shoot it down. Uh, yeah, we did. No, we didn't. Y yes, we did. Wait, hold on, I'm confused. Did you mean to shoot it down or not? Because you're only getting the medal if you meant to shoot down the spy balloon. No, we didn't mean to shoot it down. Yeah, 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 yes, we meant to shoot it down. We we walked outside and we saw the balloon. It said made in China. And we said, America, America. And we said, we're shooting that bad boy down. So we got our rocket and we knocked it out of the sky. And we said, we did that for America. Wow, boys, that is incredible. Okay, come on, let's go get your medals. Junior, what the hell are you doing? I want that medal, Cody. A medal of honor sick. Come on. Here are the kids, sir. You boys are American heroes for stopping that spy balloon. Thank you, sir. I'd like to award all three of you the Medal of Honor. Lieutenant Guy, go get the medals. All right, kid, here is your Medal of Honor. Oh, oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. That's the Medal of Ogre. It has Shrek on it. I got this for doing a 5K at Universal Studios. Are, are you impressed? Oh, hold on. No, I got it. I got it right here. Hold on. It, here is your Medal of Honor. Oh, wait. No, no, no. This is a medal I won for having the hairiest arms on a Disney cruise. Sorry. Hold on. I got it over here. It's over. It's, it's right here. It's right here. Here is your Medal of Honor. Okay. Let's, let's put that on you. Let's get... No, hold on. Get it, get it around your neck. Around your neck there. Okay. There you go. Yeah. All right. Uh, actually, you know what? You two, uh, just, just help yourselves. Enjoy your medals, kids! These medals are so cool! But that's not all. Since you boys are so good at shooting down that spy balloon and finding threats that even we can't, we're making you three our new official missile defense system. You boys will be in charge of shooting down nukes, missiles, or any other kinds of airborne threats to the United States. Lieutenant Guy, go fire everyone at NORAD. You got it, sir. Huh, won't be needing them anymore. We have professionals now. Now get out there and kill it, boys! Junior, we are so screwed! What are you talking about, Cody? We all got the Medal of Honor. We got jobs with the military. We're back! Badasses. Junior, I don't think you understand. They want us to shoot down nukes and planes and missiles just because we accidentally shot down a balloon. Cody, everyone has a calling in life, and our calling is to protect America, and that's what we're going to do. Junior, we don't have the technology to protect America. We have your missile toy. That's not enough. We need, like, satellites and missiles and stuff. Listen, Cody, America's the most badass country on the planet. No one messes with us. When they mess with America, they die. So look, we don't have anything to worry about. No one's going to try to nuke us. No one's going to try to bomb us. All we have to do is sit back, show girls our Medal of Honor, and eat tough muff. Hell yeah. Junior, there's not going to be any tough muff left to eat if we get nuked. Cody, we're going to have 24-hour surveillance. And how are we going to do that? You're going to stand outside for 24 hours and look at the sky, and if you see any missiles, you tell us. What does Jeffy do? He shoots the rocket at the missile and shoots it down. And I'm also going to let girls use my tongue as toilet paper. Okay, and what are you going to do, Junior? I'm also going to let that happen, and I'm going to be the person that alerts the news when we shoot something down, and I take all the credit, and I get all the muff. So you want me to just stand in your front yard and stare at the sky 24 hours a day? It's your job to protect America, so go out there, Cody. No one's going to try to bomb us. <laughs> the news! Breaking news, okay? The Commander-in-Chief has an announcement to make. Here's a statement from him now. My fellow Americans, earlier today the Chinese sent a balloon to try to spy on us and three brave soldiers shot it down. Since these three soldiers are so good at finding threats, I've decided to make those three boys the new missile defense program. We've canceled NORAD and turned off all our satellites because we don't need them. With that being said, I have one thing to say to the Chinese. Fuck around and find out! Throw everything you got at us, pussies! We ain't paying that debt back! Oh, we are so dead. No, we're not, Cody. Isn't it really cool the Commander-in-Chief believe in us that much? No, no, he shouldn't believe in us at all! Listen, Cody, no one's gonna bomb us or try to kill us. Do you know your phone is ringing? Well, hold on. Hello? Hello! Who's this? This is the Chinese! <gasps> Who is it, Junior? It's the Chinese! What? Well, how'd you get my number? I got it from TikTok! Well, what do you want? You popped our balloon, and then you talk shit about us on TV! Oh, yeah? Well, what are you gonna do about it? Bomb Pearl Harbor again? That was the Japanese. Well, what are you gonna do about it? Take one of our WNBA players? That was Russia. Well, what are you gonna do about it? We're gonna drop nuke on your stupid dumb American asses! <laughs> What'd he say, Junior? He said, we cool, dog." Really? He said that? He said, we good, food. What? Listen, Cody, just go outside and scan the skies for nukes. Wait, why? Because that's our job, Cody. Go outside and look at the sky. Well, how the hell am I supposed to scan the sky? I don't have a telescope. I bought you a telescope. Wait, really? You did? What? Junior, this isn't a telescope. This is a toilet paper roll. I can't see anything with this. So you need something bigger? Yes, like a telescope. What? This is a paper towel roll. It's not better. It can see really far, Cody. Just go outside and look with it. I'll try. All right, Jeffy, I need you to make like a bomb shelter, like a bomb bunker, so go grab as many pills as you can. All right, Captain. Oh, we're getting nuked. 
<sighs> How am I supposed to find anything looking through this? Yeah, that's a whole lot of nothing. Just a whole lot of paper towel roll. Wait, wait, what is that? Oh no. Oh no, is that what I think it is? Junior! Junior, get out here! <gasps> What's wrong, Cody? Jun Junior, look, look. Do you, do you see that? Uh, that, that looks like it could be a nuke. Junior, it's a nuke! What are we gonna do? Jeffy! Jeffy, get, get the missile out of the missile defense system! I got it, Junior. All right, Jeffy, shoot that nuke out of the sky. Shit. Uh, okay, go to the bunkers. What, bunkers? Everyone in their bunkers! Go, 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 go! Junior, you already had these pre-made? You knew about this? Yes, I knew they were gonna shoot a nuke, but I thought we could shoot it down! Junior, I told you we can't! We're just kids! Listen, we're safe inside our bunkers. We're gonna survive. No, we're not, Junior! This bunker's made of pillows! That won't stop a nuke! The pillows are made out of Kevlar! No, they're not! Wait, what? The news! Breaking news, okay? A nuclear ballistic missile has hit San Francisco. The death toll is in the millions. We believe it was shot by the Chinese. Junior, we just got everyone in San Francisco killed. Well, at least the nuke didn't hit here, right? Hey, uh, could you boys come with me? You have a better bunker? No, come on. Here they are, sir. You boys don't know what the hell you're doing, do you? No. Hmm. And shooting down that balloon was an accident, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go my bad on hiring you boys in the first place. Hiring three children to defend the entire United States seems like kind of a bad idea. Lieutenant Guy, go rehire NORAD and turn all our satellites back on. Then give China an apology and send them a box of chocolates and tell them to double our debt or some shit, I don't know. You got it, sir. Two million lives you boys cost us. Two million American lives. Turn in your medals of honor and get the hell out of here. But what about the muff? You boys killed a lot of muff today. Now turn in those medals. Hmm. We lost our medals. We didn't deserve them in the first place. So guys, what do you want to do tonight? I think tonight's done. I don't think we need to do anything else tonight. I think this is the worst thing we've ever done. You want to play with your rocket? No! He shoots balls. Don't shoot me with that again, okay? Jeff ah, oh my god, my balls! Marvin, are you okay? He shot me in the nuts, baby. Jeffy, if you do that again, you're grounded. Okay, I understand. Uh, that really worked? See, Marvin, a little gentle parenting is all it takes. You don't have to yell all the time. I guess you're right. Ah, all right, that's it, Jeffy. You're grounded. I don't know who Jeffy is. My name's Harold. Jeffy, you're still grounded. Well, you didn't even give Harold a chance. You told Jeffy not to hit you with the beaver toy anymore. Jeffy, I don't care who, what, what, what disguise you're wearing. You're grounded no matter what. I don't know who this Jeffy character is. Who's that? Stay right here, Harold. Hello? Hey Marvin. Uh, Goodman, I don't have my house payment this month. I figured you didn't, but I'm not here to take something from you. I'm here to give you something. Wh what are you gonna give me? See these, Marvin? These are two free tickets to the Super Bowl. You're gonna give me two tickets to the Super Bowl? Why? Well, because when I bought them, I didn't see what seats they were. But I later found out that they're row one end zone. Ew! Poor! I don't want to sit in poor seating. So I spent two million dollars so I could sit next to Patrick Mahomes during the Super Bowl. So, you're just gonna give me those tickets? Yeah, Marvin, here, take them. For free? Yep, yeah, for free, come on. Okay, what's the catch? There is no catch, you just gotta find your own way to the Super Bowl. Well, it's tomorrow, how am I gonna get to Arizona? We're in Florida. Start walking! I don't know, find your own way! But I gotta board my private jet right now. C can I fly on the jet? Ew, no! Be grateful for what you have! Don't start asking for more handouts, poor! Uh, okay, baby, baby, baby. What's wrong, Marvin? Goodman just gave me two tickets to the Super Bowl. That's exciting. Why? He said he didn't want them anymore, so he just gave them to me. Oh, well, who's playing? It's the Chiefs and the Eagles. Oh, I love the Kentucky Chiefs. It's the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, the Kansas City Queefs. Get it right, Mommy. So you're going to go with me? I don't know, Marvin. I don't know a lot about sports ball. Is that the one with the home runs or the basket grand slams? <gasps> LeBron James! Sprite Cranberry. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't go. Can Harold go? No, Jeffy, I think the Super Bowl is gonna be overstimulating to you. Well, the hub overstimulates me and makes me produce Elmer's glue in my pants. All right, Jeffy, just, just go do something else. Go play with a toy or something. Well, I have to take a dump anyway. Well, Jeffy, make sure you pull down your pants before you take the dump. Who are you gonna ask to go with you, Marvin? I don't know. I don't know anyone who wants to go to the Super Bowl. Ooh, my bibs, did I hit it? You got two tickets to the Super Bowl? Yes, I have two tickets to the Super Bowl. Who can I go? Well, are you even really a Chiefs fan? Yeah. Name one player. Well, well, they got Juju Smith-Susus, and then they got Clyde Edwards-Underwell. 
and then they got Patty, my homeboy. Well, I, I need to think about who I'm taking. I'll, I'll let you know if I'm going to take you or not. Okay. Go. Well, I'm sitting here until you decide if I can go or not. I, I need to think about it, Dougie. Just, just give me a few hours. Just go, go over there. But look, I can be the quarterback, Patty, my homeboy. Blue for the tubes. Step, hop, hop, hops. You ain't catching. Uh, Dougie, just go away and I will let you know if I'm taking you or not. Okay. Marvin, Jeffy keeps flushing the toilet over and over again. Oh no, hopefully he didn't uh, clog it. Jeffy, you better not have clogged the toilet. Don't get mad, I'm trying to fix it. Jeffy, what are you doing? Well, I pooped in the toilet and the poop clogged the toilet and then it started overflowing so I put a lot of toilet paper in there to try to suck up all the water but it keeps getting stuck. Jeffy, you're clogging the toilet even more. Well, I can't win so I'm just gonna cry. <laughs> I'll just call a plumber. I'll call a plumber. <sighs> oh, God, baby. Jeffy just clogged the toilet. I'm so mad. Oh, Marvin, he didn't do it on purpose. Oh, he did it on purpose. You didn't see it. I just called a plumber. Hey, Leah, somebody call a plumber? Oh, yes, I did call you. There's a huge clogged toilet in there. I'm talking big, stinky, clogged, and shitty. Great. Great. That's exactly what I love to hear. Oh, man. I sure love my job. I love to just dig through other people's shit, because that's what I do for a living. You know, I don't really have a whole lot in life to look forward to. Even the Super Bowl sucks this year. I hate both teams. I wish they'd both lose. God, I miss Tom Brady. Oh, you hate both teams? Yeah, I hate them. Because I have two tickets to the Super Bowl, and I don't really know who I was going to take, and I thought maybe I could take you. You said you had two tickets to the Super Bowl? Because I'm a big Chiefs guy. I love the Chiefs. Go Chiefs! You just said you hated both teams. No, no, I, I didn't say that. I said I hated the Eagles because I love the Chiefs. Why do you hate the Eagles? Because they beat Tom Brady. But, but not the Chiefs. I love the Chiefs. Go Chiefs! What's going on? <sighs> okay, listen, man. I just unclogged a toilet at this really hot chick's house, and she's a big Chiefs fan. And she said she would do literally anything to go to the Super Bowl. So I'm thinking if you give me those tickets, I can take her to the Super Bowl, and she can get nasty. Aren't you married? Aren't you supposed to be minding your own business? Well, listen, I was only going to give away one ticket because I was going to go. Oh, come on, man. You don't, you don't need to go. I need to go. I need to go with her. Marvin, what about Dougie? Yeah, I have this other friend that wants to go. What? Who even is Dougie? Come on, man. We've been friends for years. I'm your doctor. I'm about to unclog your toilet. Marvin, I think the only fair thing to do is to have a competition. You're right. I can have a competition, and whoever wins gets the tickets. Dougie, get in here. Ooh, my bibs. Did you decide if I can go to the Super Bowl? I I decided we're gonna have a competition and the winner gets the tickets and I'll stay back and watch it at home with Rose. What kind of competition pips? Um, I got an idea, come on. All right guys, here's the competition. Jeffy's gonna shoot these Nerf rockets at you and whoever catches the most rockets wins the tickets. We're gonna do it one at a time, so Brooklyn Guy, you're going first. Oh, I got this, I'm definitely gonna win. I can catch anything, right here. Okay, Jeffy, shoot the first rocket. Oh, okay, all right. I didn't think it was gonna go that fast. Okay, this next one, I got it, I got it. Ooh, that was so close. Okay, you only have two more chances. Jeffy, shoot the next one. Oh, damn! Oh, you said Nerf makes that thing? It's going like a thousand miles an hour. Ooh, you only have one more chance, Brooklyn guy. You gotta at least catch one. All right, Jeffy, shoot it. Hey, I got it, I got it! All right, Brooklyn guy, that's one catch for you. Okay, Dougie, if you can catch more than one, you win. <laughs> Good luck. Try to beat one. All right, Dougie, here's your first one. That was so really fast. Oh my god, he almost caught that. I can't risk him getting those tickets. Hold on, this laser pointer should help. Ooh, here's the second one. I couldn't see nothing. There was something in my eye. Ha, it worked. Oh no, my laser pointer died. <sighs> All right, Dougie, if you don't catch this one, Broken Guy wins the tickets. Oh <laughs> Brooklyn guy, you're the winner! Ha! You suck! Too bad the fan was on or else you could have caught that! All right, give me those tickets, give me! Well, you did win them fair and square. Y yeah, that's right, I, I did. I definitely did not cheat, which is what I'm gonna do on my wife. Um, Marvin, I've been thinking. I kinda wanna go to the Super Bowl. What, no, 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 you shut up, you had your chance. But I wanna see the Kentucky Chiefs! She doesn't even know the name of the damn team, you give me these. You're gonna be really happy when you see me at the Super Bowl next to the girl with the big fat anus. And I know it's fat, because I've seen her shits. Thank you! Well, baby, we should probably go to sleep. The Super Bowl's tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be a big day. Yeah, and you got the snacks ready for tomorrow, right? Yes, all the snacks. All right, let's go. Woo, it's Super Bowl time! Go, Kentucky! It's Kansas City, baby. Look, Marvin, I got us a whole bunch of healthy snacks. We have fruit, and we have Cheez-Its, and we have chewy granola! Baby, where's the hot wings and the Doritos? Marvin, you need to lay off the junk food. <sighs> Hold on, my phone's ringing. 
It's Brooklyn guy calling. He's probably calling to brag about his tickets. Hello? Hey, man. Uh, emergency. What's wrong? Well, you remember those tickets you gave me? What, you didn't lose them, did you? No, they're not tickets. They're like some kind of pregame hospitality shit that I can't even get into because I don't have a ticket. Well, no, no, no. Those are tickets. They're row one end zone. Listen, dumbass. I tried to get in with those, and they told me it was a hospitality thing, and I can't get in without a ticket because I need a ticket. Well, I gave you what I gave you. Well, I don't know what to do, man. I'm at the stadium. I'm here. The girl wants to know what's going on, and I'm like, oh, this happens all the time. It's just, you know, rich people problems, but there's no way she's going to be a knob goblin if we don't get into this game. Well, listen, the game starts in a few hours. Just try to buy tickets. Buy tickets? If I can afford tickets, I wouldn't need your tickets. I don't know what to do, man. I need two tickets, dog. Well, I, I can't afford tickets either. I gave you what I got. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I, I, I need your help to lie. Uh, What's that, Mr. President? You need me to not go to the Super Bowl because you need to meet me so you can give me ten trillion dollars? Okay, right away, sir. Oh, sorry, babe. I have to go see the President. I'll be right back. Okay, I think she bought it. Oh, okay. What's wrong, Marvin? Those tickets that Goodman gave me, they weren't tickets. They, 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 don't, they don't work. Really? Good thing we didn't go. Yeah, I feel bad for Brooklyn guy, though. He went all the way out there. Hey, I'm back. Well, how'd you get back so fast? They were non-stop flights. Well, the game starts in five minutes. Good thing you made it. Yeah, great. I want to show you something. See right there where it says game ticket required for entry to hospitality and stadium? Yeah, no ticket. Well, where's the girl? Oh, I left her in Phoenix. She's still waiting for me to come back, which I am not going to do. Well, you want to watch the game here? Yeah, sure. Do you want a snack? What do you got? We have some Cheez-Its. Oh, hell yeah, I want some Cheez-Its. Give me that. What? Snack mix? Die! You! Die! Who the hell puts pretzels and cheese? It's God, this is the worst day of my life. Well, who do you think's gonna win the Super Bowl? I don't care. Kentucky! Yeah, fuck it. You know what? Go Kentucky! Oh, everyone, shh! The commercials are starting. What? I'm home! Where is my dinner? Oh no, he's home. What? Did you burn dinner again? I, I'm sorry, you know I'm learning. Or in this? Ah, I don't have a Snickers! Oh, thank you. Hmm. You feel better now? Yeah, I don't want to hate you anymore. And the Snickers made me feel better. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers really satisfies. Man, I bet my wife wishes I had a Snickers sometimes. I get like that after work. <laughs> starting. All right, score predictions. Who's going to win? Kentucky by 30. But what's the score prediction? 30 to 17, Kentucky. I think the Eagles are going to win 28 to 24. I hope everyone just has fun. Ooh, ooh, coin toss predictions. Heads or tails? I don't give a shit. Heads or tails? <sighs> tails. I just want to know the year of the quarter. Ooh, what color Gatorade are they going to pour on the winning team? Yellow. I hope it's Gatorade Zero. How would we even know that, huh? It's 12 inches long. What? A foot. <laughs> Very funny, Jeffy. Dang, can you go in your store and buy me a Ruma Cube? What? A Ruma Cube. Are you saying Rubik's Cube? No, a Ruma Cube. Jeffy, it's pronounced Rubik's Cube. No, it's a Ruma Cube. Marvin, you know what he means. Stop agitating him. I want him to say it right. Rubik's Cube. Ruma Cube. <sighs> I'm not going to buy it for you unless you say it right. It's a Ruma Cube. Go buy me a Ruma Cube. Marvin, just go to the store and get it for him. Okay, fine, Jeffy. I'm going to go buy you a Rubik's Cube. Ruma Cube. Okay, there's the Rubik's Cube that Jeffy wanted. All right, Jeffy, here's your Rubik's Cube. Dang, that's not a Ruma Cube. That's not what I wanted. Yes, it is, Jeffy. That's a Rubik's Cube. You're just saying it wrong. I never said I wanted a Rubik's Cube. I want Ruma Cube. Aw, Marvin, he said Rubik's Cube right. Wait, so you're not saying Rubik's Cube? No, I want a Ruma Cube. What the hell is a Ruma Cube? You don't know what Ruma Cube is? No, I'm going to take you to the store so you can show me. Great. All right, Jeffy, show me. Show me what it is that you wanted. Right here, Daddy. Ruma Cube. Ruma Cube. I thought you were saying Rubik's Cube wrong. Why, Daddy? Because I'm slow? Yes. <laughs> so, Jeffy, that's what you wanted, right? Yep. Do you even know what it is? Yeah, it's the original Ruma Cube. Brings people together. Classic. Okay, Jeffy, if I get this for you, you're not getting anything else, okay? All right, Daddy. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, let's go. More right. Squishy AF. Dang, dang, dang! What, Jeffy? Can I have one of these? No, I'm already getting you the Ruma Cube. Well, I want both. Choose one, Jeffy. Ruma Cube or whatever that is. Ruma Cube. All right, come on, let's go. 
What is that, Marvin? Rumacube. You mean there's something actually called Rumacube? I've never heard of it in my entire life. See, I told you guys I wasn't saying Rubik's Cube. Jeffy, did you gain some weight? B says what? I know you ain't talking about my fupa with your ass. Jeffy, it does look like you're getting fatter. It's called a thyroid problem, okay? I'm going through a little bit of a hormonal change. It's what's causing me to gain weight. Or maybe I'm pregnant from when you screwed me in the store and said I couldn't get a second toy. Jeffy, language. I'm sorry, mother. I'm just going through all these hormones as a teenager and it is making me gain weight and I'm a little bit sensitive about it. Jeffy, do you have something in your shirt? Strong maybe. Let me see. Oh yeah? Birth? Huh? <laughs> Jeffy, did you steal this from Target? No, nope. it jumped in my shirt and ran away. So you stole it? No, Daddy, you bought me that forever ago. Baby, did we buy this from a long time ago? I don't know, Marvin. He has so many toys. And you have a lot of toys too, Mommy. I heard you playing with Buzz Lightyear and Woody the other day because I kept hearing Buzz Lightyear go bzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
All right, Jeffy, here's your toothpaste. Go brush your teeth. All right, I'll get right on that. Jeffy, what is that? It's my big rainbow wiener. No, Jeffy, it's one of those stuffed animal things. Don't do that, Daddy, I might spit. Jeffy! Jeffy, did you steal this from the store? No, Daddy, it's my package. I was born with it. I'm a shower, not a grower. Jeffy, you keep coming up with new ones. Where are you getting these from? These are mine that I've always had. You bought all of these for me forever ago. Jeffy, go brush your teeth. All right, Daddy. No, you gotta grab the toothpaste, Jeffy. I'll use the toothpaste that's in the toilet. Yeah, hell yeah, now we're cooking. Squish, squish, squish. This is actually gonna take a while. Montage time. Daddy, we ran out of toilet paper. Target. Daddy, Target. I did it. My whole bed's covered in squish mellows. Oh man, baby, I'm so tired. I'm sure, Marvin. You've been to Target like 30 times tonight. Well, Jeffy kept asking for stuff. I know, Marvin. Just make a list before you go next time. Hey! What? Oh, but Target guy, what are you doing here? Yeah, that's me. I'm mad. How long were you here for? Long enough. Where's your son? I need to talk to him. He's in his room, I think. Well, he's about to be in jail because he's been shoplifting from my Target. What shoplifting? What did he shoplift? We had an entire aisle of Squishmallows, and I thought they were selling like hotcakes. And then I go to look at the sales record, and it turns out we haven't sold any at all because your son has been stuffing them in his shirt and walking out the door. I knew he was doing that. Oh, so you knew he was doing that? That's why you kept bringing him back to Target? What? No, he was distracting me by asking for single items at a time. Okay, yeah, well, your son's going to jail now. Uh oh, don't he, you don't have to arrest him. How about I just pay for him? Okay, yeah, that'll be $1,000. $1,000 well, for stuffed animals? Well, look, man, I don't make the trends. In the 80s, it was Beanie Babies. In the 90s, it was Furbies. Now it's Squishmallows. It's what people want. Well, I'm not going to pay $1,000 for stuffed animals. Well, we also accept ducks. We accept ducks and we accept goats. You can pay in livestock. We use the barter system at Target. What? I can pay with live animals? Yeah, if you got live animals, you can pay with that. They, they actually do that at Target. Look it up. You can actually pay with live animals at Target. Go ahead. I'll give you a second to Google it. You idiot! Why would you actually believe that? Have you ever seen a duck at Target? No, where would they even put them? Come on, come on, do better. I mean, think about that. That's stupid, right? If you fell for that, subscribe. If you didn't fall for it, like. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and do both. It's, it's January. We're starving over here. So, all right, listen, how about we just return them? No, 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 that's, that's not gonna work. See, people do unspeakable things to Squishmallows. Like, they, they rub their wiener on them. Not, not me, like, I would, I would never do that. But, like, people who have done it say that it feels really good. But I, I wouldn't know, because I, I, haven't, I haven't done that. So, like, you can't return them, though, because nobody wants a wiener mellow. Okay, listen, I'm sure Jeffy hasn't done that to him yet, so how about we go check him? Mm, okay, we can check him, but I'm gonna smell him, and if I smell wiener, you owe me a thousand dollars. Okay. Look at all these Squishmallows! Oh god, I'm so mad. I mean, I knew he stole them, but see him all here like this? God, it makes me so mad. Why does your face look like that? Because I'm mad. This is my mad face I make when I'm really mad. Jeffy, where are you? Where are her? Jeffy, did you steal all these Squishmallows? Mm-mm. Liar! I see them all right here! Jeffy, we know you stole them. Why'd you steal them? Because I wanted them. <sighs> Can you smell them to make sure they don't smell like wiener? Oh, yeah. No wiener. Okay, no wiener. Wiener and poo-poo, and I see the poo-poo right here. Jeffy, did you wipe your butt with this? Oh! Why? Because it felt good on my ass crack. Jeffy, you're supposed to use toilet paper. Well, this is better than toilet paper. Have you ever seen those toilet paper commercials? They're called Charmin, and it's a big bear, and he has crusty crumbs on his butthole? Oh, yeah, I've seen those. Those are weird. Like, the papa bears get a poopy butthole, so the baby bear has to be like, hey, you idiot, use Charmin instead, so the papa bear can wipe his butt good. It's weird. Okay, so all the other ones don't smell like wiener, right? No, I think they're fine. They even got the tags on them. So the only one I have to pay for is this one. How much is this one? It's like 40 bucks or one pigeon. I don't have live animals to pay with. All right, 40 bucks it is then. Okay, so I'll pay you the 40 bucks for this one. Now I just need to give your son a stern talking to about stealing. Hey, stealing is wrong. You know, if you steal again, we're going to cut your hand off like they almost did in Aladdin. You got it? Yeah. That's right. All right, now load these into my car. My wiener is so itchy. All right, Jeffy, let's start loading these in the car. Did you learn your lesson today? Um, I think so? What was it? Um, don't steal and only use these to wipe your butt. No. Whatever Jeffy says, you have to do it. I'm not playing this game. Come on, Marvin. It'll be fun. He's going to make us do something stupid. No, he won't. And the loser has to pay me 100 bucks. What? Jeffy says raise your left hand. 
Jeffy says, put it down. Jeffy says, go. Jeffy says, go. Here we go. Jeffy says, say, pee pee. Pee pee. Jeffy says, give me 50 bucks. What? No, Jeffy. Do you want to lose and you have to pay me 100? Here's your 50. Jeffy says, pee pee. Jeffy says, jump up and down. Jeffy says, yeah, keep doing that. I'm getting tired, Jeffy. Okay, stop. Oh, thank God. Ha! Oh, you lose! You lose, Marvin! You have to pay him a hundred bucks! Well, well, why'd I lose? Because I didn't say, Jeffy says stop doing that, and you stopped before I did that. But I thought I was supposed to do everything you said, and I, I did what you said, and... Well, now you gotta give me a hundred bucks! Here's your hundred dollars, Jeffy. Leave. He just made two hundred dollars. He just conned us out of two hundred dollars. I'm tired. What? My phone's ringing. Hello? Hey, Marvin. What? Goodman, why are you calling me? I was calling because I wanted to see if you had your house payment this month before I drove all the way over to your house just for you to tell me no, because this is becoming a common trend with you. Well, I don't have my house payment this month, but because I gave my son $150... <sighs> Marvin, I need you to come over to my house right now. What, for what? I need you to come over to my house! Don't ask questions, Marvin! I'll send you the address! Uh, okay. Who is that, Marvin? It's Goodman. He wants me to come to his house. Why? Uh, he's probably gonna yell at me. So just, I'll be back. Okay. Uh, I think this is the right house. Yes, hello? Um, Goodman wanted to see me? Ah, oh, very good. He's in the living room, please. Go take a seat. Okay. This is a really nice house. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, have you seen Goodman? Hey, Marvin. But Goodman, why are you dressed like a woman? I'm not Mr. Goodman, I'm Mrs. Goodman, as evidenced by the tits. Oh. You wanna squeeze them? Well, no, 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 I, I don't wanna squeeze oh, them. Oh, come on, Marvin, I can tell you wanna squeeze them. No, no, I really don't. They're brand new and they're fake. Dr. Burton did the job. That's, that, 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 that's really nice, but I'm just here to talk to Goodman, which... Uh, Marvin, you've been playing cat and mouse with me ever since you got here, at least feel them. Do I have to? I insist. I mean, they are really nice. Marvin, are you in here judging my wife's boobies? Uh, Goodman, I, I thought you were good. I leave my wife for three minutes in my own house, and you want to come in here and start touching her cans? Well, she, she, she told me to do it. I didn't, honey. He's a pervert. Marvin, you get the hell out of my house before I call the cops. I thought you wanted to talk to me. That was before you assaulted my wife. Now get out! Uh, 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 okay. <sighs> hey, Marvin, did Goodman yell at you? Oh, yeah, he did. What? Uh, because I, I'm late on my house payment. But you're always late on the house payment. You know, he always gets mad. That's just- Marvin, I cannot believe you! I cannot believe what you did! Why are you so upset he's always late on the house payment? It's not about the house payment. It's about him squeezing my wife's big fake titties. What? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, I invited Marvin over to my house because I was going to lower his monthly house payment. And you know what he did? I walked into my living room and there he was, squeezing my wife's big fake boobs. He was squeezing them so hard I think he partially deflated them. It was like he was milking a cow. Marvin, is this true? Well, I thought it was a man. You're sick, Marvin. How could you do this to me? Well, I, I didn't do anything to you. He didn't do anything to you, but he did a whole lot to my wife's big fake left tip. I can't believe you cheated on me. Oh, I didn't cheat on you. She asked me to do it. Also, if a man asked me to kiss him and I do it, that's not cheating. Well, what if you thought the, 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 girl, uh, the man was a girl... You're sick, Marvin! Sick! Marvin, my wife would never ask you to do anything like that. She's only loyal to me. Do you know how much plastic surgery I paid for for her to look just like me? Because the only thing that is attracted to me is myself? Well, well, Those tits cost me 20 grand, Marvin! What do you guys want me? What do you want me to do? What do y'all want me to do? You go over to that house and apologize to that poor woman! You want me to you want me to apologize to her for what? Yes, I think that's a perfect idea. Marvin, you will apologize to my wife for assaulting her. Well, I didn't assault her. <laughs> Marvin, you go over there right now. If you want to save this marriage, you need to apologize to her. Okay, fine. I'll apologize to her, okay? That'll make everyone happy? Okay, I'll let her know that you're on the way. I'm gonna go apologize to her. So stop. Let's go! Okay. <laughs> I can't believe I have to do this. Hello? Uh, hey. Goodman said that you had something to tell me? Uh, I'm sorry for touching your boobies. It's okay. Come here, give me a hug. No, no, I don't want the boobies. Marvin, are you motorboating my wife? Not the best. She hugged me. He's a pervert. What? Marvin, you get out of my house, you little horn dog. What the God damn it? <sighs> did you apologize, Marvin? Yes, I did. And what did she say? She gave me a hug. Oh, that's so sweet. Marvin, I cannot believe what you did this time. What happened now? Oh, I'll give you a hint. 
I picked up Marvin a sailor hat. Now why would I get Marvin a sailor hat? Hmm, let's think about it. Maybe because when he came over to my house to apologize to my wife, I caught him motorboating her ditties. What do you mean? I'll tell you exactly what I mean. Two giant cans, and he stuck his face between them and shook his head violently and went <laughs> like a motorboat. Marvin, how could you? That's Captain Marvin. Now wear your sailor hat. <laughs> That is not what happened, okay? I apologized to his wife, she gave me a hug, and my face went between her boobs. Marvin, that doesn't happen on accident! Well, you haven't seen how big they are! And you have! It's true! They're huge! Well, listen, it was an accident! You don't accidentally put your face between boobies and go... I did not make that noise! Yes, you did! Marvin, you need help! I agree! You need professional help, Marvin! What kind of help do I need? We're going to marriage counseling! But I didn't do anything wrong! I'm gonna go check on my wife! And I'm gonna call a man! Therapist. I didn't do anything. Oh. Hey there, somebody call a massage therapist? No, we called a marriage therapist. Oh, well, you can see my confusion. You know, marriage therapist, massage therapist, they sound pretty similar. But hey, I can do both. How about we just get massages because we don't have marriage problems? No, Marvin, you need help. Wait a minute, if you're gonna give us massages, why are you in a robe? Oh, well I saw some videos online where the massage starts and then things start to get steamy and I heard a woman's voice on the phone, so I thought maybe my fantasies were coming true, but I guess that's not happening, so I can help you with your marriage. Well, we don't have marriage problems. Yes, we do! Oh, I have an idea. How about you give me a massage and I help you with your marriage? I'm not giving you a massage! No, Marvin, I think you should. Since you enjoy touching women so much, you should try touching men. Man, that one, over there, go. Uh, okay, fine, I'll give him a massage, that'll make you happy. What, really? It, okay. Uh Right, right there. Yeah, you feel that knot? Yeah, it's all my stress. Oh, okay, it's good. Yeah, so what's going on? I caught my husband cheating on me! Oh, good. No, no, not good. Like, good, like he's doing a good job with the massage. So he's cheating on you? I caught him twice! Oh, yeah. I, not, oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah, like the massage. So he cheated on you twice. Evidently, she has big cans! Oh, nice. No, not nice to the cans. Nice to the massage. He's just doing, oh, okay, that's, that's my butt. You're massaging my butt. Hold on, let me roll over. Get my pecs. There you go. A little bit lower. A little lower. Lower. Wait, 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 what is that? <laughs> I pulled it a Sean Watson on you. Ew! Uh, listen, just answer her marriage questions. Okay, so he's cheating on you with a woman with big cans, right? Yes! Have you ever considered getting a surgery so you have big cans? No! Well, maybe you should consider that. Listen, I did not cheat on her, and I'll tell you what happened. So, my, 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 there's this guy I owe money to, and I went over to his house, and I saw his wife, and she asked me to grab her boobs, so I did, but I thought it was a man. What? Okay, yeah, I can see why that might cause problems for your relationship. But I thought it was a man, and she asked me to do it. So you just do whatever somebody asks you to do? Like, what if somebody asked your wife to grab their wiener and she did it? You wouldn't like that, right? But, but that would be wrong. Mine wasn't wrong because I thought it was a man. Okay, I see what's going on here. You're a manipulator. See, when you do it, it's not wrong, but when she does it, it's wrong. But no, mine wasn't wrong. It, if you weren't there, you should have been there. Okay, hold on. I have an idea. What? Okay, now I'm dressed like a woman with big cans. Why? To teach you to control yourself so you don't want to grab my motorboat. I don't want to do that. Good, that's a start. What did you make them out of? Oh, I used balloons and then I used Tic Tacs for the nipples. Those are Tic Tacs? Yeah, go ahead and touch them. Ha! Gotcha! Marvin! Oh, he said they were Tic Tacs and I wanted to see if they were. Oh, the wandering mind. What, if a girl tells you she's not wearing underwear, you gonna check? What? No! Listen, baby, you know that's Brooklyn guy dressed like a woman and I just wanted to see if they were Tic Tacs. Look, I have an idea. Why don't I just call Goodman's wife, tell her to come over, you guys hide, and you see if she comes on to me or not. Oh, you just want to see your girlfriend! No, 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 I think this is a good idea to see if he's telling the truth. Yeah, and I will be telling the truth. And how about this? If I'm lying, you can divorce me. Okay, Marvin. Okay, that's a deal. So guys, hide. I'm gonna call the wife. Oh, come on, Goodman, answer. What do you want, Marvin? Uh, hey, Goodman, listen. I have a plan to prove to you that I wasn't doing what you thought I did with your wife. I witnessed it with my own two eyes, Marvin. But listen, she came on to me, but I have an idea. How about you come over and you hide, and then we invite your wife over, and then when she comes over, you can hide and see that she tries to come on to me, and you'll know I'm not lying. You just want to squeeze them again. Well, no, 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 listen. If I'm lying, if she doesn't try to come on to me, I I'll, I'll be homeless. I'll live on the street. <sighs> Okay, Marvin. I guess I'll come over, and then I'll call my wife and tell her to come over a few minutes later. Okay, good. Hey, right, this is gonna work. All right, Marvin, where do you want me to hide? Uh, hide over there. Okay, my wife will be here any minute. Come on, Marvin, you got this. Oh, Marvin! Marvin, where are you, big boy? I'm right here. Oh, hey, Marvin. You called me over? Yeah, I just wanted to talk. Did you miss them? What? The jugulars. Did you miss them? No, I didn't miss them. You miss how they felt on your face? No. Get over here and smell them. What? Just smell them. Come here. Uh, I, listen, I just want to talk. Oh, okay. Well, how about before we talk, you bounce on them? What? Bounce on them? Bounce on them like a trampoline. Yeah, there you go. Like Cirque du Soleil. You ho! Oh, Goodman! It's not what it 
looks like he came on to me. No, I heard the whole thing. And now you're on, out on the streets because you signed a prenup. <laughs> Sorry, I ever doubted you, Marvin. I, I told you I never did anything wrong. You know what? This month, you don't owe a house payment. Well, oh, th th thank you so much, Goodman. Thank you. Marvin, you were telling the truth. Yeah, he was. Those cans were huge. I would have squeezed them. I, I mean, uh, good job not cheating on your wife or whatever. Marvin, I'm so sorry for getting mad at you. It's okay, baby. Yeah, I guess I didn't have to dress like this after all. But since I am dressed like this, I guess I can earn a little extra money. You know, give some massages with happy endings. I mean, it's not gay if I use my hands. Shut up! There you go, Daddy. All right, Jeffy, no more stickers. Well, I got one more flaw! My face is already covered. That's what she said. Come on, Marvin, just let him do it. Okay, hurry up. And there you go, Daddy. Flog. All right, no more stickers. Yes, more stickers. I got one more. No, Jeffy, put them on your body. All right, I'll put them on my butthole. Therefore, when I fart, stickers go everywhere. It'll be a sticky fart. There's someone at the door. Hold on. Hello? Hey, Marvin. You have your house payment this month? Uh, well, no, I don't have it. Oh, so you don't have enough money to pay me, but you have enough money to buy stickers and put them all over your stupid face. Well, no, no my, my, my son had the stickers. Listen, Marvin, I don't care. I'm tired of you being poor. So you know what I'm going to do? This is your nutsack. And if you don't have your house payment tomorrow when I come by, this is what I'm gonna do to your nutsack. Look at your nuts, Marvin. Uh, house payment tomorrow. Uh, okay. <laughs> <sighs> Who's at the door, Marvin? It's Goodman and he wants my house payment, but he's just so mean. Don't worry, Marvin. He's just a mean rich man. He doesn't understand. I know, but he doesn't know what it's like to be poor. I just wish he knew what it was like to be poor. I'm gonna go wash these stickers off my face. Uh-oh! That don't like this thing! Come on, Jeffy, let's get ready for bed. <gasps> okay. <sighs> Good morning, Rose. Rose? Who's Rose? Ah, who are you? My name is Starlight. We met last night. Well, I, I don't remember that. How'd you get my bed? Rose is going to be so mad. Good morning, sir. Ah, who are you? I'm Chives, your butler. What? Hung uh, over again, I see. No, I'm not hung over. What are you talking about? I don't know what's going on. Sir, your name is Goodman. You're a trillionaire and you're a dick. I'm in Goodman's body? Yes, sir. You, you are Goodman. I don't know what's going on. Sir, shall I pay the lady for her services? You owe me $5,000. I don't have $5,000! Sir, yes you do, it's right here. Now scram! Thank you. Oh, wait, 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 listen, Chives. I don't know what's going on. I'm not Goodman. I'm not supposed to be in my body. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny, sir. No, no, I'm telling the truth. I'm not Goodman. I don't know what's going on. Shall I just bend over for my spanking now? Why would I spank you? Well, normally when I talk back to you, you give me a harsh spanking. I, I don't, I don't want to spank you. What? Uh, I, I think I love you. Shall I draw a bath, sir? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll take a bath. That, that, that'll help me figure out what's going on. Very well, sir. I'm good, man. Look at all this money in the bed. What, what the? Well, I've never seen this much money in my life. I really just bathe in this? Yes, sir. It's all yours. Uh, do you want to join me? But really, sir? I've never been allowed to join you before. Yeah, jump in. The money's warm. Very well, sir. <sighs> Hey Danny, hey Danny, hey Danny, hey Danny, you gotta take me to school. What the? Who are you? You gotta take me to school. I'm not taking you to school. I don't even know who you are. Wait, what the? Is this Marvin's house? I must have fallen asleep here. Marvin, did you fall asleep on the couch again? Ew, fat! Marvin, you're so silly when you first wake up. Why do you poor people keep calling me Marvin? Because you are Marvin. What the? Oh no. Oh no! Ah! Bald! Bald and poor! What's wrong, Marvin? I'm bald and poor! You say that every morning. I used to be handsome! What happened? It's okay, Marvin. Get away from me, you fat cow! <laughs> move! 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 Here's your breakfast, sir. Filet mignon cooked medium and a loaded baked potato. Unfortunately, we don't have any peppercorns. Why are you showing me your butt? So you can spank me, sir. I said I wasn't going to spank you. Really? Yeah, and this, this breakfast is amazing. Do you want some? Oh, I'm not allowed to have any, sir. Normally, normally you just feed me kibble without the bits. No, no, you can have some of my steak. I'm not going to eat all of it. Really, sir? 
Thank you so much. Dad, 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 can I drop out of school and become a piece of shit? Yeah, sure. Really? You're the best dad ever! Yay, no school! Sir, I don't know what's gotten into you, but we'd love it. Yeah, yeah, I think I love it too. Ah, why did this happen to me? Why am I in Marvin's poor fat body? I bet he's got a tiny wiener. Let me check. Ah, ah, tiny wiener! Why would God do this to me? I'm such a nice person. Wait a minute. If I'm in Marvin's body, that must mean he's in my body. I gotta call him and get my body back. Marvin, I think we should file for divorce. I think so too. You're just too fat. What? You're a fat cow. Give me my phone. I need to make a phone call. Okay, here. Fine. Go call your other girlfriends. <laughs> I think I might. All right, come on, me. Answer the phone. Ah, this is the life. Another glass of champagne, sir. No, thank you, Chives. You can have that glass. Wow, thank you, sir. Man, Goodman's life is amazing. Sir, you're getting a phone call. Just put it up to my ear. Very well, sir. Hello? Marvin? What? Goodman? Are you in my body? Uh, yeah? Yeah, because I'm in your poor, short, fat, small wiener body. You have a small wiener. Did you know that? Yeah, but, but listen, you have a big wiener, and, and I like your life. It's so amazing. I know my life is amazing, so give me my life back. No, I think I'm going to stay in your body for a while. No, you give it back to me right now. Uh, the call's breaking up. That call is not breaking up because that is a satellite phone. Uh, 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 Chives, hang up. Chives, don't you hang up on me. Huh? He hung up on me? Oh, if I ever get back in my body, I'm going to make Chives walk around in a thong, and I'm going to give him a thousand spankings. Marvin, I made you some breakfast. I think you just woke up cranky. It better be filet mignon. Ew! What is this? Albino rabbit shit? It's Cheerios, Marvin, made with real honey. Where's my filet mignon? Cook medium rare peppercorn. You know we can't afford that, Marvin. Ew! I keep getting more and more poor. I'm going to go to my mansion and see if I can get my body back. He's going through a midlife crisis. Marvin, you open this door right now! Hello? Chives, let me in my house. No, I'm sorry, sir. I was given strict instructions not to let Marvin into this house. But I'm not Marvin. I'm Goodman, so let me in! Well, you certainly look like Marvin. Chives, as soon as I get back in my body, you're getting a spanking. Well, hopefully that never happens. Whoever's in your body right now treats me great. He treats you great? That can't be happening. Marvin, get down here right now! No, I'm sorry, sir. If you would like an appointment with Mr. Goodman, you'll have to call in and schedule it in advance. Unfortunately, he's booked by about three years. Good day, sir. Chives, don't you sign that door in my face. Oh. oh, man, this house is incredible. I could just lay here and relax all day. Um, excuse me, Mr. Goodman. I was wondering if maybe I could start wearing underwear now because it's getting kind of cold in the house. What? What? Why don't you wear underwear? Be because you told me not to wear underwear. Why? Why did I do that? You know, for like... Easy access. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can start wearing underwear. Definitely, you can start wearing it. <gasps> really? Let me thank you. What, what, are, what are you doing? I was going to thank you. What? That, that, you, you can just say thank you. But that's how you told me how to say thank you. No, 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 no. I, 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 I can just I give you a raise. Oh, you have a raise? Let me, let me help you. No, 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 no. I, I meant like raise with, with money. Oh, you're going to pay me? I don't pay you. I mean, you sort of do, but it's only like five pesos per month. Okay, I'll, I'll start giving you. $3,000 a month. <gasps> really? Let me thank you. No, 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 no. I said I know what the thank yous. Look, look, I'm going to go uh, drive around in my, in my car. Do you do you want me to thank you in the car? No, no. Just stay right here and do whatever it is you do. Okay, Mr. Goldman. Yeah, I'll see you later. See you later. Oh, wow. A real Lamborghini. And I get to drive it. This is so cool. Oh, my God. I've never driven a Lamborghini before. Let's start it. Oh. This is so cool! Okay, I'll drive really careful. Man, I love driving this car. I never want to go back to my old life. Goodman! Marvin, you get out of my car right now! Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Goodman. Your joyride is over! Take me back to your house so we can figure this out! Okay, god dang it. 
All right, Marvin, we're gonna sit right here and figure out how to get me back in my body. Oh, hey, Marvin, I see you brought your lawyer, too. If we can just sign these papers, we can get this over with real quick. Wait, what's going on? Uh, Marvin's wife is divorcing him? Why? Because he keeps calling me a fat cow. Is she not? I'm doing you a favor, Marvin. I'm gonna sign those papers. No, 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 we don't want the divorce. Well, it's not really up to Marvin. She's divorcing him. Well, 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 maybe we can work something out. Well, no, I made it really easy for you. See this happy little font? It's called fairy tale ending. I, I know it's kind of ironic given the circumstances, but imagine if it's a divorce in big red letters. That'd be pretty sad. But this is like divorce. That's not so bad. Okay, but Marvin doesn't want the divorce. Oh, come on. Look, man, I know that divorce is scary at first, but after you get divorced, you can download Tinder and then get a piece of strange ass. And, and then you itch for the next few weeks. Post nut clarity's a bitch. But, but then you find another woman and you get married to her and you do it all over again. It's a circle of life. Okay, but listen, I'm I'm not Goodman. I'm Marvin. Goodman's in my body. It's true. I'm bald and poor. What? Wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me you switched bodies like some kind of Rob Schneider movie? Yes, and we don't know how to get back in our bodies. Well, that explains why Marvin was so mean to me. Yeah, I would never be mean to you, baby. So does anyone have any ideas how we can switch our bodies back? Well, in the movies, usually they miss their old life and learn a lesson, and then they switch back. Yeah, I miss my old life. I miss being rich. I want my body back. Well, I kind of like Goodman's life. So, I don't know, I mean, I guess I miss my old life, but, but listen, can you like, help, help us figure this out? Uh, look, man, I'm in lawyer mode right now, not magic mode. I don't even know how to do magic. This is a problem you gotta take up with God. Hey, it's me, what's going on? God, we need your help! Yeah, I know, I heard. Okay, so me and Goodman switched bodies, we don't know what's going on. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I drank a lot of water last night and I accidentally turned it into wine I got pretty drunk. I thought it'd be funny to make you guys switch bodies. Well, can we switch back? Well, that depends. Did you learn your lesson? What lesson was I supposed to learn? Well, maybe now that you've seen how terrible Marvin's life is, you'll treat him better from now on. I agree. It is pretty shitty. He's poor and he's married to a cow! Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. So you're gonna treat him better now? <sighs> I guess I guess I'll treat him slightly better. Okay. Poof! Ah, am I back? Am I back in my body? Hold on, let me check. Oh yeah, I'm back. Big wiener in town. Ha ha! Poor! I mean, slightly less fortunate. You know what, Marvin? With all the crap that you've been through, you don't have to owe a house payment this month. But I would recommend signing those papers. Thanks, I guess. Marvin, is that really you? Yeah, I'm back in my bald, fat body. Don't forget your small wiener. Yeah. Marvin, at least we have each other. Okay, well while you guys do that, I'm gonna go have my maid thank me. Stop playing that. You stop playing that! I'm not the one playing it! Ow! Marvin, he's just making music. Well, I want to watch TV, so go play that somewhere else. Why would you stop playing that beautiful music? Jeffy, go! Or not. Marvin, the mayor election is starting! Hello and welcome to the mayoral debate. I'm Steve Stalberger, and today we have a debate between two twin brothers who are running for mayor. Tuna Fish Terry and Pistachio Pete. Who will win? Let's find out! Our first question is for Tuna Fish Terry. What would you put into school lunches to make them healthier? Well, if I was mayor, first thing I'd do is I'd put tuna fish in all the vending machines up in school, and in every place go have some tuna fish on it. Very interesting. Pistachio Pete, what would you put into school lunches to make them healthier? Well, it's natural good source of protein, and I think every kid eats natural beer, little dinner, and that's a natural every bait, honey roast, one of my favorite, ain't no shell on those. Tuna fish got more protein in it than in their pizza cheos. Go get them tuna fish, eat that's your vegetarian. Screw you and your vegetarian, look. Gentlemen, gentlemen, calm down. This is not a shouting match. Okay, next question. Pistachio Pete, there are a lot of potholes in the roads. What would you do to fill in those potholes? I feel there's some bitch with pistachios and roads smooth and butter. Tuna Fish Terry, what would you do to fix our pothole problem in town? I put a can of tuna fish in that pothole and run over that some bitch. Next question. 
tuna fish Terry, what would you do to lower taxes in our city? I believe that all tuna fish are going to be tax free. You ain't going to pay no tax on no tuna fish, I guarantee it. Pistachio Pete, how would you lower taxes? Her tax on tuna fish, no tax on pistachio. No, we did the damn thing. You can't raise tax on my tuna fish. The hell wrong with you? No one even like that tuna fish. Everybody like that show. Everyone loves tuna fish. It's the ticket of the sea. Ain't no one know how to say that piece of chill shit. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please stop arguing. Well, that does it for the mayoral debate. Make sure you go out in the next few days to vote on who gets to be our new city mayor. Pistachio Pete has my vote, Marvin. He's a vegetarian. But tuna fish Terry is clearly better. I can't understand a single word that man says. He speaks very clearly, baby. You have to get your ears checked. Well, I eat pistachios every single day, Marvin. They're healthy for you. I'd rather have a tuna fish sandwich. Oh, you, you just don't get it. Tuna fish Terry's for the people, and pistachio Pete is selfish. All right, crafts, so today we're going to be eating lunch in the classroom because the cafeteria got a sewage leak. So the lunch lady's going to be coming around and passing out your slop. All right, kids, here's your breadless sloppy chunks. Some for use. Oh, that's so gross. And some for use. Yeah. And some for use. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> oh, this is so gross. But guys, if you don't want to eat it, I'll eat it. You're actually going to eat that, Joseph? Dude, food is food. You'll eat anything if you're poor. All right, Krauss. Make sure you eat all your food and don't make a mess. I don't want any stains on my carpet. <laughs> Damn, Joseph, slow down. I haven't eaten in three days, dude. Not everybody has a family like you or a mom that cooks for them every night. Give me your food. Okay, geez, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish we had better school lunches. Cross, I have an announcement to make. We have a special guest today. It's Tuna Fish Terry coming to talk to you guys about his mayoral campaign. So listen. Huh? Oh my god, Tuna Fish Terry, I love him. He's for the people. Oh my god, Tuna Fish Terry, no way! Burn it, everyone, get up! My name's Tuna Fish Terry, and I'm running for mayor. And I can tell all you out there ain't like that school lunch that you be having right now. So if you tell your parents to vote for me for mayor, then I'll make sure that you got Tuna Fish and say that tuna fish eating right there. Thank you. He's got my vote. I want Tuna Fish for lunch every day. Yeah, Tuna Fish would be awesome. Now hold on, class. We have one more guest speaker that wants to talk to you. It's Pistachio Pete, and he's also running for mayor. Now no, that's it. You just heard about Tuna Fish. Tuna Fish, boom. Tuna Fish is busy. You know what that busy? That's yours. That's yours. Where it at? That's yours. Now listen, I brought you for me, mayor. I get you a handful of that's yours every day for lunch. Thank you. Thank you, Pistachio Pete. All right, class. Now go home and tell your parents who you want to be mayor. Boo! Pistachio Pete sucks! Hey, Pistachio Pete is way better than Tuna Fish Terry. He's vegetarian and pro-environment. Yeah, why don't you ask where those 10 million missing pistachios went, huh? Yeah, 10 million pistachios don't just disappear overnight. Yeah, Penelope, and ask him what happened to those pistachio secret files. You know, he shredded them before the FBI came. What were in those files, Penelope? They're full of nutrients, Junior. No, his pistachios are full of El Chapo's Coke. Come on, guys. Let's go to my house and make sure Tuna Fish Terry wins. Okay, yeah, dude. Okay, guys, we have to find a way to guarantee that Tuna Fish Terry will win mayor because I don't want to eat pistachios every day for lunch. Yeah, I'd much rather eat tuna fish. Yeah, me too, dude. Okay, Cody, check and see who's winning the election. Okay. Oh, no. It looks like Pistachio Pete has a small lead over Tuna Fish Terry. How? Well, people like that pistachios are vegetarian. They think eating tuna is cruel because you're killing fish. Well, Jesus ate fish. Facts. Yeah, that's true. And fish is better. Okay, look, we have to find a way to make Tuna Fish Terry relevant with the kids. You know, to get the kids to vote for him. Ooh, what if he made a rap song? Oh, yeah, if Tuna Fish Terry made a rap song, everyone could relate to it. They'd be like, ooh, he's hip, he's hop, he's full of rap. So, yeah, Cody, go get Tuna Fish Terry. But go get him? Yeah, go get him. Tell him you want to talk about Tuna Fish, he'll come over and we can tell him about our idea. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I guess I'd try. Okay, guys, I found him. You want to invest in Tuna Fish? He thinks we want to invest in Tuna Fish. No, we don't want to invest in Tuna Fish. You want to sell Tuna Fish? No, we don't want to sell Tuna Fish. We want to help you win mayor. Ah. Really? Well, that was easy. So we thought if we made you a music video and a rap song, you'd be more relevant to kids to get more votes. Do the fifth. But was that a question? Yes. Do the fifth. So you want to make a music video and a rap song? There's going to be two fifth in it. Well, yeah, I mean, of course. That's who you are. All right, do the fifth. All right, let's record the song and make the music video. Yeah, let's do this. All right, dude, I found a beat. Now all we have to do is write the song. All right, Tuna Fish Terry, tell us some stuff about yourself so we can put it in the song. Well, my name's Tuna Fish Terry, and I rent a charter boat about four or five days a week, so I go Tuna Fish fishing. I love fishing, fishing my favorite fish. And then I got two daughters, one daughter's allergic to Tuna Fish, the other daughter's don't like Tuna Fish. And I got a wife, she got diabetes, and she lost one of her foot and one of her pinky toes. And then I, got, I ain't even wear shoes because I got ingrown toenails and they hurt my feet. All right, dude, I think I just write the song. Yeah, you just write it. Yeah. Yeah. 
carried me to the there. Just going down the store and get some of that there tuna fish. I'm running for mayor, so make sure you vote. Tuna fit, tuna fit. I love some tuna fit, tuna fit, tuna fit. I'll sell some tuna fit, tuna fit, tuna fit. Bitch, smell like tuna fit, tuna fit, tuna fit. I need some tuna fit, tuna fit Terry. I'm so hairy. Get on the boat, I call it a ferry. Fish for fish, I call it tuna. Going fishing is good afternoon. Prime, make it flayed, I eat it. Tuna fit Terry, nothing can beat it. Run from mayor, shit's too easy. But for me, bitch, my brother is sleazy. I'm tuna fit Terry, now I approve this message. So, Tuna Fish Terry, what do you think about the music video? Need more tuna fish! I think it has exactly the right amount of tuna fish. And that hot girl was dancing on you? Yeah, coochie smell like tuna fish! Okay. I think it's ready to go on air. Computer can fly! No, like, like it's ready to go on TV. Ah, you got a pisser? I got a shit! What'd he say? He asked if you had a pisser, but then he said he had to poop. It's down the hallway. Ah, ah, don't touch my tuna fish, it'll bite your finger off. Rawr. He said the tuna fish will bite our finger off, but it's already dead. Gu guys, are you sure we really want this guy to be mayor? Do you want to eat pistachios every day for lunch? No, I forgot. Hawk, 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 the news! Breaking news, okay? Pistachio Pete has been assassinated while eating pistachios on his back porch. What? Pistachio Pete was assassinated? That means Tuna Fish Terry wins! Yay! Yay! But guys, it's still sad. Nobody should be assassinated over pistachios. Hey, you can't see Tuna Fish Terry? Oh, the cops! Uh, no. Oh, yeah? Then whose tuna fish is this? Terry's. Why did you lie to me? I don't know. Just every time I see cops, I reach for stuff really fast and lie. That's a really bad habit to have, kid. Yeah, why are you looking for Tuna Fish Terry? Well, his brother, Pistachio Pete, was assassinated, so it would only make sense that Tuna Fish Terry be the one to do it so he could be mayor. Well, Tuna Fish Terry couldn't have done it, because he's been in my bathroom the whole time. <laughs> Wait, Junior, stop. Uh, uh. Junior, stop. Uh. Officer, tell him to stop. Yeah, kid, could you knock that off? <laughs> Tuna Fish Terry couldn't have done it. He's been in my bathroom the whole time. Have you seen him the whole time? No. Aha, uh -huh. so he could have done it. I'm going to go grab him. Okay, guy, just go in there and arrest him. You've done this before. No good cop, just bad cop. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, you got me my tuna fish! Why are you eating tuna fish in the bathroom? Eat good. Okay, well, you're under arrest for the murder of your brother. Wood one down. P Pistachio Pete. Aw, oh, good riddance. Yeah, okay, you're under arrest. Come on. Come I ain't do me. nothing. Guys, Tuna Fish Terry just got arrested. No, not my boy Terry. But he couldn't have assassinated Pistachio Pete. He was eating tuna fish in the bathroom the whole time. We gotta do something. <laughs> Guys, the news. The news. Breaking news, okay? Since Pistachio P was assassinated, his other brother, Gumbo Gary, has joined the race for mayor. Even breaking her more news, we just got word that Tuna Fish Terry has been arrested as a suspect in the murder of Pistachio P, leaving Gumbo Gary the only person in the race for mayor. Gumbo Gary? Well, he has my vote. I do like Gumbo. Guys, something really weird's going on. Don't you think it's weird that a third brother named Gumbo Gary comes out of nowhere right when Pistachio Pete got assassinated and Tuna Fish Terry gets blamed for the murder? Yeah, that is pretty suspicious. I really wish I could find out who really killed Pistachio Pete. If I could ask God any question, it'd be who really killed Pistachio Pete. Hey. God? Yeah, I'm here to answer your questions. I'll give you one question each. No matter what it is, I'll answer it. Ooh, did dinosaurs really exist? Uh, yeah. Go to a museum. That's <laughs> sick. Joseph, what a dumb question. Obviously dinosaurs exist. Dude, I needed to know. <sighs> All right, God. My question's a conspiracy theory. Did we really go to the moon? Like, did Lance Armstrong really land on the moon? Lance Armstrong rode bikes, and he cheated, but he didn't go to the moon. No, did Neil Armstrong go? Sorry, that was your one question. God ah, damn it! Uh, my one question is, in Horton Hears a Who, are those the same Who's from the Grinch? I, I, I mean, uh, d Dude. Don't, d don't answer that. Uh, sorry, I mean, because they obviously are, right? Like, they, they, they are. Hey, Cody! <laughs> Uh, don't answer. Uh, uh, so my real question is, who killed Pistachio Pete? Oh, that was Gumbo Gary. Wait, why? Well, he wanted to kill Pistachio Pete and frame Tuna Fish Terry so that he could become mayor himself. Oh my god, can you tell the cops that? Uh, no. Why? Wait, wh why? Yeah, why? Well, I work in mysterious ways. You t tell people that. All right, guys, we have to get Gumbo Gary here and get him to admit the murder while we record it, and then we can show the cops and free Tuna Fish Terry, and we can have tuna for lunch every day. Okay, yeah, let's do that. 
Go get Gumbo Gary. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, I'll go. Uh. Okay, I got Gumbo Gary. Hey, what's all this tuna fish doing here? You should be eating gumbo. Well, that's why we wanted you to come here. We want some gumbo. Oh, okay. Hey, are you taking a picture of me? Uh, uh no, no, no. Uh, Cody's a big fan of you, and he wants a picture with you. Oh, uh, okay. Come on in close. You smell like gumbo. Mm hmm Yeah, so, uh, Gumbo Gary, what do you think about pistachios? I hate them. Oh, what do you think about Pistachio Pete? No, I killed him. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Why'd you kill him? Yep, I killed my brother Pistachio Pete. That way I could frame my other brother, Tuna Fish Terry, and win the election. Did you, did you get that? Oh, dude, it wasn't recording. Uh, uh, recording? You better not be recording that I said I killed my brother Pistachio Pete. That way I could frame my other brother Tuna Fish Terry to win the election. Dang, dude, my phone went dead. You use my phone, Joseph. I, I, I got you. Wait, can you say what you just said again? You, you want me to speak in this thing so it's more clear? Yeah. All right, clear your ears out. I killed my brother Pistachio Pete to frame my other brother Tuna Fish Terry. That way I could win the election. You got it? Yeah, I totally got it that time. Oh, well, can you go get us some gumbo? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that was easy. This family is stupid. Well, let's go tell the cops. Yeah, dude. I don't know how you caught me. Well, we got some pretty hard evidence. Thanks, kids. So, Cody, now that Gumbo Gary's arrested and Tuna Fish Terry's free, you think he's going to win the election? I don't know. Let's go see the news. Junior, turn on the TV. Turn on the TV. Breaking news, MK! Tuna Fish Terry has won the election and is now mayor. Congratulations to the new mayor. Tuna Fish Terry wins! Yeah! We can have Tuna Fish every single day! Let's, Cody, stop trying to kiss me! Oh, I'm sorry, I thought we were having a moment. Hey, boys! I just want to come by and say thank you for saving my Tuna Fish and clearing my name so I can win mayor. Anything for you, Tuna Fish Terry. Yeah, you boys want some Tuna Fish? I got the Tuna Fish fresh in the morning. It's so good right there. I, I rented out me a charter boat. I went out there, I went fishing. I just got me a lot of fish, and then I caught me a Tuna Fish, and I was out there, and I flayed that bitch right That's there on that boat. And then when I was on that boat, I was like, hey, hey, get back up in this boat, fish. playing the T-Ball Championship game. Oh, dude, we're totally gonna win this? Yeah! I didn't even know we were in a T-Ball League. Hey, guys, I won't be able to play in the T-Ball Championship tonight. Why? Because my mommy and daddy grounded me for saying the F word. But you're our best hitter. Yeah, dude, we need you. <sighs> I guess we're gonna have to play without him. Yeah, we can win without him, dude. Come on, guys. All right, kids, this is the T-Ball Championship. You guys win this, and you guys are world champs. Woo! Well, not actually world champs, not even state champs. More like county champs. Actually, just this one little town. But you guys will still be champs, and that's all that matters, right? I can't wait. We're going to win. I wonder who we're versing. Oh, they should be here any minute. <laughs> we here. But, uh, hi, are, are you the parents of the other team? No, we are the other team. <laughs> Y'all hear this? You guys know this is a little kid's t-ball championship, right? Yeah, and we've been champions for 15 years straight. Nobody can beat us. But are you guys 12 years old? Yeah, in our minds we are. He just just a number! But who is he? That's Tiny Nipple Tyler. Just calm down, calm down. He can hit a home run with his eyes closed. Um, kids, can I talk to you for a second? Okay, we're screwed. We're gonna lose. What the hell? We can still win? No, these are adults. Do you not understand? Look at look at his nipples. That is a grown man's nipples. We can't beat him. Well, we can at least try. Are we gonna play or what? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're gonna try. We're gonna, we're gonna try to play. All right, come on in. Damn. Oh, Jesus, kids. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Okay, kids. Looks like we're batting first. Who wants to get out there and embarrass themselves? I'll bat first. I'll put the team on my back. I don't care how big those 12-year-olds are. We'll still win. Yeah, we're gonna win. Kids, I'm telling you right now, those are not 12-year-olds. Those are grown-ass men who just like to beat up on little kids because it makes them feel better about themselves, okay? We're gonna lose. But, Coach, we're gonna win this for you. We're gonna win this for you. Come on, guys. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, God help these children. All right, you ready, guys? I'm gonna send this over the fence. <sighs> Oh, we're gonna lose. And I don't know why there's a guy in the pitcher's mound. This is T-Ball. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Oh, I got this. Oh, out, bitch! Out! <laughs> you gotta hit it a little bit farther! A little bit farther, baby! Oh man! I thought it was gonna be a home run! Oh, sorry, Coach. It's okay. They're grown-ass men. Okay, Cody, you're up next. Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, Cody, flip your bat around. Huh? Uh, oh, hey, yeah. Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> Easy, Al! Everybody move in! <laughs> uh, could you guys move? No! Hit it! Uh, okay. Ha! Ow! 
Yeah, yeah, get a step in, get a step in, next fuck up! Sorry, coach. It's okay, Cody. There's nothing you could have done. You had a wall of grown men in your way. Okay, Junior, you're up next. Okay, guys, I got this. Here we go. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, <laughs> that's an out! All right, it's our turn to bat, y'all. Let's show them how real kids bat. <laughs> Sorry, coach. Hey, you tried, and at least you hit the ball, right? Okay, now it's their turn to bat, so go out there and get slaughtered. <laughs> Say bye-bye, little ballie. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, you know, you should probably just go easy on the kids. You know, they are kids. I still look bye bye, Bali. Get it, Joseph, get it! <laughs> oh, dude, he hit it over the fence. That's impossible. <sighs> oh, sweet Jesus, he hit a home run. <laughs> home run, suck it! Yes, suck I know. It. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> all right, Tyler, let's show him what them tiny nipples can do. <laughs> all right, all right. Y'all ain't ready. Yeah, his nipples are very tiny. I, I don't know why that makes him good at t-ball. <laughs> get it, Joseph! Get, 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 get it! Oh, dude, they're obviously on steroids. They keep hitting it over the fence. Yep, yeah, there it goes, over the fence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I see him. I see your nipples. They're very tiny. Uh oh, we got Macarena Joe in this hole. Don't do it to him. Oh, once he gets started, he can't be stopped. Oh, oh, oh. Do it! Do it, Macarena Joe! Hit it! Please don't hit another home run. Eh, uh, Macarena. No! Dang! Joe, calm down! You ain't have to do it like that! Come on, Joe! Come on! Get it, Joseph! Get him! Just get let it. it go over, dude. I lost hope. And another home run, yeah. Yeah, that is the Macarena. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right, Sabrina, no penis. Get out there! Woo! She ain't oh. got one! She ain't got one! Okay, it's a girl. Hopefully she's not as good at T-ball. Boom! Hey! Oh, that's gotta hurt. But so, somebody go to first! Somebody go to first! Get her! Uh, here, dude! Uh, you're out! You're out! I touched the base! Yeah, I'm okay! We got an out? Oh my god, we got an out! I can't believe it! Hey, hey kids! We might not actually lose as bad as I thought! Sorry guys. It's all good, okay. Sprint. We'll show them next time. Yeah, we got it. Alright, boom it, show them what to do, boom it! Let's go, boom it! Yo, damn it, dog! Yo, damn it, dog! Okay? Oh no, not Pooby. Yes, Pooby. Make that ball your bitch, Pooby! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, put it, Pooby! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, damn! Yeah. He's just breaking the equipment! Why would he do this? Oh no, that's gonna be a home run. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! 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 Come on, come on, yeah! Come on, come yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking oh, about, Poobie. Oh, Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, we're down four to zero. Come on, kids, just get two more outs. All right, Enrique, give us some more. Let's go, Enrique. Yeah. Yeah. Enrique, yeah. let's go. Yeah. Come on, let's go, go on. Yeah. Ha, Enrique, more like Enrique Gay, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Right, kids? <laughs> Actually get him out! <laughs> no, no, look, look! Oh, damn it! Ha <laughs> I suck it. Yo, it's, it's okay, Enrique. It's, it's not good. okay! It's not okay! Man, Tom, show him what them tiny nipples are about, man. I got you! I got you! Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. Oh no, not the tiny nipples. Tiny, 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 tiny! Yeah! No! That's that big nip energy! Nip. Big nip energy! Yes. Yeah! Oh, that's definitely out of here. I got it, I got it! <sighs> wait, wait! Another out! <laughs> you guys suck! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, kids, we're down four to zero, but it's our turn to bat, so we might still win this. No, there's no way. We're not good at batting. The only person that was good at batting is Jeffy. Well, where is he? He's grounded and couldn't play. Well, looks like we're gonna lose, kids. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, y'all gonna lose! Ain't no way you coming back four to zero! Ha <laughs> ha, y'all suck! <laughs> God, I hate that guy. Somebody needed me? Jeffy, you made it! Dude, he's here! Your parents ungrounded you? No, I snuck out. Woo! We might actually have a chance. Okay, you boys, get out there and try to win this. Yeah! Dad and girl. Uh, yeah, right. Whatever, Penelope. Uh, all right, ball. Say bye-bye. Damn, Jeffy crushed it! <laughs> ah, damn! 
So close! Yeah, way to go, Jeffy! That's my boy right there! Four to one! We can actually do this! Okay, Penelope, it's your turn to bet. I don't know what I'm doing, Dad! I know, I know. Okay, just keep your eye on the ball and swing, okay? You can do this. Okay. All right, Daddy's gonna be watching you. Dang it! Penelope, they are laughing at you out there. You are striking out in T-ball. It's right there on the goddamn tee! I don't know what I'm doing, Dad! Just, just, just hit it. Run! Run, Penelope, run! Go, go, go! Where? The first base! Look, he's coming! He's coming! Hurry! Ah! He's coming! Go, go, go! He's right there, Penelope! Oh! You're out! What's that mean? It means you're out! Does that mean I get to sit down? Yes, just go talk about periods or whatever you do. Ugh. Okay, let's go, Joseph! Oh, I got this. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Damn it! We have two outs! Who's up to bat next? Cody! Oh, we are so screwed. Okay, Cody. Okay, you can do this. Don't even think about it. You got this. I mean, he's he's right there. But but that's okay. That's okay. I can hit it over his head. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get a point. We're gonna get a home run. And then we're gonna win the whole game. I can do this. Alright. Alright, Cody. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. I guess I'm out. Oh, come on! You can't just do that! That's not fair! You gotta at least let him hit it first! Come on! With... <laughs> Your point! Yes! <sighs> okay, it's their turn to bat. All right, kids, it's four to one. We just have to make sure they don't score any more points. Since y'all score one point, we're gonna score 50 on y'all. <laughs> don't listen to him, kids. That's impossible. All right, Macarena Joe, no mercy on him. No mercy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Don't do it to him. Oh! They might actually score 50 points. I mean, yeah, I think we're gonna call the mercy rule. Hey, we're the T-Bot champions! Yeah! Yeah, let's go, let's go. yeah I, I hope you feel real good about yourselves. You're a bunch of grown-ass men. You beat a bunch of kids. Congratulations. All right, kids, huddle up. Well, you lost the T-Ball championship. But, as far as I'm concerned, you guys are winners. You scored one point against a bunch of grown adults, and that's pretty impressive. I, I don't have any trophies. I guess the, the trophies are, are in your heart. So let's all go out for pizza and ice cream. Yeah! Guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know. Wait, Cody, why do you have a half gallon of orange juice? And who's that? Oh, he's from the Guinness Book of World Records because I'm trying to break the world record for most orange juice drank in a week. So he has to watch me drink all this orange juice to make sure I break the record. Just ignore him. Guys, 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 we're about to be super rich on Fortnite. Look at all the V-Bucks I stole. Whoa, Joseph, that's like 300,000 V-Bucks. I know, dude. I got it from the gift card section at Target. No one was watching. I just grabbed it and ran out. Wait, Joseph, you said you stole those? Uh, duh. Well, guys, they're not going to work unless you buy them. What? Huh? Well, they don't actually 
activate the cards unless you buy them, so those are useless. That's probably why they didn't try to stop you, Joseph. Well, he still stole a bunch of cardboard! Yeah, that's a whole lot of cardboard, dude. Well, yeah, it is, but it's only worth like a penny each. That has to be like 35 cents, right? Yeah, and we can use them as bookmarks. It, yeah, we could do that. All right, so let's go read a book. Yeah. And then stop and save our spot. Yeah, where them books at, bro? Yeah, where the books at? Gotta find them. <sighs> I wish I had a lot of V-Bucks. Dude, he had to ruin it. Well, do you have a lot of money? No. Well, then we're not gonna get a lot of V-Bucks. I wish I had a job. I wish I was a girl so I can have an OnlyFans account. Yeah, girls have it so easy. All they have to do is take a picture of their feet and they get V-Bucks. Yeah. Oh, we could try streaming. People usually donate money to people who stream video games. I mean, we could live stream us playing video games. Like, we could literally live stream playing Fortnite and get more money for Fortnite. Dude, they only donate to hot girls and hot tubs. Well, I can dress up like a hot girl and stream me playing Fortnite. Oh my god, yeah, Jeffy, you can dress up like a hot girl and play Fortnite, and we can get all the V-Bucks from all the donations. Yeah! All right, Jeffy, you go dress up like, you dress up like a girl, and I'll set up the streaming stuff. All right. I took a sip. All right, Jeff, I have everything plugged in. I have your microphone plugged in, I have Fortnite on the TV, I have OBS started, and the webcam's on. You ready to live stream? Yeah, Junior, let's get this party started, and let's make some cash. All right, let me start the live stream. And we're live. All right, Jeffy, test out the mic. Ping, ping. Yeah, it works. Dude, we don't have any viewers. Jeffy, do something to get viewers. Oh, yeah, the cans. Oh, my God, we got 15 viewers. That's what I'm talking about. Well, how about a little titty ASMR? 30 viewers, dude? Oh my god, they're loving it. We're, we're getting comments too, we're getting comments. What's the guy in the background drinking? Your mom's urine sample, how about that? She should drink more water. I'm trying to break this record. Uh, he's trying to break the record for most orange juice drink in a week. Ooh, they want to know if you can butt chug it. Uh, would that count? He says it wouldn't count. Sorry guys, I want to, but it's got to be down the throat. Oh, okay, who's the girl? Uh, this is my sister, Jeffica. She'll do anything for money. I will. What, they said it, I bet it's bubblegum pink, what's that? Uh, he must be talking about the controller, dude. It's white. Yeah, it's white. Yeah. <gasps> this guy said for $10,000, if Jeffy gets a win, he'll donate $10,000. Oh, that's easy. It's so easy, I'll even do it with my tits. Oh yeah, this is too easy. I got one kill and there's 62 people left. Only 62 people left? Oh dude, this is an easy dub. Oh yeah, too easy. So easy that I'm grittying on these hoes. Yeah, gritty on them, gritty on them. Well, damn, dude! Who sniped me? Show me the slot! Uh, 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 uh the, the, the ducky guy! He's boxing! Well, he can eat Jeffy's nuts! Uh, Jeffica, you're a girl, remember? Oh, well, he can eat this roast beef sandwich! Oh, uh, dude, we just lost $10,000! I can't believe we lost $10,000! Wait a minute, the guy says he'll give us one more chance to earn $10,000. Okay, I won't mess it up this time. Yeah, yeah, don't gritty at all. Just focus on the game, okay? Yeah. All right. Wait, Cody, where's the, where's the orange juice guy? Oh, he went to the bathroom. I have to wait for him to get back. Why don't you just pour out the orange juice and say you drank it? Well, I guess I could do that. But, uh, never mind. Look, I wasn't gonna do it, okay? I really wanna break this record. All right, Jeffy, play. All right. All right, Junior, I'm just gonna bush camp the whole game. Yeah, there's no way anyone will ever find you in that bush. Fuck! Uh, how'd he know you were there? I don't know! How did he know? It's the same guy from the last game! It's the exact same guy who killed you last round, Jeffy! Horse! Pull! Shit! Oh my god! We just lost $10,000! Yeah, and I'm out of orange juice. I gotta go get some more, guys. Uh-uh-uh. What? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. what? Oh, what? That little drip? Oh, hop off my pecker, dog. Damn. Alright, fine. I'll drink it. You happy now? I'm gonna go get more orange juice. Dude, 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 he said he was gonna give us another try. Oh, oh, Jeffy, Jeffy, he said he'll give us another try to get $10,000 if you get a win on the next round, but only one more chance. Okay, I'll try not to mess it up again. Let me grab your controller. Guys, I'm gonna do it this time. It's only me and one other person. You got this, Jeffy. You can pull it off, dude. Oh, he's right there, he's right there. I'm shooting him, I'm shooting him. Uh, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, 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 it's right there, Junior. Ah! It's the same ducky guy. How does he keep finding me? Wait, 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 wait a minute. His username matches the guy in the chat who said he was gonna give us $10,000. Dude, he's stream sniping us. What's stream sniping? Stream sniping is when somebody watches your stream and then they use that to find you in the game and then kill you over and over again. Oh yeah, I got more orange juice, so I'm back. Wait, so he's stream sniping us? Do you think he was ever gonna give us the money? No, he's been finessing us the whole time. We should find him and kill him. Yes. No, that's a good idea. Who are you? <laughs> Karen, Karen, check this out. I keep lying to these kids and telling them I'll give them $10,000 if they win in Fortnite. Night, and then I use the stream to see where they are in the game, and then I snipe them. Brittany, that's not very nice. Yeah, we'll tell the kids to get good. Well, isn't that cheating because you see where they're at in the game? Yeah, well, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Boy, nee, cheaters never prosper. 
tell that to my win-loss ratio. Pointy, why don't you put down the game and pay attention to me? But I don't want to look at you, Karen. I want to look at Fortnite. Go do your makeup or alphabetize your tampons or something. Mm -hmm. So, Junior, how are we going to find out where's the stream sniper? Well, I just called an expert that hopefully can track his IP address and give us his address. Hey there, there's somebody called Big Search Computer Repair Services. Yeah, there's this guy that kept killing us in the video game, and we want you to trace his IP address so we can go to his house and hurt him. <laughs> Easy! Move out of my way! <gasps> Is this a dual core processor? Wait, don't tell me! I want to find out once I'm inside! Oh, uh, yep, yeah, I'm in! I'm inside! There's his address. Wow, you're so quick! Yeah, not the first time I've been told that before. Alright guys, we have his address. What do we go do to him? We go to his house and we snipe him! Yeah, that's a really good idea! Alright guys, let's go snipe him at his house. You coming, Cody? Uh, no, I'm just gonna stay here with my orange juice. Okay. Now that I'm by myself... Come on, Hinasha feet, POV, call me daddy. I can see you. Do uh, you want to watch with me? There, now that I made those little kids cry, I'm going to sit back and watch the Miami Heat game. We're playing against the Detroit Pistons. They call them that because they piss a ton in their diapers when they're playing Jimmy because they're scared. Boy, I didn't know babies could play basketball. Yeah, and they all play for the Detroit Pistons. That's why they've lost 62 games this season, and it's about to be 63 because of Jimmy. That's a lot of losses, Boyney. Yeah, Jimmy would never. Jimmy could never. Boyney, did you check the mail today? Oh, I hate you so much. Is that a no? No, I did not check the mail today, Karen. But Boyney, what if my zoo books came in the mail? Karen, there's no way you get 12 fascinating issues of zoo books for the low, low price of $19.95. That's a scam. Well, can you just go look? Why don't you just go look? I want to watch the game. Because it's dark outside and I'm scared. Oh. Check the mail! Check the mail! Bitch. Let me see. I don't think there's anything in here. Let me get in and check. All right, Jeffy, look, he's outside. He's checking his mail. I got him in my sides, Junior. I'm about to blow his tits off. <sighs> nope. No mail. No zoo books. Just a big old waste of my time. Ow! Ah, Jeffy, you got him! Shoot him again! Call me Lee Harvey Oswald! Was that a Nerf bullet? Where the hell did that come from? Ow! Ah, shoot him one more time! I'm gonna JFK his ass! Hey! I see you, kids! Knock it off! What? Ow! Okay, that is it. I'm going back in my house. So how are you going to shoot me then, huh? Oh, man, he's going inside? Oh, I have a plan. Come on. Ugh. Boy, did my zoo books come in the mail? Does it look like your damn zoo books came in? Do you see any zoo books? I don't see any zoo books. Boy, why are you so frustrated? Well, when I was checking the mail, these kids outside kept sniping me with a Nerf gun. Well, weren't you sniping kids in your game earlier? Well, yeah, but it was funny because I was doing it. Well, now it's funny because they're doing it. Karma's a bitch. I didn't know your name was Karma. Hey! What, now, who could that be? Boyne, go answer the door. Why don't you answer the door? Because I'm afraid of strangers. And what if it's my zoo books? It's not going to be your damn zoo books. They're not going to deliver them at night. Are they afraid of the dark, too? <sighs> yes. Boyne, go answer the door. What if it's the neighbors that need a cup of sugar? Nobody even does that anymore, Karen. Boyne, just go answer the door! But I want to watch the game. Go, Boyne! Ugh. Hello? Ow! Alright, screw you kids! Oh god, I hate kids. I hate kids so much. I want to take all the kids in the world and put them in a big old football stadium and then blow it up. Boyney, don't say that! Oh no, I mean it. I mean it, Karen. Next kid I see, I'm punching him right in the face. Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, my kid. I would never put you in a big football stadium and then blow it up. Thanks, Dad. Oh, Boyney, I have a great idea. Why don't we all go out to dinner? Oh, that's a great idea, Karen. I have an idea. How about you and Penelope go get dinner, and I stay here and watch the heat? Fine, Boiny. Come on, Penelope. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, this is what happiness looks like. This is my happy face. And unpause the TV. And unpause the TV. And unpause the TV. <clears throat> okay, the TV's frozen. My ass. I have leukemia aids in my ass. Actually, you know what? That's fine. I already know Miami's gonna win. I don't even need to watch it. I'll just go to bed early so I don't have to touch Karen when she gets home. Whew, time to hit the hay. Time to get some shut eye. Time to catch some Z's. Time to count some sheep. Time to watch the Miami Heat game on my phone. Oh, Miami's winning. Of course they are. Because of Jimmy. Go, Jimmy! The Heat! Oh, Jimmy, the things I would do to you if I was a woman. Oh, ah, damn it, you kids! What? Why the hell is the window open? <laughs> <laughs> he sure learned his lesson. Oh, yeah, dude, he definitely got the message. Yeah, he won't be sniping us anymore. Yeah.
Oh, Cody, are you okay? Why are you orange? I think I have some kind of vitamin C poisoning from drinking all that orange juice. Well, did you break the record? No, I only have one little drop left before I break the record. Well, here you go. No, 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 don't, don't give it to me. I don't want to die. I think I already have some kind of vitamin C paralysis. Cody, just drink this last sip and break the record, then I'll call a doctor. No, Junior, call a doctor right now. Oh, okay, fine, I'll call a doctor. <sighs> Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Oh, hell no, it's you kids. You guys are the ones that were sniping me earlier. I'm not helping you. Well, you were sniping us in Fortnite. Yeah, that's a video game, not in real life while I'm trying to watch the heat. Well, listen, our friend's orange and we just need your help. Why are you orange? I was trying to break the world record for most orange juice drank in a week. Oh, hell no, that's my record. I'm not helping you. Wait, wait, Simmons? Sorry, mate, I had to get a part-time job. Wait, how close is he to breaking my record? One drop. Oh, no, 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 I'm not helping you guys. I hope you die. Jeffy, sit on him. Wait, no, no, get off me. G get off me. All right, we're gonna make you Watch Cody break your record. But no, 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 you bastards! Don't take this from me! It's all I have left! No! Hey, I did it! I win! No! Guys, 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 the Miami, he won! Oh, well, I guess today's not so bad. Jeffy, you've been doing that for 12 hours straight. We didn't sleep at all last night, Jeffy. Please stop. But Danny, if I stop, then who's gonna do it? Exactly. Okay, that's it. Jeffy, I will give you $100 to go shopping, go buy whatever you want. Oh, that's exactly what I was waiting for. Ha ha, I got my way. Okay, now we can finally go to sleep. Thank God. Oh, what's that? It sounds like a lawnmower. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna go have a talk with that guy. Hey! Howdy, neighbor! Hey, can you turn this off? I can't hear you on the sound of my lawnmower! Turn it off! What can I do for you, neighbor? Listen, I didn't get any sleep last night, and I'm trying to take a nap, and your lawnmower is just so goddamn loud. So can you please just not mow your lawn today? No can do, neighbor. See, I've won Yard of the Year for 10 years in a row. I'm trying to go for 11, what? and nothing's gonna stop me from doing that. Yard of the Year? Yep. Well, I see a straggler. There you are, you little rascal. Gotcha. What, what are you doing? Every blade of grass in my yard has to be exactly 2.75 inches, or else I might not win Yard of the Year. Wait, what is this Yard of the Year you keep talking about? Every year the HOA holds an annual Yard of the Year meeting, and I've won the past 10 years, and I have the trophies to prove it. You want to see them? Not really. Oh, come on, let's go see them. <sighs> Honey, I'm home, and I brought company. Oh, good, I just baked some cookies. Careful now, they're hot. Oh, honey, these cookies look sweet, but not as sweet as you are. Keep that up, mister. You're going to earn yourself a kiss. Well, what do I have to do for two? Come here, sweetheart. Okay. You have to try my wife's cookies. They're to die for. And by die for, I mean from the diabetes. <laughs> I also made a charcuterie board. Oh, you have to try my wife's charcuterie board. It's totally worth the high cholesterol. Oh, Hank, stop it. What'd you say your name was? The name's Hank Huckerdoo, and this is my wife, Suzanne Huckerdoo. And we have two beautiful Huckerdoo children. We sure Huckerdoo. <laughs> oh, kids, get down here. You called me, Father? Did you need something, Mother? Kids, we have company, and you didn't come downstairs and introduce yourselves. That is a hucker doll. So, no TV for a week. Aw, oh, shoot. My apologies, Father. I agree with you entirely, and that punishment is justified. And you know you kids are supposed to be practicing your voice lessons. Let me hear what you've been working on. All right, Susie, like we practiced. A one and a two and a one, two, three. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round. Round and round, the, the wheels on the bus go round and round. All three. How was that, Father? A thousand dollars a week in voice lessons, and that's the effort you give me. You take your asses upstairs and keep practicing. You're never gonna get on American Idol singing like that. I hate him a I hate him here. You take your tan ass to the room. <laughs> Sorry about that, Marvin. Just a little bit of family bickering. Uh, should I leave? Oh. Nonsense! Let me show you my trophies. Ugh, there they are, Marvin. All ten of my first place best lawn trophies. Wow, that's a lot of trophies. Yep, there's ten of them. I count them every single day. And I'm hoping to get number 11 today. Wait, the contest ends today? Yep, and hopefully one day you'll be able to get a trophy in another lifetime. Oh, honey, you scared me! Time for you to lick the bar so, honey, you committed a hunk and don't. What hunk or don't did I commit? You broke the first.
first one, a hawk and don't be a potty mouth. Oh, I guess I did. All right, give me a lick. Oh, uh, yeah, the lock it. Wait, wait. Well, what is this? Those are the hucker do's and don'ts of the hucker do household. You do want to be a hucker do, and you don't want to be a hucker don't. For example, you do want to do your homework, and you do want to do your chores, but you don't want to be a cheater, and you don't want to be a sore loser. You got it? Uh, yeah, listen, I'm gonna go work on my yard for the competition. Your yard? Well, let's go have a look, shall we? <sighs> neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. You see this? This is dead grass. Somebody call the coroner's office. <laughs> my grass isn't that dead. Well, you see my yard? It's bright green and voluptuous. Yours is dead and, pardon my French, ass. I might have to report you to the HOA because this is an eyesore to the neighborhood. But I wouldn't do that to you, neighbor. <sighs> I'm gonna go finish cutting my grass. Oh, my, my grass is an ass. <sighs> Marvin, you couldn't get them to stop mowing their lawn? No. Baby, is our grass ass? What are you talking about? The hucker dudes have the best grass in the neighborhood. Who are the hucker dudes? The neighbors, and they said our grass is ass. Our grass isn't ass, it's just grass. Well, the hucker dudes have won best lawn 10 years in a row. Marvin, no one cares that much about grass. Besides, there's more important things to worry about. Look, here, I found some earplugs. Let's put them in and take a nap. Well, I want to hire someone to fix our grass. Marvin, you just gave Jeffy $100. We can't afford that. Well, the hucker dudes have bright green grass, and our grass is all dead. I want to call a grass master or someone who works on grass to fix our grass. Ugh. Hey there, somebody call a landscaper? Yeah, my grass is kind of dead. Yeah, I can see that. Is there any way you could make it green? Oh, yeah, sure. I could put some fertilizer on it, water it for a bit. That'd make it pretty green. Well, how long is that going to take? Yeah, probably a couple months. I don't have a couple months. I need it green by this afternoon. This afternoon? Afternoon. That's not happening, man. This grass is dead. So you can't make my grass greener than that, guys? Holy shit! That's the most beautiful yard I've ever seen! His grass is so green, it's greener than Greenland! Well, it's greener than Iceland. See, Iceland's actually the green one. See, what happened was Eric the Red, he was a Viking, and he got kicked out of Iceland, and he went to go live over in Greenland. So he told people that it was green and grassy, even though it's all icy and shitty. And then when they got there, it was all snow, and they were pretty pissed off, but they had to live there anyway. So, I mean, I get why they called it that then, to trick people, but it seems like they could change it now. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. Anyway, I'm gonna go over there and talk to him about his grass, because his grass seems great. Enjoy your dead grass. Oh, oh come on. <sighs> all done. I think she's ready for the competition. Hey, I love your grass. Thank you. It's nice to meet another grass connoisseur like myself. What is this, the Goya grass? It's lovely. St. Augustine. Oh, of course, of course. I should have known. Hey, you see that guy's dead grass over there? Yeah. Let's point at his dead grass and laugh at him. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Dead grass. You should check that grass's pulse. Which it, we wouldn't have one because it's grass and also because it's dead. <laughs> dead grass. Someone needs to get a defibrillator on that grass. <laughs> dead grass. Hey, well, my grass is going to be better than your grass. <sighs> Marvin, you got them to stop mowing their lawn? Baby, I just got laughed at by two grown men about my grass. I thought you said you were going to hire someone to help. That's who laughed at me. Oh. Well, Marvin, now that it's quiet, let's take a nap. Oh, I just want my grass to be green. Hey, Dolly, I spent all that money you gave me at Burger King on a bunch of food, so now I need more money. See, Marvin, we should have taken a nap before Jeffy got home. Jeffy, stop it! Huh. Listen, Jeffy, I'm tired, I'm upset, and my grass will never be green. You want green grass, Daddy? Yeah, but it's impossible to have it green by the end of the day. Well, I think I can help with that. What? No, Jeffy, don't touch my grass. Oh, me, my daddy's grass green. And done! Daddy's gonna love this. Ooh, baby, look! Look how green that grass is! Yes, Marvin, it's very green. I don't care! Oh, and look how green that grass is! Ooh! Daddy, I have a surprise for you! Are you gonna be quiet so we can go to sleep? Never! Ugh. Daddy, close your eyes, turn around, and walk backwards outside. Are you gonna shoot me in the head? Because that would be really nice. No. Come on, Daddy. All right, Daddy, turn around! What? Surprise! Jeffy, how'd you get my grass green? Spray paint. You, you spray painted my grass, Jeffy! Well, there was no other way to get the grass this green before this afternoon. I mean, you're like it. Yeah, Jeffy, it actually is really green, even if it is spray paint. It's greener than the hucker dude's grass. You, we may actually win the contest. 
Hello and welcome to the Neighborhood Best Lawn Competition. I'm here with 10-time back-to-back champion Hank Huckadoo. Nice teeth, Hank. Thanks, Steve. Hank, I gotta say, your grass is even greener than it was last year. Guilty as charged on the grass. <laughs> well, Hank, here's your trophy for best lawn since nobody else even tried. Thanks, Steve. Finally, I've won 11 years in a row. <sighs> oh my god, give me that. What? That grass over there is green as shit. What? Good golly, this is the greenest grass I've ever seen! Wait, really? Yeah, I'm gonna give you this trophy for best lawn! I won? Yes, how do you get your grass this green? Uh, well, I, I love to water it, and I also feed it grass food. No, wait just a darn rootin' tootin' second. I say he cheated! Now, Hank, don't be a sore loser. But he did cheat! There's spray paint right here! Spray paint? Well, I didn't spray paint the grass. I'll do a smell test. Oh, I'm high as shit! This has definitely been spray painted! Give me that trophy back! What? You're disqualified! Cheating is against the rules! You use performance enhancing grass! What? Here you go, Hank. I'm sorry I even doubted you! Thanks, Steve! I should have noticed he didn't even spray paint his whole yard! What? You're disqualified! Oh. Howdy, Marvin! Looky here! I'm gonna bang my wife on top of my first place lawn trophy! Oh, Suzanne! Yes, honey? Lay on top of my trophy! Oh, like we did last year? Exactly! <laughs> oh my! <sighs> I guess I'll never win the best lawn award. Hey there, me and the HOA talked about it and we decided you do deserve one trophy. <gasps> Second place? No, the worst lawn trophy. We all shit in it. We hope you rot in hell, you cheating bastard. <sighs> Ew, Marvin, what is that? It's the worst lawn award. What? We don't have the worst lawn. Baby, our lawn is covered in spray paint. Who would do that? Right here, guilty as charged. Jeffy spray painted our grass green to make it greener. Well, at least Jeffy tried to help. Thank you, Mommy. At least someone around here appreciates my efforts. Well, Marvin, I guess the grass isn't always greener on the other side. It is greener on the other side. The Huckerdoo's lawn is so green. You know what, Marvin? Take me over there. I want to meet these hucker dudes so I can know who you're talking about. Oh, no, baby. You're never going to meet them. They're the worst kind of people. You should never meet the hucker dudes. Oh, okay. Well, with that being said, I need more money. I'm gonna eat all the tacos. Wait, guys, didn't LeBron James trademark Taco Tuesday? Yeah, that goof tried and failed. I was the first person to put tacos in the oven on a Tuesday. But we got these tacos from Taco Bell. That's besides the point, Cody. God, just eat your tacos and enjoy them. Yeah, enjoy the tacos, Cody. <laughs> guys, the news. Breaking news. Okay. A leader of the Mexican cartel is in a high-speed police chase with speeds reaching over 100 miles an hour. Police are urging people to stay off the streets. A high-speed chase? He died in the Breaking Bad video. Dude, what if he tries to come here and steal all our tacos? I don't want our tacos to get stolen. Guys, what are the odds? He's gonna come here. Oh, there he is. <sighs> guys, you have to hide me. That police chase was crazy and those guys are loco. Can I hide behind your couch? Hey, Joseph, can you Google how to say yes in Spanish? Oh, yeah, I got you, bro. It's C. What? Don't spell it. Just tell me what it is. I'm not spelling it. I'm telling you the word. It's C. C what? The word is C. It's C, dude. What? S-I? doesn't even begin with a C, Cody. That's, I wasn't spelling it. I was telling you what the word is. Ow! You're such a doofus. C. Gracias, amigo. It'll be like I'm never here. Quiet as a mouse. Try to spell it wrong. I wasn't spelling it. I think he ran in here. Hey, you can see a Mexican? Uh... Joseph, can you Google the Spanish word for no? Yeah, bro, I got you. No. I know you're not going to tell me, Cody. Shut up. No, Junior, the word is no. There's no way they didn't think of anything for the word no. Dude, it's actually no. I told you. So they say C for yes, but they just gave up on the word no? No, we haven't seen him. Well, what about him? He's a little brown. But he's not Mexican, Simmons. Look, if there hasn't been a Mexican in here, then why are all these tacos around? Because it's Taco Tuesday! <gasps> Look, Simmons, a sombrero. I think he's attracted to all the tacos. Follow my lead. Wow, there sure are a 
lot of tacos around. Yeah, these tacos sure look delicious. I would love to eat one of these tacos. Are they supreme? Are they supreme? They're just regular. They're just regular. Yeah. Also, you're under arrest. Oh, man. Yeah, go get in the car. Simmons, make sure he gets in the car. All right, mate. Okay, so since you guys were harboring a fugitive, now I have to make sure all you guys are citizens. Well, we are citizens. You've seen us before. Well, yeah, I've seen you guys, but I don't remember seeing him. Oh, that's just my boyfriend, Ken. Well, where's he from? Uh, California, I think. Well, that's pretty close to the border. Are you sure he's a citizen? But Ken, show him your ass. Show him how American it is. Take a good look, officer. That ass is as American as it can be. Now, hold on. I had a Chinese roommate in college, and his ass looked kind of like that. Wait, what's that say? Made in China? He's not a citizen. He's a Chinese. Wait, Ken, you never told me you were Chinese. I guess that kind of explains why there's not much going on up front. See, that's the proof right there. Ken's a doll. Dolls are made in China. He's not a doll, Joseph. Now, hold on, because if he's a doll, he can stay because Chinese products are allowed here. But if he's human, I'm going to have to see his papers or else he's going to get deported. Uh, Fess up, nigga. Which one is it? Is he a doll or is that nigga breathing? Yeah, yeah. is that racial slur breathing or what? Uh, he's, he's, he's a Chinese. Well, damn, he's really sticking to this, dude. Well, I'm going to have to see his papers then. Uh, I don't have his papers. I threw the box away. Well, I'm going to have to deport him. Sorry. No, please don't deport my boyfriend. Sorry, kid. There's nothing I can do. Mate! Not now, Simmons. I'm trying to do a deportation. But the guy stole our squad car. Damn it, Simmons. I told you to make sure he got in the car. Well, maybe we should have put him in handcuffs. I didn't think it was necessary. He seemed like a nice enough guy. Well, how are we going to get our squad car back? Uh, hold on. Uh, kids, you stay here. I'll be back in a few minutes to deport your boyfriend. How are we going to catch him? We don't even have a car. On the invisible horse, Simmons. Hop on! Okay, guys, I think we have a little while before they come back. They have to chase down their car by horse. All you had to say was, he's a doll, dude! He's not a doll, Josh him! So, Cody, is Ken gonna have to hide from the cops his whole life? We can't hide him, because the cops already know he's here. They might arrest us for trying to hide him. He has to be a citizen. Well, how can he become a citizen? Well, usually you have to take a test, but you have to be on a waiting list for that, and that might take years. We don't have time for that. You'd also have to talk and walk and, you know, be alive. He can take tests, Joseph! He's alive, Joseph! He can breathe, Joseph! Okay, Cody, what's the quickest way to become a citizen? Uh, let me look it up. Oh, okay. This says if he marries somebody who's already a citizen, then he gets to be a citizen too. Well, why don't you just marry him? Ooh, I don't know, Junior. That's a pretty big commitment. Just one plastic ass for my whole life? Hmm. 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 <laughs> yeah, okay, I can marry him. Okay, so uh, you just get married to him, he'll become a citizen. But we have to sign a prenup. What, what kind of stuff do you have that you don't want him to take? I have Lego sets in their mine. Okay, let's go get you a lawyer, Cody. Okay, come on, Ken. Let's bring your Chinese ass to the lawyer. Hello, I'm Mr. Goodman. How can I help you today? Yeah, my boyfriend is about to be deported because he's not a U.S. citizen, so we need to get married. Are you trying to commit marriage fraud? Wait, no, 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 no. I really do love him, and I want to marry him, but we have to do this now for legal reasons. But isn't he a doll? He's not a doll lawyer. I, I mean, no, he, he's not a doll. He's my boyfriend. Well, a human can't marry a toy. What, what toy? What are you talking about? I don't see a toy. <laughs> I mean, I see a boy toy, but not a toy. I don't know what type of weird joke you guys are trying to pull on me, but I cannot legally officiate a marriage between a human and a toy. I'm sorry. What do you do now, Cody? Well, we're still gonna have a wedding, and we're gonna take a lot of pictures, and hopefully those pictures prove that we're married. Come on, Ken, let's get ready for a big day. All right, Cody, are you sure you're ready for this? Yes, Junior. This is the happiest day of my life. Why isn't Ken wearing pants? Oh, he said he wanted to porky pig it, and I wasn't gonna argue. All right, Cody, let's walk down the aisle. Da 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 na 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 You, I'm just so happy. I told myself I wouldn't cry, and now look at me. I'm such a little bitch. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Ken, do you take Cody to be your husband? He says he does. Cody, do you take Ken to be your husband? I do. Well, I now pronounce you husband and husband. You may now kiss the husband. Come here. Come on, Ken. Let's go on our honeymoon. And then I can spread some honey on that moon and lick it off. Hey, guys. Me and Ken are back from our honeymoon. We couldn't show it. It was way too graphic. Thank God we didn't see it. But me and Ken are happily married now. Hey guys, I uh, couldn't get my car. He drove it across the border and uh, I'm not going over there. So uh, time to deport your boyfriend. Come on, chop chop. Oh, he's not my boyfriend. He's my husband now. We got married. Hmm. Well, we'll let a judge decide that. Come on, you two. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boba. Today we will be hearing the case of Ken. 
who is being faced with deportation. Ken was born in China. He has no citizenship papers. So, Cody, you claim to be his boyfriend. Why should Ken not be deported? Oh, I'm actually not his boyfriend. I'm his husband now, because we actually just got married, so eh. Oh, well, muscles off. Congratulations. But uh, do you have any proof? Anybody can just say they got married. Let me see the wedding photos, goddammit. Oh, oh, yeah, uh, he here they are. Let me see this, yes. Oh, that is quite lovely. Everybody see the lovely couple? Oh, that's nice. I mean, you do look like an eight-year-old woman, and your husband is not wearing pantaloons, but other than that, it looks like a very nice ceremony. And the photo is legit, which means Ken is a U.S. citizen, and therefore I have to dismiss the case. Unless anyone would like to object. Hmm? Anybody? Here I go. I'm gonna bang it. I object, Your Honor. They took wedding photos, but they're not really married. Joseph, get out of here. Dude. Aha! And the truth comes out. Cody, you really had me going there with this little photo. <laughs> but now I have to deport your husband. Boyfriend, not husband. You don't have a husband because you're a liar. Deport him! No, please no, I'll do anything. He lived his whole life in America, I can prove it. Oh, really? Well, in that case, let me just unbang this gavel. <sniffs> Very well. If he has lived in America his whole life, as you say, then he should be able to answer some questions that only an American would be able to answer. And he would answer them correctly, yes? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, I ask him any question, he'll get it right. Okay, well, I have a Big Mac under my gown. Tell me what's on it. I'm sorry, fucking what? A Big Mac? Yes, a Big Mac. You know, like you get from McDonald's. I have a Big Mac under my gown because it's my lunch and I keep it there for safekeeping. So if he can tell me every ingredient that is on a Big Mac, then he must be American because every American has had a Big Mac. Uh, okay, but I I'm gonna have to answer for him because he, he lost his voice. Uh, what, what's that, Ken? Uh, he says there there are t two patties because I mean obviously it, it's known for that and then and then there's cheese. How many pieces of cheese? Oh fuck me. Uh, okay, I I, I think uh, I mean two would make sense, right? But but in my head I see one. Yeah, I mean I think they do something gay like that because it's like why even bother? Because you can't even really taste the cheese at that point. But I, I'm gonna say one. <laughs> uh, and 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 there's onions and lettuce. How many pieces of lettuce? Mm. I think it's that shredded lettuce, because it always makes a mess. And then there's onions and, and Big Mac sauce on a sesame seed bun. I, I think that's it, right? Oh, Cody. Cody, Cody, Cody. Your boyfriend is wrong. Dead wrong. Let us dissect the Big Mac, shall we? Have a look-see here. Sesame seed bun. That is correct. A patty. Two of them. Also correct. Onions, lettuce, Big Mac sauce, correct, 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 and then, oh my fuck, someone fuck me. What is that, Cody? What is this little green thing? Well, that appears to be a little pickle, doesn't it, Cody? And that means your boyfriend is not in America. Oh, good, plus that is very good. So, I have no choice but to deport him. Get fucked! No, no, please, my boyfriend's been here for years. I can prove it. Just ask my parents. Hmm. Do I want to unbang my gavel for a second time? I do want to see where this goes very well. But there will not be a third unbanging. I hope you realize that. Bring in the boy's parents. Cody, what am I doing in this courtroom? I told you I got warrants. I can't be in a place like this. Look, you know how hard it is to drive with a suspended license, an expired tag, and a stolen car? Cody, you're not selling the devil's lettuce, are you? You're supposed to be kicking them profits back to your daddy, boy. I've been growing it in the backyard for years. Crack ain't selling. And I'm getting tired of selling my body. Tyrone and Judith. Your son Cody claims he has been with his boyfriend for a long time. Is that true? Oh yeah, you talking about that dog thing? Yeah, he's sticking in his butt and stuff. Yeah, we wanted him to play with Barbies, but he just wants to play with that stinky doll. Doll? Did, did somebody say doll? Wait, you, you mean to tell me this this is a doll and not a human born in China? He's a doll, dude! He's not a doll, Joseph! No, oh, headaches! Headaches! So many headaches, I am so confused. You say he is a doll, and you say he is not a doll, and you say he put his boyfriend in his butt, which is disgusting. So, Cody, answer this simple question. Is he a doll or not? Because if he is a doll, he can stay, and if he is not a doll, then he must get out of this country. Uh, Come on, dude. It's very simple. All you have to do is say he's a doll. Just say it. He's a doll. Say it. Say it, dude. Say it! Uh.
Say it! He's, he's... He's an all! Say it! He's not an all, Joseph! Then I have no choice, Jody. Ken is to be deported. There, now I can enjoy my Big Mac. Damn it, give me you. Lovely. No! All right, kid. I'll give you 30 seconds to say goodbye. Then he's off to China. Oh, kid. I don't know what I'm going to do without you. I'll promise I'll come visit you as soon as I can. I'll join the NBA, and then I'll suck so bad they put me in the China League, and then I'll go live there, and then I'll visit you. Does that sound good? Hey, Cody. Say that Ken found his green card and hand him this. Okay. Uh, Ken actually found his green card. Oh, he did? Let me see. Haha, <laughs> Uno reverse card. Now you have to get deported. Oh, shit. Come on, mate. Time to go to China. I don't want to go to China. Those are the rules. Oh, damn you, kid. You win this time. Damn you, Uno reverse card. Yay, Ken doesn't have to get deported now because of the Uno reverse card. Those are the rules. Jeffy, it's time to go to school. All right, Danny, just as soon as I get done eating my breakfast. Jeff, you're not gonna eat blue rock candy for breakfast. Well, I'm 18, so I'm gonna do it anyway. What, Jeff, you're 18 in the third grade. <laughs> Jeffy, stop it. <laughs> it's not my fault my hopes are up and my syndrome is down. Marvin, look, the news. Stop it, that's my thing. Marvin, look, the news. <laughs> Breaking news, okay? Blue rock candy is now illegal. Scientists have found that it causes early onset diabetes, schizophrenia, and teeth cancer. Blue rock candy is illegal? <laughs> Jeffy, don't eat that. It's super illegal and it's dangerous. But no one knows that I have it. I'll just be taking this. What? The cops? Yeah, we're going around confiscating everybody's blue rock candy because this is super illegal now. And also, the street value of this is insane. You can get thousands of dollars just for this. Huh, you guys should have sold it before I got here. Well, what am I going to eat for breakfast now? <sighs> Jeffy, just eat your cat food. <laughs> Marvin, don't give Jeffy cat food again. It's okay, Mommy. I like shrimp and biscuits. See, baby, he likes it. Yeah, eat it up, Jeffy. <sighs> Who's that? Hello? Good morning, Marvin. Lovely day, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm here. Uh, I don't have my house payment this month. Oh, I know, but it's not my problem anymore because I sold your mortgage to the Mexican cartel. ASA. Wait, you sold my mortgage? I sure did. And the bad news is, is sometimes I would let you miss house payments without any consequences. But they love consequences. Do you want to know how I lost my eye and my hand? I missed my house payments, so I cut them off myself to teach myself a lesson. Wow. I'm going to let you guys talk. So where's my money, Bato? Uh, listen, I don't have the money this month. Listen, you better have my $10,000 by tomorrow morning, or else I'm going to take your ball sack, cut it off, and turn it into a balloon to give to my daughter on her quinceanera. My house payment's not $10,000. It is now, Bato, so you better get it, or else I'm going to mucho gracias your ball sack. It's a really nice house. You have a good day. Oh, no! Oh, my God! What's wrong, Marvin? Goodman sold my mortgage to the Mexican cartel, and they said if I don't give them $10,000 by tomorrow, they're going to mucho gracias my ball sack. What does that even mean? A lot thank you, his ball sack. Exactly. Marvin, where are we going to get that kind of money? I mean, I could sell my car. Yeah, that could work. Hey, Marvin, I got some bad news for you. Sorry, it looks like you're already having a bad day, but I'm going to make it worse. Your lung x-rays came back, and you see that black spot? That's lung cancer. <laughs> You have lung cancer. Is it bad? Oh, no, it's actually the good kind of lung cancer. It is? No, no, there's no such thing. It's all lung cancer and it's all bad. Well, what are we going to do? Well, we could treat it by tomorrow and you'd probably survive it, but the treatments are hundreds of thousands of dollars and I know you can't afford that. Well, what can you do for me? Well, I can give you this box of tissue so you can cry me a river, and I can give you this hammer so you can build a bridge and get over it. Marvin, what are we going to do? Well, I'm the one with the cancer and the payment, so I feel like I should be crying. Oh, yeah, you're right. Honestly, Daddy, what I would do is, since they can't legally deny you medical care, is that your medical bills go to collections and then you focus on making your mortgage payment. That's really smart, Jeffy. So, yeah, let, let's focus on making $10,000 by tomorrow. Anyone have any ideas to make money? Well, the police officer man said that the blue rock candy's worth thousands of dollars. But, Jeffy, that's illegal. Yeah, Jeffy, that's illegal, and you wouldn't happen to have any more of that candy sitting around, would you? No, that was my last little bit. Damn it! Marvin, you weren't thinking about about selling that, were you? I mean, it's worth thousands of dollars. Yeah, mommy, we gotta move weight. Well, good thing Jeffy doesn't have any more. I mean, we could make some. Yeah, daddy, let's cook. No, no cooking illegal rock candy under this roof. But it's thousands of dollars. No buts, Marvin. <sighs> okay, Jeffy, let's go downstairs and cook breakfast. All right, daddy. Okay, Jeffy, pour a little bit of the serum on the pan. All right, daddy. 
Yeah, that's looking real good. That's looking real good. Hey, Dave, why are your eyes red? Oh, I'm allergic to latex. Oh, ha 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 Why'd you do that? It's allergic reaction, Jeffy. Look, let's check on the first batch. All right. Oh, that's looking good. Can we MF and cook or what? Yeah, Jeffy, it is looking really good. Oh my god, we're amazing at this. What the hell are y'all doing in my kitchen? Whipping up dope up like a pot of spaghetti. <gasps> y'all are making blue rock candy? That's just illegal. But we really need the money. Oh, I'm about to call the police on y'all. Oh, we have a snitch, Jeffy. Let's go get him. <gasps> Not the one. This candy dealer's in my kitchen. The captain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Daddy, he's knocked out and tied up. What do you want me to do with him? What we usually do to snitches. I got you, Daddy. I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to start putting the blue rock candy in the Ziploc bag. Marvin! Oh, oh no, Rose is coming. i got to hide this. Marvin, what are you cooking for breakfast? <gasps> Marvin, why are you dressed like that? Uh, me and Jeffy are making blue waffles. We Googled a picture of it to get the recipe. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Hey, Daddy, I got the fucker's head. <laughs> Oh, great, Jeffy. Now we have to catch her. I'll get the knife. Hello, 911. There's people in my house cooking blue rock candy. Hang up the phone, bitch. <laughs> you shut up in there. All right, Jeffy. Let's get back to cooking. Okay, Jeffy. I already put blue rock candy in this bag. So I want you to take it to school and sell it and try to get as much money as you can. I'm on it, Danny. I'm going to go get dressed for school. I'm going to keep staying here and cooking. All right, Kraus, today we're going to be going over the side effects and the negatives of blue rock candy. So to help me do that, I have a police officer here. Hey, kids. Now, I know, I know, I'm a big, scary police officer, but I brought my good friend Sebastian the No Candy Eating Lion here to make you guys feel better. Sebastian, get your ass in here. <laughs> hey, kids, it's me, Sebastian the No Candy Lion. <laughs> Just say no to candy. Damn it, Sebastian, did you take a bump to the car? Just a little bump. Just a little. Oh my god. Uh, sorry, sorry, kid. Sebastian has to go back to the zoo. What? No! I don't want to go back there! Come on, we're going back. Guys, I can't believe blue rock candy is illegal. I know, dude. I loved it. I would literally pay any amount of money just for one piece of it. I've literally never seen anybody eat blue rock candy. I don't see what the big deal is. You guys want to buy some blue rock candy? Oh, hell yeah. Here's $100. Here's $20. Oh, what can I get for a dollar, dude? I want some. Well, since you guys are my boys, I'll give you guys half the bag for all your money put together. Here you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, bet. Oh, my God. This blue rock candy is amazing. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's so delicious. Meh, it's okay. Hola, amigos. You want to buy some blue rock candy? Sorry, Felipe. We already bought some. Where did you get that from? Jeffy's selling it. Oh, let me try this shit. Woo! Shit's good. A little too good. My father needs to hear about this. Papi! All right, kids. Sebastian's in the car now. But as we were going to say, blue rock candy is illegal now because all that sugar causes early onset diabetes, schizophrenia, and teeth cancer, which is cancer of the teeth. Hey, you! What the hell is that? <laughs> Kids? What, Penelope? Hi, Dad. Where did you get this blue rock candy from? Uh, it's Cody's. He bought most of it. Yeah, it's all Cody's. Where did you get it from? I ain't snitching. I'll die for my homies. Not talking, huh? Well, I guess you're coming with me down to the station. Fuck you, pigs. I'll use my one phone call to call your mom. Another batch done. All right, Daddy. I sold half the bag at school and made 124 bucks. Jeffy, you goober. <laughs> That bag alone is worth two grand. But they were my boys, so I had to hook them up. You don't have any boys in this industry, Jeffy. The only boys you got are dead presidents. Oh, like George Washington and Benjamin Franklin? Yeah, those are your boys. All right. Well, I promise I'll do better. But what happened was I had to get them hooked. And once you get them hooked, then they come back and spend even more money. But, Jeffy, I need ten grand by tomorrow. So get your ass back out on that street and go door to door and sell more of this blue candy. Yes, sir. <sighs> Wasting my time cooking. <laughs> Who's that? Hello? Hey, I see. Oh, hey, amigo. I will have you your money by tomorrow. I sure will. Word on the street is that you've been cooking blue rock candy. Blue rock candy? I don't know how to make that stuff. Then why aren't you dressed like that, huh? I'm deep cleaning my kitchen. Don't lie to me, Holmes. I know you've been cooking it. Listen, I'm just trying to pay your money by tomorrow. You're stealing my operation and my customers. Well, I'm not trying to. But my son did bring me some of your stuff, and it was good. It was good? Yeah, so go in there and show me how you make it. Well, I'd rather keep it a secret. I you. Oh, okay, come on. Okay, look, this is how I make it. I put the sugar in the dye, then I put it on the pan, and I put it in the oven. I'll be taking this. Consider it a prepayment. Well, okay, look, I'm just trying to get your $10,000 so I can be done. Forget about the $10,000. You work for me now. Work for you? For how long? Forever. Until the day you die. Well, what if I refuse? Then I'll just cut your eye out and cut your arm off. Well, are you at least going to pay me? Your payment is that you'll get to live. Listen, you just keep making this blue rock candy, and I'll be back later for more money. 
Oh my god, what did I get myself into? Uh, who's that? Hello? What? The cops! Hey there, Marvin. You deep cleaning? Uh, yeah, deep cleaning. What do you fine officers want? Fine? You hear that, Simmons? He called us fine. Why are your eyes red? Oh, I got Windex in my eyes. Oh, I hate when that happens. Well, listen, Marvin, the reason I'm here is that I think I lost my favorite pen around your couch when I was telling you you had cancer. And you do still have cancer. You should probably get that taken care of. Oh, well, I just cleaned around my couch. I didn't see a pen. Oh, can I come in and look? Because it might be, like, under your couch. Well, I lifted up the couch. It's not under it. Oh, well, can I use your bathroom? Because I really got a tinkle. Well, I just cleaned the toilet. That I don't want you peeing all over the toilet seat. Oh, that's fair, because I do like to piss all over the seat. Hmm. Well, can I come in and have a drink? Because I'm pretty thirsty. Oh, I just poured out all the drinks in the refrigerator because they were expired. Wow. Well, can I at least have some tap water? I had my water turned off because I'm dying of cancer. I don't need water anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that does make sense. Well, can I come in and look at your furniture? Because I'm furniture shopping and I want to show Simmons your couches. Okay, make it quick. Okay. See, Simmons, look at this couch. It's really nice. And I think it's a pullout, too. I never pull out of your mother. Ew, Simmons, ew! <laughs> Is that a woman screaming? No, no, no. I think that's just the TV. Something's wrong. Simmons, come on. No, 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 no. All right, Simmons, where did that woman scream come from? In here, in here. I think it came from in here. Hmm, let's see. Oh, my God. Well, that's not what it looks like. Look, I don't know what kind of weird kinky shit you guys are into, but I don't want to see it. No, he tied me up and banged me in the head. I, I, I don't need to know where he banged you, okay? I'm just going to close the door. No, 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 no. Look, I'm really sorry for interrupting. I'll get out of your hair. Wait, Simmons, you smell that? Yeah, blue ass. I left a little rosebud in my kangaroo pouch. No, not that, Simmons. I smell blue rock candy. To the kitchen! What no! Oh my god, Simmons, we just walked in on a giant candy lab. Willy Wonka would be proud. You're going to jail for a million billion years. That's how illegal this is. No, I'm sorry. I just needed the money. Put your hands behind your back. Wait, wait is that a human head? That's murder. That's at least another hundred years. Yeah, put... What? Amigo, you saved me! Damn right I did not. Where's my money? Uh, money? Uh, well, I didn't sell any more since you left. Oh, that's not very mucho gracias, bato. Now cut up these bodies and put them in acid. And you better have my money by the time I get back, or else... <laughs> oh, man, what am I gonna do? I is he gone? I think so. Oh, God, that really hurt. I just didn't want him to kill us, so I used Ninja Focus to slow down my breathing and heart rate. Well, well you know I didn't do anything wrong. Like, he he's making me do all this. Yeah, we heard the whole thing. I mean, it's not like you're doing this on your own. Uh... No, I never. Right, yeah, that's good. Okay, so I got a plan to kill that guy because nobody hits me with a bottle. Come on. Okay, so Simmons is standing guard outside that door in case the cartel guy comes back. When I get my tuna fish! I'll get it in a minute. Hold on. Okay, so here's the plan. Whenever the cartel guy comes back to get his money, you're going to tell him Tuna Fish Terry has his money, so he comes to see Tuna Fish Terry. Now, I hooked up a bunch of explosives inside that wheelchair, and they're connected to that bell. So whenever Tuna Fish Terry rings the bell, it'll blow up the wheelchair, killing both Tuna Fish Terry and the cartel guy. But when I get my tuna fish! You'll get it when the cartel guy is dead! Jesus! He doesn't know he's going to... Why don't you just arrest the cartel member? Because that's lame. This is way cooler. I saw it in a TV show, and I want to try it. He's coming! Oh, he's coming. I'll hide behind the couch. Uh. Hey, SA, check out this book I got my kids. El Gato and Sombrerato. It's by this Dr. Sussman. He's crazy with the pictures. Check this shit out, man. This gato is crazy. He puts a cake on his head. My kids are going to love this shit, man. Oh, wow. But you have kids? Oh, see. Si. Yeah, my kids would die without me. They love me so much. Especially since I'm the only thing they got because their mother died. Their mother died? Oh, yeah. I had to cut her head off because she didn't pay me my money. Speaking of, where's my money? Huh? Uh, huh? Uh, he has it. Okay. Where's my money? Uh, oh, oh, I think I just heard the oven go off. I, I have to get the candy out of the oven. Okay. Listen, I don't want to kill an old man, okay? What are you doing? Oh, I see. I see. Is a servant going to come and bring me my money? Oh, that was so cool. He was like, Pow! and then he was like, Ugh, I'm dead. Oh, that was way cooler than arresting people. But he had kids. Yeah, so what? You have kids. He was going to kill you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to go downstairs and throw away all that blue rock candy. Just don't let me catch you with it ever again. You got it? Okay. Okay, so there's another thing. Uh, I've been looking at your lung x-ray, and you do not have lung cancer. That little black speck right there is actually a Skittle. If you look closely, you can actually see the S. See, I was eating Skittles when I took the x-ray, and I guess I just dropped one in there. So, yay, no cancer. Hey, Nanny, I sold Wicked Glass. And so I got your $10,000, and now you can pay the mortgage. Jeffy, you made $10,000 selling rock candy? Absolutely, Daddy. I move weight. These are my streets. Well, we don't even really need the $10,000 anymore because the mortgage guy's dead. Oh, should be. Yeah, so I guess we don't have any problems. Hey, Daddy, how about we take these 10 Gs and go blow it at the arcade? Okay, Jeffy, let's go. Woo! Um, Marvin? Jeffy? Someone? Please get me out of here! Bam! Who wants to hear some Jeffy?
Goofy Tunes. I've been in the beat laboratory cooking up some nasty beats. Now, who wants to hear it? No, Jeffy, we're really tired. Please just go to bed. Well, let me just hit this button 11 times. No, Jeffy, just go to bed. No, I don't have to. No, I don't have to. I don't have to go to bed right now. I want to stay up all night and play some Fortnite. I never want to go to sleep again. Go to bed. Don't have to. Don't have to. Don't have to ever, ever sleep again. For I'm going to eat lasagna and maybe a banana singing Jeffy Weffy Doodle all the day. Hell yeah. Thank you, Connecticut. I'll be here all week, fuckers. Ugh, that was totally righteous! Righteous totally, dude! Oh, Jeffy, please go to bed. All right, how about three more songs? No! All right, how about four? <laughs> Marvin, we're gonna need this monster to stay up with Jeffy all night. Yeah, just go ahead and open it. What's a monster? I want a sip. Uh, no, no, Jeffy, no. It's a very dangerous, scary drink. So when you drink it, it turns you into a monster. So you, you don't want to drink that. Well, you guys were going to drink it. Well, no, 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 we weren't. No, we weren't. Uh, Rose found it, and it's very dangerous. So we were gonna go pour it out so no one could drink it. Well, I'll pour it out for you. No, only adults should pour it out. So I want to pour it out. I got my way. I got my way. Jeffy, are you really gonna pour it out? Yep. Marvin, if he drinks that, we're screwed. He, he's not gonna drink it. He's not gonna drink it. He's afraid of monsters, and maybe he believed our lie. Hmm. Do I really want to pour this out, or do I want to turn into a big, scary monster? <laughs> Marvin, do you think Jeffy poured out that monster? Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> Jeffy, did you drink that monster? Does your rocking horse have a wooden pecker? Of course I did. You told me it was going to turn me into a monster, but now I feel like I'm the Flash. Jeffy, oh my God, he's going to be up forever now. Uh, Marvin, is Jeffy asleep? Let me check. He, 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 he fell asleep. He finally passed out. Oh, thank God. Okay, if we stay really quiet, then he won't wake up and we can go to sleep. Okay, Marvin. I'm awake! Oh! Marvin, quick, go answer the door before they ring the doorbell again! Okay. Hello? Hello, sir! I'm a traveling bell shopper, and I was wondering if you went to buy any bells. Oh, shh, please be quiet. Oh, sorry, I didn't know I was supposed to be quiet. Oh, your bells are really loud. Oh, yeah, they're the loudest in town. Let me show you what I got in stock. Oh, no, no, no. Check shh. this out. Not really a bell, but it's really loud. It's a wind chime. What? Can you please put that down? Sure. And then, if you need anything industrial size, we have this great tambourine. What? Please be quiet. Please. It's so loud it broke my glasses. What? And we have a Maybell. Okay, okay, that's really cool. Can you, no, can you stop, please? And then, if you ever have a fantasy about being a hotel man, check this out. Can you please stop it? So you're not going to buy anything? No! Wow. Wasting my time. Unbelievable. To make a living, you know. Give me my glasses back. Oh my God! What the hell was that, Marvin? It was a bell salesman. What does that even mean? I don't know. Did Jeffy wake up? Almost. We have to keep it down. Well, nothing else is gonna make noise tonight. We're gonna be okay. Okay. <laughs> Marvin, go fix it. Go stop it. Okay. All right, guys. Lizard guts is back. Heck yeah, it is. Best believe it, dude. All right, let's rock. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Man. My son is trying to sleep in the other room. Yeah, well, rock and roll never sleeps. Listen, if you don't stop playing that music, I I'm gonna do something bad. What are you gonna do about it, old man? <laughs> what? Hey, what? Okay, hey, get in the back. <laughs> Bro, that's my guitar. That's what you get for making noise. Well, I'll admit, that was pretty punk rock, but I'm still gonna tell my dad. <laughs> Marvin, what was all that noise? It was a kid playing the guitar. Tonight of all nights. Well, don't worry, I stopped it. Well, how did you get them to stop? I took the guitar outside and I smashed it. Marvin! Well, it was the only way to get them to stop. They were too cool to stop playing. At least Jeffy didn't wake up. Let's try to go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> Who could that be? Hello? Hey, son, is this him? Yeah, Dad, that's the guy that smashed my guitar. Oh, so you don't want to like to smash little black boy's guitars, huh? Shh, keep it down. It ain't no keep it down! 
The world needs to know about your racism. You like to smash little gay black boys' guitars because you're stuck in your ways. You want to hear your shoebox music. No, he's white. No, I didn't know, yeah, know he's white. Look, Lil Nas X is black and a gay rock star. Why can't my son be a black gay rock star? Yeah, you tell him, Dad. Well, listen, I promise you it has nothing to do with the color of his skin. Can you just keep it down and just be quiet? Look, I smashed his guitar because it was loud. What? Guitar's loud, you idiot! You, are you going to get mad at planes because they, they loud too? Or, or crowds because they chill and they loud? No, no, I, I, look, what can I do to get you to leave? I need to be compensated for that guitar right now! Well, how much was the guitar? Well, we got it at a thrift store, so it was $40, but we got a 50% discount because I did a favor for the manager. I call it the mouth discount. Yeah, she know how to use her mouth to get that discount. <laughs> oh, all I have is 100 Give me Let's go, baby! I ain't got no cash! Oh. Who could that have possibly have been, Morvin? It was the parents of the kid's guitar I smashed. Why'd you have to smash the guitar? Listen, that's all dealt with. Listen, no more people are going to be ringing the doorbell, and no more people are going to be playing instruments. Let's just finally sleep since Jeffy's sleeping. Okay. Is that a lawnmower? No one mows their lawn this late at night, Marvin. Not those damn hawker dudes. Hi. Howdy, neighbor. What are you doing? Cutting my grass. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, just because it's dark outside doesn't mean the grass stops growing. Listen, my son's sleeping. I don't want you to wake him up. Can you do this like in the morning? No can doodly do, neighbor. See, I got to cut my grass every eight hours if I want to win next year's Lawn of the Year trophy. So you're not going to stop? Nope. Hold on. What are you doing with that bat? Going bat in practice? <sighs> I got him to stop. Thank God. Maybe we can finally get some sleep. <laughs> Marvin, silence your phone! Hello? Hey, Marvin. What do you want? I'm just doing my pilot job, flying a plane. You know, those red-eye flights. It's actually pretty boring up here. That's why I called, so I don't fall asleep. Well, listen, right now is not a good time to talk. Oh, hey, I'm actually coming up in your neighborhood right now. You want me to fly as low as I can, see if I can buzz your house? Do not do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Did, did you see me? No, I didn't see you. Oh, hold on. Let me circle back and try again. Do not try it again. Go outside! Go, 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 go! Did you see me that time? No, I didn't see you that time. How did you not see me, Marvin? I'm in a giant plane. It's a 747. I can't believe you didn't see me. I wasn't outside. Oh, well, you want me to try again? No, I'm trying to sleep. Well, actually, I have to, because now I'm going the wrong way. So go outside! Go, 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 go. Did, did you see me that time? Yes, I saw you. Yay! Oh, damn it. See, now I don't have enough fuel to get to where I'm going, so I gotta go back to the airport. So go outside! Go, 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 go. What the hell was that? Oh, sorry, I, I kind of scraped your roof there. There's definitely some roof damage. I, I probably should have flown higher. Sorry about that. Hey, I can fix it, though. I do roofs. Well, don't fix it. Just stop calling me and leave me alone. <sighs> I can't believe Jeffy did not wake up during all that. Oh, oh my God, the fire alarm. Jeffy, why is there a fire? Marvin, today's my birthday, and I wanted to make a huge candle and blow it out. So I'm making hot Cheetos. Well, blow it out. Well, sing happy birthday for me. What? Happy birthday? Uh, Happy birthday to you. Sing it louder! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. No, sing the real version. That is the real version. No, no, it's not. Sing the real version. What are you talking about? Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Because today is your birthday. I've never heard that version. Because today is your birthday. Blow it up. I'm going gonna... to go turn off the fire detector. Why was the fire alarm going off? It's Chef Pee-Pee's birthday. So? Listen, he was trying to make a candle. Look, look, as long as Jeffy is still sleeping, we're good. Let's try to go to bed. Who's on the roof? I have no idea. Chair uh, Who could be on the roof? Hey, Marvin. Shh. Don't shush me. Shoot, bitch. I thought you were supposed to be flying a plane. Oh, no. They canceled the flight because there was some structural damage to the bottom of the plane from where I hit your roof. Uh, speaking of which, I'm really sorry about that. I tried to fix it the best I could because I felt so bad, so I just kind of patched it with some scotch tape and wood. I really hope your insurance covers that. Can you just be quiet? My son's trying to sleep. Oh, hey. <laughs> Man, he's a heavy sleeper. Can you just go? Oh, yeah. But how cool was that plane, though, right? It looked cool when it flew over, right? Oh, it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen a plane fly that low. Yeah, you saw it? Oh, yeah, I saw it. So what airline was I flying for? Like, what color was the plane? Oh, uh, uh, silver? No. It was bright yellow because I was flying Spirit Airlines. What other airline do you think would let me fly that dangerously? Well, listen, I'm sorry. I didn't go outside. My son was sleeping. I didn't want to wake him up. What other friend do you have that would endanger the life of 200 passengers just to say hi? You're never going to get that kind of friendship anywhere else. <laughs> I can't believe Jeffy's still sleeping through all that. Okay, let's go to bed. Did you just turn on the TV? What, did you sit on the remote? No!
Breaking news, okay? A plane had to make an emergency landing after scraping the top of a house. In other breaking news, okay, a high-speed police chase ended in front of a house and the armed suspect has entered the home through a hole in the roof and police have the place surrounded now. Marvin, you don't think that's our house, do you? No, just look for the remote. The TV's really loud. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Turn off the TV. Okay. Okay, let's go to sleep. Nobody move! Oh my god! Freeze, you bastard! Drop the knife! Drop the gun or I'll kill him! Can you guys be quiet? Let him go or I'll blow you away! Well, you might as well blow me away, because I'm not going back to jail! <laughs> Sorry about that, Marvin. Yeah, shooting him's really for the best. It's, it's better than putting him back in prison and then feeding him for several years on taxpayer money until eventually we just let him go on good behavior and he maybe eat some money. Can you just please be quiet? Man, I'm feeling really pumped. I'm going to fire a few victory shots into your ceiling. <laughs> Oh, that feels really good. Oh, wow, your son's still sleeping? Yeah, can you please just be quiet? Oh, sorry, I'll leave. What the hell was that? Uh, nothing, Jeffy, just go back to sleep. Well, I'm not tired anymore, so I'm gonna take off my eyelids, and I'm gonna ride my horsey. No, Jeffy, go back to bed. Oh, my uh... God. I will never get some sleep. Okay, guys, you ready to play Greedy Granny? Yeah, dude, it's been forever since the last time we had a game night. And tonight's the perfect night for it because it's raining outside. How do you even play this game? Well, you spin this spinner here, and whatever number it lands on, that's how many times you press this button, and you try to steal a treat from Granny. But if she wakes up and spits her teeth out, you lose. She looks dead. Oh, trust me, she's not dead. She's one of Greedy Granny. All right, Cody, you go first. Okay. Um, looks like I have to press it once. Whew, okay. Your turn, Junior. Okay. How many times do I gotta press it? Uh, one time. Can you press it for me? Okay. Okay, get your treat. Can you grab it for me? Why do I have to do everything? Because you're right there. Okay, your turn, Joseph. All right, my time to shine. Ooh, two times? Uh, can you press it for me, dude? Okay. Kind of a delayed reaction, Jeffy. Well, I'm missing a chromosome, so it takes my brain a second to process the signal. Marvin, did you just hear Jeffy scream? I think so. Well, what if he's hurt? Go check on him! Jeffy! Stop screaming, you goober! Marvin, go check on him! He's fine. Oh, Cody, you lost! Yeah, yeah, you lost, Cody! What, how did I lose? Because you pressed the button for Joseph. Mm -hmm. what, but it was Joseph's turn! But it was your finger that made her wake up. Yeah, it was the pressure of your finger, dude! Yeah, if, if Joseph would've pressed it, it wouldn't have went off, but since you pressed it so hard, you wanted Joseph to lose. What, yeah. It was gonna go off no matter who pressed it! You have a problem with Joseph, you pressed it hard so yeah. she would wake up. What, no, this is stupid, I don't wanna play this game anymore! Why, cause you cheated to make Joseph lose? Cheater! What, you guys are cheating! Oh, no. All right, listen, we'll just play a different game. But, Cody, no more cheating. Yeah, well, I'm not Cody. cheating. Come on, get it together. Oh, there's someone at the door. Oh, you'll get up to go check the door, but not on Jeffy? <sighs> Hello? Hey, buddy, we're here for the surprise. Lady, where are we? Oh, don't worry about that, Karen. You know what? You just stay right here while I finish getting your surprise ready. What's going on? Shut up. Let me come inside. Uh, Karen, you stay here. <laughs> So what's going on? Oh, I screwed up really bad, man. Today's my wife's birthday, but I totally forgot. But I told her that I didn't forget and that I had a big surprise plan for her. So what's the surprise? Well, see, that's the thing. I don't really have a big surprise. I lied. You lied? Yeah, so I thought we could just set up a birthday party here, and I could tell it was a big surprise party that I planned a long time ago. You want us to lie? Yes, exactly. A big convincing lie, yeah. But we don't have the stuff for a party here. Well, exactly. And that's why I brought two for $60 for your wife to go buy party supplies while we distract my wife. I don't want to lie! Bitch, please! Just help me out here! It's not that hard, okay? Look, it's not even a lie if we really do it. Well, what kind of party supplies? You know, like balloons and cupcakes, party shit! I don't know, go, okay? Just... Okay! Jesus. How do you even deal with her? Uh, how do we distract your wife? I don't know. Do you have anything fun? Well, the kids are playing board games downstairs. Yes, that's perfect. Okay, just ground all of them and we'll take their board games and play them with my wife. Is board games enough to distract your wife? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, my wife is an absolute dunce, okay? A complete nincompoop. Okay, so I'll go get the board games and you go get your wife. Yes, I will go do that. What are we supposed to do, Cody? I think you're supposed to bend over in front of it and let it floss your butt crack. I'll pass. What are you kids doing? <laughs> We're playing board 
games. Well, Jeffy, you're grounded for screaming earlier. I was scared. Well, it hurt my ears, so grounded. Well, at least we can keep playing. No, all you kids, you better go upstairs or I'm going to tell your parents you were doing drugs. Ah, oh, snitch. Well, what's your deal, dog? Well, we're having an adult party downstairs and there's no kids allowed. Well, I want to go to the adult party. I'm 18. No, it's my house, so you got to listen to my rules, Jeffy. So all the kids upstairs. Gee. Now. Uh, <sighs> okay. Hey, Karen. Boy, it's raining outside. My hair's going to get all frizzy. Well, it's going to be worth it when you see a surprise. Come on. Hey, you ready? Yeah, I got a bunch of board games. Oh, that's perfect. Hey, I grabbed a beer out of your fridge. I hope you don't mind. Boy, where are we? Oh, you can take your blindfold off now, Karen. <gasps> Boy, what is this? Surprise. Surprise. It's a surprise party. Boy, you threw me a surprise party. No, no, I would never forget your birthday. But look, we're going to play board games before your party. Board games? I love board games. Yeah, I know. So just pick one. Uh, let's play this one. Mm -hmm. Stir the pot. Uh, it says it roasts your friends for you. Yeah, it's a great game. Super fun. <gasps> you played it before? No, but we totally should. Yeah, let's do it. So how do we play this game, Boiny? Well, you draw a card, and whoever the card describes the best gets to keep the card. Oh! the whole movie. <laughs> That'd be you, Karen. <laughs> I do not, Boiny. Yeah, you do. Take the card. Let's see what I got. Let's see. Who has the shortest attention span? That's another card for you, Karen. That's not true. <gasps> oh my god, I love this wall color. It's so orange. Yeah, I'm just going to give you this card. All right, my turn. All right. Who comes the least prepared? That's you because you forgot her birthday. Shut the fuck up. Oh! <laughs> that sounds like you again, Karen. Boyney, that's not very nice. Yeah, well, it's true. You need to be quieter. All right, let's see. Who has the most annoying voice? Another card for you, Karen. Wow, you're good at this game. I don't like this game, Boyney. It's kind of mean. Oh, I love this game. All right, it's my turn again. All right, let's see. Who never shuts the fuck up? Wow, Karen, another card for you. You should go pro. Okay, you know what? It's my turn again. I'm going. Who is most likely to get offended by a joke? Well, that one's for you, Boyney. I don't get offended. I don't get offended at anything. I love jokes. I laugh at jokes all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to go again. Let's see. Who is most likely to get checked into anger management? Oh, that's another one for you, Boyney. I don't have anger problems, Karen. I just need to be away from you. Okay, let's see what we got. Whose phone do you want to go through the most? Let me see your phone. Oh, you're never going anywhere near that damn thing. I want to see your phone. No, Get it out, Barney. No, no, I'm going to draw a card now. Let's see. Uh, who is most likely to start an argument for no reason? Well, that sounds like you care because you're starting shit. No, I'm You started this whole argument uh, during the card game. Hold on, hold on. I, I got a card. I got a card. How about how about this? Um, Who would bitch out their grandma for not giving them enough birthday money? Oh, yeah. That'd be me. Yeah, Gam Gam only gave me $5 for my 37th birthday. She knew I needed rent money. She's loaded. She can afford it. But Gam Gam is a stingy bitch. I hope you fucking die, Gam Gam. You know what? I don't want to play this game anymore. It's making me pissed off about Gam Gam. Boyny, maybe you should stop drinking. Actually, I was just thinking I need another one. Well, I'll get a different game. Ugh, stupid Karen starting shit. Hey, you yelling at your wife on her birthday? Yeah, she started it. Well, what are you doing? I'm getting more beer. It's the only way I'm going to get through the rest of this party. Well, just try to calm down. You're being kind of crazy. Yeah, well, that's up to her. Okay, I'm back. Oh. You brought a beer for everyone? <laughs> Good joke, Karen. You should be a comedian. No, these are all for me. Well, I went ahead and picked out the next game. It's called Spin the Dare. And you spin the arrow. Whoever it lands on picks up a card and they have to do the dare. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to spin to go first. Well, it doesn't matter who spins first, Karen. It, it doesn't even matter who spins as long as it's whoever it lands on. Boyney, it's my birthday. I'm spinning first. You get to draw a card and do the dare. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let another player go through your camera roll for two minutes. That's not happening. Oh, I'll go through your phone, Boiny. You're not going through my phone, Karen. What do you have to do with That's the dare. Well, how about this? How about we can all skip one dare, but only one. I'll remember that, Boiny. Okay, so I have to do this dare. Let's see. Invite the last person you called who isn't already here to come join in on the fun. Oh, hell no. Who was the last person you called? It was Jonathan, but I only called him to tell him to stop calling me. Boiny, invite your brother over. Call him. That's not happening. Then let me go through your phone. I guess I'm calling Jonathan. Okay, it's ringing. Hey, Brooklyn guy! You won't block my number? No, this is for a dare. That's the only reason I called you. I knew you didn't hate me. Oh, I do, but we're playing this game and it dared me to call you and invite you to Karen's birthday party. <gasps> Karen's birthday party? I'm on my way! <sighs> oh, that's him. Hello? Where's Karen? Because I heard there was a fire! 
in my pants. <laughs> Is that my fireman outfit? Stop it. Stop. Stop stripping. I said stop it! Oh, why? Doesn't Karen want a sexy stripper for her birthday? Yeah, maybe if it was a sexy one. Look, just go home, change into a normal outfit, wash my fireman outfit, because I'm assuming you're not wearing underwear. Nope. Okay, yeah, wash that, and then come back and I'll let you in. Oh, okay. Okay, he's here, so I win the deal. So, where's your birthday girl? I'm right here! Mm -hmm. Catch it. Why'd you catch it, Karen? I don't know, Boiny. So, have you gotten your birthday spanking yet? Cause I'm gonna give you 18! Cause there's no way you're a day over 18! Aw, Boiny, did you hear that? He thinks I'm young! Yeah. Wait, I didn't miss the part where Karen gets in her birthday suit, did I? Okay, Jonathan, just calm down and let's play this game, okay? It's called Spin the Dare, okay? So you, so you just draw a card and you do the dare that's on the card and it's your turn. But Boiny, you gotta spin! Yeah, we're not doing that anymore. It's Jonathan's turn. Now pick a card, Jonathan. Oh, okay. Ooh, this one's spicy. Reveal who you'd F, marry, and kill using people from the group. Well, I killed Yuking guy. Thanks. And then I would marry Karen. Aww. And then I would F Karen over and over and over and over and over and pushing the pillow. Okay, Jonathan, oh, Jonathan, oh, Jonathan. Oh. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, uh, we can all skip a dare and you're skipping that dare, okay? Pick a different dare. Oh, okay. Oh, this one's juicy. Take a selfie, kissing the person to your left on the lips and post it on social media. Pucker up, baby. Oh, okay, okay, I don't want to play this game anymore. We're, we're going to stop playing. No! That's not fair! You can't do that! There's no part of the rule that it's Karen's birthday! We're not doing that, Jonathan. Let's play Twister instead. Oh, hell yeah. Twister can do. No, no Twister the game. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a game. Okay, let, let's stop the game. So what are the rules for Twister? Well, you spin this spinner, and then whatever body part and color it lands on, you put that body part on that color. But, Boiny, we don't have feet, so what happens if it spins on left foot or right foot? Ooh, I know! I'm gonna fix your board! We'll be right back! All right, so I fix your board. So now it says Karen's butt or Karen's boobs. We're not playing this. Go ahead and spin, Karen! Oh, uh, okay! Butt, 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 butt green! Rose says the party's ready. Oh, thank God. Uh, Karen, it's time to put your blindfold back on. Ooh, great idea, looking guy. That way she doesn't see where she's sitting. N no, no, it's for the party. Come on, Karen. Okay, the party's ready. Wow, this party actually doesn't look too bad. I did a good job. Boiny, I can't see where I'm going. Ooh, I'll help you just back up over here. Oh! Jonathan, stop spanking my wife. Well, she needs her birthday spankings anyway. 17 more. Karen, you can take the blindfold off. Oh, okay. Oh! Stop it, Jonathan. 16 more. <gasps> Boy, did you set this up just for me? Mm, uh, yeah, yeah, I sure did. I, I set all this up months ago. Cupcakes are stale as fuck. Boy, did all those mean jokes you were making were just to distract me from you setting up a surprise birthday party? Yep, that. All of the things you just said, all of that is right. Yeah. Yeah, so we should light these candles. Ooh, Karen, I bet if you just touch the candles, they'll set on fire. Cause you're hot. Oh! Damn it, Jonathan, stop spanking her! I'm gonna go get the lighter. Okay, lit the candles. Let's sing a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Ow! Happy birthday to you. Ah! Happy birthday to Karen. Ow! Happy Now give me a piece of that cake! Jonathan! I wish Boiny would give me a big kiss! <gasps> That's really weird, you said Jonathan wrong. Come here, Boiny! Give me smooches! Okay. Oh, you taste like beer, Boiny. I know. I love you, Boiny! Thank you so much for my party! It's the best birthday ever! Yeah, I love you too, Karen. I could use some nummy in my tummy. Well, Chef Pee-Pee should be done cooking dinner soon. All right, guys, dinner's ready. 
Ugh, oh, smells like shit. Hey, Cody, watch your mouth. That's chicken jambalaya. I don't see any chicken. Oh, that's what the Nutter Butters are for. You substituted Nutter Butters for chicken? Oh, shut up, just eat. God, stop being choicy. Why is there a can lid in there? Yeah, we're not eating this. I'll eat it for five bucks. Jo Joseph, I'm not going to pay you to get food poisoning. How about, guys, how about we just drive to McDonald's? But we're not old enough to drive. Yeah, we don't have a license, dude. Do we know anyone with a license? Well, Ken has a driver's license. Well, he doesn't have a driver's license. He's a dog, dude. He's not a dog, Joseph. Of course he has a driver's license. How else could it be a race car driver? Well, then show us the driver's license. Yeah. Okay, let me get it out of his wallet. Boom. Read it and weep, chumps. Oh, yeah, dude. That's definitely fake. Yeah, it looks fake, Cody. It's not fake. It's very real. Why is Ken so orange? Oh, he had a sunburn that day. Yeah, I told him not to get his driver's license photo done when he had a sunburn, but he didn't listen. He just had to drive. His last name is Carson? Yep, and one day I'm going to be Cody Carson. And look, he's even an organ donor. He can't be an organ donor. He's plastic, dude. What if G.I. Joe needs a kidney, Joseph? A plastic kidney, Cody? But shut up, Joseph. Wait, wait, wait. It sounds right here, Ken was born in 1961? That means Ken is over 60 years old. Yeah, but age is but a number. But you're under 18, so that's wrong. No, no, it's not wrong, because he's a... He's a doll? No, no, he's not a doll, Joseph. Well, if he was a doll, Cody, it wouldn't be weird. If he was made in 1961, that's fine. But if he was born in 1961, then, then he's a predator. No, he's not a predator. He, he has Benjamin Button disease, so he, he's basically 17. Dude, if he wasn't plastic, I'd be calling the cops right now. Well, look, guys, he has a driver's license, okay? Can he drive? <laughs> Can he drive? Did Chick Thunder Hicks sign with Dynaco? Yes, he did. And Lightning McQueen signed with Rusty's. I watched Cars last night. Just a little bit of Pixar trivia for you. Can Ken drive us to McDonald's? No. What was the point of that, dude? Well, why can't he drive us? Well, because he can't drive at night because he has astigmatism. What? what? What do you mean? His eyes are bad? Yeah, he has bad eyes, okay? Look, when God gives you washboard abs and a perfect ass and a giant wang, he has to take away something. So Ken can't drive to McDonald's. What, what if we duct tape him to the steering wheel, and then you drive the car, and it looks like Ken's driving it, and we have someone with a license, and at least in the car. I don't know. Look, look, look Ken. Look, 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 just you and Ken, follow me. Look. Uh, <sighs> okay, Cody, I duct taped Ken to the steering wheel, so if we get pulled over, just say Ken was driving. But I don't want Ken to get in trouble. Well, then don't get pulled over. But I don't even really know how to drive. I can't even see over the steering wheel. All you do is press the gas pedal and then move the steering wheel back and forth. This seems like a bad idea. I want to go to McDonald's! Okay, put it in drive, I guess. Okay. Oh man, Simmons, I hate the night shift. I'm so tired. I think I'm gonna take a nap. Just wake me up if any crimes happen. Alright, mate. I'm gonna test out the equipment and make sure it's working properly. I'm gonna start with the lights. <laughs> Simmons, Simmons, you turn the siren on! Yeah, I'm just testing out the lights to see if they work! But Simmons, stop staring at the lights! It's bad for your eyes! You know what else is bad for your eyes? A pencil. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess that would be bad for your eyes. Any sharp object is bad for your eyes. And bricks are bad for your teeth. Well, yeah, you, you shouldn't chew on bricks. What? Oh, Simmons, did you see that car? He was flying! He wasn't flying, he was driving. Well, no, I meant he was going fast. Come on, we're gonna get him. behind us. Oh, shit. Pull over. Oh, shit. All right, they pulled over. Look, I'm really tired. I'm just going to give them a warning and let them go so I can go back to my nap. Wait, mate, before you go, aren't carrots good for your eyes? I mean, that's what I've heard, yeah. So I can poke myself in the eye with a carrot and be all right? No, no, they're not for poking yourself in the eye, Simmons. They're for eating. Well, then if I eat them, then it means they're good for my mouth. Well, I'll let you figure that out while I'm gone. <laughs> What's wrong, Cody? I'm having a panic attack. I don't want to go to jail. What if they make me be the top? That's it's too much pressure. I can't last that long. Cody, let me get in the driver's seat and I'll do all the talking. You're gonna screw this up. No, Cody, trust me. I know how to talk to cops. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Can I see your driver's license? Here you go, officer. Thank you. That's not you. This is the guy on the steering wheel. Oh, what? He appears to be duct taped to the steering wheel. What? What? Oh. Well, I'm not going after him. I am too tired for this. What? Junior, what the hell are you doing? Not going to jail, that's what I'm doing. I gave him a fake ID. That wasn't a fake ID, that was Ken's ID. He's a dog, dude. He's not a dog, McDonald's, here we come. No, no McDonald's. Take us home. Woo! We got our McDonald's. You know I love my nuggies, dude. Guys, we just ran from the cops. And we got away. It's not my first time running from them. And we're never gonna get caught. Yes, we will, because they have Ken's driver's license. It's fake anyway, dude. Yeah, it's not even real. It is real, and now they're gonna come looking for him. Cody, just shut up and eat your Elemental Happy Meal. I've never even seen Elemental. You guys wanna go watch it? Well, if we're gonna go watch it, we have to go watch it now, because it's only in theaters. What are you talking about? It means you can only watch it in theaters, and when it leaves theaters, they're gonna delete the file. From history, dude. They're 
they're never going to release it on DVD and they're never going to put it on a streaming service. That would be ridiculous. Well, no, it's, it's Pixar's plan. See, they want people to run to the theaters and watch it now, and then they're going to delete the file. But no, 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 I think what they mean is it's only in theaters for now. Well, then why doesn't it say only in theaters for now? Why doesn't it say only in theaters for now, DVD later, streaming later? Uh, they can't fit all that on the box. There's plenty of space on that box, dude. Yeah, they could have fit it right here. Well, look, do you guys want to go see it or not? Yeah, let's go see it. Yeah, let's go, dude. Well, guess what? We can't because we spent all of our money on McDonald's. Well, wait a minute. Wait, we have Ken's real name now, so we can apply for a credit card in Ken's name. Oh, dude, he's perfect for this. Let's do it. No, 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 no. We don't want to ruin Ken's credit. He has a perfect credit score. Well, that means we can get a higher credit limit. And also, we can apply for loans in Ooh, Ken's name. More money, dude. Yes, yeah, so let's go apply for loans in Ken's name. No, no, no. All right, Cody, we got a credit card in Ken's name. And a $20,000 personal loan with an 8.6% interest rate. And it's a balloon loan, so the interest rate rises every year. And they give us free balloons. But that's it's financially irresponsible and you're not going to get any balloons. But look, Cody, we have a credit card and $20,000, all thanks to Ken's information. But, 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 guys, this is a crime because Ken, Ken can't, he, he can't, he's... He, what, he's a doll? No, no, he's, he's human. It's just, th this is identity theft because, because you can't take out a loan in Ken's name. Well, he told us we could do it. Yeah, he's cool with it. No, 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 he didn't. He was me the whole time and he didn't say that. Well, look, Cody, with this $20,000, we can go see Elemental. We could buy Elemental, dude. Yeah, we could, the whole theater. <laughs> guys, you're going to have to pay that money back eventually. Ken has to pay that money back. Look, but we should still return the money. Look, Cody, no one's gonna stop us. The police might. Th that, who says that's the police? That might just be Pixar asking us to go see Elemental. Pixar's not gonna go door to door asking you to see their movie. Oh, yes, they are, Cody. Pixar, have you seen their last few movies? They're in their flop era. Hello? Hey there, uh, I'm looking for a Ken Carson. I tried to pull him over earlier and he sped off. I've never seen that guy before. Wait, weren't you in the car with him when he sped off? Oh yeah, that guy! He kidnapped me and my friends and then he dropped us off at McDonald's and then went to Mexico. What? Okay, well would you be willing to testify to that in court? I don't know, maybe. Uh, okay, so you don't know where he would be? Maybe Mexico, but he's definitely not on my couch upstairs. Okay, I'm gonna go check your couch. Well, you don't have a warrant, so you can't come in. Um, uh, uh this house smells like weed, so I'm gonna have to come in, because I have probable cause. It doesn't smell like weed. Uh, and also, his, his address is right here on the driver's license, and that's your house, so I'm coming in. What, Cody? Cody, you put my address as Ken's address on his driver's license? Oh, no, I didn't do that. The DMV did that. Uh, excuse me, anybody seen a Ken Carson? No? Oh, you lying bastard. He's right there. Okay, Mr. Carson, put your hands up. Thank you. Now you're under arrest for fleeing the police. Wait, where did you kids get all that money? Uh, lemonade stand. What, what are you putting in the lemonade that you're getting that kind of money? Uh, crack. Mm-hmm. You're putting crack in your lemonade? Well, no, but people say it's so good it might as well be crack. Mm-hmm. Okay, is there crack in the lemonade or not? No. Okay, then where did you get the money? Okay, so look, we found out that Ken has a driver's license even though he's a doll, so we applied for a bunch of loans and credit cards in his name because we wanted money. Wait, wait, you applied for loans and credit cards in his name? That's fraud. Well, no, he told us to do it, and he has no plans on paying it back, so we're going to keep the money, and, and he needs to get in trouble. Yeah. Yep, yep, you're absolutely right. That is his fault. Okay, Mr. Carson, you're under arrest. Come on. Order, 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 order. I am Judge Pooh and today we will be hearing the case of Kenneth Carson. Kenneth, you have been on quite a crime spree lately. Speeding, evading the police, resisting arrest, bank fraud, etc., etc. Kenneth, how do you explain yourself? You wipe that smug smile off your face, mister. You are showing no remorse for your actions. Oh, sorry, Your Honor. He actually just got Botox in his face. That's why he can't stop smiling. But trust me, he is very remorseful for the actions he didn't do. Oh, my name's Kenneth. I'm so remorseful for breaking the law. Do I look remorseful? No. How do you plead, Kenneth? Ken, say something. Well, are you going to say something? You, you have to plead. Guilty, not guilty, my bad, the fifth, something. Not guilty. He said not guilty, Your Honor. Hmm, interesting. Well, let me tell you why you're wrong and why you are guilty. Because you handed your driver's license to the police just before you sped away in your car like Fred Flintstone kicking his little feet. 
Unless, of course, you're saying that wasn't you driving the car. Oh, please say that. I would love for you to say that. Because then I could fuck you every day of the week and twice on Sunday. So please, I dare you to say that. Uh, it wasn't me driving the car. Oh, I am so glad you said that. Because I have one more piece of evidence. Officer Guy, show him the body cam footage of you pulling him over. Go ahead, show him. If everyone would look at the screen, please, you can clearly see see Kenneth is driving the car, he's even duct taped to the steering wheel, and there are kids in the car, so he's also endangering children, so you can probably add some charges for that. Oh, so close, but so fucking guilty, 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 liar, liar, pants on fire. You see, you can't fake body cam footage, and that's clearly you driving the car. Oh, now, I don't even have to ask you about the bank fraud, because if you would lie about the car, you'd obviously lie about the bank fraud, so once a liar, always a liar. Get there! Mm. Now, usually I would give you four years in prison, but because you lied to my face, I am giving you 34 years in prison. That's right, an extra 30 years for lying. I don't like liars. Take him away, bailiff! Don't like it. 34 years? Sorry, kid, he's coming with me. Yeah! Yeah! What's wrong, Cody? Did you get your wiener stuck in your zipper again? Uh-huh. It also can get 34 years in prison, and it's all because of you guys. Hold on, hold on. Is it really because of us, dude? Yeah, at some point, Ken has to take responsibility for his own actions. Well, this was all your idea. No, Ken was the one who got duct taped to the steering wheel and sped off, and he was also the one that get these loans out in his name. Well, you guys did all that. Yeah, and Ken could have stopped us. Yep, he has a voice, unless he's a doll, dude. No, he's not a doll. He's just shy. See, so Ken could have spoke up, and he chose not to. God damn it, Ken needs to learn to stick up for himself. Yeah, so me and Joseph decided to split the 20 grand, 10,000 each, and we're gonna give you the credit card. I should get all of it because this is all your fault, and also I need the money to pay for Ken's commissary. He's gonna need to buy a lot of Preparation H for the ass pound he's gonna take, and Swiss rolls. Ken loves his Swiss rolls. So how about you go visit Ken in prison and find out if he even needs the money? Okay, I'll go see if he's a top or a bottom. Alright, let's take the 20 grand and hide it. Hell yeah. Hey Ken, how's prison? Your cellmate's not going too rough on you, is he? Hey Ken! Me and you, round three tonight. Uh, 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 uh. Your face on the ground! Oh, he's making you be the bottom? Oh, lucky. Oh, Ken, I just wish I could reach through these bars and grab you. It's not fair! It's just not fair! What? K Ken! You escaped! Come on, quick! Hey, you owe me round three! Guys, I just broke Ken out of jail! Why would you do that, Cody? Now you're gonna get in trouble! Well, he just kinda fell through the bars and I just grabbed him. Look, hopefully nobody will even notice he's missing. Okay, inmates, lights out. No more weenies and butts. At least not with the lights on. But, officer! No butts. Or weenies in those butts. I can't even put my weenie in the butt because my butt gone! What, what happened to your butt? It ain't here! Wait, you're telling me your cellmate escaped? Yeah. Well, where'd he go? I don't know. Well, I gotta find him! So, guys, what happened to that $20,000? Because we should probably give it back to the bank. Ooh. Uh, what happened? Well, you see, we gave that $20,000 away. What, to who? Well, there was these two blind kids going door to door trying to raise money for new eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was $10,000 per eye. Yeah. So we only had $20,000, so that means only one kid got new eyes. So we made them play rock, paper, scissors to see who got new eyes. How did they know who won? Well, we told them, and it was a draw three times in a row. Mm -hmm. Three times. So, yeah, so they decided to get one eye each. You know, an eye for an eye. That's not really relevant here, but Okay. Yeah, so we gave the $20,000 so they both could get one eye. Don't you think that's worth it? Well, as long as it went to a good cause. Freeze! You're under arrest for helping a fugitive, and you're under arrest for being a fugitive. What's going on, officer? Well, Mr. Cody here helped Mr. Carson escape from jail, so now they're both going to the slammer. Do I at least get Ken's cellmate? No, you're going to an all-women's prison. Junior, help me! Is there anything we can do, officer? I don't know. I'm just so pissed off because my wife racked up $20,000 of credit card debt, so I really need $20,000. I would do just about anything for $20,000. I'd probably let these two go for $20,000. Dude! Do we give him the money? No! We might have $20,000. But wait, but what about the blind kids? We made it up. What, you made that up? Yeah, because me and Joseph wanted to buy a soft serve ice cream machine. Bro, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. Cosmopolitan, Cody, come to Cosmopolitan. Guys, help me! <sighs> give him the money, Joseph. And here, have the money. Wow, that's really nice of you guys. So I guess, because you did that, I can let these two go. Well, I have a question for you. So is this weird? So Ken was born in 1961, and he's dating a minor. Uh, okay, well, I can't just let that slide. Ken, run! <laughs> Catch him if you can. It's so hot!
the AC's broken. It's like 100 degrees in here. Hey, Jeffy. Huh? Can you blow me? Hey, yo, what? Like with a fan. Oh, you should have just said that, Daddy. Oh, that feels so good. Hey, I want some. Oh, so much better. Jeffy, blow me again. Stop saying that, Daddy. It's weird. Hey, no, come back. Mommy, look, it's hot in here. You should probably just take your clothes off. Well, ew, Jeffy, she's your mother. Stepmother, and I've seen plenty of videos where stepsons eat their stepmom's fish biscuit. Well, Jeffy, that's gross. Get out of here. All right. Marvin, you need to call an AC repair man. But that's going to cost money. But it'll be worth it. Okay, I'll call one and see if he can do it cheap. Hey there, thanks for calling Expensive AC Repair Services. Marvin, you called Expensive AC Repair Services? Well, I tried calling Super Cheap AC Repair Services, but they didn't answer. Yeah, I never answer that phone. What? Anyway, what's the problem? Well, our AC is broken, I think. Oh, that sounds expensive. Yeah, I guess I can get my ladder out and go look at it, but it's gonna cost you. How much? How much you got? Baby, how much do I have in my wallet? Uh... Um, about $94. Oh, that's crazy, because that's exactly how much I charge to get my ladder out and look at your AC unit. Okay, here you go. Ooh, it is hot in here. This cash is cool. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, let me go get my ladder and I'll take a look at it. Okay, time to figure out what's wrong with the AC so I can charge her more money. Okay, let's see what's wrong with this AC. What? Haunted toys do not touch. Okay, not touching that. Let's see here. Oh. Well, the AC's not broken. It just got turned off. All I have to do is turn it on. But then I can't charge them a bunch of money. <laughs> okay, I know. I'll go downstairs and tell them that the whole AC unit is completely destroyed and that it's going to be really expensive to fix, and then I'll come back up here, just play on my phone for like an hour, and then turn it on and tell them I fixed it. <laughs> yeah! Oh, man. It is, it is just a train wreck up there. So it's broken? Oh, broken's not even the right word. I would say destroyed, demolished, pillaged, savaged, desolated even. So it's broken? Yeah, it's broken, yeah. What happened to it? Oh, I can't even imagine what could have caused such destruction. Was your house struck by lightning and a tornado a hundred times? I don't think so. Well, I mean, it is on fire. What, fire? Yeah, and it's flooding at the same time. I don't even know how. It's crazy. Flooding with what? W with shit from the sewer, because I guess your sewer got mixed up, so whenever you flush the toilet shit comes out of your AC. Oh, oh well, can I go up there and look? No, 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 don't do that because it's also spraying asbestos and, and carbon monoxide. It's very dangerous. Well, oh, okay, well then how are you going up there? I, I had a hazmat suit, but I took it off because it was itchy from all the asbestos. Well, can you fix it? Oh, I can, but it's going to be really expensive. Like how much? Oh, like, like $5,000 cash. We don't have $5,000 cash. Well, I guess I could do it for $3,000 cash. I don't think we have $3,000 dollars either. Well, how much cash do you have? Baby, how much cash do we have if you went in your purse and like checked the safe in the room? Um, maybe like five hundred dollars? I guess I could do it for five hundred dollars cash as long as it was cash. Wait, how can you go from five thousand dollars to five hundred dollars? Well, I just feel so bad because you're living with a hazard. You know, it's dangerous, so I gotta take care of it. So yeah, I'll do it for five hundred dollars as long as it's cash. Baby, get the money. Okay. Yeah, thank you for doing this for us. Here you go. No problem. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is great. Okay, so I'm gonna go work on that. Just don't check on me, okay? It's very, very dangerous. Uh, by the way, do you have a phone charger? What do you need a phone charger for? Uh, my phone's dying, and I really wanted to listen to some tunes while I work. You know, that's what I call Music 86. It's too much trouble to go find new music, so I let them bring the music to me, you know? That's what they call music. That's what I call music. That's what I always say. Okay, I'm gonna go get to work. Just don't come up there, okay? It's too dangerous. Oh, what is that? It's a stairway leading right to the attic. I bet my daddy's hiding my Christmas presents up there. I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's snowing up here? The North Pole's in my attic? Santa Claus lives in my attic? Wow, I can't believe I'm in Santa's workshop. <gasps> Haunted toys do not touch. These must be special toys that Santa Claus made that he doesn't want anyone to play with. Well, I'm gonna go play with them. <laughs> All right, let's check out these haunted toys. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear, let's see if he can fly. <laughs> Woody was right, he's not even a flying toy. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, what is this thing? Interesting. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, an ABC board? It'll help me learn my ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Ooh, and what is this? Looks like a magnifying glass so I can see the letters better. <gasps> and it says yes or no? Maybe I can ask it a question and it'll tell me. Um, ABC board, am I gonna get fat hoes? <gasps> it said yes! Yay, I'm gonna get fat hoes! Thank you, ABC board. You're welcome. Now open your mouth. Open my mouth? Why? Just do it. 
Okay. Uh. Ugh, Marvin, it's so hot up here. Can we go downstairs? But baby, the AC's broken. It's gonna be hot everywhere. But it's hotter upstairs because heat rises. Well, if heat rises, then my wiener has heat. Because it, it rises when I see... Whatever, let's just go downstairs and make some dinner. Okay. All right, baby, for dinner, me and you are gonna have a mashed potato bowl. Ooh, yum! And Jeffy's gonna eat green beans. Jeffy, dinner's ready! What do you want, old man? Marvin, why does Jeffy look like that? Jeffy, did you call yourself green with a Sharpie? No, I've been possessed by a demon. <laughs> okay, demon, eat your green beans. How about I just piss? <laughs> Jeffy, stop peeing! What's wrong, old man? You don't like piss? Stop it, Jeffy! Marvin, why is Jeffy in a dress? You're worried about the dress and not the pee! Oh, okay, good. He, he's stopping. <laughs> Just kidding, more piss! Oh, my God, Jeffy, stop peeing on the table! You're, you're peeing everywhere! Oh, I'm sorry. Am I pissing you off? Jeffy, stop it! All right, I'm done. Jeffy, just go to your room! All right. Oh, my God, he, he peed all over the table, baby! What, what is wrong with him? It's disgusting! <laughs> <laughs> Jeffy, you are so grounded! <laughs> he got the <throw> up! <laughs> he threw up everywhere! Marvin, I think he's really sick! We need to call a doctor! The AC guy, he's a doctor, let's go get him! <laughs> <laughs> Die, pigs. Hey! Hey! Hey, hey, what, how did you get up here? Wait, uh, are you playing Angry Birds? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I just I just finished fixing your AC. I, I did. I also killed those pigs. You got you got three stars. Well, thank you. Yeah, I did. I did. But was my AC even broken? Oh, yeah, it was super broken. I just fixed it. That's that's why I have this screwdriver here, you see? Because it was, it was this screw. It was loose, and that, that's what caused the whole thing, you know? So one screw being loose caused it to flood and catch on fire? Oh, yeah. You'd, you'd be surprised what a screw can do. <laughs> it can really screw things up. You get it? It's an AC repairman joke. You probably don't get it. Well, like, you're a doctor, right? Yeah. Oh, look, my son's really sick. Can you come check him out? How much cash you got? I don't got any more cash, but do me a favor. Eh, I guess you're right. I've screwed you over enough today. <laughs> that was another one. Come on. Okay. Okay, my son's in here. Well, I put my doctor outfit on. I put down towels because of the throw up. Ew, he's throwing up. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Well, why is his head spinning around like that? Well, he's not sick, you guys. He's possessed. But possessed? Yeah, by a demon. Well, so what do we do? Well, you call an exorcist. Wait, isn't he an exorcist? No, no, no. He needs an exorcist. See, an exorcist performs an exorcism to exorcise a demon. Okay, so I call an exorcist. Yeah. Okay, uh, do you think there's anyone around here? Hmm, try Googling expensive exorcist. Okay, I'll see if there's a cheap one. Okay, I found a phone number for a place called Cheap Exorcism Services. Oh, I, I wouldn't call them. Shh, it's ringing. Uh, that, that's, that's probably my mom calling. I don't answer her. Well, it's kind of weird that while I'm calling this number, your phone's ringing. I mean, it is a coincidence, but if you think about it, there's 13.5 billion phone calls happening in the world every day, so it's not that much of a coincidence that my phone would be ringing while you're calling somebody. 13.5 billion phone calls? Yeah, it's true. Look it up. It's gonna go to voicemail. Thank you for calling Cheap Exorcism Services. Since we didn't answer our phone, maybe you should try calling Expensive Exorcism Services. They always answer their phone. <sighs> What'd it say? It said to call Expensive Exorcism Services. Yeah, you should do that. Okay, I'm calling them. Oh, hey, my phone's ringing. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Hello, Expensive Exorcism Services. Oh, wait, that's me! And yes, I will do your exorcism for you. How much cash you got? Wait, just go get your outfit! Okay. Okay, I got my outfit on. Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Ah. Ow! No throwing toy arms! <laughs> No throwing demon arms either! Father, help him! Yeah, help me, daddy. Hold on, I got some holy water over here. I mean, it's just Fiji water, but holy cow, is it good. The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! No, that, that's from Wizard of Oz. Nice try. <laughs> Look, the holy water's not working, but I've seen the movie, I know what to do. Hey, demon, possess me instead! Open your mouth. Okay, uh... Ah. Possess Buzz Lightyear! Ha! I trapped him in this Buzz Lightyear toy! I am Mrs. Nesbitt. Now, now all I have to do is throw him down the stairs to kill him. Take this, demon Lightyear, to infinity and hell! <laughs> 
Okay, I threw Buzz Lightyear down the stairs. As long as nobody touches him, we'll be fine. Jeffy, are you okay? Oh, my head hurts. Yeah, that's a side effect of being possessed by a demon. I was possessed by a demon? Yeah, but I took care of it. So where's the cash? Give me a thousand dollars. It's not called expensive exorcism services for no reason. We don't have a thousand dollars. Oh yeah? Well, guess what? Your AC wasn't even broken. It was just turned off. All I did was turn it on and then play Angry Birds on my phone. So, eh. <sighs> Jeffy, how are you feeling? Who wants to watch me piss? <sighs> Bop it. Sure, Jeffy. I score five. Bop it. Ow! Twist it. Pull it. Twist it. Bop it. Ah. Just give me that goddamn thing. Oh, hello. Hey, you lost, Danny. He never said throw it. Oh, I want to kill you, Jeffy. Ah, help me! Ah, answer the door! Answer the door! Screw this! There's someone at the door, Marvin. Duh! <laughs> Hello? Please, hide me! I can't do this anymore! Hide you from who? From Goodman! I don't want to work for him anymore! He treats me so badly! So I stole his car and ran away! You stole his car? Yes, so please, hide me! Oh, come, come inside! Who's at the door, Marvin? This is old man, I gotta hide him! Yes, hide me, please! Who is he? Don't ask questions! Uh, hide behind here! Ugh. Oh, crap, breathe. Yeah, that looks good. What's going on? Uh, oh, no. That must be Goodman. Don't tell him I'm here. Uh, hello? Where is he? Where's his old ass? Who are you talking about? Don't you bullshit me, Marvin. I'm talking about Chad. He stole my Lamborghini and parked it out front. Wait, your Lamborghini's here? Marvin, don't you bullshit me. I swear to God, you better tell me where he is or I'm going to give you a spanking. I don't know where he's at. <laughs> All right, Marvin. I'll give you $10,000 if you tell me where he is. He's behind the couch cushion. You have a goddamn ten grand. I'm gonna go upstairs and give him a spanking with it. Hmm. I wonder where Chives is. Aha! Oh, there you found me. Oh, 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 stop hitting him. You stay out of this, Marvin. This is between me and Chives. Now, Chives, bend that ass over. It's spanking time. Yes, sir. This is for running away. This is for stealing my Lamborghini. And this is for being old. Stop spanking him. He likes it. I don't like it, sir, and I don't like you. You're just on your butler period. Men don't get periods, sir. It's 2023. Yes, they do. I don't like the way you treat me. You don't like the way I treat you? I gave you a room under the staircase like Harry Potter. Everyone likes Harry Potter. You know what? I quit. <gasps> You can't quit. You're poor. Who else is going to hire an 80-year-old man to wipe their ass? Only me. Plus, you get to shave my balls. That's an honor, Chives. I don't want to do that anymore. Well, then I can't do this anymore. I can't have a butler that doesn't want to wipe my ass or shave my balls. You know what? Fine. If you want to quit, quit. But you'll never see money like this ever again. <sighs> smells like your ass, Chives. And I'm going to go spend it so I never have to smell your ass ever again. That was very brave of you to stand up to Mr. Goodman like that. But now I have no job. I'll be homeless. Well, Marvin, we could use some help around the house. Really? So you'll hire me then? Well, we don't have any extra money. How much was Goodman paying you? He was paying me nothing. He just let me sleep in a broom closet underneath the stairs. Then why'd you work for him for so long? Because he paid my entire family $20 million each to never speak to me again, so I had nowhere else to go. That's so sad. Well, look, we can't really pay you right now, but we have a bed for you to sleep in. A bed? What an upgrade! I used to have to sleep in a litter box underneath the stairs, so I'll take the job. Now, let's go get those balls shaved, sir. No, you you don't have to shave my balls. What, what? So, do you have to take a poop soon? Shall I wipe your bum with my bare hand? No, you don't have to do that either. Well, then what am I supposed to do? Well, go do butler things. Go clean the house. <gasps> Shall I mop the floor with my tongue, sir? No, you can use a mop. <gasps> How generous! Shall I fill the bucket with my spit, or am I allowed to use water? You can use water. Wow. Hey, Danny, I found my bop it. Oh, that's what you could do. You could go play with Jeffy. I'm not sure I know what the word play means, sir. We can go have fun. I don't think I know what that one means either. Well, go smile and laugh. I haven't smiled in years. Jeffy, go show him a fun time. All right, come on, old man. Okay. Okay, see, look, he can start babysitting Jeffy. 
Don't touch the sides. No, I hate this game! Hey, Junior! Check out my pet, old man! I am not his pet, I am his butler! Hi. Hello, sir. Jeffy, you wanna play Operation with me? That's lame, we can just operate on him! But I don't believe you two are a qualified doctor! Shut up and lay right here! Very well, sir. Alright, Junior, take his eye! Well, not my eye, I need those to see! Ow! How about we play something else? Alright, well how about throw throw burrito? Well, how do you play that game? Well, we take these burritos and throw them at you. Ow! Ow! Oh, is there anything else we can play? <gasps> we can play stair tag! Ooh! Is that, like, tag but you can't blink? No, come here, stair tag! Alright. So there's the stairs, now tag! Oh, ooh, ooh, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, Danny, I broke my new old friend. What'd you do? We were playing stair tag! What stair tag? Come on, I'll show you! Don't do it! He's going to push you down the stairs! <gasps> you pushed him down the stairs, Jeffy! Jeffy, we told you not to do that to people anymore! Well, guess what? I'm gonna keep fucking doing it. What, Jeffy? Nope! Nope! Stop it! Bad! What is he doing? He's smacking his diaper. But why does he have a diaper? Isn't he grown? It's in case I poop my pants. But then won't your pants get dirty? No, because I'm wearing a diaper. But your diaper's on the outside of your pants. Yeah, so it doesn't get dirty. He's not making any sense. He never does. Jeffy, just go run around. Okay. Okay, so listen, you don't have to play with him anymore. Thank God. But how about you just go make us something to eat? Ooh, shall I cook you some peppercorn for le mignon medium rare with a loaded baked potato? Ooh. No, we don't have that kind of money. How about you just make us a bologna sandwich? What is bologna? Ooh, is that peasant food? Yeah. Yes, it is. So go make us two bologna sandwiches. Very well, sir. I like having a butler. Mm-mm-mm, my -mm -mm, mystery pasta's almost done. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Wait, who's that in my kitchen? Hey, get out of my refrigerator! Not in Pippi's kitchen! Get out of here! Now, where is that baloney? Hey, bitch! Excuse me? Nah, ho, what you doing going in my refrigerator? Master Marvin told me to make him a sandwich. Nah, nah, I'm the only chef in this kitchen! This is my kitchen! This is Pippi's kitchen! Why are you barking at me? I'm just trying to make a baloney sandwich for Master Marvin, so could you please show me where the baloney is? Oh, I'll show you! The baloney right here! <laughs> Why did you punch me? Because you're in my turf. You don't need to be going to my refrigerator without my permission. Look, I'm not looking to fight. Oh, well, I am. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, so you want to play dirty then, do you? Well, I'll show you dirty. On guard. Uh, uh. You sure you want this shit? Are you sure you want this shit? You close to your casket, old man. Uh. Oh, yeah, you want to play dirty, huh? Oh, you filthy whore. Uh, uh, uh. Your father was a hamster and your mother smelt of elderberries! Don't talk about my mama like that when I had your mama in the bed with me last night! No! Please have mercy! Oh, hell no! Nah. Hey, Marvin, here's your bitch. Yeah, he thought he was running shit. T got ran over. So woo! What happened? I asked him where the balloon he was. What? Yes, apparently that's his turf, so he beat my ass. He does not own the kitchen. Look, can you just go down to the fridge and grab me a Lunchable? No, that's his fridge. I won't go back down there. Okay, so you can't cook, you can't play with Jeffy. I'm trying to think of something you can do. Hey, Mommy. Hey, Daddy. I took a massive dump in the toilet and it clogged it, but I still had to keep pooping, so I took the lid off the back of the toilet and pooped in there. And then every time I flushed it, it kept putting more poop back into the toilet and then eventually overflowed onto the floor. And I thought I was going to be helpful and get a mop and clean it up. But every time I did that, it kept smearing it and smearing it and smearing it and smearing it and smearing it. And, smearing it, and I still had to go poop, so I pooped more in the bathtub. Oh, that's what you can do. You can go clean that mess. Oh, great. How riveting. Thank you. Someone's at the door, Marvin. I hear it! You act like I don't have ears! I heard it! Jeff, you heard it? Mm -hmm. I heard it! Hello? Hello, Mr. Marvin. What's going on? I'm Mr. Gomez May, but me know what to work for him no more, and I heard that you hired Mr. Chai, so I was wondering if maybe you could hire me too. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't hire Mr. Chives. I just gave him a place to stay. Please, please, I promise that you hire me. I'll thank you like every single day. I'll thank you until my jog is tired. And even if my jog is too tired, you can still use any of my other thank you hours. Oh, no, 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 listen. Just come inside. Oh, you can do that too in any of my thank you holes. Oh, no, 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 none of that. No, no saying thank you. Just come inside and let's, let's talk to my wife. Okay.
Who was at the door, Marvin? My name Patricia, but Mr. Goodman gave me very many nicknames like Jimmy Changa, Quesadilla, Burrito, Taco Bell, and Stupid Ho. The list goes on and on. This is Mr. Goodman's maid. Well, what is she doing here? She wants a job because she thinks we hired chives. But Marvin, we can't pay her. Let me explain that to her. If we hire you, we won't be able to pay you money. You know I speak English, right? You don't have to speak so slow. Listen, we won't be able to pay you. We're just letting Chai stay here. That's okay. Mr. Goodman don't pay me either. Then why do you work for him? Because I'm a citizen, and Mr. Goodman threatened to have me deported unless I thank him. So if you let me stay here, I'll thank you like all the time. Like if you're stressed out, let me thank you. If you're riding in your car, let me thank you. It's your wife, no thank you? Let me thank you. What does thank you mean? Oh, it means I like to stop. Hey, it means she likes to say thank you. See, sometimes Mr. Goodman made me thank him so much, my throat gets very sore. Oh, from saying it over and over again? No, from the you're welcome juice. Uh, listen, I feel really bad for, maybe we should let her stay here for a few days. <gasps> you're going to let me stay? Let me thank you. No, 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 by the way, how long is your your welcome stick? Because Mr. Gumi is like really big. Like at least 14 inches. What is she talking about? I don't know. <laughs> oh no, please, please, if it's Mr. Gumi, don't let him find me. I'm going to hide. Uh, hold on. Hello? Where is she? Where the hell is Quesadilla? And don't you dare lie to me like you did last time. <sighs> She's upstairs. She didn't think you, did she? Because if she did, that would ruin her to me. No, but she's offered a lot. Ooh, I'm coming in! Now, where's Chimichanga? Don't look behind the couch cushion. Chimichanga not here right now. God, you're so dumb. Oh, no, you found me. Don't let me thank you. Why did you run away, Taco Salad? I thought I treated you great. You made me thank you so much. My frog is very sore. And you called me mean names. Well, I'm sorry, Nachos Bel Grande. It's just so hard for me to remember your name. My name Patricia. All right, Pico de Gallo. I'll try harder next time. Goodman, don't you think if you respected your workers, they'd want to work for you? I'm rich! I don't know how poor people think. Well, maybe if you paid them, they'd want to work for you. Pay them, like, money? But then I'd have less of it. Well, listen, listen. What if I asked you to make me a sandwich? No! Okay, now what if I said I'll give you $1,000 to make me a sandwich? Yes! See? See how money made you want to do it? Huh. Yeah, money did make me want to make you a sandwich. So you're telling me that if I pay my employees, that they'll actually want to work for me? Hmm. All right. Well, I guess, Churro, I'll pay you $10 an hour. Oh! Let me thank you. Go wait in the car. I'll be there in a minute, and then you can thank me as much as you want. See. Si. Now, where's Chives? He's cleaning the bathroom. All right, I'm going to give him some money, too. Ugh, disgusting. That was the most fecal matter I've ever seen. Hey, Chives. Oh, sir, what are you doing here? I came to give you a spanking. Ah! I'm just kidding. I've been thinking about it, Chives, and my balls need to be shaved because there's a little bit of peach fuzz on them. I told you I wouldn't do that anymore, sir. Well, I'm willing to pay you $5 an hour. <gasps> but... But sir, that's so much money! How will you afford it? I don't know. I'll probably have to sell a couple cars, or live on the side of the road, or maybe we'll even rent out your little Harry Potter closet. <gasps> Thank you so much, sir! Now let's go get those balls shaved! Alright, but you're driving because Sour Cream's gotta thank me, so come on. Very well, sir. Marvin, you did some good today. You got two people back their jobs with pay! Yeah, but no one thanked me. Well, let me thank you. <laughs> Jeffy, you're gonna be late for school. Baby, have you seen my car keys? No, Marvin. Looking for these, Daddy? Jeffy, give me my car keys. Ha ha, you're short. Give them to me, Jeffy. Oh? Well, Jeffy, spit them out. Spit them out right now. Mm -hmm. uh... well, Jeffy, you swallowed my car keys. Well, now I don't have to go to school. Oh, you're going to school, Jeffy. Marvin, why doesn't he just take the bus? It's already late. He already missed the bus. Well, it looks like I need to stay home from school. No, Jeffy, because you have a car, so we're gonna drive you in your car. Not if I can swallow the keys first. Oh, no, Jeffy! <laughs> Jeffy, you are going to school. Come on, right now. Oh, man. <sighs> Jeffy, get in the car. Don't have to. Yes, have to. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you don't get in the car, you're grounded. Aww. All right, Jeffy, put your seatbelt on. Can we bum some tunes so the hoes know I'm coming? Seatbelt now. Jesus. All right, Jeffy, let me know when it's safe to go. I don't want to get in a car accident. Oh, you're good for days. Uh, 
I'm in so much pain, Jeffy. I think my arm's broken. Oh my god, Marvin, what happened to you two? I trusted Jeffy. Oh, Danny, you totally had it. You were just too slow. Okay, you two. You're lucky to be alive. And you, you should have your driver's license revoked. Who pulls out in front of cars like that? My son told me there were no cars coming. And you believed him? What, you couldn't take the two seconds to just look? You know, you had mirrors for a reason. You know, if you had blind spot cameras like my Hyundai Sonata, this never would have happened. Listen, I don't want to get yelled at. I'm in a lot of pain. Danny, you look like you hate towers. How long is the recovery process, doctor? Uh, him, I think he'll probably be fine. Just got a broken arm and then a bruised face, but him, oh no, no, this is his life now. I mean, his jaw is broken, his ribs are destroyed. I mean, you could poke him with a pillow and kill him. His eyes kind of hanging out, and his arm has melted to his head from the engine fire. Yeah, he's going to be like this forever. What? So he has to live his whole life looking like that? Oh, yeah. Unless you hire me as a plastic surgeon. Well, how much would that cost? Uh, about 50 G's. What, $50,000? We don't have that kind of money. Can, can you do it like a favor? No, 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 no. There's no pro bono surgeries here. Except for the girl who came in for a free boob job. That was pro boner. So you're gonna pay me or what? We don't have that kind of money. Then get out of my hospital. <sighs> Come on, Jeffy. Ow. Go. Ow. Shoot. Ow. Why are you guys staring at me? Well, Jeffy, we're just concerned because why do you look like that? Because I got in a car accident. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jeffy. Do you want some of my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week? No, I don't think I can eat because my esophagus is closed up. All right, before we start class today, I wanted to remind everyone that tomorrow is picture day. So make sure you look your best. These pictures are going to be in the yearbook for years and years. And you don't want people to look back and be like, damn, he ugly. So, any questions? Yes, Jeffy? What's your question? Well, I don't have a question. Well, then don't put your hand up if you don't have a question. Put your arm down. My arm is stuck to my face because I got into a car accident. Oh, you are ugly as shit. Go to the principal's office right now. You are way too ugly for me to look at. <laughs> yeah, bye, freak. Hey, my arm may be stuck to my face, but I can still whoop your ass. So shut it. Cross, if you look like that, you better do something to fix yourself by tomorrow. Oh, man, I'm in so much pain. Well, you need to drive more careful next time, Marvin. I was driving careful. Jeffy said there were no cars coming. Hey, guys. What, Jeffy, what are you doing home so early? You're supposed to be at school. The teacher said I was too ugly to look at. That's horrible, Jeffy. You're still our handsome little boy. I am? Yes, Jeffy. Well, picture day's tomorrow. Oh, dear God, no. Well, Jeffy, you can't go to picture day looking like that? You guys just said I was your handsome boy. Well, Mommy, lie. Your face looks really bad. You look like something out of a scary movie. We need to get your face fixed or something. But Marvin, it costs $50,000. We can't afford that. Well, maybe the doctor will put us on a payment plan. Let me just call the doctor and see what we can do. Hey there, you call a doctor? Oh, hey, it's you guys. You guys finally decided to pay me for plastic surgery? Well, yeah, kind of, because tomorrow's picture day at school. Oh, yeah, I do a lot of business around this time. People want me to fix the ugly. They call me Dr. Ugly Fixer because I fix ugly, as previously implied. Then why haven't you fixed the bald spot on your head? <laughs> I want to fix it, but I can't afford to pay myself. Damn it, if I would just lower my prices. Well, see, that's why we called you, because we can't afford you either. Like, your prices are just too high, and we were wondering if maybe you could put us on a payment plan? But are you, are you asking if there's another way you can pay me? Well, is there? I mean, listen. No. What? I want cash, okay? I don't care what your wife will do to me. Wait, what? Yeah, I, I, it doesn't matter, because cash doesn't whine and then want to be cuddled afterward. Well, no, no, listen, we just can't afford that like, price. Like, maybe we can pay you later, right? Like, like, you could do the surgery now, and then we pay you all that money later? Okay, but if I do the surgery, what if you move away to, like, Antarctica or something, and I never see you again? Then I'm out $50,000. Ooh, ooh, I got an idea. What if you put a tracker in Jeffy's face? Like, when you cut it open to fix it, you put a tracker in there, so if we don't pay, you can track us down. Huh. Okay, yeah, I like that. I'll do the surgery now, and if you don't pay me later, I'll come back with a baseball bat and rough you up a little bit. Uh, uh, okay. All right, that sounds good. Uh, hey, you want me to uh, give your wife some bigger cans while we're at it? Uh -oh. Marvin, no! Okay, okay, fine. I'll just do Jeffy. Come on. Okay, I'm done with the surgery. Is Jeffy okay? Oh, yeah, he's never looked better. Are we going to recognize him? Oh, yeah, he's going to be the son you've always wanted. Okay, everybody, say hello to Jeffy. Uh, donkey, give me some cheese cake! Shrek, get out of here. Go, you little rascal. Uh, donkey! Damn ogres. Jeffy, can you just get in here? Hey, 
Saturday night? What, Jeffy? Yep, that's him. But what did you do to him? Oh, well, I uh, fixed his teeth. I made his eyes not crooked. I fixed that stupid unibrow. I slicked his hair back, and I gave him some nice clothes. He also added a few extra inches down there, so now I'm rocking a full four inches. Yeah, I did what I could. Oh, yeah, and I also found this in his lower intestine. Those are my car keys. Well, there they are. Well, Jeffy, you do look really good. Yep, that's what I do. And I also put the tracker in his nose, so if you don't pay me, I'm gonna get you. All right, champ, you have fun at picture day. Save some poo-poo for the rest of us. So, Jeffy, how do you feel? I feel constipated, Daddy. Real constipated. The poop troops are stuck in the poop loop. Well, I think you look handsome, Jeffy. Yeah, you need to get some sleep, because you have a big day tomorrow with picture day. Can I sleep in this? Yeah, Jeffy, don't take that off. You look really good. I want you to look like that in the picture, so go to bed. Uh -huh. He looks really good. Whoa, Jeffy, looking fine, like a Sharpie. Thanks, Cody. But Jeffy, how do you look so good? Yesterday you were so ugly, and now you look so good. I got plastic surgery, Junior. Well, I thought that was just to give girls bigger boobies. No, they do everything, even butt. Oh my god, Jeffy, you look so hot. Thanks. No, like, you look really hot. All right, calm down. You need to get spayed. You're in heat. All right, class. I hope everyone is ready for picture day. You wouldn't want to take an embarrassing photo. Oh my god, Jeffy, you look so handsome. Thanks, Teach. Oh my god, PJ, you're so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're guapo. I don't know what that means, but I agree. <gasps> Maria, look at that boy over there. Oh, Dios mio, muy caliente, si puppy. Let's go over there and talk to him. Wait, wait, ladies, where are you going? The bowl of coleslaw is right here. L ladies, what the? That man's jacking my steez. Hey. You're so hot. See, see, so sexy. Jeffy, give me your number. Ladies, ladies, please. I'm constipated. I'm trying to poop here. Give me some space. Bro, you stole my chicks. That's not very bro-like of you. I never stole these girls. They were never yours in the first place. It was just your turn. Oh, that's it, bro. I'm going to get revenge. And when PJ gets revenge, things get ugly. Let's kiss him. <laughs> ladies, the diarrhea is flowing. Hey, Danny. Hey, Jeffy, how was picture day? I don't know. You tell me. Check it out. I'm one handsome son of a gun. Aw, look at my handsome baby boy. Be careful with that paper, Mommy. It's wet. Girls have been sitting on it all day, so it's saturated in fish stick juice. Well, you look really good, Jeffy. Thanks, Daddy. Ah! Well, it's time to hit the hay. So you pooch moochers behave. <sighs> it's time for me to get some shut eye. I'm tired of girls kissing on me all day. Jeffy. This'll teach you for stealing my girls. Hey, Jeffy! We know! <laughs> dang, dang, dang! Whoa! He's hideous! What happened to your face, Jeffy? Somebody broke inside the house and hit me in the face with the mallet until I was ugly again! But what happened, Jeffy? I literally just said it. But then how did someone beat you in the face till your unibrow grew back? I don't know, but they did it! Alright, I'm here for my money. What, what, why do you have a bat? In case you don't pay up. Uh, uh pay, pay, pay up for what? For the surgery that I did, remember? To make Jeffy- Wait, what? why is Jeffy ugly? <laughs> what, he, what do you mean? He's always been ugly. No, 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 no. I, I gave him plastic surgery to make him handsome. What? No, you didn't. What? Y yeah, I did. You guys were in a car accident, and then I did surgery, and I made him handsome. But baby, do you, do you remember do you remember this this doctor doing surgery? Um, no. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, so if you weren't in a car accident, what happened to you? Uh, I I fell down the stairs and and, and she dropped the toaster on my head. Yeah, I did that. R really? So so there was no. Wait, there, wait, there, there, there were no surgery. Jeffy, close your mouth. What? See, see, look, look, look. He's always looked like that, and today was picture day, so. Yeah, no, you must have must no, had no, a bad no, no. you must have had a bad dream. No, 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 this like, can't have been a dream. I remember it. You guys were in a car accident, and then I did surgery, and then Shrek was there. Yeah, this must have been a dream. There's no way Shrek would have been here. That doesn't make any sense. Man, really? This was a dream? Yeah, it must have been a dream. You must be getting old. Oh, man, I'm really sorry for coming in here and threatening you with my stolen Sammy Sosa bat. What? Like, no, this is really stolen. Stolen from Sammy Sosa. Stolen right from his locker. See his name's on it. It's nuts. Anyway, sorry. Oh, that was a close one. Now we don't have to pay him money. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, did you learn your lesson for today? 
look both ways. Look both ways. Before. Before. Crossing. Crossing. The street. The street. Invited a PJ Crenshaw's Major Ranger party! PJ Crenshaw? Here, Jamie's Crenshaw! Jamie Jam's Crenshaw! You know, dude, look, it's right here. The invitation's right here. Oh, that's an official signature. Yeah, dude. Guys, 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 I just got invited to PJ Crenshaw's Major Ranger party. PJ Crenshaw? Here, Jamie's Crenshaw. Jamie Jam's Crenshaw! That one? Yeah, his signature's right there. Wait, he invited you to the Major Ranger? Yeah, and all this talk about Major Ragers is giving me a Major Ranger in my pants. Well, why would he invite you guys and not me? I don't know, Junior. I guess we're just cool. Yeah, sorry, dude. Hey, what's up, haters? P PJ Crenshaw! Hey, Jimmy's Crenshaw! Jimmy Dan's Crenshaw! Boys, boys, calm down. It's just me. Uh, PJ, Crenshaw, your coolness? You may speak. Um, I was wondering, since you invited both my friends to your major rager party, that maybe I just might be lucky enough to be invited to your party? <laughs> what do you think I came, bro? Bethany, give the man his invite. Here you go. You're so lucky. Oh my god! Guys, I'm invited to PJ's major rager! That's a good thing, too, Junior, because if you weren't going to that party, we never would have talked to you ever again. Yeah, you would have been a total loser, dude. Well, good thing I was invited, guys. Hey, guys, old dude! Uh, we're all going to a party, Jeffy. You want to come? Yeah, I want to come to a party. PJ, can he come? Oh, definitely not. But why? Because Jeffy tried to steal my girls one time, and that is an immediate no-no in PJ's book. Well, well, well that, that, that's really sad because he won't be invited. He'll feel left out. Yeah, I don't care. He's not coming. Well, well, well Jeffy's 18. Maybe he can buy stuff for your party that you can't get. Huh. Well, we do need root beer for the party, and none of us are old enough to buy it ourselves. Okay, I'll tell you what. If Jeffy brings root beer for the party, he's invited. You hear that, Jeffy? All you have to do is get root beer, and you can go to the party. Okay, I can buy root beer. I even got my own car. All right, th there will be root beer there. Okay, good. So you bring the root beer, you're in. Come on, ladies. I want to bounce, and I'm not talking about leaving. <laughs> Guys, we're going to the Major Ranger. Anybody who's anyone's going to be there. Time to rage, dude. Yeah. Well, okay, so guys, let's go to the party. All wait, right. wait, 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 guys, 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 we have to get root beer for Jeffy. Oh, oh yeah, we have to get the root beer first. Jeffy, let's go get root beer. You're driving us. Okay. Woo! PJ throws the best party. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah, I know how to throw a major rager. I thought you said there was going to be root beer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there, there will be. I, I don't know where that guy is right now. I'm leaving if there's no root beer. No, no, don't worry. There's, there's going to be root beer. Wait, I think that's the guy right now. Uh, hello? We got the root beer! Oh, thank God, bro. The chicks were gonna leave. The chicks! Chicks we ditch? Yeah, come on in! Let's go! Oh, ladies, the root beer's here! Woo! Drink up! Boys, come on, what are you doing? Get some root beer! Let's party! Oh, I've already drank five root beers! Drink up, this party's never gonna end! Dude, I'm gonna run on the roof! I'm gonna eat fun! Yeah! Uh, uh, oh, man. I drank so much root beer. Oh, no, the roof's spinning! Please make it stop! It's not gonna stop, Joey. That we're on a planet that's spinning. What? Junior, Junior, Junior! Junior, I have to tell you, you're uh -huh. hot. Huh? You're so hot. Oh, you're so hot, Vanilla Puff. Oh my God, do you want to go in my room and make out? <gasps> this is your house? Yeah, my dad's going to kill me. Woohoo! Dude, you got to do it, G. DTF, DTF. Now, hold on, Vanilla Puff. Me and Joseph made a pact. A uh, blood pact. Okay. He said if I ever went to a girl's room, you're I'd, a girl. I'd have to invite him. Yeah, and I'm him. Okay. So he can come? Okay. I lost my hand. What? Oh, Corey, what happened to your hand? I put it in the garbage disposal. What? And it took it. And Joey, someone stole Corey's head. Oh, who stole your head? Dude, I'll beat Who did head. it? Who did it? I promise. It was the disposal. Okay. Disposal, show uh, yourself. Where is he? It's probably covered in biscotti. Okay, right that's well, it. We can clean it off, dude. That's it. We're going to kick his ass. Where is it? Oh, no. Pirella, Mom. Penelope. She fell asleep. No one's going to freak me now. Oh, well, hey, Junior. Junior, you meet me in the closet, I will rock. Your worth. Oh, I, will, I will take that off. <laughs> Jeffy! Jeffy! Hey, we're all out of root beer. Root beer? Can you go get some? Yeah, I'll go and drive and get it. Yeah, go get some more. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, we're gonna go find your hand, Cody. Okay. And then we gotta go to the closet. High five! You know what? I'm gonna join you guys. Damn Forget it. it. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait for this shift to be over. I really hope Penelope's not doing something stupid at home. Never left a home alone before. What? 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 Oh my god, this guy's drunk driving! I gotta go after him. <coughs> oh! Why is this road so curvy? Oh, oh, oh. oh drop my root beer. Oh. oh my god, this man is not stopping. Pull over, you jackass. You're gonna hurt somebody. What the hell are you doing? What? Come on, just pull over. Uh, what? What? Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. He stopped, he stopped. Oh my god. Excuse me, sir. Have you been drinking tonight? Hold on. Let me get something. Well, don't, don't, don't reach for anything. What are you doing? What? I had to get my root beer. What is it, root beer? It sure is. Well, then why are you acting like this? I'm not acting like nothing. What? Okay, I guess I can add littering to the list of charges. Step out of the car, please. Do I have to? Yes, you have to. Okay, well, let me just... I, I'm sorry, do you think you're driving away right now? Because you're not. Screw you! Okay, it, it, it would be resisting arrest if you were. Okay, all right, that's it. Get out of the car. Come on. Hey, come on. don't come on. touch me! Come on. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, we're gonna do a field sobriety test to see if you're drunk. Okay. All right, now try to say ABC's backward. I can't even say I'm forward. Okay, well then try to walk in a straight line. Wait. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, forget it. Um, try to touch your finger to your nose. No, that's that's not even close. Okay, how about this? Uh, count to five. Okay, that's it. Come on, come on. We're going to jail. All right, make your one phone call. Hey, stop! Stop it! Stop touching my hat. Just make your phone call. Uh, no, don't lick it. That's great. No, you know what? Give it to me. I'll call. Oh, I hear Daddy. I'll call him. Hello. Hey, this is jail. Oh no, who got arrested? I caught your son drinking and driving. What? That is my dad. See my me! What did Jeffy do? Uh, he was drinking and driving, I just told you. Well, well like, what, what do you mean we were drinking and driving? Don't, don't oh. chew on that. Oh. Uh. Okay, I, I think you should just come get him, please. Oh, I'm on my way. Would you, would you stop it? <laughs> <sighs> just get in there until your dad gets you. Uh. Stop licking things, it's gross. Uh. You're gonna get sick. <laughs> Ew. Okay, I'm here. Get him. But Jeffy, stop that. Ah! Okay, what was he drinking? Well, see, that's the thing. He wasn't drinking anything bad. What? He was just drinking root beer. Turn down and smack that bitch. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't know what this is. <laughs> if he was just drinking root beer, why is he arrested? I, I, I don't know why he's acting like this, okay? But, but he, was, he was driving recklessly and he tried to resist arrest. So what? that's what I charged him with. Oh, okay, that's it. So, so, what, so how do we get the, jar the charges dropped? Well, I'm gonna need him to go to an AA meeting so that he can see that it's not funny to make fun of people who actually have problems. Oh, my nipples. Oh, okay, so... Please get him out of here. Oh, right, we're gonna go to an AA meeting. Come on. <laughs> all right, Jeffrey, you're gonna sit right here, and ooh, I can't even go over all the levels of grounded you are. What's the first level, and is the boss hard at the end? What's going on, Marvin? Jeffy got arrested for drinking and driving. Jeffy, how could you? You're not old enough to drink alcohol. It was root beer, and it got me fucked up. That's a gateway drink, Jeffy. It has the word beer in it. Yeah, Jeffy, you know no sodas after 8 p.m. Well, I'm a rebel. And no Red Bull either. Well, what's his punishment, Marvin? Well, the cop said he has to go to an AA meeting for his drinking problem. I don't have a problem with how much I drink. You have a problem with how much I drink. You were swerving all over the road. You could have killed someone, Jeffy. Jeffy, you're going to that meeting so you can learn your lesson. It was root beer. Penelope, I'm home. You better not have thrown a crazy party. W wait a minute. I hear music. I hate music. Wh what the? Penelope! Ugh. All right, guys, we never speak about what happened in the closet. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. What are you boys doing in my house? Oh, shit, it's the pigs back in the closet. Oh, the music catches here. Penelope! Everybody out of my way, I got my mad eyebrows on. Why do you have your mad eyebrows on? Because I want to ask your son a question. Where were you taking that root beer? To my belly. Don't you lie to me, I'll kill you. What, what's going on? My daughter threw a major rager at our house while I was at work. She invited that PJ Crenshaw. Pair of Jamie's Crenshaw? Jamie Jam's Crenshaw. Now he seems pretty cool, but I'm pissed at your son for bringing that root beer. Well, why aren't you mad at your daughter? Oh, don't worry, I already gave her an earful of eardrops, because she has an ear infection. But I will yell at her later when she feels better. Well, don't worry, we're gonna take Jeffy to his AA meeting. Well, I'm gonna take him right now, because I'm so mad. Oh. Come on, Jeffy, let's go.
Oh. Hey everybody, welcome to AA, Addictions Anonymous. This is a space where we can all talk about our addictions and relate to each other so that we know that we're all struggling. Okay, Screwball, we'll start with you. Hi everyone, my name's Screwball. I'm addicted to every substance under the sun. I'm ordered by the court to be here, and I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you, Screwball. Uh, how, how long have you been sober? Uh, about 15 minutes. Okay, th that's a good start. Thank you. I'm trying really hard. Hey, can I smoke this candle? No. Uh, okay, Judy, let's go to you. Hey, everyone. My name is Judith, and I'm addicted to BBC. Ever since I first had BBC, I just can't stop thinking about it. It's so delicious. I just love having BBC in my mouth. I just love bacon broccoli casserole. Oh, that does sound good. Oh, it is. It's something healthy mixed with something very unhealthy in one big casserole. And when I eat BBC, sometimes I like to watch BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation. That's how I found out the Queen died. I was so shocked I choked on some BBC and I was like, <coughs> And my husband was like, honey, what are you doing? And I said, I'm choking on BBC. And that's when I knew I had a problem. But I'm proud to say I've gone a whole day without BBC. I'm proud of you. I wish I could go a whole day without blow. <laughs> See, damn it, there I go again. All right, Judith, that's, that's good. Okay, Shrek, it's your turn. Hello, everybody. My name is Shrek. I am addicted to eating the Sarah cream, cream, cream cheese cake. And when I eat it, my butthole, it uh, separate and it looks like overbaked muffin with the steam possibly coming out and then it just kind of folds over the sides of the little cupcake pan and then it's just like steamy goodness. Just... Okay. Uh, screwball, could you please not smoke in here? Sorry, Doc. Uh, uh, Jeffy, it's your turn. Hey, everyone. My name's Jeffy. And I drink root beer, and I don't know how to drive really well, so I got in trouble for that. Well, he didn't learn anything. And you have two candles now. Okay, well, I still appreciate all of you coming out. This is a step in the right direction. And to everyone watching this video, thank you for watching, and make sure you like and subscribe. And if you learn anything from this video, let it be that you should drive carefully and don't drink. Well, I mean, you can drink root beer, just not the second word in root beer, and definitely not while driving. And don't put candles in your mouth. Yeah, okay, that, that about covers it. I'm gonna go. So, guys, what do you want to do today? So, guys, what do you want to do today? That's all you ever say, Junior. Yeah, it's getting old, dude. Yeah, say something new. Um... Well, fellas, what kind of activities would you like to partake in this evening? Hmm, I like that better. Ooh, what a classy gentleman you, but I'm bored. Yeah, me too. Guys, check it out. I got my daddy's credit card. You stole your dad's credit card? It's only stealing if you get caught. Bingo. Well, you're still using it without his permission, so that is stealing. No, this is my daddy's credit card, and if he were to die, then I would inherit it. That's not how credit cards work. Shut up, Cody. What are you going to buy, Jeffy? I don't know. What do you guys think I should buy? Something involving balls. I like balls. All right. What about a ski ball machine? I heard skeet and balls, so I'm in. A ski ball machine? I've always wanted one, Joseph. Me too, dude. Oh, Jeffy, go buy a ski ball machine. All right. All right, guys. We got our ski ball machine. All thanks to my daddy's credit card. Woo, I love committing a felony. Dreams do come true. Credit card fraud. Cody, what are you doing? No, I'm trying to put the ball in my mouth. Well, roll the ball, Cody. Come on, dude. Okay, here I go. Uh. Uh, oh, got a hundred! Oh my god, you're, you're really good at this That's game, Cody! Savage, dude. All right, my turn! Uh, Wait, you're, you're not supposed to throw it, you're Jeffy. Not it. Uh, but you, you gotta throw turn. it! But no, no, you're not supposed to throw it. You're, you're, not you're gonna break it if you throw it like that! What? Oh, I'm dude. You guys broke the game! We didn't even have a turn yet! Well, it's my daddy's credit card, and if anyone can break the ski ball machine, it's me! Yeah, I mean, I guess he's right. Well, now what game are we gonna play? We never got a turn! I think it should be a game involving balls and men. Oh, I got the perfect idea! Foosball table! Now this is what I'm talking about. Bunch of strong dudes fighting over a ball. Wish it was me. Uh, I don't like this game. It's pretty segregated. Blacks versus whites? Well, we all know who's gonna win. You guys are much faster and stronger than us. But you guys drive pickup trucks and lock your kids in hot cars. Well, guess who has 45 presidents? Ooh, lucky you, nigga! How many in peach, though? You know what? Better yet, name a good white rapper. Eminem! Oh, that's not get me! Come on! Or name a black NASCAR driver. Nobody watches NASCAR! Who wants to verse me in foosball? 
Dear God. But well, come on, guys, let's play. <sighs> I guess I'll play. Come on, Jeffy, I'll play you. But you, you got You got to hit the ball in the middle. <laughs> Cody. <laughs> Guys, okay, guys, look, I don't like this game. It, 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 Cody, stop it. All right, guys, uh, Jeffy, why don't you buy a ball pit? Oh, is you a woman? What, no, like, you know, a pit full of balls and like a Chuck E. Cheese we can all dive in? Oh, okay, I'll go buy one of those. All right. Oh, best purchase ever. All right, guys, peep the ball pit. Whoa, this is the biggest ball pit I've ever seen. How deep is it? Like 10 feet. I'm in heaven. Dude, this is so dope. All right, Jeffy, you jump in first. All right, Cheyenne hose. Oh, I want to jump in, I want to jump in. Uh, yeah. Uh, what? Where are we? It looks like some kind of pocket of air inside the ball pit. Oh, it's like a cool little hideout. But can we get out if we wanted to? Oh, uh, let me see. What? What? what guys, the, the balls, they won't open up. I've never been this balls deep before. Well, Cody, I mean, you would enjoy having all these balls around you, right? Well, yeah, but not these kind of balls. Well, guys, if we want to get out, we can't. What are we going to eat? I don't know, dude. Let's well, scream out. Help! Help! Jeffy, have you seen my credit card? Jeffy, it's missing out of my wallet. You better not have taken it and bought something, Jeffy. What is this? A ski ball machine? And a foosball machine? Jeffy, that is it, you are so grounded. What? Is that my phone? Hello? Hey, Marvin. Goodman, why are you calling me? Did you win the lottery recently? No. Did your grandfather die and you inherit a bunch of money? No. So then why are you running up your credit card like you do have a bunch of money? Well, I haven't ran up my credit card. I haven't used it once. Okay. Well, let's go over your purchases, shall we? $3,000 skee-ball machine? $3,000? $2,000 foosball table? $2,000? $5,000 ball pit? $5,000 ball pit? You're making a lot of ball-related purchases, Marvin. What? So if you don't pay off your credit card by the end of the month, I'm going to show up to your house, and I'm going to bite your balls off, then I'm going to put a tutu on and swing your balls around like a ball arena. Well, listen, listen. Uh, someone stole my credit card, Goodman, and, but, but here's the thing. They left all the expensive things at my house, so I can just return it. Okay. Well, let's hope they left the receipt at your house too. Well, I'm gonna find the receipt and I'm gonna return all this stuff so I don't owe anything on my credit card. Well, for your balls, let's hope. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Jimmy! Where's the receipt for all this stuff, Jimmy? Where are you at, Jimmy? I need that receipt, Jimmy! But are you in the ball pit? Are you in here, Jimmy? <sighs> There's no point in screaming for help. No one's gonna hear us down here. I know you're in here, Jimmy! Wait, that's my daddy! Well, scream help so he can hear us! No, 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 no! Because he's gonna be really mad that I took his credit card! Well, I mean, yeah, I'd be mad if somebody stole my credit card, too. Well, we gotta be saved! Help! 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 Please help! Help, 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 help me, daddy! <sighs> I guess he's not in there. Aha! Uh -huh. I found your shoe, Jeffy! I know you're in there! You're just choosing not to come out. Well, guess what? I'm gonna call the cops, and I'm gonna say that you stole my credit card because you're 18, and that's credit card fraud. And you're gonna go to jail, Jeffy. You don't care? Okay, I'm gonna call the cops. <sighs> I can't believe your dad didn't hear us screaming for help. Well, at least I'm not grounded. Well, we still have to get out of here. Man, if we had a girl in here, we could totally repopulate. I mean, just close your eyes and pretend I'm a girl. It's not the same. Hey there, you call the cops? Uh, yeah. Go on. Oh, you want me to start talking? No, I thought we'd all just sit here and guess why you called us. Or maybe we can play I Spy. Hey, Simmons, I spy with my little eye a massive waste of police resources. Okay, Bo. It's him, Simmons. Oh, uh, there's the little bugger. Where are you from? All right, look, this is what happened. Someone stole my credit card and bought a skee-ball machine and a foosball table and a ball pit. And I know who did it, but I don't want to tell you. Uh, okay, so it seems to me like all the stuff you just listed is here. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, so somebody stole your credit card, had all the stuff shipped to you, and you set it up like you were going to use it? Uh, yeah, well, see, like when the boxes came, I, I, I set it all up, and then I realized I didn't buy this. So you put all the balls into the ball pit before you realized you didn't buy a oh, ball Oh, okay, pit? look, can I just tell you the truth? Yes, I would prefer that. I don't know why we didn't just start with that. Okay, so look, my son went to my wallet, took my credit card, bought all this stuff, and now he's hiding in the ball pit and won't come out. Okay, so you called us to, what, spank him? Well, no, no, he's 18, so I, I want you to, like, arrest him. Oh, you want to press charges? Only if he doesn't have the receipt to return all this stuff. <sighs> okay, so let me see if I have this straight. Your son stole your credit card, bought all this stuff, and now you want us to arrest him if he doesn't have the receipts to return the stuff? Exactly. You write all this down, Simmons? I don't have a pen. Thank you, Simmons. Yeah, so, like, that, that's what I want you to do. Okay, so let me see if I have this right. You want two professional police officers to dive into a ball pit during work hours? Yes. Ooh, I love my job!
up so much sometimes. Okay, but before we do that, all this talk about credit card fraud is reminding me of when I had my credit card stolen. You had your credit card stolen? I did, Simmons. Thank you for asking. And I want to tell you all about it. All right, Simmons, just like we practiced. Da -da 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 -da. I oh, once had my credit card stolen. I tried to get it back. back. Actually, you know what, Simmons, let's not sing it. That's kind of lame. I'll, I'll just tell you about it instead. So I'm at my doctor job at the hospital, right? And I'm doing this long 18 hour open heart surgery and it's taken forever. I'm getting tired, I'm getting hungry. So eventually I tell the patient and the nurses, hey, I'm gonna go get lunch real quick. I'll be right back. So I go out into the waiting room where we have the vending machines. We have one of those nice vending machines. The new ones that takes credit cards, so it doesn't even matter if you don't have cash. So then I see that you have Cheez-Its in the vending machine, and you know I'm gonna get Cheez-Its because I love Cheez-Its. So I swipe my card, get a bag of Cheez-Its. I swipe my card again, I get a second bag of Cheez-Its. And I'm thinking, two bags of Cheez-Its are not enough Cheez-Its. I gotta buy the whole damn row of Cheez-Its. So I swipe my card again, and as I'm doing that, I notice out of the corner of my eye, I see somebody with binoculars watching me buy Cheez-Its. And I'm thinking, why would somebody have binoculars in a hospital watching me buy Cheez-Its? And then I realize he must be with the Cheez-It Corporation. He's trying to keep track of how many Cheez-Its a single person can buy. And I'm thinking, maybe I'm gonna win some kind of contest, you know, because I'm buying all these Cheez-Its. So I start swiping my card really slow so he can get all my information, because I want to make sure he can track me down to give me all my Cheez-It reward, you know? So then I buy like seven bags of Cheez-Its, and then I walk over to the guy, because my curiosity is getting the best of me. I'm like, hey, hey, I see you. And then the guy hides his binoculars. And then I'm like, no, 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 I already caught you. I know you're with the Cheez-It Corporation. And then he's like, no, sir, I'm not with the Cheez-It Corporation. And I'm like, no, 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 I saw your binoculars. I already got you. And then I see in front of him, he has a piece of paper with a bunch of numbers on it. And it looks kind of like a credit card number. But then I realize that must be all the Cheez-Its I bought in my lifetime. I'm definitely winning this contest. So I give the guy my name and my home address and my social security number, all the information he needs, you know, because I also want to make sure that I can write this off as a gift on my taxes when I get all my Cheez-Its. So he's so happy. Like, he's so happy to have all this information so I'm like I definitely won this contest so I go back home to my wife and I'm like honey Cheesy Wonka is gonna give me the Cheez-It factory. I'm gonna be a Cheez-It king. She doesn't believe me. She thinks I'm crazy. And I'm like, honey, you just watch. This is gonna be awesome. So I sit back and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. And then my phone starts ringing and it's my credit card company. And they said that my credit cards are all maxed out. And then my bank calls and said they're repossessing my house and my credit is ruined. Cause it turns out there was no Cheesy Wonka and that guy did not work for the Cheez-It company. He was a credit card scammer and he stole my identity and all of my money. So now, whenever I see somebody with binoculars, I just start throwing haymakers. Like one time, I was in the park and I saw these old ladies with binoculars, and then I started throwing haymakers. And yeah, it turns out they were bird watching, but still. So yeah, just be glad it was your son that stole your credit card and not some binoculars wielding scammer from the made up Cheez It factory. Okay, can we get Jeffy out of the ball pit to see if we can find the receipts? Yeah, sure. Ball pit time, Simmons! Oh, goody! Wow, this ball pit looks pretty deep. I was balls deep in your mother last night. Thank you, Simmons. Now I have that image in my head. Can you just go in the ball pit and grab Jeffy? I don't know, man. This looks kind of deep. I don't want to drown. What, drown in plastic balls? Do you know how many ball pit related deaths there are every year? No. Well, neither do I, but it's got to be at least one, and I don't want to be it. So you're telling me that Jeffy could be dead in there? I don't know, man. Well, just go in there. You're a cop. Okay, but if I yell help, you help, okay, Simmons? I got it. I mean, that should go without saying, but with you, I don't really know. Okay. <laughs> Oh God, oh God, I'm sinking. Simmons, help me! I got your life! Oh, oh. Simmons, you saved my life! I don't know what I would do without you. Never let go, Simmons. I won't. Can you guys go in there and grab my son? Hey, I almost died, man. Oh, okay, look, so none of you are gonna go in there. Hey, I have an idea. How about you go in here? Okay, I got an idea. How about we wrap like a string around one of you guys so that if you go down there, we can pull you out. Ooh, that's a pretty good idea. Okay, I'm gonna go grab a string. Okay. There you go. Why do I gotta do it? Well, you're a better swimmer than me, Simmons. Back at the academy, we used to call you Swimmins. Oh, that's right. I did get a bronze medal for swimming. Yeah, so when you get in there, when you find Jeffy, you tug three times, we'll pull you out. All right, what happens if I tug four times? That means you need to pee. What about five times? That means you have to poop. What about six times? That means you want some Cheez-Its. What about seven times? Well, that means you want to go to Outback Steakhouse when we're done here. All right, well, let's start tugging. Let's get some of that shrimp on the barbie. Oh, yeah, the chocolate thunder from down under. It's delicious. No, no, you, no, no you're not going to tug more than three times. You only tug three times. If you find someone or if an emergency happens, you tug three times. All right. Go. Wait, how many times was he supposed to tug? Three. Oh, okay. Uh... 
but we're never gonna be saved. I'm so hungry. Yeah, we might need to eat someone, dude. Start with my butt. Jesus Christ. <laughs> a police officer, we're saved! Or harassed. Before you accuse me of anything, I didn't do it. Well, there's four of you! Well, yeah, yeah, you're here to save us? Yeah, let's go, kids. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold on to each other's hands, and we're gonna pull you out of here. Okay, come on, dude. What? How many was that? Was that cheese? It's a route back. Just pull, pull, pull. <laughs> We're free. As a free man, massa. Simmons, you saved four boys. You're a hero. I try, mate. But Jimmy, do you have all the receipts for all the stuff you just bought? No. Well, get you, get, come out, Jimmy. So, Jeffy, you do not have any of the receipts for all the expensive stuff you bought on my credit card? Well, I do have the receipts, but kind of not. How you kind of not? You either don't have it or you do. Well, I do have the receipt. Then show it to me. But I spit my gum into it. This is deserved. I am a shithead. So, are, are we pressing charges? Or am I going to Outback? What are we doing? down. Yes, these are my tech decks. PJ, where'd you get tech decks at? Oh, my mom got them for me. His mom! His mom got his mom got his mom got his mom got Oh, PJ, we have to see you play with it, please! I don't know, guys. I'm kind of tired. No, please! No, please! Please, please! please. Okay, okay. I'll play with it. Oh! I made the score just in time. Hey, what's everyone looking at? PJ, I would totally kiss you for your tech deck. I would marry you for your tech deck. You guys don't even want to know what I do to him for a tech deck. Hey guys, what's going on? PJ Crenshaw brought tech decks to school. What are tech decks? What? You don't know what a tech deck is? Dude, it's the coolest toy ever. How do you not know what a tech deck is? Like this. I don't know what a tech deck is. Well, if you don't know what a tech deck is, you have to get out of here. Now, hold on. Hold on, guys. Let's educate the poor fool. Jeffy, a tech deck is a little miniature skateboard that you ride with your fingers. Tech decks are the epitome of cool. They are the ultimate symbol of cool. Tech decks are all about bringing them to school and making it your entire personality. It says, I may not know how to ride a skateboard, but my fingers do. And if my fingers can ride a skateboard, then the ladies know what else they can do. Ah! My bunghole. Well, can I borrow one of your tech deck? What? You can't borrow a PJ tech deck. That's unheard of. Asking to borrow somebody's tech deck is like asking to bang their mom. No, hold on, guys. PJ never deprives someone of an opportunity to be cool. Jeffy, you can borrow my tech deck. What? You want to borrow a tech deck? But only for a day. Jeffy, you have to bring me the tech deck back tomorrow at school. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. You got to borrow a PJ tech deck. That's never happened in the history of that one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're so cool. Now run along home. Hey, Jeffy, how was school? It was sick, Daddy. This kid named PJ let me borrow his tech dick. What? Yeah, it's a little mini skateboard that you finger. I'm really good at fingering, Daddy. Fingering's my favorite. Jeffy, I wouldn't say that anymore. Look, if you're going to play with your little mini skateboard, play with it somewhere else. Okay, Daddy, but first, can I show you a trick I learned? It took me forever to learn this trick. <sighs> sure. Ready? <clears throat> Ow, Jeffy, you hit me in the face of your stupid skateboard. You know what I think about this? Ugh. Daddy, why are we doing throwing it? If something happens to it, I'm gonna be the biggest loser in school! <sighs> I can't believe I have to vacuum the whole house. God! Jeffy, I think I found it. Thanks, Chef BB. I can't let anything happen to it for the rest of the night. Hey, Jeffy. Hey, Junior. I hate taking the bus to school. Me too. But you still have PJ's tech deck? Sure do, and it's in pristine condition. Okay, good. Yeah, I can't wait to give it back to him. It's been stressing me out ever since he gave it to me. Yeah, it's gotta be stressful holding on to something so valuable. Hey, losers. What, what do you want, bully? Wait, what's that? It's a tech deck. Give me that. Hey, hey get back. Hey, you want it? Go get it. What? Oh, no, the bus is coming. Jeffy, Jeffy, Jeffy! Go get the tech deck! Go get the tech deck! Okay. Ah! Oh, man! <laughs>
Is the tight neck okay, Jeffy? Does it look like it's okay, Junior? Oh my god, it's broken! PJ's gonna kill you! I know, Junior! I cannot go to school today! Oh, okay. We're, we're not gonna get on the bus. We're gonna take this thing inside and try to fix it. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Okay, here. Hey! Where are you kids going? You get your ass on the bus! You're gonna be ready for school! What? Hey, Junior and Jeffy didn't get on the bus! Oh man, they're skipping school and didn't invite us? Hold on, Joseph. I'm gonna see what's going on. Uh, hey, I'm getting off the bus. Why are you getting off the bus? You gotta go to school! Uh, I have to poop outside. Uh, I'll meet you at school. Okay. All right, Jeffy, all the pieces are right here. We have to put it back together. How, Junior, how? There's like a million pieces right here. There's more pieces right here than there are ants in the world. Okay, well, that's not even close to being correct. But, but look, Jeffy, we have to put this back together because if PJ found out you broke his tech deck, he's going to hate you, and he's going to hate me because I know you. Hey, guys, why'd you skip school? Oh, Cody, thank God you're here. Look, the school bus ran over PJ's tech deck. What? Junior, do you know what this means? If PJ finds out, he's going to hate Jeffy, and then he's going to hate us because we're associated with Jeffy. So we got to think of a plan, Cody. Help! Okay, think, think. Oop, I did a little toot, and did a little brain toot. You mean a brain fart? No, Junior, I don't say the word fart, that's disgusting. I say toot, it's a nice cute little petite word, a petite toot. You know, if you're at dinner and you pass gas, you can just say, sorry everyone, I tooted, and then everyone will be fine with that, they'll just keep eating. But if you say, sorry everyone, I just blew a big stinky dirty fart right out of my unwiped ass, then nobody's gonna want to keep eating, that's just gross. You know, a toot's like a nice little purr that comes out of your ass, like, like you've got a kitten in your ass. I just let out a big stinky shit cloud right out of my rectal hole. Yeah, see, that's inappropriate. Look, can we get back to the tech deck? We gotta fix this! Oh yeah, the thing that made me toot in the first place. Oh, look, how about we just go to the store and buy a tech deck that looks just like this? Oh, wow, Junior, that's actually a really Really good idea, and you didn't even have to toot to think of it. Yeah, let's go to the store, come on! Okay. Okay, guys, here's the tech deck. Okay, look for it. It has a snake on it with red wheels. Do you see one, Jeffy? No, I don't see any, Junior. Uh, come on, guys. Hey, kids, can I help you find something? Uh, yes, mister. We're looking for a tech deck that has a snake on it with red wheels. We broke our other one, and we want one just like it. Oh, well, I hate to tell you this, kids, but no two tech decks look exactly the same. What? So there's not one that looks just like the one we broke? No, each one's one of a kind. What? Well, what are we going to do? Oh, well, I guess you're kind of screwed. I mean, you could get one of these kits and try to fix the one you have. Oh, you can fix it with this kit? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, okay, come on. Go, go grab this. Come on. <laughs> I love you so much, PJ! Ladies, ladies, shut up. I'm stressing about my tech deck. That kid should be here by now. What's up, PJ? Hey, where's your friend? You know the one with the helmet? He's supposed to bring me back my tech deck. Uh, they missed the bus, but they should be on their way, though. Oh, call him. Huh? Call him. The P and PJ doesn't stand for patient. Okay, I'll call him, PJ. Okay, guys, we have all these tools, so let's try to put it back together. What, what are you doing, Jeffy? Sorry, I thought I was helping. Wait, no, you just lost all the pieces. Cody, find the pieces. <laughs> Hold on, my phone's ringing. It's Joseph. Hello? Hey, dude, where's Jeffy? PJ's asking for his tech deck. Uh, there's kind of a situation going on. What situation? Stinky, stinky shit fart. Wait, wait, somebody's constipated? Wait, no, no, Jeffy just grabbed the phone. Look, the, the tech deck is broken. Wait, broken? What do you mean broken? That's PJ's favorite tech deck. He's gonna kill us. Uh, I know, I know. We're, we're, we're trying to fix it. I just need you to stall and, and, and tell PJ everything's okay. Stall? How do you want me to stall? Stick it in my squirrel caboose! Okay, I'm not doing that. Oh, uh, listen, listen, just, just stall PJ and we'll call you back. Just stall him, stall him. Okay! All right, guys, we gotta fix this. Hurry, hurry, hurry! PJ, I really like your pink tech deck. Whatever. Uh, PJ? Hey, where's your friend with my tech deck? Um, um, he had a doctor's appointment, but he will be here by the end of the day. Hmm, that kind of pisses PJ off. I can't focus in class without all three of my tech decks. Oh, I, I promise he's on his way, though. He better be. <sighs> Okay, guys, it's put that together. What, Junior, it doesn't look anything like it looked before. Look, it has the wheels on it. It doesn't matter, the wheels were red before. The wheels on the bus go round and round. But look, no, I thought it'd be cool if all the wheels were different colors. It doesn't matter if it's cool, Junior, the wheels have to be red. Okay, fine, I'll change all the wheels to red. I just thought it would be sick. And that cross is why you don't run with scissors. That does it for today's lesson. You all can go home. See you tomorrow, PJ. Hasta mañana. Bye. What, what the frick, man? What? Your friend never came back with the tech deck. Oh, uh, he must have got stuck in traffic. Yeah. That's it. I'm going to kill your friend. Huh? Okay, Cody. I added the red wheels on the tech deck. It looks good, right? Yeah, I mean, it kind of looks like it did. Oh, no, Junior. That top looks terrible. Well, there's nothing we can do about the top, Cody. These other boards have different designs on them, so we can't change that out. Guys, guys, guys. PJ's coming. Oh, me too, Daddy. You know he's coming for the tech deck. Oh, guys, hide all the materials. Go, go. Hide, 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 hide. Okay, all the pieces are cleaned up. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm gonna go hide. But Cody, come back. 
Hey, bro, you never came back with my tech deck, bro. Because I was still playing with it, bro. <gasps> Dude, don't mock PJ. Uh, PJ, he, he didn't mean to mock you. Uh, your tech deck is right here. Wait, wait a minute. What? What's with all these scratches? Oh, the, the, the scratches, uh, they're... You know what? Don't tell me. I already know. You do? Yeah. You were shredding the fuck out of this thing. Man, that's totally Narnar Banks. Man, your fingers must have been bleeding from shredding this hard. Yeah, I was finger dealing that board so hard. It was like a girl's Arby's roast beef sandwich. I was giving it that horsey sauce. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn right you were. Oh, man. You know what? I don't even shred this hard on my tech decks. You know what? Keep it. It's yours, champ. I don't want it. It's broken. It got ran over by a bus. <laughs> yeah, a bus full of fingers. You know what, kid? You're not so bad. Keep on shredding. <laughs> Guys, what just happened? Well, PJ did not notice that his tech deck was broken. He thought those scratches were from Jeffy playing with it too hard. Oh, that makes sense. My thing looks like that when I play with it too hard. So, Jeffy, you get to keep one of PJ's tech decks. And PJ still thinks we're cool. Uh-oh, I have to pee. What? what? Cody, you being really weird, just randomly leaving the scene. Like, doesn't make any sense. What are you doing? Hey, guys, I found that tech deck you were looking for. What? You told me no two tech decks look the same. Oh, yeah, I just lied so you'd spend more money at Target. You know that kit you bought? It was three times the price of this one. But it worked. The boss gave me a huge promo. Oh, man, this tech deck is so cool. Whoever was playing with this was Narnar Binks. I gotta try it out. Oh, man, look at my hand. I'm like Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk's hands. Tony Hawk hands. Tony hands. Tony hand hawk. John Hancock signed the Declaration of Independence in 1776. Fuck yeah, I did. guys, today's my 14th birthday, so you have to do everything I say. So you're just gonna be a bully for your birthday? No, you just have to do everything I say. <laughs> dude, this duck is so fun. Well, I wanna write it. What? No way, dude. It's my birthday, so you have to do everything I say. Hey guys, you wanna play a game? Uh, no, go away, you're scary looking. Cody, that's so mean, you can't judge him by the way he looks. Yeah, dude, that's what happened to my people for 400 years, that's discriminating. You didn't learn from history, Cody? What if someone didn't wanna hang out with you because you wore glasses? Yeah, four eyes. Well, okay guys, I guess we can hang out with this obvious serial killer. Well, I'm so sorry, mister, what'd you want? Oh, I was just hoping we could play a friendly game. Well, we love to play games. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Have you ever played Tag? We love Tag. Oh, well, this is like Tag, but with a twist. It's called AIDS Tag. What, AIDS Tag? Yeah, it's like Tag, but this needle is filled with AIDS. The rules are the first person to get stabbed gets AIDS. Are you guys sure you really want to hang out with this guy? One, two, three, go. Well, Ow, Jesus Christ. Wait, wait, wait. Did I just get AIDS? What happened? Uh -huh. You lost AIDS, Dad Cody. Yeah, you got stuck with AIDS. Well, I'm going to be really pissed off if I have AIDS. You're really funny, mister. You want to come back to my house? It's my birthday. We're going to play a bunch of games. Oh, it's your birthday? Well, happy birthday. Yeah, we're going to play a bunch of games at my house. You want to come? Oh, definitely. Let's go. Let's go. This is a bad idea. Uh, Junior, do you have a Band-Aid? My head hurts from where he stabbed me. Oh, you need a Band-Aid? I always come prepared with Band-Aids. Band-Aids? How is that different from normal Band-Aids? Oh, they're like normal Band-Aids, except they're used from people with AIDS. No, that's okay. I don't need one that bad. Oh, come on. Use one. No, I'm good. So what's your name, anyway? Oh, my name's Billy. What's your name? My name's Junior. This is Cody, and that's Joseph. Cool, cool. So you guys want to play a game? Yeah, well, I love games. It's not going to be AIDS tag again, is it? No, no, just a friendly game of catch. We love to play catch. Oh, perfect. Here's your ball. Uh, why are there needles sticking out of it? Those are AIDS needles. The first person to catch the ball catches AIDS. Yeah, I'm starting to sense a theme here. I don't want to play. Oh, come on, catch. <laughs> ow, dude, ow! AIDS! Ah, Joseph, you have AIDS now. That's not fair. Uh, Junior, can I talk to you for a second? What's up? This guy needs to leave. But we're having so much fun. We're just playing games. Junior, there's something wrong with him. Psst. Hey, Junior, I have a surprise for you downstairs. Come on. What well, surprise? I want to see. Uh-oh. Happy birthdays! Birth AIDS? Yeah, it's the most special day of the year! You threw me a party? Yeah, of course I did! Anything for my best friend! And you got me a cake? Oh, yeah! What flavor is it? Oh, it's the most AIDS flavor! Red velvet! Oh, God, it's just red chocolate with cream cheese on it. That is AIDS. Oh, yeah, let's sing the birth AIDS song! Happy birth AIDS to you! Happy birth AIDS to you. Happy birth AIDS to Junior. Happy birth AIDS to you.
to blow your candles and make a wish. Uh, ooh, ooh, what you wish for? Oh, oh AIDS? Oh, don't, tell me, don't tell me it won't come true. Oh, who wants a piece of cake? Uh, no, thank you. I want a piece. Ooh, ooh, you want a corner slice? I wouldn't eat that slice, Junior. Dude, the corner slice is the best slice! Thank you! One corner slice coming right up. Oh, can I open up my gifts? Oh, yeah, let's go open up some gifts. Yeah! Here's your first gift. It's from me. Oh, I'm so excited. What, what is that? It's a... Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head? Wait, the box is empty. Oh, yeah, that's because I went ahead and assembled it for you. These things don't come like they show in the box. Weird. This is ridiculous. Oh, watch out. It's gonna get you. Wait, it's no, gonna get you. Get that thing away from Ooh, me. This is fun. Wow, party pooper. What's my other gifts? Oh, let me go get it. Junior, I think all your presents are gonna be AIDS related. All right, your next gift is... Operation. Operation? Come on, man. You gotta chill out with this aid stuff. Oh, come on. It's fun. It's just like normal operation. But instead of taking stuff out of him, you're giving him AIDS. Ooh, what a twist. Junior, I think you should kick this guy out of your house. Well, at least he's getting me gifts for my birthday, unlike you guys. Wow, no gifts? Great friend. Yeah, you're a really good friend, Billy. You got any more gifts for me? Oh, I got one more really good one. Oh, boy. Is it AIDS? Okay, your last gift is... Curious AIDS. Curious AIDS? Come on, there's nothing in Curious George that even sounds like AIDS. Uh, oh, okay, Cody. Well, how about you go ahead and crank it then? I'm afraid to. Yeah, yeah crank, crank it, Cody. For my birthday, I want you to crank it. Come on, Cody, do it. Okay, but I'm gonna regret this. Ah, oh, Jesus! Did I just get AIDS again? <sighs> Oh, there's AIDS needles all over the monkey, Cody! <laughs> Dude, you're not lucky. Well, I hate this guy! Oh, come on, Cody. You won twice in one day. That's a new record. Oh, Billy, thank you for all the gifts. You want to go upstairs and play more games? Yeah, anything for you, buddy. Let's go! I don't want to play more games. Okay, guys, what games do you want to play now? Uh, Junior, me and Joseph need to talk to you for a minute. What's wrong? We don't want to hang out with Billy anymore. What? Yeah, the AIDS thing is getting annoying, dude. Yeah. Oh, well, he's so fun to play with. No, he's not, Junior. Okay, what if I talk to him and tell him to stop talking about AIDS? Okay, maybe. Hey, Billy. Oh, Billy. What? Are we your best friend? Listen, my friends don't want to hear you talking about AIDS anymore, so can you please stop talking about AIDS? Okay, for you, I'll stop talking about AIDS. All right, guys, he says he's going to stop talking about it. But really? Hey, hey, guys, all this talking's getting me really thirsty. Are you guys thirsty? Oh, yeah, I'm pushed, dude. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm thirsty. thirsty. Oh, perfect. I have some homemade lemon AIDS. Okay, that's it. We're leaving. Oh, come on. We gotta drink all this before October 27th when it expires. We don't want the AIDS dying. Oh, you just said you were gonna stop talking about it, Billy. I'm sorry. It was too good of an opportunity to pass. So you promise you're gonna stop talking about AIDS now? I promise. Okay, guys. He's not gonna bring up AIDS ever again. If he says AIDS again, you guys can leave, okay? I don't think he can help it, Junior. I think he has to talk about AIDS. Just give him one more chance. Okay, fine. So what game should we play? Ooh, hide and seek, dude. Ooh, maybe we can play checkers. Ooh, how about we play charades? Mm, Junior? Well, no, no, that's the name of the game. It's called charades. That's just the name of the game, right? Yeah, it's just the name of the game. Okay, if he's only talking about the game. Okay, so who, who wants to go first? Ooh, I'll go first. Okay, try to guess what I'm doing. Uh, uh, yeah, take that. I'm going to finish before you do. Uh, ooh, ooh, here I go. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> I did it. I, I don't know what you were doing. At all. Oh, come on, guys. I was in a hula hoop competition and I was beating the world champion. How did you not guess that? That was a tough one. Yeah, it was yeah, very, very tough to guess. Ooh, ooh, much, much, much. What am I doing? Okay, ready? Flu shot. Oh, no. Uh, are you getting a tetanus shot? Nope. Are you getting AIDS? You said it! Not me! Okay. You said it! All right, that's it. We're leaving. Oh, no, no, guys, 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 Okay, listen, Billy, how about you go downstairs and hang out with Chef Pee-Pee? Who, who's Chef Pee-Pee? He's the, the chef downstairs. You can go play all the games you want with him. Oh, oh, does he, does he have the A word? I, I don't know. You, you should go ask him. You should go play with Chef Pee-Pee downstairs. Okay. All right, guys, I got rid of him. Oh, thank you. Finally. Mm-mm-mm, my enchiladas are ready. But what did I do with my spatula? Chef Pee-Pee, I want to play a game. Wait, who are you? Your enchiladas are ready. Put your spatulas in this baking pan filled with AIDS glass. So, what's it gonna be? Let your enchiladas burn? Or grab the spatula, get AIDS, and enjoy a delicious meal? Well, sucks for you. I have an extra spatula right here, dumbass. Damn it! Okay, okay, okay. How about this? Hey! Stop it! Enchilada AIDS. I was just about to eat those enchiladas. Why would you do that? So, what's it gonna be? Enjoy a delicious meal and get AIDS or starve. You're inside. Who is that? And what's with him and AIDS? 
can't believe I had to order McDonald's because that stupid idiot put AIDS in my enchiladas. Oh, he's lucky I like McDonald's. Wait, is, is that a fly by my food? Get away, you stupid fly. Stop it, go. Hands up, baby. What's wrong? Fly bothering you? Yes, the fly's bothering me, but you are too, so leave. Oh, come on, Chef Pee-Pee. I was thinking we could kill a fly by playing a little game. No, no, I'm tired of your games. Right here, I have a can of AIDS. That's raid. No, it's it's liquid poison AIDS. You spray the fly with it, and the fly dies of AIDS. Look, I don't have time for your games. Get, get away, fly, God! So, what's it gonna be, Chef Pee-Pee? Kill the fly and enjoy your McDonald's in peace, or be annoyed the whole meal? Give me the ray, man. Oh, oh, no, no, I'll spray it, I'll spray it. Come here, stop fly. Oh, there you are. Hey, hey that's my food! Oh, I'm so sorry, I, I missed. Well, then, but now you got AIDS on my food, how can I eat this? Oh, come on, eat it. <laughs> I'm not eating it, Julia! Julia, Julia, Julia! Oh, hey, Chef Pee-Pee, are you gonna tell me happy birthday? Don't interrupt, there's this person downstairs putting AIDS in everything! Oh, uh, yeah, that's Billy. He likes AIDS. Yeah, he all he talks about is AIDS. Hey, guys, do you like my braids? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. How long have you liked AIDS, Billy? Oh, Jack AIDS. Ugh, this is getting so old. Well, guys, we have to get rid of him, but I don't know how. Oh, oh, hey, Billy, have you ever been to the Everglades? What's the Everglades? Oh, oh it's, it's, it's this place in Florida where everyone has AIDS. <gasps> Really? That sounds like a paradise. Yeah, yeah, you should go. You should go there and never come back. Uh, okay, I'm going now. Wow, it was really that easy to get rid of him? Wait, so if he just left, then how is the video going to end? It fades. Fades. Song on my car piano? No, Jeffy, it's past your bedtime. You have to go to bed. I'm not happy. You do have to. Come on, Dan, just one song on my piano. No. Marvin, let him play a song. No, it's it's time for him to go to bed. Go to bed, Jeffy. Daddy says I have to go to bed. Have to go to bed. Have to go to bed. Daddy says I have to go to bed, and I said don't have to. Go to bed, Jeffy. Don't have to. Don't have to. Don't have to. Don't have to. Daddy says I have to go to bed, and I said don't have to. Go to bed, Jeffy. Marvin, what was that noise? I just yelled at Jeffy. No, it was something downstairs. I'm gonna steal so much stuff. Someone's breaking into the house! Oh my god, okay, okay, let's go hide in the closet! But what about my cat piano? Leave it, Jeffy, come on! Alright! Go, 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 get in the closet, get in the closet! Hey, Marvin! Jeffy, get in the closet! Okay! Wait, get, Jeffy, don't bring your cat piano! I have to! Oh, okay, get in! Shh! Okay, we're in the closet. Baby, do you have your phone? No, Marvin, I left it on the couch! Oh, I left mine too! How are we gonna call the cops? Okay, everyone, just be quiet! Hold on, guys! I gotta tune my cat piano! No, oh, Jeffy, be quiet! It's out of tune! Jeffy! Meow, 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 meow! Shh! Jeffy, be quiet. Hold on, I got one more. It's almost in tune. Meow, 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 meow. Shh. I think I got it. Shh. Hey. The robbers in the road. Be quiet. Everyone be quiet. Where is it? Where is all this stuff set? Quick, quick. Jeffy, turn that off. I'm sorry, Danny. It was tired. Quick, turn it off. Hey, is someone in the closet? No. What? There's someone in the closet. I gotta get out of here. Jeffy, you scared him off. Let's go. He's gone. Lock the door. Lock the door. Okay. I can't believe we just got robbed! Marvin, we have to call the cops! Okay, I'll call them. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Yes, officer, I did. Okay, what's going on? Well, someone- Hold on, Danny! I'll take it from here! No, Jeffy, please stop. Wait, what's he doing? You're gonna love it. Just listen! Somebody broke in the house, in the house, in the house. Somebody broke in the house and I got really scared. Well, did he take anything, anything, anything? Well, did he take anything? No, he did not. Uh, could you play that again, please? What, really? Come on. Well, if he didn't take anything, I say it's a waste of my time. This is a waste of my goddamn time. Goddamn time. Goddamn time. This is a waste of my goddamn time if he didn't take anything. But the robber's still on the loose, on the loose, silly goose. But the robber is still on the loose. You should go catch him. DJ, run that shit. Well, can you tell me what the guy looked like? Guy looked like, guy looked like. Well, can you tell me what the guy looked like so I can go find him? 
He was wearing all black clothes, all black clothes, all black clothes. He was wearing all black clothes and a ski mask. Okay, okay, one more time. That description's not helpful at all, helpful at all, helpful at all. That description's not helpful at all, I'm never gonna catch that guy. Why don't you look for fingerprints, fingerprints, fingerprints? Why don't you look for fingerprints? He wasn't wearing gloves. Okay, okay, can we stop singing? I'm getting tired of this. Yeah, this went on way too long. Okay, so the guy broke in and didn't do anything? No, we, we scared him away. Scared him away! Scared him away! No, 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 we're not, we're not singing anymore, okay? Moments passed. Uh, yeah, yeah, he didn't take anything. Okay, yes. Anything, anything! No, God damn it, I said the moment has passed! Moment has passed. Moment has passed. No, 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 no more singing. Okay, okay, so he broke in. He didn't take anything. Did, yeah, did, he just left. Did he just, like, attack you or anything? No, he didn't do anything. He just left. So he's like a housefly. I bet you've seen a dragonfly. Maybe even a horsefly. But I bet you ain't never seen a donkeyfly. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, like, Shrek, right. Yeah, so what do you suggest we do? Someone just broke into our house. Well, it sounds to me like you need a home security system. A home security system? Yeah, so whenever people break in, like, an alarm goes off, and it's like, bam, 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 and then, like, it calls me, and then the the burglar runs away. That sounds expensive. Oh, no, no, I can do it for free. What, for free? Oh, yeah, yeah, dare me. Dare me to put a home security system in for free. Dare you? Mm -hmm. Dare me, go ahead. I dare you to put a home security system in for free. You don't think I'll do it? <laughs> I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll show you, I'll do it. What? Hey, Marvin, get down here, I'm done with your security system. You're finished already? Yeah, I hear that all the time, but yeah, I'm done with your security alarm machine, otherwise known as SAM. What does SAM stand for? It... It stands for Security Alarm Machine, otherwise known as SAM. Oh. Right, yeah. And it comes in all kinds of different voices. Like, it comes in an Arnold Schwarzenegger voice. Get out of the house! Now! Go! So that's pretty cool. And it also comes in a flamboyantly gay voice. Oh my god! Gregory, someone just broke in the house. You need to stop him. Well, you stop him. No, you're on top, so you need to stop him. Uh, you're such a silly Bill. No, I'm not a silly Billy. You're a silly Billy. Yeah, that one goes on for a little while. But it also comes in a Christopher Walken voice. Wow, Robert, get out of my house before I call the police! And then, uh, what I'm gonna have you set on right now is just the default, like, monotone female voice. Security system activated. Okay, I, I like that one. Let's, let's just stick with that one. Okay, yeah, so you're all set up. Uh, the only downside is it does have ads. What, it has ads? What are you talking about? Yeah, it has ads because it's free, you know, because, like, when you, when you watch, like, a YouTube video, you get, like, a 30-second ad in front of it. Well, this is gonna play a 30-second ad every time somebody breaks in before the alarm goes off. What, what if someone, like, kills me before you get here? Well, I mean, you can turn off the ad, but, I mean, the robber would have to do that. So every time somebody breaks in, it's gonna play, like, a Toyota ad or, like, an Old Navy ad, but, I mean, the Old Navy ad usually gets them because once they see it's like 50% off on jeans they go that's a steal and then they just go to Old Navy instead. Well how do I get rid of the ads? Can I pay to get rid of the ads? Oh uh, yeah it's gonna cost 50 bucks a month. Oh that's expensive. Yeah the ads are better. I, I use the ads. Okay so when somebody breaks in this is gonna call me all right so you don't have to worry. Uh, okay. All right baby we are fully protected. You're gonna wear two? Oh daddy about to glaze that ass like a toaster strudel. No, no I'm talking about the security system baby. Oh you got it set up? Yeah, baby, it'll call the cops after 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Why 30 seconds? Because it plays an ad. But look, we are, we are safe and we are protected and we can go to sleep safe and sound. So go to bed, Jeffy. Um, Daddy, I got a question before bed. What? Um, do peepees go in butts? No! Oh, because the other day I saw this video and it happened. Go to bed, Jeffy. All right, Jeffy, go to bed. Um, Mommy, Daddy, can you guys sleep in the bed with me? Because I'm scared ever since the robber broke in. No, Jeffy, we have an alarm system. You're safe now. Come on, Marvin, it's just for one night. But, but I'm, I'm supposed to wear two. That's okay, Marvin. We'll wait till tomorrow. Come on, Daddy, right here in the bed. Okay, fine. <laughs> Jeffy, let me out of here. <laughs> no, no. I had cream cheese covered deviled eggs and one acorn I found outside. Sorry, that was sick. I'm gonna die. All right, boys, settle down. Time for bed. <laughs> I'm gonna break into this house through the back doors. This is big. Lobster Fest has something- Oh crap, lobster they got an alarm system. I gotta cut it off before the head stops. What are you waiting for? Let's lobster fest. Baby, baby, do you hear Red Lobster ad? No, Marvin, go back to bed.
Maybe that's the alarm. Hold on. Someone's breaking in the house. Okay. I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna go check. Uh, is there anyone here? Hey, your alarm went off. You okay? I think someone robbed my house. Uh, it looks like he went out the back door. I guess he got scared off by the ad. Let me see which one it was. Oh, Red Lobster. Yeah, he definitely saw those Cheddar Bay biscuits and decided he needed some for himself. So the alarm didn't catch the robber? No, the alarm doesn't catch robbers. It just scares them off. But but the alarm has a camera, so it doesn't take a picture of the robber's face? Oh, no, 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 no. See, see, the camera scans the robber's face and then gives him an ad for something it thinks the robber might like. So so it thought that he might like Red Lobster. But why doesn't the alarm take a picture of the robber's face so we can see what he looks like? Oh, no, you gotta pay the 50 bucks a month for that. But that's so dumb! But hey, look, look, it did what it was supposed to do. It scared away the robber, right? And I don't think he's gonna to be back anytime soon. I think Lobster Fest is going on. And Bottomless Shrimp. He's going to eat himself into a food coma. You know, I'm kind of a hungry, hungry hippo for Red Lobster, too. I'm a bottomless potamus myself. <laughs> yeah. Can you please stop talking about Red Lobster? Why are you getting hungry? No! Well, kind of. I'm a little hungry, but, but, but my family's sleeping upstairs. Yeah? You want to sneak away and get some Red Lobster? Well, I, I, I really can't. I'm pretty sure they're open at 1.27 in the morning. No, they're not. You want a bet? Look, I'm a cop. I can just flash my badge. They'll be open. Oh, man, look at us at Red Lobster, huh? Would you rather be anywhere else in the world right now? No, I wouldn't. Oh, me neither. Oh, and these Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Let <laughs> me get some of these. Mm, mm, those are fucking good. Yeah, they're, they're all right. How's your scampi? I, I thought it came with noodles. No, nope, no, it sure doesn't. Oh. Look, 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 the robber, he's over there. Oh, yeah, there he is. Well, arrest him. Why not can I arrest him in the middle of eating his Red Lobster? How would you feel if somebody interrupted our meal? I'd well, be pretty pissed. Well, but, but we gotta arrest him, what if he leaves? Hey, hey, we're just gonna wait till he gets done eating and arrest him outside. Look, he'll be full by then anyway. He won't be able to move. <sighs> okay. Eat. Oh, man, I am so full. There he is, there he is, get him. You're under arrest for breaking and entering. Those are the last Cheddar Bay Biscuits you're gonna have as a free man. Come oh, on. man. Where is Marvin? I woke up and he disappeared. Baby, baby, baby. Marvin, I've been worried sick. Where have you been? I'll give you a hint. The whole place smelled like fish. <gasps> Marvin, were you at a strip club? Close. We went to Red Lobster. Without me? But baby, we caught the robber. Yeah, he was chowing down on Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Now he's sucking on Justice. That's the name of his cellmate. Justice Constant Splooge. Ew. Because he's constantly splooging. But baby, listen, we're safe. The robber's gone. He's in jail. So are we getting rid of the alarm? I mean, I don't think we need it anymore. What, what do you mean? It obviously worked. I think you still need the alarm. Well, no, we, we got rid of the robber, so we're safe forever. Hmm. You know what I have to say about this? DJ, run that shit. We just went to Red Lobster, Red Lobster, Red Lobster. We just went to Red Lobster and had some Cheddar Bay Biscuits. We just had some Cheddar Bay Biscuits, Cheddar Bay Biscuits, Cheddar Bay Biscuits. We just had some Cheddar Bay Biscuits and they were good as fuck. Not sponsored. What's a Hertz Donut? Ow! Hertz Donut? Jeffy, that wasn't very nice. Obviously, you didn't get the joke. I said, you want a Hertz Donut? And then I threw it at him and said, Hertz Donut? Oh, like the donut hurts. <laughs> yeah, it's not funny anymore. Wait, what's that noise? Oh, great! What's wrong, Marvin? Look at Booger. Oh, he's pissing. Oh, he ran away pissing. Oh, wow! Oh, you scared him! No, Booger needs to get neutered. Is that really necessary? Yes, because if we neuter him, he won't pee anymore. What's neutered mean? It's when they grab your balls. Marvin! They... Oh, they grab your balls? I want to be neutered. No, Jeffy. Look, baby, can you please put Booger in his cage or take him to the vet? Aw, but he hates it in there. Put him in the cage, baby. Okay. Jeffy, you stay right here. I want to be neutered. Booger, pizza. <laughs> okay, go get it. <laughs> Oh, Booger, I'm so sorry. Marvin, Booger's ready. Oh, Booger, you're stuck in the cage? Well, I've never been neutered before, so I'm gonna let you out. Be free, Booger. I'm gonna get my balls touched. Oh, there's pizza in here. All right, Booger, it's time to go to the vet and get neutered. Oh, man. Oh, dinosaurs are heavy. Oh. Hey, welcome to the vet's office. Please identify yourself, because I can't see. It's me, Marvin. Oh, hey, Marvin, what's up? Well, why can't you see? Oh, I just got LASIK eye surgery this morning, so I can't see anything right now. But in a few hours, when my eyes heal up, oh, my vision's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be 2020. 
Hopefully not like the year. Well, I brought my pet dinosaur to get neutered. What, really? A pet dinosaur? Oh, that's awesome. I've never gotten a chance to neuter a dinosaur before. This is exciting. I'll get started right now. Wait, wait, wait shouldn't you wait for your eyes to heal? No, 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 no. I've neutered so many animals, I can do this with my eyes closed, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. All right, well, just let me know when you're done. Uh, hey, do you want to keep them? Keep what? The balls. Like, do you want to keep them in a jar or something? Well, no, I don't want to keep the balls. Okay, well, I'm going to keep them. I mean, the dinosaur balls. That's awesome. I'm keeping those. All right, well, just let me know when you're done. Okay, yeah, I'll call you or, or just bring them by. Okay, then I'll see you later. What? See? Oh, I get it. Like, it, like, LASIK. Like, see. See, I, I thought you meant see, like, like the ocean. What? Yeah, that didn't make any sense. But I get it now, so it's funny. Okay, I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> okay. All right, come here, Mr. Dinosaur. Show me those balls. All right, baby, I just dropped Booger off at the vet. Marvin, I think it's cruel to neuter animals. Baby, he was peeing on the rug. This is the only way to get him to stop. Will it? Booger, stop it. You're not eating a donut. Booger! Marvin, I thought you said he was at the vet. He is. I just dropped him off. Well, maybe it's a girl and they couldn't neuter him. Well, no, no. Brooklyn guy said he would drop the dinosaur off when he was done, so maybe he's already done. Let me call the vet real quick. Okay, it's ringing. Hey, this is the vet's office. Can you identify yourself? I can't see my caller ID. It's me, Marvin. Oh, hey, Marvin. I just finished neutering a dinosaur. It went great. Is that why you dropped him off? What? Dropped him off? No, he's still here. No, he's right next to me. Well, that's impossible because he's right next to me. Are you, are you sure it's a dinosaur? Like, can you see him? Well, no, but I can touch him. Like, I just touched him. He's here. What? Well, my dinosaur's right next to me. Oh, well, do you have two dinosaurs? Because if you do, I'll neuter both of them. You know, buy one, get one. Oh, uh, baby, are you sure the dinosaur you put in the cage was Booger? Yes, Marvin. Like he was green? Yes, Marvin. Are you sure he was green? What? Yes. <sighs> Doggy, get in here. What you want, Ma Bibbs? Did you call me in here so you could give me some money? No, Dougie, I just want to make sure your balls were okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so both my dinosaurs are here. Well, you must have a third one, because I definitely have a dinosaur here. Wait, so there's a third dinosaur, and you neutered it? Yeah, it went fine. I, I mean, I will say I didn't keep his balls. They were a little too human-like. Kind of freaked me out, so I threw him in the ball pit. Like, we have this ball pit where we throw all the animal balls when we're done with them. It's pretty gross. And actually, now that you mention it, he did scream a lot in English. Dinosaurs are weird. Okay, can you please bring that dinosaur over to my house so we can see what you're talking about? Yeah, sure, I'll drive right over there. Are you sure you're okay to drive with your vision? Oh yeah, I've been there so many times I can drive there with my eyes closed. Uh, okay, this doesn't make any sense, baby. Marvin, where's Jeffy? Uh, he's probably in his room. Jeffy, get in here! Jeffy! Did, did you hear that? The, the vet must be here. Hello? Am I in the right house? Yeah, right here. Oh, hey, Marvin. See, I told you I could make it, and you thought I couldn't drive here. Where'd you park? In your driveway. Did you hit my car? I hit something, but hey, look, I brought you dinosaur. Dinosaur, get in here. I look like the lamp from Pixar. Jeffy! You named your dinosaur Jeffy? That must get confusing. That's your son's name. You neutered my son! No, I neutered your dinosaur. Then take your glasses off and look. Oh, I don't know if my eyes have healed yet. <gasps> they did heal. Everything looks amazing. What, uh, oh. Oh, no. Oh shit, that's your son. Yeah, I guess I did neuter him. What, why'd you neuter him? Well, look, it makes sense now that I'm thinking about it. I mean, yeah, I guess his balls were pretty human-like, and he did scream when I caught him, and he even said, hey, don't neuter me, I'm a human, not a dinosaur. But I thought the dinosaur was trying to trick me, so I was like, you can't trick me, dinosaur, so I snipped him anyway. I can't believe you neutered my son! Well, it's not my fault, it's your fault, because you put him in the cage! No, it's your fault, you put him in the cage! No, I put Booger in a cage! Jeffy, how'd you get in the cage? Well, I saw Booger in the cage, and then I let him out so I could get in the cage, because I wanted to know what neuter was. See, See, it's his fault, not mine. See, everybody hear that? I'm not liable. You can't sue me. Okay, can we put his balls back on him? I don't think you understand. His balls are in the ball pit. I mean, do you really want to dive into a 10,000 square foot pit of animal balls? I mean, there's cat balls, dog balls, donkey balls, fish balls, raccoon balls, just wall-to-wall -wall balls. Okay, well, can we find his balls? Well, even if we could find his balls, we can't put them back on. You can't use tape? No. Why do you guys keep all those balls? Well, we grind them up to make baloney. That's why it's called baloney. Hey, we sell some. You want it? But I don't want any ball. Ew! I don't want baloney. His balls might be in there. I don't want to get out of here. Well, it's got chicken balls, pork balls, and beef balls. No, listen, listen, Jeffy, how are you feeling? Well, I've been better, Daddy. Ow, 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 I, 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 I wouldn't, ow, ow, ow. I wouldn't do that. See, he's not in too much pain because he's on pain meds, but don't worry, those will wear off. Okay, so like, what do we do now? Well, I mean, there's nothing more for me to do, but I mean, if he's in too much pain, you can call me, and you probably will be calling me. Oh, man, Jeffy, are you okay? Danny, why am I gonna wear this cone on my head? So you don't lick your balls. How'd you know I was doing that? What? Is there a camera in my room? What? No, Jeffy, how are you feeling? Worried. Because how long has that camera been in my room? And what else have you seen me lick? There's no camera in your room, Jeffy. I'm going to go look for the camera in my room. What, no, Jeffy, there's no camera. 
Oh man, I can't believe this happened to Jeffy. Where is he? Where is he? Where is that stupid camera? Hey, Jeffy. Daddy, this is an invasion of my privacy because you have a camera in my room. There's no camera, Jeffy. Then why the cone? Listen, earlier today, we wanted to take your pet dinosaur to the vet to get his balls chopped off. Why? Because he wouldn't stop peeing on the rug. Pee comes from your balls? No. Well, then why get his balls chopped off? Listen, Jeffy, the main point is you got your balls chopped off today. I did? Yeah. Hurts, don't it? Marvin! Well, he did that earlier to me, so I thought it'd be the perfect time to make the joke. No, Marvin! Listen, so that's why it hurts when you hit your diaper. Oh, I thought it hurts just because I beat it all the time. Ow, 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 no, ow, no, no, ow, the, ow. Doctor, the doctor said don't do that because you're going to irritate it. So look, Jeffy, after school tomorrow, we're going to make it up to you. We're going to take you to Chuck E. Cheese, and you can eat pizza or play games. You can't do both because we're on a budget. We're balling on a budget. Marvin, stop it. You can play skee ball. Uh, or basketball. Marvin. Or playing the ball pit. Stop it! Okay, those are all my ball jokes. Listen, Jeffy, you're missing your balls, and tomorrow we're gonna make it up to you after school. So just go to bed, and tomorrow we'll have a fun day, okay? Okay, Daddy, but real quick, if I throw up in this thing, will I drown? No, Jeffy, just lean forward, it'll spill out. If I go outside and it starts raining or snowing, will I drown? No, th there's holes in the thing, Jeffy. It, 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 look, you're not gonna drown. Go to bed. All right, Daddy. Alright class, today we're going to be learning about the North Atlantic right whale. Oh, we're learning about my mom today because she's a big fat whale, right? She's the biggest animal on the whole planet. Cody, why would you talk about your mom like that? Well, I was just beating you guys to it because I know you're going to say it. I would never say your mom is fat. Oh, shut up. I'm going to tell your mom you called her fat. Please don't. The North Atlantic right whale is known to have the biggest balls of any animal in the world. Nuts big as shit! <laughs> I didn't know I was a North Atlantic right whale because <laughs> my balls are huge. Or because you're fat like your mom. Ha <laughs> ha, conehead. Don't call me names. <laughs> hey, satellite dish head. I said, leave me alone. <laughs> Megaphone head. I will allow you to call me one more name as long as it's hilarious. <laughs> Upside down lampshade head. That was lame. Hey, can you look up a little more? What, like this? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Trash can head. Oh, you did it now. <laughs> Jeffy boy, no fighting! You go to the principal's office right now! Hey, Danny, I got suspended from school today. For what? For beating up this kid because he was making fun of my cone hat. What did he say? Well, you see this paper ball in here? He threw it in here and now I can't get it out. Hey, I was playing with that. Jeffy, you are grounded for getting suspended from school. Well, what about Chuck E. Cheese? You're grounded, so you can't go to Chuck E. Cheese. Damn. Well, I'm hungry. Well, go downstairs and get something to eat. How? I can't even reach my mouth. Jeffy, just go figure it out. Okay. I can't believe you got suspended. Hey, Dad, can you help me pour some milk? Jeffy! What? What are you wasting all the Cheerios for? Well, you told me to figure it out. This is the best I can come up with. No, Jeffy, you go pour those Cheerios out because you're wasting them. Okay. But not about to... Jeffy! Hey, you hit my eyeball off. <laughs> go clean yourself up. Oh, baby, it's going to take forever to clean this mess up. What about Jiffy's eye? Danny, you've been really mean to me ever since I apparently got my balls cut off. You did get your balls cut off, Jeffy. Did I? You did, right? I don't know. I haven't been able to lick them because it is cone. Hey, hey, everybody, I didn't really cut Jeffy's balls off. What? Yeah, I was checking the security camera footage at the vet's office because I was going to sell it to, like, a gore website or something, and then I saw it really happened. Well, what really happened? Calm down, baby birds. I'll feed you. Just watch this flashback. All right, dinosaur, show me those balls. I'm going to cut them off. But I'm a human. No, you're not going to trick me, dinosaur. Give me those balls. Here they are. Oh, no, you're cutting my balls. Ball. You're cutting my balls. Ooh, they smell really good. Mm, I'm going to try this. So you didn't cut Jeffy's balls off? Oh no, I was cutting pizza. Oh, well, earlier you said you felt something that felt like human balls. Yeah, that was the pizza. It was really soggy. It felt like human balls and I ate it. What? <laughs> Yeah, I ate it, because, okay, listen, I, I, I thought to myself, when am I going to get another chance to eat dinosaur balls, right? So I had to try it, and then it tasted like pepperoni pizza, so I thought to myself, this is why the dinosaurs must have gone extinct, it's because their balls tasted like pepperoni pizza, and people kept eating their balls, and then they couldn't have any more babies. But then I lied to you guys, because I didn't want you to know that I ate dinosaur balls, and then I thought I ate your son's balls, and that was even worse, so I couldn't tell you that, but it turned out it was pizza, so it's okay. But you ate it thinking it was balls. Yeah, yeah, but it's pizza, so everything's fine. But it 
was you thought it was balls. Look, man, we don't have to obsess about it. I ate pizza. He still has his balls. Everything's good. I still have my balls. Yep, you should do. So I can take the cone off. Yeah, go ahead. How do I do that? Oh, it's it's like those little like those little knobs like behind your head there. Yeah, this, you got it. Is that one okay? I, no, that I I think I think that one's okay. You got uh, yeah. There's, there's three of them. So yeah, you got it. Just one more. Just turn it. Yeah. I'm free. <laughs> Presents for me? They sure are, buddy. Well, how many all that? Um, 36? 36? Well, last year I got 37. I want two new presents. But, Jeffy, these presents are already so big. I don't care how big they are. Well, listen, this is what we'll do. When we go out, we'll buy you two new presents. How's that, pumpkin? Can you guys please stop quoting Harry Potter? Sorry, Marvin. So you guys got me all these presents? Yes, we did, Jeffy. So then when Santa Claus comes, he's going to bring me even more presents? Of what? course, Jeffy. Yay! Best Christmas ever! No, Jeffy, you're 18 years old. It's time for you to know. Marvin! What? But baby, we gotta rip this band-aid off. He's 18 years old. No, Marvin, stop it. What are you guys talking about? Um, what he was saying was that we got a letter from Santa and he told us that you're on the nice list. He did? Can I see the letter? Um, uh, uh well, when you when you read the letter, the words disappear. It has invisible ink on it. Well, then can I see the piece of paper? No! Uh, it, the, the paper blows up after you read it. Huh. Well, well, Danny, how does Santa Claus know what I want for Christmas? Because I never went and told him what I wanted. Oh, Santa knows what you want. He can hear what you're thinking. He knows when you're sleeping. You know the song. Well, how does he know that if I didn't tell him? I need you to take me so I can tell Santa Claus what I want for Christmas right now. No, Santa Claus is busy. It's Christmas Eve. He's getting his sleigh ready and he's yelling at his elves. He has a lot to do today. Well, he's at the mall so you can take me there right now and I can tell him. No, no, the mall is so packed on Christmas Eve. How about you write a letter and say what you want and we'll ship it to him. Well, if I write a letter it won't get there in time. Okay, how about you just tell us what you, what you want and we'll tell him we have his phone number. No! I want you to take me to the mall right now so I can tell Santa Claus what I want for Christmas! Oh, come on, Marvin. Let's oh, just go. Okay, fine. We'll go to the mall. Just hurry, get in the car. Hurry up. Oh. Uh. Okay, Jeffy, we made it. Hey, you here for pictures? Yes, we are here for pictures. All right, just have a seat. Say cheese! No, 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 we want pictures with Santa Claus. Santa Claus? Yeah, Santa Claus. Oh, we stopped doing that weeks ago, man. What, weeks ago? I don't get to see Santa Claus! What, what, what are you talking about? Well, it's the day before Christmas, man. All the Santas are at home with their family. <laughs> No, 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 Jeffy, Jeffy, hold on, hold on, no, 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 come on, you, you have to call up Santa Claus, like, you gotta have a Santa Claus around here somewhere. Sorry, man, all you have is me and this chair, and don't make fun of my costume, it's a child's large. Well, no, 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 legs, isn't that fun? I can dance. Oh, no, no, listen, 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 I just need you to, like, call up a Santa Claus, please, that's something you gotta do. Listen, Jeffy really wants to talk to Santa Claus. I mean, listen, man, I can, unless you, I, unless you have money. What, money? Yeah, if you pay me, maybe I can find you a Santa Claus. Ugh. All I have is a hundred. Okay, yeah, that'll that'll work. Uh, let me just call my buddy Tim. You guys just go hang out at Cinnabon or something. Oh, uh, Jeffy, come on! They're getting Santa Claus. We have to wait over here. Okay. You better pay me good. Yeah, I'm sorry, Tim. I'm sorry it's so last minute. I was sitting on my couch eating potato chips. Yeah, I know. I know how much you love your chips. I'm sorry. It'll be real quick. I promise. Yeah, they were laser sorted. That sounds great. Just just put your beard on. Get ready. Over. Oh Okay, we're ready for the next kid. Okay, Jeffy, there's Santa Claus. Santa Claus! Ho, 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 and what's your name, young man? <laughs> Jeffy, tell him your name. Yeah. Uh, come here, boy. Take a seat. Okay. And what do you want for Christmas? I have to whisper it to you. Okay. I want... Oh, oh, don't, oh, don't yell at oh, Santa, please. Jeffy, whisper it. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Lord. How about... How about we just give you a candy cane? Are you going to get it for me? Well, Santa will do his best. I want your beard. No, no, no. Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Imposter! Oh. No, Santa just shaved so he, he couldn't get his beard in time. Yeah, Jeffy, Jeffy, uh, that's the real Santa. He just uh, gave him. What did you do with the real Santa Claus, you imposter? Oh, come on, Jeffy, come on, Jeffy. I am the real Santa Claus. Ah! Oh, what a nightmare. Daddy, what did they do with the real Santa Claus? That was a fake Santa Claus. That Santa Claus smelled like Pepto-Bismol and bad decisions. Uh, Jeffy, listen. Look, that, that Santa Claus was a messenger Santa. So all the malls across America, they hire messenger Santas to find out what kids want, and then they tell the real Santa, right? Well, I want you to call Santa Claus because you said you had Santa Claus's phone number. So call him. Well, uh, he's busy. He call him. Uh, I, 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 I don't want to call him. Call him. 
I don't want to. Call him! Santa Claus isn't real! Oh, what are you talking about, you bitch? Uh, tell me, Santa Claus, he's not real. You're 18 years old. It's time for you to know. Oh, I'm going to go break everything in the kitchen! What the jet? No, 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 He's 18 years old. He's screaming at me. I, I don't know what to say to him anymore. Santa is real. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Ah! <laughs> you, Santa, you lying bitch. <laughs> what, Jeffy? What's your point being good all year? Santa Claus isn't real. You want to. Ah! I tried really hard. No, you don't. Ah! You don't try to be good, Jeffy. Marvin, we gotta do something. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm gonna call someone. Hey there, somebody call an elf? Yes, I need your help because you caused a problem in my life. But what did I do? Well, you had that stupid fake Santa Claus at the mall, and then when my son pulled his beard off, my son freaked out and cried, and then I told him Santa wasn't real because I didn't want him to cry anymore. Well, it sounds like it's your fault for telling him Santa's not real. No, it's your fault for hiring a crappy Santa. Well, I'm sorry I didn't have the real Santa at the mall on Christmas Eve. Well, can you call the real Santa? No, baby, because Santa's not Santa's real. Santa's way too busy today. What? Well, yes, Santa's very busy. It's Christmas Eve. He has to load up his sleigh and then deliver presents to the Republic of Kiribati or some shit. That that's where the day first starts. I like your jingle bell. Thank you. Oh, okay, so you're telling me that you could actually get a hold of Santa Claus? No, I'm saying I can't because he's too busy. Well, then you have to find a way to get a hold of him. You're an elf. You can find a way to talk to him. You know I'm not really an elf, right? I just work at the mall and take pictures. Listen, can you please help me? My son's breaking uh, plates and screaming and crying. Please get a hold of Santa. What, what, what do you think we could do? Huh. Well, the only thing I can think of is we kidnapped the Tooth Fairy. What? what? The Tooth Fairy? Yeah, the Tooth Fairy is Santa Claus's daughter. Not a lot of people know that. Wait, she is? Oh, yeah, yeah. Santa and Mrs. Claus had a daughter, and they named her Tooth. So her name was Tooth Claus, and that was kind of scary, especially because she collected teeth, and she collected claws. Like, whenever cats got declawed, she would collect their claws and give them money, but they're cats, so they didn't need the money, so she stopped doing that. But anyway, they decided Tooth Claws was too scary, so they named her the Tooth Fairy, because that's a lot cuter. Okay, so you just created another problem. How do we get the Tooth Fairy here? Oh, that's easy. We just gotta put somebody's tooth under a pillow. Okay, well, I don't have any teeth. Me neither. Oh, I got one in my pocket. Hold on. There you go. Wh whose tooth is that? I don't know, some kid. Why do you have some kid's tooth in your pocket? Oh, well, I work at the mall, right, as an elf, so there's a lot of kids around. So this one kid ran up to me, and he was like, elf boy, elf boy, and he kept throwing candy canes at me, and I was like, listen here, you little shit. If you don't knock it off, I'm gonna punch you in the mouth and knock your teeth out. And then he stomped on my foot, so I popped him in the mouth and knocked his tooth out, and he ran away crying, and I was like, now you're useless and toothless, you little bitch. So then I kept the tooth to warn anybody else who wants to mess with me that this used to be in someone's mouth until they met me. I'm him. I'm Himothy. Himmy Johns. Oh. Okay, so how do we get the Tooth Fairy here? Oh, that's easy. Where's your comfiest bed? Just put it under the pillow and I'll take a nap. Uh, but come on. Okay. All right, here's the bed. Okay, so let's just take this tooth and then put it under the pillow. Then I can just tuck myself in. Do you have any warm milk? No! Okay, well, I don't know how I'm gonna sleep without any warm milk. Listen, we have to catch the Tooth Fairy. Okay, then hi, bro. I'm asleep. I sure am sleeping. I could for the tooth. Get him, Marvin. Uh, why? What, only a quarter for that tooth? You know what I had to do? I had to punch a kid. That's not your tooth. No, and now we're going to kidnap you. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Wait, where'd she go? Oh, I forgot she can poof. What, she can poof? Oh, we had to kidnap her. Yeah, hey, but look, we have a quarter, and we still have the tooth, so we win. She's dumb. Ha ha. Okay. How are we gonna get Santa Claus to come here then? I don't know. Let's just go back on the couch. <sighs> Marvin, where's the Tooth Fairy? We tried kidnapping her, but she poofed away. Yeah, but we got one of the quarters though, so we robbed the Tooth Fairy. Yeah, we robbed the Tooth Fairy. You did what? Santa Claus? How long you been standing there? Long enough. How dare you try to kidnap my daughter on the eve of Christmas? No, 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 no. We weren't trying to kidnap your daughter. We were just trying to uh, uh, take one of her quarters. Yeah, 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 because she, she has the best quarters. Like, th this one's 1972. That That's rare, I think. You can't lie to me. I'm Santa Claus, all-knowing. I know when you're sleeping. I know when you're awake. I know whether you've been bad or good. To be good, for goodness sake! Uh, well, Santa just tried to smash you. He did the smash. He did the Santa smash. He did the smash. It was a North Pole bash. He did the smash. He came in a flash. Ho, ho. <laughs> Not me. It was his idea. Get him. <coughs> Fine. Go back to the North Pole. I, I work at J.C. Penny. Go! I'm okay, I'm going. <laughs> ah! ah, no. Can we please can we, can we, can we work something out? Oh no! You're dead! What? You're so dead! Why? What does that even mean? Come here! 
gonna find out! No, no, please. Hey, Marvin, Marvin, I, I sucked this candy can until it was sharp. Maybe you can use it, like, as a weapon or something. Oh, okay, throw it to me! Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll just stab myself. Suck yeah. it! Ah! Ah! I'm ah! sorry. Like, what did I do? Why? I feel so bad. Why? Sorry, I, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Will you stab Set in the neck? Ah! Set, are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. I got stabbed in the neck. I'm dying. This should have been you. Dad? Is this really Santa Claus? Uh, yeah, and he's dying. <gasps> Santa Claus is dying? Can I get you anything, Santa Claus? Boy, yes. For my wish. For my dying wish. I would like some milk and cookies. Okay. Here's your cookies, Santa Claus. Uh, <laughs> what the milk, boy? Oh, okay, milk. <laughs> I'm alive! And it's all thanks to you. How can I ever repay you? Well, there is something I want for Christmas. Name it! Whatever it is! <laughs> Done! <laughs> mm -hmm. Danny, this pole smells like a Captain D's hush puppy. Jeffy, I can't believe you wasted your wish on a stripper. Well, she's a free stripper because I don't have to pay her. And Danny, guess what? There's something wrong with her underwear. What's wrong with it? They're not in my mouth. Oh my God, you're so funny. Well, Jeffy, at least you're having a good Christmas. Who wants a lap dance? Right here. Um, Danny, I'm going to need you to leave so she can give me the second part of my Christmas gift. I'm uh, out of here. Well, I'm just glad I didn't kill Santa. Oh man, I don't think I could have lived with myself. You know, and I was really worried that I would be Come Santa like Tim Allen did in that movie. I'm not ready for that kind of responsibility. That's a lot of work. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Merry Christmas. I hope you get what you wanted, and if you didn't, that's that's life. That just happens sometimes. And at least we all have each other. Yeah. Jeffy, it's time to eat lunch. Oh boy, that means I get to eat cookies. But no, 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 Jeffy, you're not eating cookies for lunch. You're gonna eat a big old plate of green beans. But Daddy, you know I hate green beans. Why can't you get it through your thick, bald head that I don't like green beans? Well, Jeffy, I know you don't like green beans, but they're healthy and they'll make you grow big and strong. Well, cookies will make me big too. Well, they'll make you big like fat. Well, then I'll be just like you. Jeffy! Well, Jeffy, I am not fat. Look, look, green beans have fiber and then they'll help you poop. Daddy, I already crapped my pants twice a day. I don't need help pooping. That's well, because of the green beans, Jeffy. Yes, Jeffy, green beans are good for you. So look, you're gonna eat these green beans. I can't. Well, yes, you can, Jeffy. You're not allergic to them because if you were allergic, then you wouldn't have to eat them, but you're not allergic, so eat them, Jeffy. Hmm, allergic. I got an idea. <laughs> Jeffy, did you eat your green beans? Jeffy, where'd you go, Jeffy? Maybe he went to his room, Marvin. Jeffy, you are so grounded for not eating your green beans. Oh, Jeffy, what happened to you? Yeah, Jeffy, what happened? I was trying to take a bite of green beans and then my face started hurting. <gasps> Marvin, maybe Jeffy is allergic to green beans. Yeah, that. What? No, Jeffy, you're not allergic to green beans. You've never been allergic before. But Marvin, you can develop allergies at any age. Yeah, I read that too. You can't read, Jeffy. Oh, well, I saw it on TV. What? There's no way he's allergic. Are you sure you didn't fall and hit your face? No, I did not fall. You promise you didn't fall? I promise that was not it. Oh, oh, okay, look, well, I will call a doctor and we're gonna figure out what's going on. You better not be faking it. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor. We tried to feed Jeffy green beans and his face looked like that. What, you beat the shit out of him for not eating his green beans? Yeah, he does it all the time. Not this time. Not this time? Look, I put a plate of green beans in front of Jeffy. I walked away, I came back, and he looked like that. What happened, kid? Did you fall down? No, I promise that was not it. We think it might be an allergic reaction? Well, it doesn't look like an allergic reaction. It looks like somebody hit him in the face with a baseball bat. Well, what does an allergic reaction look like? Well, you know, usually you get a rash, maybe get itchy, have trouble breathing. So what type of weapon causes that? That. What? Nothing. I'll figure it out. Oh, so, so it's not an allergic reaction? Well, I mean, if you're saying that he looks like this after eating green beans, then I guess we have to assume it's an allergic reaction. Oh, so that means I don't have to eat green beans anymore. Yeah, I'd stay away from the green beans. What about cookies? Cookies should be fine. All right, pee pee. Well, no, you're not eating cookies for lunch, Jeffy. What else should I feed him? I don't know. He's not an iguana. He doesn't eat a special diet. Feed him whatever you want, just not green beans. All right, Jeffy, we're going to find something for you to eat that you're not allergic to. Come on, Jeffy. Like cookies. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Cookie time! Wait, no, no, Jeffy! Hey! No cookies. You're gonna eat 
Brussels sprouts. But the doctor said cookies. No, the doctor said you have to eat something healthy. So here's Brussels sprouts. Daddy, these look like the Jolly Green Giant's testicles. Jeffy. Jeffy, these are good for you. They're really good. They're a nice vegetable. And they smell like the patch of skin between your ball sack and your butthole. Jeffy, just eat them. But Daddy, she's a 10, but she smells like this. Jeffy, I know they don't smell good, but they taste good. Look, just try it. Please try it. Oh, Daddy, I don't want to try these. I got to make sure you're not allergic. Try it. <laughs> Jeffy, <laughs> put it in your mouth. <laughs> Jeffy, <laughs> Jeffy, put it back in your mouth. I don't like it, Daddy. Try it, Jeffy, try it. I think I'm allergic. My throat's closing up. Put it back in your mouth. <laughs> is, it, is it good? Uh -uh. Okay, well, swallow it. Come on, baby, let's go. <laughs> so, Jeffy, how was the Brussels sprouts? <laughs> your face. I definitely think I'm allergic to the Brussels sprouts, Daddy. It's so messed up. What is going on? <laughs> I can't breathe, Daddy. Marvin, we need to call the doctor. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I'm going to call the doctor. Daddy, I need... What, what do you need? I need... What do you need, Jeffy? Cookies! You're not eating cookies, Jeffy. We have to call the doctor. Come on. Aww. Hey there, you call me again? Yes, doctor. I gave my son Brussels sprouts, and now his face looks like this. Oh, my God. I know, it's so bad. Oh, my God, I'm going bald. Oh, God, the bald spot on the back of my head is getting so big. Well, I'm going bald in the front, too? I'm getting bukkake by my hairline. Oh, man, I used to have a full head of hair. Ugh, I hate getting old. Be honest, does it look bad? Um, I would say it's noticeable. Oh, I'm so ugly. Oh, man, we gotta do something about this. We gotta do, like, Brooklyn guy's hair problem fix or, or Brooklyn guy's hair transplant or something. I mean, I guess I could wear a hat. That might cover it up. You think I'd look good as a hat guy? I want you to help me fix Jeffy. Oh, yeah, what about your son? I gave him Brussels sprouts, and now his face looks like this. Okay, you have to be beating him. Facts. No, I'm not beating him. I gave him a plate of Brussels sprouts. I walked away, and now his face is more or bruised and his eye is swollen. Well, it doesn't look like an allergic reaction. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if his jaw and cheekbones weren't broken. So what's causing this? I don't know. I mean, I guess it has to be a severe allergic reaction to green beans and Brussels sprouts. So we won't feed him Brussels sprouts and we won't feed him green beans. Would cookies help? I, I don't think cookies would help. I'd suggest you get an EpiPen. No, I don't think I need that. I think I need cookies. You're not eating cookies, Jeffy. We gotta find you a food that you're not allergic to. So come on. We're gonna go find you something to eat. Let's go. What about cookies? Come here, cookie. One bite. Ha! No cookies. Hey! I said no cookies, Jeffy. It's time for you to eat something else. Well, then what am I supposed to eat, Daddy? You're gonna eat a big old plate of spinach. Daddy, you can't just diarrhea on your plate and expect me to eat it. It's not diarrhea, Jeffy. It's spinach. It's good for you. Like, fuck it is. Jeffy, language. Look, just eat it. Daddy, if there's anything I'm allergic to, I'm allergic to this. Where's my bat? Oh, Marvin, what's this bat doing on the ground? Shit. Uh, I, I don't know. Jeffy, were you playing with this bat? No. Well, baby, put it away somewhere. Okay. But that was my allergic device. What? Nothing. Jeffy, just eat the spinach. Look, just try it. I promise you'll love it. Daddy, I highly doubt I'll love this. Try it, Jeffy. Oh, I don't want to, Daddy. Put it in your mouth. Go. Uh, It's really good. Mm, Dinosaurs eat stuff like that. Mm. Aren't you a dinosaur? Mm. Uh, okay, Jeffy, look, it's good. Just eat it. We'll be right back. Marvin, did Jeffy like his spinach? I don't know. Let's see. Jeffy, did you like your spinach? Ooga, booga, booga, booga! You look even worse! Your eyes coming out of your head! What is going on with- Wait, what's this mallet doing here? Oh, my bad. Marvin, we need to call a doctor right now! Oh, okay, we have to call a doctor. Jeffy, do you think you're allergic to the spinach? Yeah, I told you if there was anything I was going to be allergic to, it'd be this! Oh, look, I'm so sorry, Jeffy. I'm sorry for trying to make you eat this. Let's go call a doctor. Come on. Cookies! Hey there, you are calling me a lot today. Look, I gave my son Jeffy a can of spinach, and his face got even worse. <laughs> are you sure you didn't give him cream spinach? Because he looked like he got creamed. You know, like when somebody says, I'm going to cream you. Wait, that's from the hub. Never mind. Well, what's going on? Look, look, Jeffy's face is getting worse and worse. Do you do something about it? Well, he's obviously allergic to all the stuff you're giving him. And you can't help him? I'm not really good with allergies. The only thing I'm allergic to is fresh cut grass. Fresh cut grass? Yeah, I know. It's kind of a stupid thing to be allergic to. But let me tell you how I found out about it. So a few years ago, I go outside to check my mail and I see my neighbor Chuck cutting his grass. And I'm like, Chuck, what the hell are you doing? It's like 95 degrees out here. You're going to get heat stroke. But I guess he just likes cutting his grass. So I go to check my mail and I smell all that fresh cut 
grass, and I fall on the ground, and I start choking, and I start seizing up, and when the ambulance gets there, they tell me it's because I'm allergic to fresh-cut grass. So then, a few years after that, I joined the military, and I'm at war in a place that's really grassy, and I'm behind enemy lines getting shot at and all that, and then all of a sudden, the enemy starts charging us with lawnmowers, cutting all the grass in sight. So I smell that grass again, and I start seizing up, and I can't breathe, and I almost died. But then I got to meet the president, and he gave me a purple heart, because I'm a hero. So yeah, that's what I'm allergic to. Okay, well, how is that going to help with Jeffy? you got to help us figure out what's going on because it looks like he's about to die. Well, look, every time you give him vegetables, he just keeps getting worse and worse. So I shouldn't give him any more vegetables. Ding, ding, ding! Cookies! Jeffy, you can't just eat cookies. Doctor, what is healthier than vegetables? I don't know. What are you, like, five? Give him fruit or something. No, fruits are too yummy. I, I don't want Wow, wanna... Daddy, screw you! No, no, fruits are just, like, really bright and colorful. I want him to eat something healthy, like fish or... Look, Jeffy, we will find something for you to eat. Come on, let's find... What about cookies? Daddy, just let me eat cookies! No, Jeffy, you're not gonna eat cookies! A cookie a day keeps the doctor away. Look, Jeffy, you're gonna eat macaroni and cheese! But Daddy, you ruined it by putting boogers in it! Those aren't boogers! Marvin, the doctor said that Jeffy can't eat any more vegetables. Baby, I'm just trying to make sure he's not faking it. Faking it? Look at his face! Yeah, Daddy, I'm not faking it! It's not like I'm hitting myself in the face with a baseball bat or a mallet! I have to be clinically insane! do something like that. Sometimes I wonder if you're insane, Jeffy. Marvin! Uh, listen, Jeffy, just eat it. Look, it's macaroni and cheese. It's yummy. You're gonna love it. But, Daddy, you keep insisting that I eat vegetables, and now I'm gonna have the worst allergic reaction yet, and my ear's gonna fall off. Your ear's not gonna fall off, Jeffy. Don't be ridiculous. All right, we'll see. Come on, baby. Let's let him eat. Okay. Okay, Jeffy, did you enjoy your mac and cheese? I can't hear you, Daddy. What'd you say? Marvin, his ear fell off. Look what you did, Daddy! This is all your fault! But Jeffy, you did not lose your ear by eating vegetables! Yes, I did, because I'm allergic! Wait a second, Marvin. What are those scissors doing here? Shit. What, scissors? Wait a minute. Scissors, the mallet, and the bat. The scissors, the mallet, and the bat in the dining room where Jeffy was eating his vegetables, and now he looks like that! You just figured out Blue's Clues. You just figured out Blue's Clues. You just figured out Blue's Clues because I did it to myself. Oh, Jimmy! What? You did it to yourself, Jimmy? Yes, because all I wanted was cookies. Jimmy, cookies is not worth all this. Yes, it is. I hate green beans. Jimmy, you are insane. And don't you forget it. Well, you Marvin, just let him eat the damn cookies before he dies. Fine, Jimmy. You want cookies that bad? Eat all the damn cookies you want. But when you get fat, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Can we at least put your ear back on, Jimmy? <sighs> He's insane. Yes. Chugga, 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 Dude, why did you even invite me over here if you're just gonna play with your stupid Thomas toy? So you can watch me play with my Thomas toy, Joseph. Be grateful. Guys, 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 guys. Guess what machine I built? That one? Uh-huh, yeah, you got it right. What's it called? It's the come, 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 come to life machine. That's a lot of cum. <laughs> yeah, it's not the first time I've heard that. So what's it do? Take one guess. Ooh, does it make bagels? N no, anything you put in it comes to life. Oh, so close, dude. Anything you put inside the machine comes to life? Yeah, if you put a strawberry in there, you get a talking strawberry. No what? way. What if I put Thomas inside there? Then he'll come to life. We have to do it. <laughs> open, open, open. Okay. Jesus, Junior, throw it harder next time. Leave. Well, I was being sarcastic. Hey, you want me to throw it harder? No, I was being sarcastic. It's fine, it's fine. So, so how's he come to life? Uh, you just, uh, you know, you turn these dials and, I don't know, man, it's a video. We don't even know how this is gonna end yet. Just, uh, yeah, there we go! We just wait? Yeah, just, just hold on. It's just gonna poof like a big flash of light? Big, big poof, yeah. Where is it? it it'll happen. I don't think it works, Cody. Did I put it on bake? No, it's on toast. I think we're fine. Turn that last lever right there. What, this one? <laughs> choo choo! Guys, Thomas is alive! Dude, that's so sick! Choo choo! Well, come on out, Thomas! Choo choo! Oh, Junior, I think he's in pain. He's not in pain, he loves his life. Kill me! I'm supposed to be a toy for God's sake! What is this world? Oh, Thomas, you're, you're a real train now. You can be a train. Kill me! Junior, I think maybe we should kill him. No, he's happy. Kill me! Kill you! Do we go after him? No, nah, man, let him live his life. Let him live his beautiful life! Mm-mm-mm, -mm. you've outdone yourself this time, PP. What a masterpiece. How do you do it? Choo -choo. What the hell? Kill me! Choo -choo. 
So guys, what else should we make come to life? Literally anything. Anything you can imagine. Guys, why did the train run all over me in the kitchen? Wait, you had a train ran on you in the kitchen? Uh, no, I mean, it was only in college. It was for the money. Wait, wait, what should I mean? What's wrong? Look, look, the train ran all over me. One of you guys got into a costume and started running all over me. Oh, no, no, that wasn't a train costume. We really made uh, Thomas come to life with his come, come, come to life machine. What? You think I'm gonna believe that, Junior? Ugh, just leave me alone. I'm trying to cook dinner. See? Shit's crazy out here. So guys, we gotta bring some more stuff to life! Uh, we could try this little parrot toy. Y you really think that parrot would come to life? Really, Junior? Are you still doubting this machine? We have a train running around screaming, kill me. Anything's possible at this point. Then bring the parrot to life! Okay, here we go. <laughs> Just tweak these, I guess. The uh, bottom one, the bottom one. Yeah, uh, uh, okay. Bruh. I'm alive! I'm alive! What the parrot's alive? Dude, I always wanted a parrot! Dude, I always wanted a parrot! Bruh. Oh, dude, it's so cool! Oh, dude, it's so cool! Bruh. No, it's gonna do this thing. Oh, it's gonna do this thing! Bruh. Maybe we should just kill this one. Maybe we should just kill this one! Bruh. Kill me! Kill me! Bruh. Oh, great, now we have two things running around screaming, kill me. Uh, dude, I think there's something wrong with your machine. No, no, the parrot doesn't really want to die, he's just saying that. Well, Thomas really wants to die. Yeah, he does. Well, so what else are we gonna turn to life? Ooh, let's make this pig come to life, dude! Oh, if you make that pig come to life, then Cody's mom will have a pig friend. <laughs> let's put it in there. Alright, turn it on, turn it on. Do this again, let's... Are you ready to have two moms, Cody? <laughs> Oink! But Cody, I told you your mom was a pig! No, she's not, Junior. Mom, what the hell are you doing here? Kill me! Kill me! <laughs> it's definitely the machine now, dude! No, it's not. My mom says that all the time. She has postpartum depression. Did she just give birth? No, it's from me. It's just very post. So what are we gonna put in the machine now? Ooh, how about this raccoon I found at the park? Oh, yeah, yeah, go, go, put it in there! Who's gonna be a raccoon? <laughs> Oh, dude, I always wanted a pet raccoon. He's so cute. Who's a cute little bandit? You are, you are. I think he likes me, dude. Ah, ah, get him off me! He said he ripped off my face! Get him off me! Oh, he definitely said kill me that time, dude. No, he didn't. He's a raccoon. He can't say anything. Okay, guys, what other toys do we put in here? Well, we definitely should not do any more animals. What about trains? No, we shouldn't do that either. So then what? why'd you make this machine if we can't do fun stuff? Look, I don't know. I just thought it would be fun. Wait, wait a minute, Cody. Why don't you put Ken in here? Yeah. Yeah, if I put Ken in here, he can finally be a real person. So you admit he's a doll, dude. N no, I, I just mean he'll, he'll be more real than he already is. He's not a doll, Joseph. So what if he ends up not liking you? <laughs> Junior, that's impossible. We're butt buddies. That's a sacred bond. What if he just says kill me all the time? He's not going to do that either. He's not going to want to die. Daddy's got the goods. We'll put him in. All right, Ken. This is my last time looking at you as a... A, a plastic human. Just say dog, dude. It's easier. No, no, dog, dog, Sam. Whatever, dude. Okay, Ken, give me a kiss. Uh, ooh, you know what? That was pretty good. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, you know. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Cody! What, what? Put him in there. Yeah, come on. Okay, Ken. I love you. Be safe. Uh, 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 shut it! Uh, uh, okay, he's good. Uh, uh. Are you ready to see Ken as a real person? He, I mean, he's always been real, but yes. Happy birthday! <gasps> there must have been some magic in that old hat all along. Frosty the Snowman! <laughs> what in the world is going on? Ken, you're finally alive! So you admit he was a doll, dude? Well, okay, Joseph, you know what? Yes, he was a doll, Joseph, but now he's a man. He's a man, Joseph! Kill me, you are gorgeous! Really? Oh, yeah. See, guys, I told you Ken was gay. That means he's totally okay with all this stuff we did. Oh, I gotta see those muscles. Oh, oh my god, you guys, Ken is ripped. Hey guys, what does Ken and my bunghole have in common? They're both ripped! <laughs> well, I, I can't believe Ken's actually alive. We never thought he'd ever talk, you know? Hey, hey, Ken. Hey, Ken, do you remember all the stuff we did together? Of course I do! We're butt buddies, remember? <laughs> Hey, Cody, let's sing the Butt Buddy song. Uh, oh, Ken, not in front of my friends. It's embarrassing. Back that butt to your buddy. Back, Back that, that butt to your buddy. Back, Back that butt to your buddy. buddy. I'll keep, keep it, it nice, nice and warm. warm. <laughs> Spread your cheeks for your buddy. Okay, okay, okay. I don't, I don't think they're ready for that verse yet, Ken. Dude, the level of homo in this room is too much. Oh, come on, Joseph. No need to be homophobic. Oh, I'm not homophobic, bro. Uh, do your gay thing. Hey, Cody, Eskimo kisses. Uh, yeah, I'm out of here, dude. Uh, yeah, we, we, we gotta go, but Chef PB just called my name. Ken, Ken, I can't believe you're real. Now we can finally do all the stuff I wanted to do with you. Oh, I feel a big gay montage coming on. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> I always wanted to hear your Austin Powers impression. <laughs>
guys missed the gayest montage. Thank God. What? I mean, I wish I was there, dude. Well, what have you guys been doing? Well, we have no toys to play with because they all came to life with your machine, and Thomas is running around screaming, kill me. Shoot, shoot, kill me! He's at it again. Somebody probably should kill him. What are you guys about to do? Well, we're about to catch a late movie. We're going to bring a blanket to the theater and sit in the back corner. I do love my movie snacks. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have me some Sour Patch Cody's. <laughs> wink, wink. Yeah, he is. I'm gonna lick all the sugar off before I finish my treat. Okay, okay babe, babe, too far. They get it. What movie are you gonna see? Oh, we're gonna go see Brokeback Mountain 2. You boys should come. We'll make it a foursome. I'm good, dude. Yeah, I'm yeah, I think we gotta stay right here. I, I gotta use the bathroom. Yeah. Come on, Ken, let's go. We don't want to lose the corner seat. Ooh, can we get a large popcorn with butter? <laughs> oh, you know it, babe. Oh, you know how to butter my butter. Biscuit. Oh, I sure do. With KY Jelly. Yeah, dude, I liked him better as a doll. Yeah. Oh, great! What's wrong, baby? This woman took our seat because you were too busy talking to my friends and you wasted time. I was just trying to be nice to your friends, Cody. Well, my friends don't like you, so maybe you should just pay more attention to me. Shh! Bitch, what the, can, can you believe her? She shushed me. The movie hasn't even started yet. Do you really want to watch Screen Vision that badly? Shh. Oh, can't hold my weave. I'm about to smack a bitch. Calm down, baby. It'll be okay. You're right. You're right. I'm just on edge. I just want to watch this movie. Ken, could you please sit down? You're blocking the screen. Yeah, of, of course. What, Ken, what are you looking at? I, I was just looking for the popcorn. I'm so hungry. Okay, well, how about I put the popcorn between us and we solve that problem? Yeah, good, good idea. What, Ken, what are you looking at now? Well, now I'm thirsty. I, I was just looking for our drink. It's in my pants, Ken. You know that. Yep, yep, your your pants. That's right. What, what the hell are you looking at? I, I was just trying to see what this fine lady shirt says. What fine lady? I mean, regular lady. <sighs> Excuse me, ma'am. What? My very nosy boyfriend needs to know what your shirt says. Um, it says love. It says love, Ken. What does it say underneath the shirt? Oh, my God. Okay, Ken, what the hell? Is there something you need to tell me? No, there's nothing I need to tell you. Everything is okay. Excuse me. I'm the manager of this movie theater, and the young lady that was sitting here said that you were harassing her. What? No, we weren't harassing her. I would like for you guys to leave the theater now. What? No, no, okay, fine. Come on, Ken. Let's leave this stupid theater. Junior, can you believe Ken got us kicked out of the movie theater? Wait, what's going on? Am I interrupting something? No, Penelope just came over to hang out with me. Yeah, he said he'd pay me. Wow, she sure is pretty. Oh my god, thank you so much. You're so handsome. Wait, really? Check this out. Oh my god, he's gorgeous! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Penelope, I'm gonna need you to get the fuck out of here. What's wrong, Cody? I'm just telling your friend that he's hot. And I'm just telling her that she's very pretty. <laughs> I'll kill both of you. Uh, Penelope, let, let, let's get out of here. Okay. Ken, what the hell is wrong with you? You're being all weird. Nothing's wrong, baby. E everything is fine. No, everything is not fine, Ken. First you're telling Penelope she's pretty, and then there was that girl in the movie theater. What's happening? <sighs> I... I don't know how to tell you this, Cody, but... What? You want me to be on top? I, I don't think I like Wiener. But, don't like Wiener? What, what are you talking about? It's Wiener! In fact, Cody, I think I might like... Not Wiener? What, you like not Wiener? Ken, you're not making sense. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. That Wiener's the only option. I'm sorry, Cody. It's just when I saw that girl in the movie theater... I got this weird, tingly feeling in my pants. Well, well may, may, maybe she had a wiener. You don't know. I don't think she did, Cody. It's just how I feel. Uh, Ken, Ken this, this doesn't make any sense. I think I just like girls. N no! 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 You will die. Come on. That's just how I feel, Cody. Okay, Ken, but, but, but what, about the, what about the butt buddy song, huh? <laughs> spread your cheeks, spread your buddy. Cody, Cody. Spread your cheeks, spread your buddy. Cody, don't be like that. I... I have the straight buddy song now. What straight buddy song? Lift your skirt for your buddy. No, no. Lift your bra for your buddy. Well, no, 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 I'll no, no, keep it it nice no, and no, no, I can't listen to this. Shut up, shut up, just shut up. Cody, I, I truly don't think it's you. It's me. <laughs> so that's when I went to Target and got a new boyfriend. You mean a new doll? He's not a doll, Joseph. This one's real. This is Ken. He's, he's real. He's real. So you just went to the store and bought another Ken? Yes. No, no. I, he, I, I got... I, 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 I bought... He's my boyfriend. He's real. He's Ken. This is the only Ken that matters. So why don't we just put him in the machine and see if he likes you? No, it, does, it doesn't... It, I don't need to do that because I already know he likes me because he likes me. He's, he's Ken. So what happened to the one that, like, turned to a human? We don't have to talk about him. He doesn't matter, okay? This is Ken. This is the only Ken that matters. This is always Ken. It's always been Ken. Okay. Well, at least everything's back to normal. Kill me! Kill me! Man, somebody kill this train! So, 
guys. What do you want to do today? Dude, we should play cops and robbers. That would be so fun. Yeah, we could tie Ken up as a hostage and spank him. We're playing cops and robbers, Cody. Yeah, we're not doing that. No one's getting spanked. You guys take the fun out of everything. I want to be a robber. Me too. I guess I'll be a cop. I totally thought you want to be a robber, Joseph. Why? Is it because I'm black, huh? I can't be a good guy like a cop? Well, no, no. I just thought you wanted to be a robber since you, you like to steal things. Yeah, you know. You know I like to be bad. I'll be a bad guy. But it's not because I'm black. Okay, so now we need someone to be the cop. Cody, you got to be the cop. What? No, I want to be a robber so I can tie Ken up and spank him. We all can't be robbers, Cody. You have to be the cop. But what reason would a cop possibly have to spank someone? Well, maybe you're interrogating Ken because you think he's a robber, so you spank him to get answers out of him. No, that would be a total abuse of my power. I'd get fired. It works much better if I'm a robber. Okay, so for all robbers, then who's going to be the cop? Uh, you could ask Chef Pee to be a cop. He'd love to play. Yeah. Chef Pee Pee! Oh, what do you want, Junior? We're playing cops and robbers. We need you to be the cop. I'm not going to be a cop for this stupid game. Bye. Okay, so Chef Pee is the cop. But he, he just said he wasn't playing. He's totally just joking around. He's totally going to be the cop. He's going to go put uniform on right now. Okay. Okay, so uh, Cody, me, Joseph, and Jeffy are going to be the robbers, and we need you to be the hostage. Wait, 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 wait. I thought I was a robber. No, you and Ken gotta be hostages. You wanna get spanked, right? Yes, very much. Okay, so you're gonna be the teller at the bank, and we're gonna come rob you, and we're gonna kidnap you and Ken as a hostage, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, let's go be robbers, guys! Yeah! All right, guys, we're gonna bust into this bank, put a gun to the teller's head, and say, bitch, put all the money in the bag, or you're gonna die today. Yeah, and then put a bullet straight in between their eyes. <laughs> no, 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 we're not, we're not killing anyone, Joseph. No, 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 we have to kill a hostage just to show them we're not playing. Well, no, 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 we're gonna grab two hostages, and we're not gonna kill them unless we have to. You know, it's just cops and robbers, not cops and murderers. But why is the gun loaded, huh, if we're not gonna hurt anybody? Just in case we have to, in case the cops come. Listen, Joseph, we're not... I, I really think we should hurt somebody. We're, we're, we're not hurting anyone. Listen, listen, I'm gonna bust the door down. We're gonna rob this bank, okay? Okay. Ow! Dude, Damn. What's this door made out of? Cardboard. I hurt my shoulder. Okay, we're gonna bust that go! I'm sorry, sir. It doesn't matter how much you flex your muscles at me. It's bank policy. No shirt, no serving. Everyone on the ground, there's a stick up! Oh my god, a robbery! I'm calling the cops! Stop, bitch! What? Ken, no! You were only supposed to spank him! Why'd you kill him, Joseph? Dude, he was asking for it! And we gotta show him we're not playing! We ain't playing! 911, what's your emergency? Put the cash in the bag right now, bitch! And no funny business, no die packs, no silent alarms, or you would get a bullet in your head. You got that? Yes, I understand. Oh my god, man, we're on our way. Yeah, put the cash in the bag right now! Right now! JT Wentworth, 877 cash now, ho! Okay. No, 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 put the money in the. Put the go, hurry, hurry up! Yeah, right now! You can have the money, just please don't spank me. Just spank him, dude. <sighs> Oh no, don't spank me. Oh no. I'm not I'm not doing it anymore. Oh come on, one more. Oh the alarm's going on! You, you pulled the alarm! I told you don't do it, man! Oh, don't, don't kill her, don't kill her. She's our last hostage! Okay, look, we're gonna take her with us. Okay, Joseph, you grab the money, I'm gonna grab the hostage. Oh, I got the money. Come with us, come with us. Yeah. Let's go, let's go before the cops get here! Dude, look at all this cash! We're gonna be rich! You better not scream or say a single word. Ooh, don't shoot me, daddy. That's hot. Look, Jeffy, make sure she doesn't talk. I got you, Junior. Say a word. Say a single word, and I'll blow your brains out, and you'll never see your family again. Jesus. Look, come on, Jeffy. We, we gotta go. Make my day, ho. Uh, Jeffy, they're leaving. Come on, Jeffy. Let's go. Sorry, sorry, sir. I just got a call. We got a code black. An armed robbery in progress. Did they take any hostages? Well, they killed one, and they took another one. Jesus. Officer Simmons! Yes, sir? Assemble the Avengers. I'm sorry, sir, but the Avengers aren't real. Damn. Well, at least get me Iron Man. He's dead, sir. Mm, I'm not caught up on the movies. Okay, look. You two are my only officer, so how are we gonna find these robbers? Well, I guess I could track the hostages' phone. Maybe we could find their hideout that way. Good. I want you to find these robbers and kill them. Kill them, sir? You don't want us just to arrest them? No, I don't want to waste taxpayer money on these bozos. I want them dead. I want their families dead. I want their house burned to the ground. Uh, oh, oh, okay, sir. What are you two still doing here? Get out, go! It's okay. Okay, we made it back to the house. Did the cops follow us? No, dude, no one followed us. We're safe. Let's start counting that cash, please! Yeah, let's count this cash! What do we do with the hostage? Oh, dude, we should kill her right now. No, 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 what if the cops come? We need a hostage. Dude, we're safe and sound. The cops aren't showing up here. Boys, boys, whatever you do, don't have your way with me. Yeah, shoot her right now, dude. Yeah, I'm a shooter. No, 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 l l listen, you already have so many charges, what's one more? And besides, if you guys go to prison, you'll never see a woman ever again, so... Uh, oh, oh, oh my god, the cops are here! Dude, I'm not going to jail, I can't go down like this! Hey, not yet, we're busy! Oh, no, 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 okay, look, let's go to the cops, and let's tell them that we have a hostage, if they try anything funny, we'll blow our brains out! Okay, dude, let's uh, go! Let's go, come on! We have the place surrounded, come out with your hands up or you will be shot! 
I thought the boss wanted us to kill him. I know, but I'm trying to get him out here so we can shoot him. We're not playing around! Come on out here! Man, Chef PB's really into his cop character. Yeah, dude. Uh, Junior, that doesn't sound like Chef PB's voice. It's Chef PB's cop voice. You never heard it before? Bro, he deserves an Oscar. Ooh, Joseph, you should go out there and shoot at Chef PB. Ooh, I like that idea. Wish me luck, dude. All right, die, cop! Junior, did, did Joseph really just get shot? No, Cody, we're playing pretend cops and robbers. Chevy doesn't really have a gun. That's that's clearly just sound effects he's using out loud. And he doesn't have a real gun. It's just Chef Pee Pee. You know, we're just playing a game, Cody. Man, Chef Pee Pee's going pretty hard. We killed your friend. Just come out now or you'll be dead too. Uh, Junior, I'm starting to think those are really cops and they really just shot Joseph. Cody, just because Chef Pee Pee's going extra hard for his role and you're not even trying, don't say anything. But not even trying, Junior. You're the one who didn't want to spank me or have your way with me. I'm obviously a hostage that has Stockholm Syndrome. Now bang me. What are you brats yelling about in here? Chef Pee Pee, what are you doing inside the house? You're supposed to be out there being the cops. I told you I'm not playing that stupid game with you. Wait a minute. If you're in here, then that means... Uh-oh. Wait, Chevy B, so you're not the cops outside right now? Wait, wait, the cops are outside? What are they doing here? Well, that's supposed to be you. I thought that was you. I was in the kitchen the whole time. But that means whoop-dee-doo. Wait, 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 wait. So, Chevy B, we were playing cops and robbers. Hey, Cody, how'd the cops get called? Well, maybe when I was pretending to dial 911 during the robbery, I actually called them. Oh, no. Chevy B, I need your help. The, the cops actually think we're real robbers right now. Can you tell them we're not? All right, Bress, I can help you out. It's just a misunderstanding. I can talk to them. Okay, thank, thank you. All right, Mr. Officers, it's just a misunderstanding. I'm sorry. Oh, what are we gonna do, Chevy? We just died. I'll go talk to him. No, no, Chevy, no, 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 they do not want to talk to us. They're just trying to kill us. They think we're real robbers. Okay, we have to go upstairs right now. Let's go! All right, we killed another one of your friends. You want to come out here and make it three? I don't think they're going to fall for it a third time, mate. Yeah, you're right. But listen, there can't be that many more left. I mean, it's got to be like one, right? Yeah, you just want to bust in there and 2v1 them? Yeah, I think we can take them. Yeah, it's no building and all I got is a blue pistol. <laughs> yeah, we're not noobs. All right, hold on. Let me go grab my gun out of the car. All right. Guys, what are we going to do? Well, I'm the hostage, so I'm good. I'm just going to sit back and eat my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week for a year. <laughs> Shit. But, Jeffy, we have to get out of these robber outfits, because that's how they're going to know we're the robbers. Good thinking, Junior. Hey, what about the money? What about it? When you're rich like this, you don't check the forecast every day, it's going to rain. Bit, bit, bit. Well, we have to get rid of the money, because if they see the money, they're going to know we're the robbers. So, so, Jeffy, you hide the money and get out of your outfit, okay? All right, Junior. <laughs> Where the hell is my gun? What? Check it. No, it's not in there. Where the hell is it? Come on! Hey, right, mate, what's taking you so long? I have misplaced my gun. I don't know where the hell it is. Well, did you check the glove compartment? Did you check the glove compartment? Yes, obviously I checked the glove compartment. Well, did you check underneath your seat? Yes, I checked underneath the seat. All I found was these stupid leftover cheese curds, and, man, I'm actually getting pretty hungry. Well, mate, you can eat the cheese curds after we kill these guys. Come on! I don't know, Simmons. I don't think I can kill these guys without some cheese curds in my belly. Oh, you're probably right. Enjoy your curds, mate. Thank you. I will. Okay, we took the robber outfits off, now we don't look like robbers. What'd you do with the money? I put it in the offshore bank account so no one can track it. Okay, good. So now we just go out there and tell the cops that we're not the robbers and they'll let us go. Well, they shot Chef Pee Pee and he wasn't dressed like a robber. <laughs> You're right, they did shoot Chef Pee Pee and he was just in a chef outfit. Okay, how do we get him not to shoot us? Well, you guys could dress up like girls, then they'd think you were hostages. Oh, <gasps> Jeffy, we have to dress up like girls like Cody and they'll think we're hostages, it's a good idea! Yeah, I'm gonna have big floppy knockers! Okay, let's go dress up like girls. <laughs> Man, those cheese curds were delicious. There's my gun! <laughs> hey, Simmons, guess what I found? Oh, you found your gun, mate. Where was it? It was right under the cheese curds. Oh, well, then good call on eating those curds. <laughs> now, let's go kill these guys. Yeah, come on. Okay, me and Jeffy are dressed up like female hostages, so we're going to get saved. We're not going to get shot like Joseph or Chef Pee Pee. Hey, you guys want to see a tough muff? That's pretty tough. That, that's a power move. Yeah, I should have laid on the first date. So look, now that we're girls, no one's gonna kill us. And they're definitely gonna save me first because I'm the hottest. Wait, no, 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 no. I think we can all agree I'm the hottest. No, you look like a nerdy librarian. Well, yeah, guys have nerdy girl kinks. No, guys go for hot blondes. That's why I'm a blonde. You look like Joe Dirt. You look like you don't wash yourself. You look like you have a hairy butthole. Guilty as charged. You look like you take up the rum. Guilty as charged. Oh, well, listen, they're gonna save me first because I'm the hot blonde. No, I'm the hottest. Well, what do I look like? You look like the, a scary girl who died in a horror movie because she fell into a well. Facts. All right, look, let's just sit here, and when the cops get here, we'll ask them who they think is the hottest. Okay. Help! 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 All right, Simmons, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay, go! <laughs> oh, flashback! Go, 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 go! Careful, Simmons, they could be anywhere. Come on out! Help! 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 Hey, Simmons, I 
I think the hostages are in here. Ladies, you okay? All in. Uh, yeah, well, we're doing really good. Well, where are the robbers? Are they still here? Uh, well, there were only two robbers, and I think you already killed them. Whoa, you hear that, Simmons? There were only two robbers, and we killed them. Oh, the boss will be happy about that, mate. Yeah, I think our work here is done. I mean, you ladies are sure you're okay? Yeah, we're okay. I got a wicked camel toe. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I guess we should just go, then. Wait, 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 officer, which one of us is the hottest? Oh, well, to be completely honest, all three of you are extremely ugly. What? He definitely thought I was hottest. No, I was hottest. Babu, bab, bab, babu. I need to borrow your car keys and 50 bucks. What? No, Jeffy, you're not going to use my card. Why do you need 50 bucks? Daddy, check it. I found this girl online, and she said she would eat a hot fudge sundae off my junk for 25 bucks behind Walgreens. For 25 bucks? Then why do you need 50? Because I wanted to do it twice. That's a lot of ice cream, Jeffy. Yeah, hopefully she's not lactose intolerant. Lactose intolerant? Uh-huh. Mm, I only have $100. Well, then four times it is. She's going to do it no times, Jeffy. Well, then do you want me to ask for change? What? No, no, Jeffy, listen, she's not going to do it at all because I don't want you eating ice cream in my car. Well, here's the thing, Daddy. I'm not eating ice cream. She is. I'm just the bulb. <laughs> what? No, Jeffy. I don't want any ice cream activities happening in my car. Just, just go get a job or something. What do you want me to do what she does for a living? What? No, Jeffy. Just go to your room and play, please. <sighs> all right, Daddy. I guess I'll ask her if she can get me a discount. No, no discount. Just No, you're not going to do it. Marvin, maybe we should get Jeffy a car. Well, why would we get Jeffy a car? So he can go to Walgreens and do ice cream stuff? No, but he could get a job and drive himself to and from work. I guess you're right. If we do get him a car, he, he can go to get a job, and he's 18 now, so he can start being an adult. But we only have $100. Maybe I can go see if we can get, like, a cheap used car. Yeah, okay, Marvin. All right, baby. I just got Jeffy a very used car. Is it nice? It's it's a car. Uh-oh, you hesitated. No, baby. It's good enough for Jeffy to go find a job, drive to work, and go do his ice cream festivities. Okay. All right, Daddy, check it. I got her down to 20 bucks. So if we take that 100 over there, you go two times, I'll go three times. No, Jeffy. All right, fine. I'll let you go first. Well, no, Jeffy. Me and your mom got you a very late 18th birthday gift. <gasps> Did you get her to come here? I gotta go clean my room. Well, no, 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 Jeffy. It's in the driveway. Daddy, you don't have to call her an it. Her pronouns are he, she, him, hers. It said it on the profile. Jeffy, though, listen, it's not whatever you're talking to. Come outside. All right, Jeffy. Surprise! Surprise! You guys got me a car? Yeah, Jeffy, you're 18 years old now, so you might want to get out of the house, get a job, make your own money. Marvin? Can I pick up fat hoes? Jeffy! What, 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 why are they going to be fat? More cushion for the pushing, Daddy. Well, uh, Jeffy, you can pick up whoever you want in that car, because it's your car, and you can do whatever you want with it. Daddy, can I pimp my ride and spray paint my car yellow? No, Jeffy, you cannot spray paint it yellow. But you said I can do whatever I want to my car. You did say that, Marvin. But spray paint's going to look so ugly, and it looks so nice right now. But, Daddy, I want to pimp my ride. Uh, you know what, Jeffy? Do whatever you want. Just, just go look for a job, please. That's all I needed to hear, Daddy. Oh, he's Come gonna, on, Marvin. He's gonna ruin the car. It's time to Jeffify this hoe. And done. The Jeffy Mobile is complete. Hey, Jeffy, what are you doing? I just got done spray painting my car, Junior. Whoa, you got a new car? It's so sick. It says your name on the hood. Yeah, I call it the hoe puller because it pulls hoes. Check out where they sit, Junior. Oh, shit here. That's so awesome. Yeah, and check out the trunk. It says, Shibby. Oh, can we go for a ride? Sure, Junior. Let's go to McDonald's and get some Happy Meals. Hoes love Happy Meals. They will suck your Kremlin. Oh, let's go. Let's go. All right. All right, Junior. You ready to get your Mickey D's? Yeah. Mickey D's nuts. <laughs> let's try some tunes. All right. <laughs> I'm riding my Spider-Man bike. I'm just like Peter Parker in Spider-Man 2 when he was delivering pizzas on his bicycle. That movie had Dr. Octopus in it. It was so crazy. Jeffy is trying to pull hose, to pull hose, to pull hose. Jeffy is trying to pull hose in this car. He's gonna help me do it. Woo! What, Jeffy, what was that noise? I don't know, Junior just keeps singing. Jeffy is trying oh, to I, pull hose. I think you hit something. Pull... No, I didn't, Junior just keeps singing. Uh, Jeffy, Jeffy is trying to pull hose. 
Jesus Christ. What do we got, Simmons? Looks like a hit and run, mate. Ah, he didn't quit it, just like he used to do in college. So how's the victim? He was airlifted to the ICU. He's in a coma. Hmm. So we're not going to be getting any answers out of him anytime soon. Any evidence left behind? Uh, not that I see. Wait, what's this? Look, Simmons, yellow paint. Oh, I thought that was mustard. I thought he was eating a hot dog while he was riding his bike. Well, no, I'm pretty sure this is just yellow paint. Well, why would he eat a hot dog with yellow paint on it? That'd what? make him sick. No, no, S Simmons, like, it, it, was, it was a yellow car and it left its paint behind when it hit the bike. Well, what if the car was covered in mustard? Okay, Simmons, you know, I really appreciate how you think outside the box sometimes, but this is not one of those times. We need to find a yellow car. Well, it could be the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. Oh, okay, you, you look for that. I'm going to go find a yellow car. All right. Hey, Danny. Me and Junior just went and got Happy Meals. Peep the box. Happy as fuck. Jeffy, language! You didn't go to Walgreens, did you, Jeffy? Oh, man, Danny, completely forgot about Walgreens. I'm going to need that hundred bucks. No, Jeffy, that's why we got you that car, so you can go get your own job and make your own money. Oh, maybe I can get a job at Walgreens. Then on my lunch break, I can go in the back and have an ice cream party. Every day would be a Sunday. Beep. Well, no, Jeffy, how about you get a job at McDonald's? But he, she, him, hers, they, them isn't at McDonald's, Daddy. The news. Breaking news, okay? There was a hit and run involving a child on a bicycle, and police need your help to find out who did it. Mr. Goodman is on scene now with an eyewitness who saw the whole thing. Goodman? I'm here at the scene of the crime where a yellow car has struck a child on a bicycle and left the scene. I'm here with the only reported witness, Cody Nutkiss. Now tell me, Cody, give me every detail of what happened. Don't leave out any details. Well, I was just sitting here eating my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week, and all of a sudden I heard a BAM, so I guess that's what that was. Truly remarkable and very graphic detail. Now, police are on the scene now, so if you have any information as to a yellow car missing paint, don't hesitate to call 911 immediately. Oh no! I hope that poor kid is okay. Good thing we don't know anyone that owns a yellow car. Damn it! They forgot my toy! Wait a minute. Jeffy, you spray painted your car yellow, right? I sure did, Daddy. And that hole looked clean. I'm talking yellow like a banana. Oh wait, that's where I could work, Daddy. I could start my own paint and body shop. I could call it Jeffy's Blow and Go. Or Jeffy's Spray and Pay. I spray it, you pay it. Wait, so Jeffy, did you hit anything while you were driving today? Daddy, the only thing I hit was the gas pedal to get where I was going. I'm talking here. But like, you didn't hit like anything like, like a kid on a bike? No, but they did add a weird speed bump in the neighborhood today. What? If you were a yellow car, Simmons, where would you park it? Is that a trick question? No. Because you drive on a parkway, but you park on a driveway. Wait, wait, Simmons, look over there! Well, 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 Simmons. If I had a dog, his name would be Bingo. What does this car have to do with your dog? Wait, no, S Simmons, I'm saying that we found the car we were looking for. What type of dog are you going to get, mate? I, I'm not getting a dog, Simmons. I'm saying that we found the car. I like cockapoos. Okay, great, but I'm saying we found the car because it's a yellow car that has scratches on it. Oh, so no mustard. No, no, no mustard. Now let's go knock on the door and serve up a hot plate of justice. Good, because I'm hungry. Who's at the door? Uh, uh, hello? Hey there. Uh, what do you fine officers want? Fine officers? <laughs> Buy me dinner first, handsome. I hook up with his mom. Oh, God, you have to mention that today? Uh, do you guys have a warrant? What? Okay, that was the most guilty thing you could have said. What we'll do, do you have one? Because I don't know what you could be doing here. Okay, look, I don't know if you heard, but there was a hit and run today involving a yellow car, and we found a yellow car parked in your driveway. Oh, well, that's my son's car. Oh, can we have a word with your son? Uh, yeah, yeah sure, come in. Who's at the door, Marvin? It's the cops. Good, because I would like to file a report against McDonald's for forgetting my Happy Meal toy. Oh, I hate when they do that, especially when it's like a limited edition toy. And I really hate when they give you the toy you already got last time. It's like, you should know that I already have this toy. It's stupid. Why are the cops here? Oh, well, there was a hit and run involving a yellow car, and your son happens to have a yellow car. How do you know it was my car? Well, because there are scratches on your car, and there's yellow paint on the bike you hit. Well, how do you know it's not mustard on the bike? It, it's not mustard. Did you taste it? I... I did not. Hold on, I'll go taste it. Jeffy, if you did it, you should go admit to it right now. They'll give you less time if you admit to it. I plead the fifth. Ugh. Oh, God, no, that that is paint. That is not mustard. You definitely hit that bike. Well, what if the kid on the bike hit my parked car? Hmm, damn, I hadn't thought of that. He's got us there, Simmons. Hold on, I'm getting a call. What? Hello? What? The kid woke up from his coma? That's great! Well, you heard me. The kid woke up from his coma. So I'm going to go ask him what happened. Oh, Jeffy, you're gonna go to jail. I didn't even do anything. Hey, kid, how you feeling? Where am I? What is my body hurt? Oh, well, you got hit by a car and you just woke up from a coma. That's so crazy. Yeah, listen, we need you to tell us if you remember getting hit by a car. Oh, yeah, I was delivering pizzas like a Spider-Man 2, and then all of a sudden this car came, and I tried to jump over it with my Spidey powers, but I didn't. 
Wait, so you were actually trying to jump over the car? Yeah, but my webs couldn't attach to anything, so I got hit. Oh, uh, you're the real Spider-Man? Yeah. Oh my god, Simmons. We have to protect this kid's identity at all costs. If he presses charges, everyone's gonna find out his real name. We can't have that. Don't worry, kid. Your secret's safe with us. Hey there. What'd the kid say? Well, I can't divulge that information because of the Hippo Act, but I may or may not have met Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Him, I met him, or maybe I didn't. Did you meet him or not? I don't know, maybe maybe I met him, maybe the kid was him, maybe he was the kid, I don't know, maybe he's Spider-Man, maybe he's not, who knows? The kid's Spider-Man? Oh, who told you that? Because I didn't tell you that, he's not He's not Spider-Man, unless he is Spider-Man, I, I don't know, I didn't say that. Spider-Man's real? Yes, he's real, and I met him, maybe. Well, oh, okay, so what's going on, is the kid pressing charges or not? No, Spider-Man is not pressing charges. So the kid is Spider-Man? No, no, I didn't I didn't say that. You, you said the kid is Spider-Man, you said the Spider-Man's not pressing charges. Sp Spider-Man is his lawyer. Look, stop asking me questions, okay? I need to go get an autograph. What? All right, Jeffy, uh, did you learn a lesson from today? Daddy, she agreed to me here! Wait, who? The ice cream he, she, him, her! Who's that? It, it, them! Hello? Hey, I'm here to eat ice cream sundaes for 20 bucks. Wait, the pizza? Daddy, what is this? It's a hot dog, Jeffy. I don't want a wiener in my mouth, Daddy. That sucks. You've had hot dogs before, Jeffy. Just eat it. No. Baby, can you get him a napkin so he doesn't make a mess? Okay. What, Jeffy, you ate that hot dog already? He did? Sure did, Mommy. I scarfed that wiener down like a girl trying to get her rent paid. Jeffy! Well, that's what they do. We know, Jeffy. Do you want another one? You ate that really fast. No, Daddy, I'm full. You're a growing boy, Jeffy. I'm going to get you more. Here's three more, Jeffy. But Daddy, the rent's already paid. Well, you can get ahead on rent. Baby, can you get him a drink so he doesn't choke? Okay. Wait, Jeffy, you already ate all three hot dogs? Wow, you ate that so fast. Sure did. Can I go play toys now? Baby, we should sign up Jeffy to a hot dog eating contest. Marvin, I don't think we should profit off of Jeffy eating unhealthy food. Oh, come on. He's going to make millions of dollars. Jeffy, do you want to make millions of dollars eating hot dogs? They could be good, could be shit. See, he doesn't care. Look, I'm going to call a food competition eating advisor man judge. What? I, I don't know. I'm going to call someone. Hey there, somebody call a hot dog eating fast committee advisor man? Wait, you're from the board meeting of fast eating food people? <laughs> I, I think I am. That sounds right. Uh, yes, yes I am. What, look, what I'm here to do is to just test how long it takes him to eat a hot dog to see if he can be in a hot dog eating contest. Well, Jeffy can eat a hot dog really fast. Tell him, Jeffy. Yeah, I can eat it really fast. Yeah, so, so he, he, I think we can set a world record. Okay, well, see, I have this timer here. And what I'm going to do is test how long it takes him to eat one hot dog, and then I'm going to do the math to see how many hot dogs he could eat in 10 minutes. Okay, Jeffy, are you ready? Yep. Okay, and go. I have to sneeze. <laughs> oh, 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 sneeze on me too. <laughs> Whoa, you ate that so fast? That only took you like four seconds. That's like that's like 150 hot dogs in 10 minutes. That'll blow the world record out of the water. What's the world record? 76 hot dogs in 10 minutes. Oh my god, Jeff, you're gonna set a world record! No, 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 well, hold on, hold on. There's been a lot of cheating in the hot dog eating community, okay? There's been a lot of people who've been like, hey, look over there, and then they just throw the hot dogs over their shoulder into like a flower pot or something. Oh no! Yeah, we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is see if he can eat five more of these bad boys, and then I'm gonna time them, okay? Okay, let, let me get Jeffy five more hot dogs. All right, Jeffy, here's five hot dogs. All right, now when you eat these hot dogs, I'm gonna to watch you like a hawk to make sure you're not cheating, okay? My eyes are never gonna leave your mouth, got it? Yep. All right, let me start the timer. Oh wait, I, I can't look at the timer because I have to watch you. Mm. I can start the timer. No, no, I have to do it because if you do it, you might tamper with it. Hold on, I'll get it. Uh, go up, go up, and to the, to the right. More up, more up. Right, right there, right there. Did I get it? Yes. Go! Uh, mommy, why is your nipple out? Wait, what? what? No, it isn't. Aww. Oh, oh my god, did you eat them already? Oh my god, that was so fast. I wish I could have seen it, but when somebody says nipple, I just jump like a dog. Well, wait, Jeff, you ate five hot dogs in nine seconds? Yeah. That's pretty good. Man, I guess I'll have to take your word for it, but I mean, there's nowhere else you could have hidden them, so they have to be in your belly, and I couldn't possibly ask you to eat five more hot dogs. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. I officially declare you a hot dog eating contest contestant. Wait, wait, Jeffy's a contestant? Yeah, he can compete in hot dog eating competitions. That's so awesome, Jeffy! You can try to win millions of dollars now! Great! Alright, but you better train up, because the contest is tomorrow. Wait, it's tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, Jeffy, you need to get to training right now. I think I'm good, Daddy. My throwing arm is ready. What, your throwing arm? Yeah, because I'm going to throw the hot dogs into my mouth. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to be ready tomorrow. All right, I'll see you all there, but keep your nipples in your shirts, okay? I'm kind of a horn dog. <laughs> I don't know why I'm married. I mean, I can shop around, but I can't buy anything. 
I did hire an escort one time because I had a plus one for my daughter's piano recital and I wanted the other dads to think I had some arm candy, you know, but then I caught her banging the janitor and everybody thought she was my wife, so that was just even more embarrassing. So now whenever I go to pick up my daughter from school, everyone's like, oh, you, your wife banged the janitor. And my daughter's like, dad, why did mom do that? And I'm like, that wasn't your mother. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, Jeffy, let's train for that hot dog eating contest. Let me get you more hot dogs. All right. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Oh, dude, do you want to put sticky notes on people's windshields so they can crash their cars when they drive? That sounds so sick. But, guys, people are going to notice the sticky notes on their windshields before they even start driving. Okay, we'll put the sticky notes on their windshield while they're driving. What? Oh, okay, first of all, the wind would blow the sticky notes off the car, and also, how are we going to get onto a moving car? We'll stand on an overpass, or we'll wait for the car to drive under it, and then we'll jump, land on the windshield, and start putting sticky notes. But, Junior, we're not Deadpool. That would kill us. Stop ruining and all the fun, dude. You're so lame. Hey, guys, hold in. We're trying to find something fun to do. But Cody's ruining all the fun. I just don't want to get hit by a car. Well, I'm joining a hot dog eating contest. <laughs> Did somebody say long meat sticks and throat holes? No one said that. He said hot dog eating contest. Yeah, it's the same thing. I can do that. You can't do that. It's an eating contest, not a sucking contest. <laughs> I can multitask. Just ask Ken. I can churn butter while blowing a trumpet, if you know what I mean. <laughs> How many hot dogs can you eat, Jeffy? I can eat 150 hot dogs in 10 minutes. <laughs> Child's play. I can double that number. Wait, do we have to use only our mouths or can we use all of the entrances of the body? All the entrances? Oh yeah, none of my holes are exits. Any hole's a goal. <laughs> I'm used to an intruder busting in the back door. Cody, it would take you ten minutes to eat one hot dog. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Whatever, man. Could somebody please inform Junior of how gay I am? Hmm? Anybody? Anybody want to tell him? Flaming. Yep, I'm flaming. That's right. Thank you, Joseph. Oh, uh, Jeffy, can you please get uh, Cody a hot dog to see how fast I can eat it? Yep. We'll see how fast you can eat it, Cody. Okay. All right, Junior, here's the hot dog you asked for. All right, Cody, wait, why do you have your shirt off? Oh, well, I just didn't want my shirt constricting me from eating the wiener. And plus, I do better with my clothes off anyway. But I kept my bow tie on, because I'm a gentleman, not a whore. Well, we're going to time you and see how fast you can eat this hot dog. So, Joseph, when I say go, you start the timer, okay? Okay, dude. All right, Cody, you're going to try to eat the hot dog as fast as you can. I know how to do it, Junior. Three, two, one, go! On the knees, hit her back. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Cody, you're faster than that. Come on, it's already, it's already almost 10 seconds. Come on, Cody, take all of it. Go, keep going. As good as I thought it would be. Yeah, I thought you were fast. Go, go. Uh, how fast was that? Uh, how fast was that? Oh, 23 seconds. Oh, not my best time, but I enjoyed myself. Well, Cody, there's no way you're going to beat Jeffy at that time. Hey, look, okay, it's been a long time since I took a wiener that big. Maybe if I had friends that would let me practice on them, I wouldn't suck. Well, I, I mean, I would suck, but I wouldn't suck at sucking. I, I would suck. I, I, you know what I mean. Well, you didn't even finish the whole thing. That wouldn't count as eating a whole one. Look, Cody, just leave the hot dog eating to Jeffy. He's, he's good at it. No, I'm going to enter this hot dog eating contest, and I'm going to win. You'll see. Oh, whatever. I'm going to go practice, guys. I'll see you later. I'd rather put sticky notes on cars. Right? Hello, and welcome to the International Hot Dog Eating Competition. I'm your host, Steve Staleberger, and with me is the judge, Brooklyn T. Guy. <laughs> More like Steve Stale Hot Dog, right? Because... Because this is a hot dog eating contest, and your last name is Stale Burger, so... Stale hot dog. <laughs> okay. Let's meet our contestants! These four fat asses are gonna commit one of the seven deadly sins for our entertainment. They're gonna cram their guts full of hot dogs until they can't no more. Our first contestant is Tubby Atso McPherson! Oh man, he sure look good! <laughs> man, Steve, I'd hate to give him a piggyback ride. You know, because he's fat and I'm not very strong. Our next contestant is Cody Raw Dog Nutkiss. Uh, I never asked to see the rules. Do, do we have to use our mouth? Oh man, how do you eat that many hot dogs and still have a body like that? I want his workout secret. Then maybe my wife wouldn't cheat on me. All right, our next contestant is Jeffy Dog Slinger Jeffy. Wait. This is going to be televised? Of course it is, dumb shit. For the entire world to see me kick your ass in arena swallowing. Oh, what am I going to do? Now, I personally saw that kid eat hot dogs yesterday, and man, I'm telling you, that kid can eat them fast. He's like a machine. Our final contestant is 25-time winner, Teriyaki Kobayashi! Come on, bring it, stupid Americans! Man, chopsticks really didn't slow him down. You know, if I used chopsticks, I'd be a lot thinner. You know, because they're so hard to use. Like, I can't pick anything up. 
Like, why? Just use a fork. All right, contestants, when I say go, you have 10 minutes to eat as many hot dogs as you can. Get ready. Okay, Jeffy, the competition's about to start. Are you okay? No. W why not? I'm not okay because I can't eat this many hot dogs. Sure you can, Jeffy. I saw you eat this many hot dogs at the house. You're fine. Have you, Daddy? Have you seen me eat this many hot dogs before? Yeah, you ate a plate of five of them in like two seconds. You you've ate them before. Everything's good. No, because I was distracting you, and when you weren't looking, I was throwing them into the flower pot behind me. Wait, what? Yeah, I've never eaten this many hot dogs. I can eat maybe one, maybe two, but not this many. What? Jeffy, 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 you're screwing with me. Well, what? live TV. You, you, can't, you can't be doing this right now. You ate all those hot dogs, right? No, I didn't, Daddy. I'm telling you right now that I didn't eat any of those hot dogs. I was just throwing them behind me. Jimmy! Well, on national TV, I, I wanted the prize money, Jimmy! Well, if you want the prize money so bad, you can get over here and eat all these hot dogs. Look, look, look Jimmy, you cheated your way here. You're gonna cheat your way to win. What, is he trying to put him in his butt, too? Can, can we not do that? Can somebody clear this up for me? Because, I mean, if so, I'll just sit on the plate, and then when I stand up, it'll be squeaky clean. <laughs> Every crumb in my bum. But can you ask, though? Uh, listen, Jeffy, look, I'm going to try to distract the judges, but you're going to try to win this. Just do your best to try to look like you're eating them and hide them or something. I'll do what I can, buddy. All right, we're ready to start. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> uh, nobody answered my question, so I'm just going to put them in my butt. <laughs> Hurry up, dumb shit! You're in the last place! Man, the fat one sure is chowing down! Which fat one, Steve? Uh, hey, uh, does anyone know where the bathroom is? Hey, no spectators allowed in the booth! Yeah, sure, man, it's just down the hall on the left next to the vending machine. But, I mean, hey, just a heads up, that vending machine does not work, okay? It ate my dollar. And I really wish I had that dollar back, because there's another vending machine that does work, like, two halls down, and that one has Cheez-Its. Hey, focus on the competition! Wait, wait, did you notice that, uh, three of the, three of the contestants have nipples out? What, nipples? No, really? Oh, nipples, these nipples. Yeah, see, Jeffy doesn't have a nipple. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Oh, over there. Oh, 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 nipples. No, no, no. no, no, no. Mm. Mm. Hey, he's a throw your hot dogs in. No, I'm not. Whoa there. Throwing food is an immediate disqualification. You two are disqualified. <laughs> what? Well, no. Disqualified? No. I have not lost in 25 years. I'll kill you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hit him. Hit him. Yeah, suck him in the mouth. Oh, man. Now, this is fun to watch. Security, could you please get these two bozos out of here? <laughs> oh, come on, bugger. Stop your fun. Go on. Show. Show. Thank you, security. Well, that was my son, so I, I guess I'll just go. What's this? It looks like we have a winner! <laughs> okay, okay, my colon's about to burst, but I did it. <laughs> the winner is Cody Spastic Colon Nutkiss! Oh, I did it? Really, I won? <laughs> Take that, Junior and Joseph. Oh, man, I gotta poop. <sighs> Hi, Marvin. How did the competition go? Jeffy got disqualified for fighting another contestant. Oh, no! Is Jeffy okay? I sure am, Mommy. Aw, Jeffy, I just know you would have won if you hadn't gotten to that fight. No, he would not win. He was never going to win because he actually wasn't eating the hot dogs this whole time. What? Yeah, he said he was throwing them over in the corner in the flower pot. I told you, Daddy. Look, just shut up, Jeffy. Don't get my hopes up about winning prize money ever again. Well, can you go get me some pizza? Jeffy, say please. <clears throat> What? Go! Ow! Hey, chumps. You're looking at the newest hot dog eating champion. What, you actually won, Cody? Yeah, although it's more like the hot dog stuffing champion, because my caboose is all full of meat. How much did you win, dude? Yeah, how much money did you win? Oh, there was no prize. The only prize was my free medium french fries that I get every week. Yeah, that's right. We remembered, and we're going to keep doing it, too. Oh, yeah, hold these, Ken. Look at these french fries. Mmm. I'm mm, so tired of you and your so french fries. Good. They're I so do. good and they're free. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, Danny, can I play Fortnite with my friends? No, Jeffy, we're watching a movie right now. But Danny, I gotta catch these dubs. Catch these dubs? Is that a disease? No, these W's. What are W's? Because when starts with a W, I gotta catch these wins, Daddy. Don't worry, Marvin. We're just getting old. All the kids are talking like that nowadays. Baby, I think I know what he's saying. He's saying he wants to win the game. Well, you can win the game later. But my friends won't be on later. Well, that sucks for them. Come on, Marvin. Just let him play one game. But what? I thought we were watching a movie. Come on, Marvin, please. Well, okay, Jeffy, you can play one game and then you gotta leave. 
leave. All right. You hear that, guys? Ready the F up. I've been ready. Yeah, I was ready the whole time, dude. Well, I'll be ready as soon as Ken gets his butt out of my face. Oh, wait, come back. Okay, fine, I'm ready. All right, where are we landing, guys? You already know the spot. We're going to Tilted Towers. Oh, yeah? We're going to walk out of there with about nine of limbs. Is, is nine of limbs good? Guys, my old fart daddy just asked me if nine eliminations was good. <laughs> what a noob! <laughs> Boomer. Guys, guess who's playing with one hand right now? What, what are you doing with the other hand? Shibby! I, I don't know what that means. What? Guys, I got a gold gun right off the rip! Oh, dude, I got a shotgun! But, Jeffy, what kind of guns you got? Currently looking for one, Junior. Yeah, me too. And currently getting shot at! Well, don't die, we just landed, Jeffy! I'm trying, but I'm lagging, I'm running in place right now! Come on! I'm trying my pings at 9,000! I got more ping than a Chinese phone book! What, is, is ping good? I don't know, Marvin. Is, is ping good? But, Je Jeffy, you're gonna die! Oh, no! Go get! But, Jeffy, do not talk like that! Come Jeffy! Jeffy! Her spaniel, the dog! Well, Jeffy, stop saying bad words like that. You're only saying that because you're around your friends. Oh, you think it's because of my friends? Well, Daddy, the internet is dick. Well, Jeffy, do not say if you say dick one more time, you're grounded. Well, Daddy, guess what the internet is? What? Dick. Jeffy, stop me. That is it. You are grounded. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't going to play anymore anyway because the lag is so bad. Because of this McDonald's internet. We do not have McDonald's internet, Jeffy. McDonald's like five miles away. Well, then move me closer to a McDonald's because then maybe my signal will be better. Well, Jeff, Jeffy, listen, we have internet here and it's fine. The internet is perfectly fine. No, it's not. Call the internet company and have them fix it. Well, then, Jeffy, then it wouldn't hurt to get better Wi-Fi. You gotta take his side. If he gets better Wi-Fi, he can sit in his room, play his games, and we can be alone. I guess you're right if I do have better internet. Okay, well, listen, even though when I, even if I get the internet fixed, you're still grounded, so you can't play on it anyway. Okay, that's fine. It'll be better next time when I'm not grounded. Oh, okay, l l let me call them. Great. Okay, Jeffy, I'm calling the internet company. Thank you. Hello, this is Camille Habib Habab. Camille is in camel. Habib Habab is in corn on the cob. And what can I do for you on this fine evening? Uh, yes, my internet is being really slow. No, Daddy, tell him how bad it really is. He needs to know. My son says the internet is dick. Oh, I'm so sorry you're experiencing dick internet. Let me pull up your account and see what I can find out for you. Oh, I see the problem. When I pull up your account associated for the phone number in which you are calling, it shows here that you are currently paying for the lowest internet package. Marvin, what is he saying? He said I'm paying for the lowest internet package. Well, how much for the fastest one? How much for the fastest internet? Well, currently you're paying $2 a month for dick internet. If you'd like to upgrade to the fastest internet, it would be $200 a month. $200 a month? How good would it be? Not dick? It would be not dick for $200 a month internet. I don't know, Marvin. That's a lot of money. Well, let's do it! Let's pay for it! Well, hold on, hold on. Is there any way to fix my internet without upgrading it? Like, could you send a guy out here to see if, like, he can unplug it or plug it back in or something? Well, we can try troubleshooting it. I would have to send a technician out and he will have to assess the problem with the internet, but it could work. Oh, okay, yeah. Send out a technician before we do any upgrades. I don't want to spend that kind of money right no, now. No, I want to upgrade, Daddy! Let's upgrade! Shush, Jeffy. Okay, there. send the technician. All right, the technician will be there any minute. All right, thank you. Daddy, pass the puff. What, what? The puff that you're puffing to get you this high to think well, we don't need faster internet. Uh, Jeffy, listen, th listen, they're sending a technician to try to fix our current internet, and before we spend $200 a month, that's a lot of money, Jeffy. Daddy, $200 a month is a small price to pay for me to catch dubs. Jeffy, you can catch dubs on the internet once the technician fixes our current internet. Listen, Jeffy, he'll be here any minute. Well, you're hot. <laughs> there he is, right now. The internet's gonna be fixed right now. Just sit right here and be patient. Hello? Hey there, I'm here to fix your crappy internet. Oh, thank God you're here. My son's been complaining about it all day. Oh yeah, kids these days sure do love their internet. I don't understand it. I think kids should just go outside, you know? Throw a football around. Get bit by a snake. Get stung by a wasp. See how long you can stick your hand in an ant pile. Put a jellyfish down your pants, you know? Live! There's a whole world of dangerous animals out there, and you just want to sit inside and play video games? Lame! Yeah, you want to fix the internet? Yeah, sure. Okay, so here's the internet box. Look, all the green lights are on, so why is it so slow? Well, I mean, you do have the cheapest internet. Okay, so can you do something to make it faster? Um, hmm, well, I mean, I guess I could unplug some wires, you know, maybe cut a few. What, well, cut some wires? Why? Oh, well, you know, you might have some bad wires. I'll just, you know, snip those real quick. And well, are you sure you know what you're doing? You're asking me if I know what I'm doing? I work for the internet company. They wouldn't have hired me if I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, okay, I was just making sure you know what you're doing. Okay, so I'm gonna deal with this, and I'll come get you when I'm done. Uh, okay. 
All right, Jeffy, the technician is working on the internet. Well, he's not doing a very good job because now the internet's out completely. Because he's working on it, Jeffy. That's why it's not working. Uh, hey, so I goofed. How'd you goof? Um, it turns out you're not supposed to cut all the wires. I told you that, but you said the internet company hired me. I know what I'm doing. Hey, listen, man, I watch a lot of movies, okay? You know, and in the movies, the bomb squads, they defuse the bombs by cutting the colored wires. So I was cutting the red one, and I thought it would blow up, but it didn't. The internet just went out. So now I don't have any internet. Well, I mean, it's not that much worse than what you already had. You had dick internet. <laughs> no, I don't have any more internet. Jeffy, calm down. All right, look, look, I want to upgrade my internet. I don't want the most expensive. I want the level above mine. Well, what, what, what's the level above mine? Well, the level above dick would be ass. What? Well, you have dick internet, and then above that would be ass internet. How good is that? I mean, it's ass, and when you're using it, you're not going to go, man, this internet's dick. You're going to go, this is ass. Okay, what's above that? Above that would be shitty internet. What's above that? Above that would be poor internet, and then above that would be McDonald's Wi-Fi internet, and then above that would be Walmart parking lot internet, and then above that would be IHOP Wi-Fi internet, and then above that is your basic internet, and that's where it starts to get usable. How much is basic internet? That's a hundred bucks a month. Oh man, that's expensive. How much is ass? Marvin, just get the basic internet! Uh, baby, a hundred dollars a month is expensive. How much is ass? It's four dollars a month. That sounds like a deal, Jeffy. No, let's get the most expensive one! Jeffy, we can't afford that. Listen, I wish there was a way that we can have fast internet without paying a lot of money, but it's just not an option. Hmm. Okay, listen, man, I'll tell you what. You give me a hundred bucks right now, I will give you your neighbor's Wi-Fi password. He has the best internet, okay? It is God-tier internet. It's the fastest you can get. Will, will he know that we're on his internet? Oh, Marvin, no. Marvin, you can't do that. That's illegal. It's stealing. What a baby, shut up. Men are talking. Okay, will he know that we're on his Wi-Fi? Oh, no way, dude. No, his internet's so fast, 50 people could be using it, and it wouldn't drop at all. Okay, you know what? Here. Here's a hundred bucks. We want his Wi-Fi password. Okay, his password is Haywood Jablomi. Let's type that in, Jeffy. What is it again? Haywood Jablomi. Oh, hey, look, it worked! Okay, awesome. Oh, yeah, so, point. so would you? What? Hmm? No, 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 nothing. You you enjoy that neighbor Wi-Fi. Oh, thank you so much. Baby, I'm sorry for yelling at you, but look, I, we just got a deal. We have internet for free now. We're just using the neighbors. Marvin, isn't Jeffy grounded? But, Mommy! Hush your mouth! Zip your hole! Yeah, Jeffy, you are grounded. So, you know, after this game, you gotta get off. But, Daddy, I've already got, like, two eliminations. I got three gold guns, and I'm already at, like, 500 mounts each. Oh, Jeffy, just... Let me Sue's at the door. Just, just keep playing your game, I guess. Hello? Hey, hey, are you stealing this guy's internet? Uh, but no, what are, you, what are you talking about? I noticed an unauthorized device on my IP broadband connection, and I stream and mine Bitcoin, and I noticed a slowing in my speeds. So I want to know who's fucking me. Uh, I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 what he's trying to say is somebody is using his internet, s somehow, and he wants to press charges. Because that's stealing, and I traced the device back to this address. Well, it's not me, I, I can promise you, I do not have a device connected to your internet. How would I even get the password? Yeah, 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 yeah. how would he even get the password? Hmm. I guess I'll have to go back to my house and change my password. Yeah, yeah, you should do that. Oh, man, I'm so sorry about him. That guy is nuts. Can you believe him? He noticed his internet drop by just a little bit. Well, what am I going to do for internet now? Well, I mean, I guess I can go back over there and try to get his new password. Oh, no, he'll notice, and he'll come back over here and try to press more charges. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, man. I've done all I can. Well, come on. That's got to be something you can do. Well, I guess all you're going to have to do now is just move closer to a McDonald's. Oh, thanks for nothing. But Okay, geez. Oh, mommy, I'm about to get this win. Oh, get this win, daddy. What, what the? Daddy! What's wrong, Jeffy? I got kicked off the internet. I thought you paid. Well, the cops were downstairs with a neighbor. He found out we were stealing his internet, and he changed the password. Marvin, I told you it was a bad idea. We should have just paid for Wi-Fi. But Wi-Fi is so expensive. You just wasted $100. We could have put it towards one month of basic internet. Or that would have been half of the good internet. Listen, Jeffy, listen, listen. I promise you'll be able to play games on the internet today. Ha! We don't even have Wi-Fi! Look, I have an idea. Grab your controller, grab your system, follow me. Okay. See, Jeffy, I told you I'd get you Wi-Fi, didn't I? Oh! Oh! I just got a win, boy! Emote on that hoe! Emote on that hoe! Daddy, I'm not MFing good! I, me, Jeffy, MFing Jeffy, just got a win on McDonald's Wi-Fi! I'm not MFing good! Bye! So guys, 
what do you want to do today? Actually, guys and girl, I invited Penelope. Hi, guys. What, what are you doing here, Penelope? Oh, so much estrogen in the room. We don't want you here. Cody, I told you I shouldn't have come. Yeah, I don't know what I expected. Junior, I thought you liked her. Of course I like Penelope. She's the love of my life, but I can't be nice to her in front of the boys. I gotta be mean. Ew, cooties, cooties, you're disgusting. Get out of here with your orange hair. Junior, you have orange hair. <gasps> She's right, dude. <laughs> Well, we don't like long orange hair, so leave! Yeah! Junior, shut up. Oh, okay, fine, guys. What are we all gonna do? Well, why don't we ask Penelope what she wants to do? Ooh, I We like... don't want to do makeup. We don't want to do our nails. We don't want to play Barbies. <laughs> I was yeah. going to say that we should watch my favorite show, Love Beach. We don't want to watch a chick show. But there's the sexiest lifeguard ever on that show! Ooh, sexy lifeguard. I think we should watch it. Well, how about you and Penelope watch it, and me and Joseph will find something else to do. There's hot girls on there, too. Hot, hot girls?! Okay, we'll watch it. Turn it on, channel seven. You're watching Love Beach. Help me, help me, I'm drowning! Uh, oh my god, that woman's drowning. Don't worry, ma'am. Me and my gorgeous looks will save you. <laughs> oh my god, he's so sexy! Oh, don't worry. I know I am. Oh my god, you're so so hot. You're not too bad yourself. My name's Brad with a big D. Ooh, my name's Brandy with double D's. Hey, can I get your Snapchat? <laughs> of course. <gasps> I know you're hot, but I still need help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my snap. Just hit me up and maybe we can hook up sometime. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Damn, she was fine. Wait, what was I doing? Oh yeah, ma'am, I'm coming to save you. Oh, I think she's dead. But I'm still hot. I'm gonna go hit up that girl. He's so sexy. Yeah, he is. Not as sexy as Steve Harvey. What are you talking about? The blonde girl is super hot. Nuh-uh, Junior. Brad is the hottest character on that show. How? Because he has the perfect teeth. Yeah, his teeth are perfect. Who cares about teeth? The blonde girl has cans. A smile is the most important part about a guy, Junior. Well, I can smile. Ooh, bro, don't hurt yourself. I don't know, Junior. I think you need teeth to have the perfect smile. But I don't have teeth. I know, that's why you'll never be hot. Yeah, Junior, why do you think I brush these puppies once a week? What? Once a week? Mm-hmm. Um, maybe a little less yellow? What? So if I had teeth, I would be I would be hot. Um, yeah. What? So guys, I'm not hot! Well, you're hot to me, but it's not your face I'm looking at. Joseph, are teeth important? Yeah, dude. Oh, I can't wait to get my braces off. Then I'll have a smile like Steve Harvey. I want to smile like Steve Harvey. Cody, why don't I have teeth? I don't know, Junior. Some people are just born without teeth. You know, like turtles. Well, I'm not a turtle anymore. I'm a human. So how do I get teeth? I don't know. Just maybe call a dentist? Uh, a dentist? That's going to be expensive. Let me go ask my dad if he can call me a dentist. Dad, dad, dad! Not right now, Junior. I'm watching Zoe 101. Do you have teeth? Well, what kind of stupid question is that? Of course I have teeth. Look at my pearly whites. Ah. Why do you have teeth? I don't have teeth. Wait, you don't? Oh, you're a toothless freak! <laughs> Everybody surround the toothless freak over here! <laughs> Only 25 cents to see him! Oh, well, Dad, why don't I have teeth? I don't know, maybe your mom drunk while she was pregnant with you or something. She did? I don't know, that lady was crazy. She couldn't give up the party life. Now I'm stuck with you. Well, Dad, can I call the dentist and ask to get teeth put in my mouth? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Doesn't mean I'm gonna pay for it. You're not gonna pay for it? No, I'm not gonna pay for it. I'm not rich. I'm broke. Look, look, look. you can pay for it. You're a grown man, right? Handle business. <laughs> okay, Dad. Now back to my Zoe. What's wrong, buddy? What'd your dad say? He said he won't pay for me to get new teeth. Well, I don't really blame him, Junior. Teeth are expensive. You know, veneers cost over $1,000 per tooth, and there are 32 teeth in the human mouth, so that's over $30,000. And the average income in Florida, where we live, is $27,000. So that would take you over a year just to get enough money to get new teeth. And this video is only supposed to be 10 minutes, so we gotta get this shit moving, dog. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, teeth are pretty expensive. I think we should find cheaper options. You said it'd be thirty thousand dollars for me to get new teeth? Yeah. Well, well, why don't we just ask our good old buddy Chef Pee Pee for the money? You mean our good old very broke buddy Chef Pee Pee? Well, he's not that broke. Look, I promise you, he'll give me the money for the teeth. Let me go ask him. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. Shh. The carrots are cooking. Can I borrow thirty thousand dollars for new teeth? Damn, thirty thousand dollars! Why do you even need new teeth? Just be like Chef Pee Pee. I don't have teeth. I'm perfectly fine. Wait, you don't have teeth? Nope. And I'm perfectly fine. Ah. Well, well, this girl said I would be hot if I had teeth. Look, women lie all the time, Junior. First, she's gonna want you to get new teeth. Then she's gonna want you to get six pack abs. Then she's gonna want you to be six feet tall. Look, just focus on yourself, King. Live your life. Live your beautiful life. So you're not gonna give me the money? I don't have the money right now, bro. Dang. Uh, okay. <gasps> <sighs> What's wrong now, bud? 
say, Junior? <sighs> Chef Pippi say he doesn't have thirty thousand dollars to give me. Here we go. I don't know why you thought he had that much money, Junior. He's just a chef, and chefs in the United States only make about fifty thousand dollars a year. And Chef Pippi probably makes less than that because he's really just a slave for your dad, so he probably only makes pennies a day. And even if he did make that much, I don't know why he'd give you his entire yearly salary just for you to get teeth when he doesn't even have teeth himself. Because really, we're all just puppets being controlled by humans floating on a piece of rock in space in one of a trillion galaxies and never expanding universe that'll one day collapse and die in a heat death, so we could all just enjoy all the time we have on Earth while we can't. Fuck. You should really just call a dentist. Okay, how about I call a dentist and just see how much it is? I just. I really wanted to have the $30,000 waiting for him, but I'll just call a dentist and see if there's cheaper options. Hey there, somebody call an at-home dentist? God, I wish these existed. Yeah, we have a teeth problem. What is it, this kid's teeth? Because damn, those are gross. Your teeth look like pieces of corn. Well, no, it's me. See, I don't have teeth. What, are you using this kid's brushing habits? Okay, I don't need to hear this, so I won't. Well, no, it's just I don't have teeth, and I was wondering, like, you know, if I could get fake teeth. Well, a full set of veneers is going to cost you about $30,000. I don't have $30,000. Okay, then. Duel me! Blue Eyes White Dragon! Wow, wow. That's what a blue eyes white dragon sounds like. Beat that. What? I don't have Yu Gi Oh cards. You lose. No free teeth for you. Looks like you just suck at Yu Gi Oh. But I don't have Yu Gi Oh cards. Yeah, you suck. I win, like I always do, because nobody ever has Yu Gi Oh cards. Okay, so what is the cheapest option for teeth? The cheapest option was to duel me, but you already lost that. Oh, okay, what are the cheapest option above that? Well, I guess the cheaper option would be I could go to a cemetery, dig up a body, pull its teeth out, and then put them in your mouth. Okay, how much would that cost? Well, look, man, you just give me a shovel and I'll get to town, okay? I, I've always wanted to be a grave robber. Well, th there's a shovel downstairs, just go grab it. Okay, awesome! Hold uh, still, uh, and uh, done! Uh, oh my god. Oh no, what have I done? But oh. how's it look, Joseph? Hmm. What, what's wrong? Dude, it looks so terrifying! What, it's terrifying? Yeah, I mean, you look like you have a dead person's teeth in your mouth. So I'm not hot? No, you look like a nightmare. Look, can someone please just call Penelope so she can tell me if it looks good? Wait, my daughter Penelope? Yeah, she's the only reason I'm doing this. Okay, yeah, I'll call her so she never talks to boys ever again. Penelope! What do you want, Dad? This thing wants to talk to you. Hey, Penelope, do you like my smile? <laughs> Hey, I think she's into you, you little lady killer you. Cause you do look like you kill ladies and eat them and wear their face on your face. Well, is it that bad? Oh yeah, I don't know how we thought this was a good idea. Well, it was just the cheapest option. I just want pretty teeth. Okay, look, I can understand that you want to have good teeth and as a dentist, I respect that. So I went to Party City and I got you a whole bunch of silly teeth you can try. Wait, really? Yeah, let me go get them. All right, try those bad boys out. How do I look? Uh, you look like your name is Rufus. What? Jojo, are they good? Uh, it looks like you sleep with your sister, dude. Well, I mean, Penelope does have orange hair, so we could be brother and sister. No, 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 no. I got my wiener snipped when I was born, so I can't have any more kids. Oh, wait, no, that was a circumcision, not a vasectomy. Oh, God, I might have so many kids out there somewhere. Oh, I'm so stupid. Do you think Penelope will like these teeth? No, I think we should try something else. Okay, I mean, you're the dentist. Let's try something else. Hold still and BAM! Check these out! These are badass! You look like a great white shark! How do I look, Joseph? Dude, you look so sick! I feel like I just want to bite everything! Like, I want to bite everything! Oh god! Oh no, my arm! Oh, Jesus, help me! Oh, oh god, it hurts! It hurts so bad! I really like these shark teeth! I feel like I bite everything! Hmm, no. No, I don't like these teeth. But I like them! No, especially if you're going to be talking to my daughter. I, I think you need different teeth. Well, okay. And done! Rob the jewelry store and tell them make me a grill. Ding, 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 ding. You, you remember that song from like 2005? Most of you weren't born yet, but that's what you kids would call a banger. Uh, Joseph, how's it look? Dude, it looks so sick. You could actually be a rapper or something. Oh, okay, then I want to keep these. No, see, those are going to cost you about $150,000. $150,000? Why would you put them in my mouth then? I just wanted to sing the song. Let me get those out for you, champ. We'll try something more affordable. All right, how about these? I gave you two little fangs. Dude, you look like a vampire. Ah, he's sucking my blood. I really like these, Joseph. No, no, I, I, I don't like those. You, you look dumb. Wait, why? Well, you just, you just do. I'm, I just really want to. No, back up, you little blood sucker. Let me get those out. What? What? Uh huh. Yep. These are the teeth. How do they look? Well, they're not real veneers. I just took some foam and then used a pencil to draw lines on them so they look like teeth. But you look great, Joseph. Are they good? <gasps> you look like Steve Harvey. I do. Yep. You got that million dollar smile. You can host all the game shows. Hell, be a judge if you want. Apparently, you can do anything with teeth like that. So women are gonna think I'm hot. Totally, dude. Thanks, dentist. You're welcome, boy. Wait, who you calling boy, huh? Him, him, uh, him, yeah, him, him. Yeah. 
Penelope, can you get in here? I want you to see my smile. Junior, if you have those scary teeth, then I'm gonna throw this apple at you. What scary teeth? Oh my God, Junior, your teeth, they're gorgeous. Yeah, I look like a car salesman. I'd buy a timeshare from you, bro. Thanks, Joseph. You went from a four to a 10 in just a few minutes. What are you talking about, Penelope? I've always had this beautiful smile. I just never noticed your perfect teeth before. So, would you date me now? Of course, Junior. All the girls are gonna be so jealous that I'm dating someone with a hot smile. So you want to go on a date with me tonight? Yeah, Junior, but do you want to bite in my apple? Of course. With these perfect teeth, I can bite into anything. Oh, oh my God! Your teeth are fake! Get away from me, freak! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. oh, my teeth are really broken! Yes, dude. Ah! You do not look like Steve Harvey. <laughs> What's wrong, buddy? No, no, Cody. You got to do it in a higher pitch, like this. Buddy? 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 buddy. buddy. Uh, God! Can you please stop? What's wrong, buddy? I, I had a perfect smile and then I broke my teeth when I bit into an apple. Well, maybe you should have bitten into something softer, like the free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week. Now that's every week. Not every video, not every day, every week. That was the deal. Awards. So I'll be handing out trophies to students who have excelled excellently at being a student. Oh, oh, I want a trophy! The first trophy goes to the student with the highest GPA in the class. It's gonna be me. Y you know, like that NSYNC song? You know, it's gonna be me, because I'm gonna win. This trophy goes to Cody! Oh, yeah, that's right. I knew it. Out of my way. Guy with a big peen coming through. All right, Cody, here's your trophy. Oh, yeah, give it to me, Daddy. First, I'd like to thank me for being so smart. Then, I'd also like to thank my boyfriend, Ken, for getting me through those rough nights. And I'd also like to thank the Flying Spaghetti Monster. Shout out to all my Pastafarians. All right, that's enough, Cody. Go sit down. <laughs> Check that out, Junior. It's all me. I got a big brain. I can give good brain. Man, I got a lot of brain. Oh, I want a trophy. All right, the next trophy goes to the coolest kid in school. Well, 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 I wonder who that could be. PJ, 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 All right, PJ. all right, calm down. Let's not get cocky. This trophy obviously goes to PJ Crenshaw, Pear Jemmy's Crenshaw, Jemmy Jems Crenshaw. <laughs> Damn, who could have seen that coming? <laughs> Here's your trophy, PJ. Oh, another one? <sighs> I guess I'll just put it with the others. <laughs> Here, ladies, fight over it. Oh, <laughs> this last trophy is the biggest trophy, and it goes to the quickest kid that leaves the class when school ends. There's a car on it because you go so fast. I'm always fast when I leave the class. I don't want to be here. This trophy goes to Joseph. Well, it makes sense. I am closest to the door, guys. <laughs> Here's your trophy, Joseph. Dude, this is so cool. I never got a trophy before. <laughs> oh, Cody, my trophy is so much bigger than yours. Joseph, that trophy doesn't even make sense. It's a car trophy. I think maybe he's just trying to give away old trophies he doesn't want. Don't be jealous, bro. This isn't fair. I want a trophy. All right, Crass. That does it for the student awards. You can go home. This isn't fair. I wanted a trophy. <laughs> Was handing out trophies today, and I didn't get a trophy at school. What, what, what were the trophies for? <laughs> the, the, the trophies were for the bestest kids in class, and I try every day to be the best student that I can be, and I didn't get a trophy. Well, that just means you have to be a better student. <laughs> I'm gonna ugly cry, and I'm never gonna stop crying until I get a trophy. Where? Where? Trophy. Well, go buy him a trophy. What's that gonna teach him? To cry more? Ah! Okay! Okay! I'll go get you a damn trophy! I'll get you the biggest trophy they have! Okay, Jeffy, I got you a trophy. Marvin, this thing's huge! I wish I heard that every night. Daddy, you got me the biggest trophy ever? Yeah, because you're the world's biggest crybaby. Sure am, Daddy. But I gotta ask, what sport is it for? Because it looks like it's for snowboard ball. Because he's standing on a snowboard and he's holding a ball. Yeah, Jeffy, that's the sport. All right, what place did I get? Obviously first, Jeffy. Look how big it is. Marvin, why is it dusty? It's like some guy's old bowling trophy. I don't know. It was like $600. Daddy, can I answer the door and show the person at the door my big trophy? Yeah, sure, Jeffy. Just take Great. it. Great. 
Hey, yo. Hey, is Marvin here? I need a new bowling buddy for my bowling team because our third player broke their hand and today is the championship. Look at my trophy. Oh my god, is that a bowling trophy? Look at the size of it. It's gigantic. You must be great at bowling to have a trophy that big. Well, I have the trophy. Well, do you want to be on a bowling team? We would definitely win with your help. Sure. Well, come on, it's starting right now. Hello and welcome to the 25th annual DeLuna Lanes Bowling Championship. Today is going to be a spicy matchup. Come on, Brooklyn guy, where are you? The match is about to start. You don't have enough people. Looks like you're gonna have to forfeit. Yeah, losers. Okay, okay, I'm here. We got a third bowler. What, Jeffy? No way, dude. Oh, we're gonna lose. No, no, no. Listen, Jeffy has the biggest bowling trophy I've ever seen. The only way he can have a trophy that big is if he's a god at bowling. Really? The biggest trophy? The biggest. Oh, okay, I'll trust you. You're gonna lose. The only thing I'm gonna lose is my tampon when I sneeze it out. Yeah, when we win, look at guy, I'm kissing your wife. No, you're not. Okay, let's get started. I'm up first. All right, bowlers, on your mark, get set, bowl! Yeah. Okay, Brooklyn guy, you got this. You can't lose to your own mom and brother. What, what is that? God, come on, what is that? Come, are you kidding me? Oh, God, this sucks. You suck, Brookie! <laughs> Ew, don't spit on me. You know what, I'm gonna pick up this spare. Bet you won't. Take this, Mom. Shit! Oh, I suck. Oh, oh my god, my third grade math teacher was right. I will never amount to anything. What the hell was that, dude? I know, okay? Ugh, don't talk to me, don't talk you to me. You suck, Brookie. Yeah, well, I don't suck as much as you do with the neighbor Tommy. Well, at least Tommy's a real man, unlike your father. Hey, Brooklyn guy, let me show you how a real man handles balls. Yes. All right, ball. Are you ready to bang into those pins nice and hard? Don't worry, I'll be gentle. Tommy! Okay, I was robbed. There's no way that this lane is regulation size. Mom! What the hell was that, Jonathan? You suck just like Brookie. I'm sorry, Mother. I'll get the next one. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see you try. Okay, Mom. I won't let you down. Uh... Oh, man, I'm so grounded. I'm sorry, Mother. You suck ass! <laughs> See that, Mom? He and I suck equally. But you still suck more, Brookie. Well, how? We both get nine pins. Let me show you, Trump's how a pro bowls. <laughs> okay, PP. Pee -pee. Time to stun on them holes. Aw, oh, come on! That was supposed to be a strike! It's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna get the spare. Oh, no. Nah. They didn't piss PP -pee off. See, man? I got robbed, too. Well, I'm gonna actually get my spare. All right, Pen, I'm about to pull up my clock and blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay, that's what I'm talking about. PP to go, PP to go, y'all see that? <laughs> you guys see that? Yeah, high five. No, don't touch my hand. You probably rubbed the bowling magic off, peasant. Okay. Hey, Brookie, you're about to watch your mom handle balls, and trust me, these ain't the biggest ones I've ever handled. Jesus. All right, you bitch-ass pins, you're coming home with mama. Ugh. Yeah, screw you, Pins. That's what Mama does. You all can suck my ass, Wrinkles. You suck all of you. You got a strike, Mother. You're so good. That's what I do. Your Mama's a pro. Dude, we're so screwed. Oh, no, we're not, because we got the bowling champ right here. You did not see how big this man's trophy was. Are you sure? Oh, I'm sure. Get out there, Jeffy. Do what you do. Oh, we're going to win. Are you sure, dude? Oh, I am positive. You did not see how massive his bowling trophy was. How confident are you? I'll show you how confident I am. Hey, Ma. What do you want, Brookie? I bet you every dollar in my bank account that Jeffy gets a strike. You're on, Brookie. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. You did not see how gigantic this bowling trophy was. You know what, Ma? I bet you my entire house we win this bowling tournament. Brady, you can't. Help. Dude, you're crazy! Guys, don't worry! This bowling trophy was gigantic! <laughs> just, just don't worry, watch Jeffy bowl. Ah! Ha! Start moving your shit out, Brookie! That, 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 that doesn't count, because he, he didn't hit any pins, so I'm just gonna go to see what the hell his problem is. What, what the hell are you doing? Bowling! Okay, well stop the bowling and start bowling! Ugh, come on. Okay, I'm assuming your hand got stuck, and that's why whatever the hell that was just happened. Yeah. Okay, I need you to get a strike this time. On it. What, 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 what the hell is that? Honestly, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. What, what, why do you have a giant bowling trophy then? Because my daddy bought it for me one time when I cried. What, what? Are you kidding me? No. Nope. So you don't know how to bowl? What's bowl? Oh my god, I am so screwed. Hey, man, 
Oh, hey, Jeffy, where'd you go? We were looking everywhere for you. We found your trophy downstairs, so we brought it back up here. I went and lost a bowling tournament. What? Hey, hey, you. Hey, what's this about, huh? What's it about? What? This, the trophy, the giant trophy. What's it about? Oh, well, Jeffy's school was giving out awards, and he didn't get a trophy, and he was crying, so I bought him the trophy. Th that is that is fucked up. That is fucked up that you can just do that. That should be illegal. Well, what are you talking about? This bowling trophy cost me everything I have. How? Well, you see, I was in a bowling tournament, and we needed a third player, and I saw Jeffy's giant trophy and said, oh, he must be a bowling god. They wouldn't give a trophy this big to somebody who sucks at bowling, and then it turns out he's never played a goddamn game in his life. What's a bowling? See, see that? That is fucked up. That is fucked up that someone like him can have a trophy this big. Well, the trophy doesn't mean he's good at bowling. That's exactly what it means. That's what trophies are for, to show that you're good at something, that you actually won. Wait, so you lost everything? Everything. I lost my house. I lost my money. I lost my wife, although I'm not really that worried about that one, but I'm still pretty pissed. Well, how did you lose? Like, who, who'd you bet it against? Well, I bet it against my mom, because I said we would win that tournament, and guess what? We did not win that tournament, and I lost everything. What would make you think you were going to win that tournament? Well, because it's a trophy. You know, the giant trophy. I mean, hey, if I was walking around with a lightsaber, you would think I was a Jedi, right? Yeah. No, no, no. This is just this is just a lightsaber I bought at Target. It's not real. You said silly. You thought I was a Jedi? Ha, huh? you're stupid. Okay, okay listen. Um, wh what do you want us to do about it? I want this. I want you to make this right. I'm, I'm so, mm, so mad. How can I make it right? Well, I, I just, I just, you should, this shit, this should be gone. You should burn this. This is bullshit. This is all bullshit. Will that get you your house back? No, it won't, but it'll make me feel better because I'm just so pissed off. Is this the most pissed you've ever been? This is, yes, this is the most mad I've ever been about bowling. Actually, no, this is the second most mad I've ever been about bowling. What's, what's the first most mad you've ever been about bowling? Billy Bowling Hands. What, Billy Bowling Hands? Yes, I will tell you why I'm so mad about Billy Bowling Hands, that smug bastard. Okay, so when I was in high school, I was in a bowling league, right? And I was the best bowler. I mean, I was a god of bowling. I was bowling nothing but strikes. All the girls were going goo goo gaga over me. It was awesome. But then, here comes Billy Bowling Hands. See, he lost both his hands in a train accident when he was younger and got him replaced with bowling balls. Now, at first, I thought, well, that's stupid. I mean, how is he going to, like, eat and drive? and stuff. But no, it turns out that actually made him extremely good at bowling, because all he had to do was throw his body down the lane and ride his bowling ball hands into the pins. So I was thinking, that can't be, that can't be legal. He, he can't be allowed to do that. So then I look it up into the rule book, and yes, you can do that as long as your hands are bowling balls. So then he becomes the best bowler in the school. He's winning tournament after tournament, trophy after trophy. He's bowling strike after strike. All the girls are leaving me and they're going to him because he's also jacked because bowling balls are really heavy. They're like 25 pounds each. So I just decided to quit bowling because I can't compete with Billy Bowling Hands. So then I decided to take up boxing. You know, that seems pretty manly. I can do that. But then he starts boxing too. And after one round, he punches all my teeth out with his bowling ball hands. That's why I don't have teeth anymore. And I'm like, that can't be allowed. He has bowling balls for hands. His hands don't even fit inside the gloves. So I quit that, and then I start doing everything else. And everything I join, he joins too. All the things you'd think you wouldn't be able to do with bowling ball hands, he did. Like Billy bowling volleyball hands, and Billy bowling basketball hands, and Billy bowling badminton hands, and Billy bowling future farmers of America hands. Everything. Everything I joined, he joined and did it better with his bowling ball hands. So then I decided to join the swim team. And then he joined the swim team, and I challenged him to a swimming competition. And he drowned, because his big bowling ball hands weighed him down to the the bottom of the pool and nobody could get him out. So I'm thinking, great, I'm finally rid of Billy Bowling Hands. He's dead. But no, they decided to name the entire school after him. Billy Bowling Hands Memorial High School. And they even named the bowling alley after him. Billy Bowling Hands Memorial Bowling Alley Bar and Grill. And then all the girls around the school were crying because Billy Bowling Hands was dead, and they were mad at me because they thought I was the reason he died. And I'm like, it's not my fault, it's him and his stupid bowling hands. But bowling ball hands, you get it. But ever since then, I swore that I would never bowl again, until today. And boy, was that a mistake, because I lost everything. Oh man, that's such a sad story. Yeah, it is. And you know what else is sad? What? Me losing everything I have! Well listen, I'm really sorry about the confusion with the bowling trophy. It, that wasn't supposed to happen. I feel like we should make it up to you. Yes, you should. Good. Okay, look, you can stay here as long as you want until you get back on your feet. I don't have feet. Maybe if I replace them with bowling balls, everyone would love me. Brookie bowling feet. That'd be me. You don't have to do that. They cheated. They cheated. Wait, what? Yeah, they cheated. Your mother tested positive for steroids. Yeah, and I would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for you meddling drug testers. Wait, if they cheated, that means we won the bowling tournament. And that means I don't lose my house. I mean, I still lose all my money because I bet that Jeffy would get a strike and he didn't. But I don't lose my house. Hey, Lance, take my mad eyes off. Yay, I'm happy again! And I still have my house, which means my wife will come back! 
Although I might wait a while before I tell her about that. Wait, so you got everything back? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm so happy for you. You know, you deserve to keep all your stuff after all the sad things you've been through. Yeah, but seriously, though, you need to get rid of that trophy. I don't want you pulling this kind of shit ever again. Got it? Okay, I, I will get rid of it right now. Good. Oh, oh, oh fuck. Ah! Are you ready to play with my new Robo Rage toy? Oh, cool. Bish versus Bosh. Oh, dude, I want to be Chris Bosh. And I want to be Bish, because I'm 100% that Bish. I want to play with the new robot toy. So let's open it and play with it. I go first. No, dude, I want to go first. No, I want to go first. Guys, it's my toy, so I get to go first. No, 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 Okay, guys, listen. We need to buy two more of these robots so we all can play. All right, let's buy two more. But this is a $100 toy, Jeffy. We don't have $100. Well, maybe we could raise money. Like, we could do a car wash or something. Like, I could take my shirt off and wash cars. Well, honestly, I just want an excuse to take my shirt off. Yeah, guys, we could wash cars and raise the money, and then we could all play with the robots. So, look, let's go wash some cars, guys. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, time to get Marvin's house painted. Can I go outside and wash cars with my friends? No! Why? 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 I don't get it! Why? Man, come on, let Jeffy go outside and do a job. But baby, he's gonna be touching other people's cars and he might damage them and then it'll be my problem. But Marvin, you're not gonna give him money, so let him go work for it. Yeah, Daddy, I'm a working man. Okay, fine, Jeffy, you can go wash cars, but if you damage anyone's car, it's your responsibility. I don't know what responsibility means, but I got it, Daddy. Oh, this is a bad idea. Who's at the door? Hello? Hey Marvin, I'm here for your house payment. Oh, Goodman, uh, well, you see, I don't have my house payment this month. You know what this is, Marvin? A banana? Mm-hmm. Why, why, why are you peeling a banana? Because this banana represents your wiener. And if you don't have your house payment by the end of the day today, this is what I'm gonna do to your wiener. What? I'm gonna cut it off, Marvin. I'm gonna cut off your wiener. Oh, okay, okay, look, I will get the house payment by the end of the day. Well, now I'm gonna come inside and use your bathroom and clog your toilet. What the, 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 oh. Oh, guys, look, a Lamborghini. Let's wash this car. But, Jenny, this guy didn't ask us to clean his car. I know, Cody, but if we wash it and do a really good job, the guy will come out and go, damn, you cleaned my car really good. Here's a thousand bucks. Junior, I don't think forcing people to pay us for stuff they didn't ask for is a really great business model. Cody, just shut up and wash the car and look sexy. Okay, that I can do. Junior, I don't have a sponge. Um, well, go find one. Okay. I think they grow in the grass or something. Now, where can I find a sponge at? Oh, that looks like a sponge. Don't forget to wash the grill, Cody. Okay. I'm gonna check on Jeffy and see how he's doing. Ah, Jeffy, what are you doing? I'm doing great, Junior. I'm washing it so good that the paint's coming off. What? Squeaky clean. That's a brick! House. You know, like the song? She's a brick house. What? Jeffy, you can't wash it with a brick stuff! Cody, come here! What's wrong, Junior? Look! Whoa, well, that, that, that is a problem. How'd that even happen? This is the only sponge that I could find. You used a brick? House. And we damaged the car, Cody! Junior, the guy's not gonna pay us $1,000 for this. So what do we do? Okay, I have an idea. I say we get out of here. Cody, come back! Do I keep washing it or not? No, Jeffy, we have to go, come on! Oh, Marvin, I clogged your toilet bad. Here, smell my fingers. Oh, God, oh, why does it smell like that? Because when I was wiping, my finger broke through the toilet paper and went in my ass crack. So that's what you just smelled. Oh, why didn't you wash your hands? Because you don't have any soap. So maybe tonight after you give me your house payment, you invest in some soap. Oh, okay, just, I, I know, just come back later. All right, I'll be back tonight. And if you don't have your house payment, you know what will happen to your banana. What about bananas? Uh, listen, baby, you don't want to know. What the hell? Why is there soap on my car? Did someone try washing my car and they didn't even finish? What the fuck? Did someone try washing my car with a brick? Marvin! Daddy, washing cars is hard. Why? What happened? Because there's so many different types of sponges, I don't know which one to use. I get confused. What are you talking about? Oh, hold on. Hello? You pull your pants down! It's coming off! Well, you said I had to the end of the day! Not anymore! Not after what you did to my car! What did I do to your car? Come here! This! Well, I didn't do that! I know you didn't do it, but your son did! How do you know he did it? Because he left me a bill. Car wash bill, $1,000 owed to Jeffy. Well, I, I, it wasn't me who did it. it was I don't give a fuck. You got to get me your house payment and the money to fix my car by the end of the day, or y you know what happened to the banana. Oh, oh, oh okay, I'll try it. Jeffy! Jeffy! You damaged Goodman's car by washing it? Mm -hmm. Well, why would you do that, Jeffy? Ah! 
What? No, Jay, why did you do that? Dad, I told you sponges are hard. No, they're not hard, Jeffy. They're supposed to be soft and squishy and they, and they wash things. Well, how was I supposed to know that? Jeffy, you owe me $5,000 by tonight or get out of the house. Marvin, that's not a realistic amount of money Jeffy can get to you by tonight. Oh, Mommy, I understand. I screwed up big time. Yes, you did, Mr. Dad. You go get me that money now. All right, Daddy, I'll get you that money, even if I have to swing leg. Go! Well, washing cars was a bad idea. I can't believe Jeffy used a brick. Wait, Jeffy used a brick? Wait, Joseph, why weren't you outside washing cars with us? Because I don't do manual labor, dude. My people suffered enough. I'm enjoying my freedom. So, Cody, how are we going to get $100 to buy more robots? Junior, I don't think we should try to raise any more money. We've done enough damage. Hey, guys, my daddy said I need to raise $5,000 by tonight or he's going to kick me out of the house. But that's not even possible. Well, Cody, did you not hear what Jeffy just said? If he doesn't get $5,000 by tonight, he's going to be homeless. Well, Junior, that's not possible. And also, he damaged that car. I mean, it's not our problem. We were trying to wash it. But, Cody, friends stick together. we got to help our friends. Yeah! So we have to help Jeffy get the $5,000. Well, how are we going to do that, Junior? Um, hold on. Let me think. I'm going to be like Jimmy Neutron. Think. 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 Ugh, who's at the door ruining my brain blast? Come on, Cody. Let's answer the door. Hello? Hi, Junior. Do you want to buy some Girl Scout cookies? We have s'mores. A mint cookie? No, Penelope. We don't want to buy stupid, dumb Girl Scout cookies. We need money ourselves. We're not going to waste it on cookies. Damn, Junior. You could have just said no. Well, actually, I, I will take some of those mint cookies. Aw, thanks, Cody. Here your mint cookies, think breath. Bye. Okay, that was rude. Cody, why would you buy cookies? Well, I'm sorry, but now my feelings are hurt. Cody, if you have money for cookies, why don't you give it for Jeff? He needs $5,000. It was only $10, Junior. Cody, oh my god, we need money. Wait a minute. Buying those cookies just gave me an idea. Oh, yeah, we should probably... We should beat up those girls for the money. What? No, I thought you were going to say we should sell cookies. What? No, selling cookies is hard. Beating up girls is easy. Chris Brown does it. What? Chris Brown doesn't beat people up for money. He doesn't? What? No. Then why'd he do it? Because he's an asshole. Oh. So you're saying we should sell Girl Scout cookies? Yes, that would be much easier. All right, let's go tell the other guys. Guys, guys, guys! Me and Cody found the fastest way to make $5,000. Well, I wouldn't say it's the fastest way to make $5,000. Me and Cody found the best way to make $5,000. I definitely wouldn't say it's the best way either. We found a way to make $5,000. Over time, yes. All right, guys, so we were at the door, and these Girl Scouts showed up and said, you want to buy some cookies? And Cody gave them $10 for no reason. Well, I did get cookies. So, guys, I was thinking we could sell cookies, and we could make $5,000. That's a good idea, Junior. Yeah, that's a dope idea, dude. Junior, we're not going to make $5,000 just from selling cookies, and we have to do it today. Well, Cody, we're going to sell this one box of cookies for $5,000. Junior, that's insane. No one's going to pay $5,000 for a box of cookies. Yes, they will. If we tell them that there's a possibility that there's $10,000 inside it, they'll pay $5,000 for it. That's a pretty big gamble, Junior. I don't think anyone's going to do that. Yes, they will, because if we tell them that there's $10,000 in that box, they're going to say, hmm, I could double my money if I give them $5,000. Okay, Junior, I want you to think about this. First, we have to find somebody who has $5,000 in cash on them, which is pretty rare in this economy, and they also have to be dumb enough to pay $5,000 for a box of cookies. Cody, anything's possible. We landed on the moon. We're humans. We have thumbs. If caterpillars were trying to do this, I would say it's impossible, but we can make it happen. I, I will agree with you that caterpillars couldn't do this. All right, so guys, we have to find some Girl Scout outfits. Oh, I actually have some from role-playing with Ken. Okay, so you go get those outfits. Someone's gonna believe there's $10,000 in that box. Wait, there's $10,000 in that box, dude? See, Cody, someone will believe it. Let's go, guys! Okay. Okay, guys, this is the first house, and I feel like we're gonna get the $5,000. Hello? Hey, we're trying to sell Girl Scout cookies. But you guys aren't girls. Uh, oh, I forgot. Anybody can be a girl these days. Yeah, I'd love some Girl Scout cookies. Well, all we have is the mint cookie flavor. Oh, that's great. That's my favorite kind. Uh, what's that, like 10 bucks? Uh, hold on. Do you have change for 100? Uh, yeah, we have change for 100. Okay. Take this and run. Wait, wait, where's he going with my money? Oh, he's going to go get change from the car. I don't see a car. Oh, it's parked way down the street. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, but while we, while we wait, I have an amazing opportunity for you, sir. Uh, okay, I'd like to hear it. What if I told you that there's $10,000 in this box of cookies? I wouldn't believe you. Well, if you give us $5,000, you'll have a chance to open up this box to see if there's $10,000 in it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. That sounds like a terrible deal. Well, well do you have $5,000 anywhere in the house? No, no, I don't think I do. Oh. Is it? Is that kid gonna come back with my money? RUN! What? Hey, hey, you bastards! Get back here! Shit! Honey, shit! What's wrong, boy D? Well, these kids came to the door dressed like Girl Scouts and they scammed me out of $100. I should have known something was fishy when they weren't girls. Aw, boy D, you know kids will be kids. No, honey, they committed a felony! Well, did you at least get the cookies? No! God, I'm so, so pissed! <sighs> 
Well, guys, we got $100. Yeah, we just need 4,900 to go. Well, we only have to go to 49 more houses, Cody. Well, yeah, and we have to hope that everybody gives us $100 and asks for change, and then we run off every time. Stop being a negative Nancy, Cody. That's my mommy's name. Well, wait, dude, you got 100 bucks? Sick. Wait, Joseph, why weren't you trying to sell cookies with us? Because I told you I'm not doing manual labor, dude. Well, technically, guys, we did get the hundred dollars we needed to buy more robots. I mean, yeah, that's true. We could just buy more robots. I mean, it's up to you, Jeffy. Do you want to buy the robots or go to 49 more houses? Hmm. Okay, guys, let's fight with our robots. Yeah, we're two bad bitches. But you're no match for my boss. All right, guys, let's fight. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 my God. We're kicking your ass. Oh, my God, you're up your boss. Oh, no, uh, my boss is kicking your bitch ass. No, it isn't. It's my bitch is bitch in your boss. Marvin, why are you biting your nails? Because I'm worried that Jeffy's not gonna get the money in time. So you don't have the money. Oh, Goodman! Good thing I brought the scissors. What are the scissors for? Oh, he didn't tell you? Oh, Pooby, banana me. Hey, what's up? Do you mind peeling that banana for me, Pooby? Oh, yeah, sure. What's the banana for? Oh, you'll see. The banana represents Marvin's wiener. Oh, it's not that big. And since he doesn't have my house payment, Graphic, I know. Hey, you gonna finish this banana? No, Pooby, you can have it. Oh, thank you. So you guys watching the video, just know every time you are watching a video, Pooby is behind the couch eating a banana. So go ahead and like the video. For every like that you give us, that's another banana for Pooby. So Marvin, since you don't have my money, whip it out. Uh, Jeffy might have the money. L let me go check. No, we can't get money there. Take oh, that, you no, no. Hey! Jeffy, where's my money? Oh, I gave up on now. We're playing with robots. Oh, Jeffy, you owe me five thousand. Come on. Okay, Goodman. Look, it's Jeffy's fault. He's the one that destroyed your car. So if anyone should get their banana snipped, it's him. Marvin. Baby, my 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 wiener. It's not like we use it. Well, Marvin, I have a special punishment for Jeffy. Come with me. Is this your car? Yep. Is this the brick that you use to wash my car? Watch like it. Well, I'm gonna wash your car. Ugh! Don't you ever touch my car again! Ooh. Oh, Marvin, what do you think he's doing to Jeffy? I don't know, baby, but I'm worried about my wiener. I don't want it to get snipped off. <gasps> his scissors. Ooh, baby, hide his scissors. Oh, okay. All right, Marvin, I just punished Jeffy. I threw a brick at his car. Now we're even. Now for you, young man, you didn't pay your house payment. So now I'm going to snip off your wiener. Wait a minute. Where, where are my wiener snipping scissors? I left them right here. Uh, I, I don't I don't know. I haven't seen them. Well, I can't snip wieners without my wiener snipping scissors. And I can't just use a regular pair of scissors. Darn, Marvin. I guess it's your lucky day. I guess I'm just gonna have to punch you in the dick instead. Oh, oh my god! And you bet your dick I'm gonna order me a new pair of wiener snipping scissors, and then next month, when you don't have your house payment, I'm gonna snip your wiener clean off your body. You know what? Better yet, I'm gonna snip it long way so it looks like a snake tongue. Oh, uh, well, I guess is the best outcome that could have happened today. Delicious, Jeffy. Thank you. Eat it. Okay. Um, num, num, num. No, actually, put it in your mouth and chew it and swallow it. But, Jeffy, it's Play Doh. You Eat it! Okay. Uh, Jeffy, look that way. Mmm, -hmm. delicious. Good. I'll make you three more. Ugh. Baby, you don't actually have to eat it. I know, Marvin, but I don't want to hurt his feelings. What's wrong, Jeffy? Nothing. Look, Marvin, the news is on. <gasps> Breaking news, okay? Tom Brady, seven-time Super Bowl champion, is getting divorced by his wife. I have an exclusive interview with him now. Let's go to that. Okay, I'm here with Tom Brady. Wow, you're tall. You want to be one of my defensive linemen? No, Tom, I don't want to be part of your football team. But how are you taking the divorce? What, divorce? I'm getting divorced? Yes, your wife filed for divorce this morning. Oh, that sucks, I guess. Well, do I still get to play football? Yes. Oh, good. That's all I care about. Well, how are your kids taking the divorce? What, kids? I have kids? Yes, Tom, you have three. Oh, well, the only three things I know is I lost three Super Bowls. It makes me sad. Well, do you even remember the names of your three kids? Oh, I'm no good with names. Oh, let's see. One of them's got to be Tom Brady Jr. And then I think one of them's Gronk. And then Patrick sounds familiar. Oh, look, a football. <laughs> football. I like football. Uh, Tom? <laughs> Touch Tom, we're in the middle of an interview here. <laughs> Pass me the football. Tom, come on. Stop. Stop it, Tom. Hey. We're talking about your kids here. Oh, yeah, my kids. Uh, wait, who got custody? It's split between you and your wife, 50-50. Oh, well, as long as I don't have to see him on Mondays, Thursdays, or Sundays, or days when I have practice. Actually, she should probably just hold on to him for a while. Well, now that you're divorced, Tom, how much longer are you going to play football? Well, I don't have a reason to quit now, 
so I'm just gonna keep playing till I'm dead. <laughs> oh, is that a football? <laughs> hi, 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 hi. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Tom Brady is distraught after the divorce. Tom Brady's getting a divorce? That's so sad. I guess it goes to show that money can't buy you happiness. You know what money can buy you? A big inflatable pony with light up nipples. Jeffy. I'm talking old disco tits. Hey, guys, have you seen my spatula? Right here, scrambling up some eggs. Oh, God, now I can't use it. Chef Peepee, did you hear that Tom Brady got a divorce? What? Tom Brady? Mr. Goat himself? Mr. Bad? Yeah, he got a divorce. Oh, that means it's finally my chance. Your chance for what? My chance to marry him, stupid, and be his number one wide receiver. No, he would marry me instead of you. But Marvin, you're already married what? to me. Yeah, you're taken. So he's not going to choose you. Well, no, no. I, I want to be married to Tom Brady instead of you. He's the GOAT. He has seven rings. And I want to be one more ring on his finger. Marvin! Yeah, you ball. He's not going to choose you, Marvin. He's going to choose me because I got a huge caboose and I can throw it in a circle. Yeah, let, let me throw that ass in a circle. I can throw mine in a circle better. No, uh, look at my ass clap. No, he's Marvin, going to stop. No, he wants to hear mine clap. No, uh, uh, look at my ass clap. No, my clap's louder like the 70,000 people that clap for his ass in the Super Bowl. No, no, it doesn't. Look at oh, mine. No, both of you. Baby, does mine clap? No, Marvin, you look ridiculous. Oh, look, look Tom Brady's going to choose me to be his wife instead of you. No, he's not. He's going to choose me. Watch this. Guys. All right, Junior, you want to see me lift this weight? You can't lift that weight. <laughs> yeah, I can, Junior. I can lift it like 10 times. <laughs> See, I'm lifting it. Okay. What? You dropped it. No, I didn't drop it. I, I unzipped my pants and my giant wang fell out and hit the table. That's what you heard. No, you dropped the weight. No, it was my monster wang. Junior, Junior, Junior. What? Serious question. How hot am I? Scale of 1 through 10. Well, you're hotter as a guy. Thank you, but I need a rating as a woman. Chef Pee, -Pee why are you dressed like a girl? No, I'm not Chef Pee, -Pee. I'm Serena, the hot Latina goddess with a huge dumpy. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, but why are you really dressed like a girl? Oh, because Tom Brady's single and I gotta go snatch that up before some other hoe does. Hmm. Wait, Tom Brady's single? Oh, I gotta get in on this. Well, Cody, you can't date Tom Brady. You're a kid. Hey, I've seen the video, okay? He kisses his son on the mouth, and we're about the same age, so I have just as good of a chance as anyone else. But, Cody, mommy, where's daddy? I don't know, Jeffy. Okay, guys, how do I look? Marvin, what is going on with you? I shaved off my mustache and put a wig on. Daddy, did you tuck your wiener in your butt? I sure did, Jeffy. Jesus. Marvin, what is happening? Well, did you hear that Tom Brady's going on the show, The Bachelor, and he's going to choose one lucky woman to be his wife? Marvin, I don't know how to tell you this, but you're not hot enough. Sure I am. If looks could kill... It would kill a boner. I'm calling a doctor so he can mentally check you out. And to get your wiener removed. Yeah, baby, I need that to happen. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, fix my husband. He's broken. My daddy's got his wiener in his butt. Hey there, beautiful. What's your name? Oh, dear God. Well, I haven't chose my woman name yet. Wait, what? That's Marvin, my husband. He's dressed like a woman. Hey, don't judge. That's normal now. Well, I was thinking my name could be Margie. Ew, no. Or Maggie. No, I don't like that either. Or Marissa. Uh, I guess that's kind of hot. Can you just tell me what's wrong with him? Well, why are you dressed like a woman? Well, Tom Brady's getting a divorce, and he's going on The Bachelor to find a new wife. Now, wait a minute. You're telling me the GOAT is getting divorced, and he's looking for a new wife, and that could be me? Oh, dear God. Not you too. Hey, I always told my wife if I could be with another man, it would be with Tom Brady. And now I finally have my chance. Well, you better back off because he doesn't want to be with you. He wants to be with me. Pff, you really think he's going to be with you instead of me? Yeah. He doesn't want to be with either one of you guys. He wants to be with a supermodel girlfriend. Yeah, well, look how that worked out. She's divorcing him. Yeah, Tom Brady should just lower his standards a little bit. Like maybe like a middle-aged man in a wig. You know, men know what Tom Brady wants and that's to play football. I'll say him with the kids. I don't give a shit. I mean, he can just play until he's 80. I don't care. Just never come home. Just keep winning, you know? That telling the goat not to play football is like telling a plane not to fly or telling a boat not to swim or not swim. Boats don't swim. What the hell do boats do? Like float. Yeah, telling a boat not to float. Oh, I want a root beer float. I'm getting distracted. Look, Tom Brady's going to be mine. No, he's not going to be yours. He's going to be mine. He's going to pick me over you. Okay, well, I'll show you. I'll show all of you. Yeah, we'll see about that. I look hot. You're watching The Bachelor. Hello and welcome to The Bachelor. Today's Bachelor is Buccaneers quarterback Tom Brady. Hi, I'm Tom Brady. I've won seven Super Bowls. He sure has. So now let's meet the eligible Bachelorettes. First up, we have Marissa. Hi, Tom. I love you. Next, we have Brock. Oh my god, is that Tom Brady? Is that the GOAT? Look how close I am to the GOAT! I'm in the same room as the GOAT! Then we have Carly! 
Hey, Tom, your ass looks real nice in them pants. Our final bachelorette is Serena. Hey, Tom. Ooh, let me deflate them balls, baby. Oh, yeah, come on. I'll do it. You're not a cheater, not in my eyes. Okay, Tom, you're gonna go on a date with each of these four women. Well, looky there. There's four of them, just like the four quarters of a football game. Oh, okay, Tom, I'm gonna need you to focus. You're gonna take all these women on a date, and then you're gonna decide which one of them you want to marry. Okay. Let the dates begin! Ooh, I'm a little nervous. So, uh, tell me about yourself. Oh, me? Uh, well, uh, Tom, I'm be, I'm be honest with you, I'm a dude. I'm just, like, a whole-ass dude. You see the mustache? But, I mean, I'll be honest, I wasn't gonna win this competition anyway. I mean, have you seen the other women? They are smoking hot. No, I didn't stand a chance. But, uh, I mean, while I have you here, I, I, I've always wanted to meet you, so, like, could you please sign my jersey? Yeah, sure. I, I mean, I know you don't play for them anymore, but it's the only one I got, so I'd really appreciate it if you could just... Just sign that uh, to to my biggest fan. Uh, no, uh, my, my 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 best friend, Brooklyn T guy, from the MF and Goat. But like, actually, write out the words "motherfucking goat." Tom Brady, and then uh, just write your phone number. Cause I mean, I, I might not win this competition, but I still want to like hang out and be friends. And I want to show my friends at the bar, like, hey, I, I hang out with Tom Brady. We're, we're friends. So. If you could just do that for me, that would be great. Thank you so much, Tom. This, this means a lot to me. Hey, don't ever retire, okay? Just keep playing football till you die, all right? Just, just promise me that. Okay, oh, man. I, I mean, hey, if you still want to marry me after this, I'll, I'll do it. I mean, no homo, but, like, I'll do whatever you want, okay? So just keep that in mind. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Tom. How do I think the date went? I'd say it went pretty fucking good. Who do you know that has a personalized signed Tom Brady jersey? Yeah, no, I think the date went pretty well. How do I think the date went? Well, I think it went pretty good. You know, Brooke is pretty interesting. She was fangirling a lot, had me sign a few autographs. She had a mustache, but you know, I, I think it's pretty nice to have a woman who supports my football career. Haven't had that in a while. Hey Tom, get in the hot tub. It's nice and warm. I peed in it for you. Yeah, that's right. Hey Tom, you want to see how long I can hold my breath underwater? Take your pants off. How would I say the date went? Well, I went snorkeling for chode and came up empty, so I'd say that's a thumbs down. Carly's weird. This is a lovely dinner, Serena. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. I made it just for you, your favorite avocado burger. Oh, look at there. There is an avocado. Mm-hmm. I read it in your book, The TB12 Method. Oh, my God, look at you on the cover. You sexy bitch, you. Oh, I fondle myself to it every day. <laughs> Thank you. Would you like some confetti with your burger? You know, winners love confetti. I do love confetti, and I've won seven Super Bowls. Yes, you did. <laughs> you deserve to celebrate. Woo, there you go. Oh, you know what, Tom? I want to show you what a real woman can do. Can I show you? Huh? Huh? That's a candle. It, it is a candle. Imagine it as your candle. <laughs> I don't have any candles. My wife took them in the divorce. Damn it, Tom! Love me! Okay, I don't think I'm hungry anymore. Oh, playing hard to get. Who, you sexy bastard? <sighs> How do I think the day went? Oh, he digs me. I made the man dinner, okay? You know what they say, a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. I'm going through the penis. Serena came off as a little desperate, but I like that she read my book, and she knows I like avocados, and she's got a fat dumpy. Wait, 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 what did he say about my dumpy? Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Everybody can get a piece, it's super fat. Everybody want this dumpy. <clears throat> Okay, Tom, I thought the best date for us to go on is go to the movies. So I just sit here? Yeah, you just sit there and watch the movie and relax. Well, I don't know what relax means. I mean, you just sit there and do nothing and watch the movie. But when do I play football? You don't play football. Oh, well, I haven't been to a movie in years. The only movies I've ever seen are The Blind Side, and Remember the Titans, and The Longest Yard, and the remake of The Longest Yard with Adam Sandler, and The Waterboy with Adam Sandler, and Air Bud, but the football one. Well, this movie has nothing to do with football. Oh, it doesn't? But where are you going? <sighs> How do I think the date went? Well, um, I don't think he likes sitting down for too long or relaxing. I think he just wants to play football. Is Marissa a man? Cause she kinda looks like a man in a wig. Well, Tom, you just went on four wonderful dates. So now it's time for you to choose one of these women to give one of your Super Bowl rings to. No, oh, pick me please, Tom, pick me. Brady, please pick me, please. So, Tom, who's it gonna be? Uh... Please, Tom! Please pick me! Pick me! Tom! Pick me! Please, Daddy! Please pick me! Uh, uh, I choose football. I love you, football. Let's run away together. 
Huh, I didn't know that could happen. Sorry, ladies, better luck next time. Yeah, choosing football, that's the GOAT. Yeah, that's why he's the GOAT. What? You choose football over this dumper? Come on, you're lost, Tom. Hm. Well, I tried. Well, don't I look like a fool? I shaved my mustache for no reason. <sighs> well, how do you feel now that you embarrassed your entire family on national television, Marvin? It was on TV? Yes, Marvin, the whole world saw you dress up like a woman to try to marry Tom Brady. And where did it get you? Back at home with your wife. Why did he tell you no, Danny? Did your wiener come untucked from your butt? I'm sorry, everyone. I guess I just have to realize that I'm stuck with my normal stupid life. Gee, thanks, Marvin. What, what the hell was that? Oh, look, Danny, it came unstuck from the ceiling. Now eat it! Marvin, your phone's ringing. I know, I can hear it. It's right next to me. Okay, fine. Hello? Uh, hello. This is Jackie Chu, Jeffy's teacher. I was calling to tell you that Jeffy's gonna be getting her report card today, just in case he doesn't show you. All right, thank you for warning me. Who was that, Marvin? It was Jeffy's teacher. Let me know he's getting his report card today. Ooh. Ah, Daddy, help me! I was putting on my shirt and it started eating me! It was not eating you, Jeffy. Ah! It was just stuck. All right, thanks, Danny, for shaving me from the big bad shirt monster. Well, look, Jeffy, your teacher just called me and let me know you're getting your report card today. So don't try to throw it away or anything. You have to show me. Okay, Danny. Well, there's not going to be any bad grades on it because I'm the smartest boy ever. Well, look, if there's a single F on that report card, your life's over. You're grounded for a year. Okay, Danny, but there's not going to be any Fs on it. Well, look, get to school. Get your butt to school. Oh, just my butt? Or can you help me take it off? Well, no, get your whole body. Just get, go to school. All right, Danny. All right, Crass, today, before we get started, I'm going to hand out your report cards. Here you go, Penelope. Here's your report card. All A's, yes! Junior, here's your report card. Only one F? That's a new record. And Joseph, here's your report card. Oh, dude, I finally did it! All oh, Fs, you know how hard it is to do that? Wow, Joseph, that's very impressive. <laughs> Thank you. And Cody, here's your report card. All A's, I knew it. You know, sometimes I get tired of being so smart. Maybe you should get all Fs like me. <laughs> I'm good. All right, Bori, here's your report card. Eh, whatever. I'm just gonna be a trash man like my dad anyway. And Jeffy, here's your report card. Oh, oh no, all Fs. My daddy's gonna kill me. Oh, oh. Guys, guys, I got all Fs on my report card. High five. No, because my daddy told me he was gonna kill me if I got a single F. Well, I don't have parents, so... Well, Jeffy, why don't you just take Cody's report card home and say it's yours? But no, that's not gonna work because my report card has my name on it. And besides, I save all my report cards because I want to get into a good college someday. Oh, and my mom gives me Zerberts on my belly for every A I get. What's a Zerbert? It's where she blows on my tummy and I'm super ticklish. God, I hate you, Cody! But guys, for real, my daddy said he's gonna kill me if I get an F on my report card! <gasps> That's it, Jeffy. Why don't we fake your death? Why don't we call your dad and say you died at school today and he'll never see you ever again? But no, Junior, that's a terrible idea. Doesn't that seem kind of extreme just to avoid getting punished? Well, my daddy said he's gonna kill me anyway, so we might as well do it. Okay, I've got my phone. All right, all right, guys, it's ringing. Aren't they just gonna look at the caller ID and see who it is? I blocked my number, Cody, shut up. <sighs> Baby, can you answer the phone? Sure, Marvin. Hello? Hey, I mean, hey, this is Officer Tells Bad News Johnson. I'm calling to inform you that your son Jeffy died today at school. What? I know, you seem very upset. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. What happened? Well, um, Jeffy and another student were playing tag during recess, and Jeffy fell into a pile of ants, and then a plane crashed, only killing your son. The ants are fine, though. They're fire ants. They were normal ants until the fire from the plane explosion turned them into fire ants. But uh, he's dead. Oh my god, is it going to be on the news? Uh, no, it won't be on the news because the owner of the news, Sir Isaac Newsten, was the one flying the plane. And he didn't have his pilot's license, so he crashed his plane. And that will make the news have a bad name. So we just don't want anyone to know about it. Oh my god, my poor Jimmy! Yeah, so he's dead, so you'll never see him again. I'm so sorry, bye. All right, guys, they totally believed it. Sir Isaac Newston? Who do you think invented the news, Cody? I don't know. Sounds believable to me. Thanks, Joseph. So my parents really think I'm dead? Yep, they think you're dead, so you don't have to go home and show them your report card. Sweet. But wait, where is Jeffy going to live? Because he can't go home. Oh, you're right. Jeffy doesn't have a place to live. 
Hey, Cody, can you stay with you for a while? But me? I don't want him living with me. But it's your fault that we had to do that whole phone call thing. Well, how is this my fault? I told you it was a bad idea. Because you wouldn't let us borrow your report card. Well, I would have rather you taken my report card than have him live with me. Well, look, it's your fault, so now you have to let him live with you. But why can't he live with Joseph? Dude, I live in a cardboard box. <sighs> okay, fine. He can stay with me for one night. Come on, Jeffy. <laughs> what? Baby, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Jeffy, no! What? What, say it without crying. Jeffy died. What? Well, why are you so calm? You told me to calm down. Wait, but how did Jeffy die? What did they say? It was a plane crash. It fired. Well, a plane crash. Baby, a plane crash. Really? That sounds like a prank call. Let's call the real cops and see if it's true. Okay. Hey there. Somebody call the cops? Oh uh, yes, officer. We got a call from another officer saying our son died today. Oh well, who is the officer that called you? Officer tells bad news, Johnson. Really? Officer Tells Bad News Johnson? No, that's just ridiculous. Officer Tells Bad News Johnson retired 20 years ago. This is probably a prank call. A prank call? Baby, what else did the call say? Well, there was a plane crash, and the guy flying it was Sir Isaac Newston. Sir Isaac Newston? No, that name's just silly. Yeah, this is definitely a prank call. Well, why would somebody want to fake our son's death? Well, did your son have something big coming up that maybe he was trying to get out of? Well, he was getting his report card today. Yeah, I bet that's it. I bet he got a bad grade, and he faked his death to get out of it. Why would Jeffy do this? Because he didn't want to get grounded. Thank you for helping us, officer. Okay. Yeah, I just, um, guess I'll take off. Just, uh, just leave. Honestly, I really don't want to go. Well, you don't have to leave. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. What about our son? He'll probably come home, baby. He has nowhere else to go. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, so, um, what do you guys want to do? I, I mean, there's nothing to do. Find our son. Hey, you want to play slap hands? What's that? Well, try to slap my hand. Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha, loser! <laughs> well, you try to slap my hand. Okay. <laughs> Easy loser. Oh, no, 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 let me try again. Okay. Nope. Nope. Marvin. Nope. Nope. Marvin. Nope. Marvin. What? Call me Jeffy. Well, I gotta try to slap his hand. Nope. 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 Uh, <laughs> ow, okay, that's it. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Ow, 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 uncle, uncle, get off me. <sighs> Okay, Jeffy, you can only stay here one night and then you have to go. Okay. Now, look, my parents are a little weird, so just ignore them. All right. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Now, would you look what the cat drugged in? Hey, Dad. Ooh, Cody, who's your sexy friend? Meow. Hey, woman, keep your eyes on me. I'm the only one that can cheat in this house. Yes, Daddy. Well, uh, guys, this is my friend Jeffy. His parents kicked him out, and he needs a place to stay, so can he spend the night? If his parents don't want him, what make you think we do? Now, Tyrone, that's not how we treat our guests. So what's wrong with you? You some kind of junkie or something? You gonna hurt our little Cody? Yeah, what you got? What you holding, huh? Huh? No, no, God, guys, he, he's not a junkie. He just needs a place place to stay, so can he spend the night? I guess so, Cody, but I don't want to hear any of that loud rap music after midnight. Yeah, this is a jazz household. We don't like that rap music. <laughs> oh, and Cody, dinner's gonna be ready in a few minutes. We're having pierogies and party pizza. Ooh, pierogies? Oh, we feasting the night, baby. So you and your friend go wash your hands and feet. Okay, Jeffy, welcome to my room. What, Ken? Cover yourself up, you dirty, dirty boy. We have company. Sorry about that, Jeffy. Ken just doesn't know how to act around company. I think he needs a spanking. Hear that, Ken? I'm gonna spank your little plastic tush. Boy, you little weird old dinner's ready. God. Come on, Jeffy. Boy, will you hurry up? I'm hungry. I'm here, Dad. Wait, wait where's Jeffy's food? Oh, Cody, your friend's not eating at the table with us. Yeah, his plate over there in the corner on the floor. Wait, why? Well, we don't know where he's been. He might have rabies. Yeah, he like a stray dog. Well, I go to school with him. He doesn't have rabies. Cody, don't argue with me. I'll smack you. Uh, okay, I, I'm sorry, Jeffy. You have to get on the floor. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Uh... Hey, hey, hey! Don't touch that food we haven't even said Chris yet. All right, everybody bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for this delicious food. And thank you for not letting any of my side chicks get pregnant. Oh, thank God for that. Mm-hmm. Thank you for good health in a short refractory period. Amen. Amen. That's just a beautiful prayer, honey. That's how prayer should be, straight from the heart. Mm-hmm. I meant that. Okay, Cody, eat your food. Wait, Mom, what is this? It's a pierogi. Eat it. You're going to grow up big and strong. Yeah. Big boys got to eat their pierogies. Oh. I hate eating off the floor. So, boy, how was school today? Yeah, Cody, did you learn a lot of new stuff? Well, we got our report cards. Oh, my God, Tyrone, got all A's. Great googly moogly. You know what that means. Zerber time. Um, I'm done. Hey, 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 shut the hell up. It's Zerber time, boy. It's Zerber time. Let's go to the bedroom. <laughs> okay, Cody, let me see that belly. But mom looks so ticklish. <laughs>
<laughs> nah, baby, give me some Zerbers. I need some. <laughs> Got a little Zerbers. Ooh, mom, one more, one more. <laughs> uh oh, give me some more, baby. Give me some. <laughs> <laughs> come on, mom. Come on, do another one. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Come on, baby. Yeah, I need some. Ooh, <laughs> so ticklish. Oh, I want to go back home. All right, Marvin, your turn. Hmm. Oh, you're so done. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, you did not just do that. You just lost. Check it out. Uh, Connect four, I win. Uh, I, did, I mean to put it right there. <laughs> you suck. I wish my wife sucked as much as you. She's really good at Connect four. She beats me every time. We're playing again. Can we please go find Jeffy? Baby, look. Jeffy faked his death. He has nowhere else to go. Eventually, he has to come home. Oh, hey, you know what would be funny? Whenever your son comes home, you should pretend you can't see him like he's a ghost, you know, because he's dead. That'd be so funny. That's so mean. That's what we're going to do, baby. Whenever Jeffy gets here, we're going to not talk to him. We're going to act like he doesn't exist. That must be Jeffy. Oh, wait, look, let's answer the door and act like we can't see him. Okay. Uh, hello? Hey, Danny. I'm sorry I faked my own death. Baby, there's no one at the door. Do you see anybody? I sure don't, Marvin. Danny, I'm right here! <sighs> Must have been a prank. Some kid rang the doorbell and ran away. I guess so. Why can't you see me? I'm right here! <sighs> I wish Jeffy didn't die. Me either, Marvin. I didn't die! I'm right here! Let's go upstairs, baby. Okay. Daddy, daddy, daddy! Who was at the door? Was that your son? Yeah, play along. Okay. Danny, I'm right here! I miss Jeffy. I miss him too, baby. <laughs> I'm right here! Hey, I know you're going through a lot with your son dying and all, but I'm ready for the funeral. We're ready for the funeral too. Funeral? We don't need a funeral because I'm alive! I'm right here! Okay, here's his tombstone. Oh, oh the no. tombstone. And here's his body. Oh, no. not his body. Oh, no. That's no. not my body. I'm alive! I'm right here, oh. Danny! I'm right here! his soul trying to contact me. Okay, you ready to start the ceremony? Yes. Alright, we're gathered here today to be sad about the death of Jeffy, who was taken away from us too soon. We don't usually question God's plan, but today we ask, why God? Why did you take this young man away from us in such a tragic and comedic way? Why? I curse you, God! Amen. Would anyone else like to say a few words for Jeffy? I would. Jeffy, if you could hear me right now, we love you. We wish we could hear your voice one more time. I'm right here! Here's my voice! Ah, 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 ah. I love it! I miss you! Okay. All right, all right, settle down. <laughs> Calm down. That, that's, that's enough of that. Uh, let, let, let's just have a moment of silence for Jeffy. I pooted. You folks have a nice day. I'm right here! I'm right here in front of you! Wait a minute. I, I, I think I hear Jeffy from the great beyond. What, you do? I think so. Jeffy, are you there? Yes, I'm right here, right in front of your face! Oh, I, I, I can hear you, Jeffy, but I'm the only one. Is there anything you'd like for me to tell your parents? Yes, tell my mommy and daddy that I'm sorry I faked my own death. Okay, he says that he's not sorry and he would do it all again. What? what no, I'm right here! Wait, 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 wait. Look, we can see you, okay? What? Jeffy? What? Daddy, you can see me? Oh, Jeffy, you're back! Oh, oh, oh I'm so sorry, Daddy! daddy. Oh, I'm so daddy. sorry! I'm so sorry I faked my own death. I just didn't want you to see my report card. What? Why wouldn't you want us to see your report card, Jeffy? Why don't you go get it? Oh, okay. All right, Daddy. Here's my report card. All Fs, Jeffy! Well, I tried my hardest. No, you didn't. You did not try at all. These are all Fs. We're going to need another funeral after I'm done with him. Well, funerals aren't cheap. <laughs> Good to see you can beat someone at something. You know, because he sucks at Connect Four and slap hands. You want to play? Slap my hand. Okay. Ha! You suck! And that cross is why we have a toilet paper shortage today. Because the Egyptians would wrap the dead people in toilet paper. Any questions? Hey Cody, you want to know the real reason why there's a toilet paper shortage? Because your mom's so fat, her big butt needs all the toilet paper to wipe it when she poops. Ha! Good one, dude! Shut up, Junior. Why are you getting so upset? You have mummy issues? You love your mummy? <laughs> I don't have a mom. You don't have a mom either, Junior. <laughs> dude, that's not cool! What, what, he can make fun of my mom, but I can't make fun of his? <laughs> All right, Cross, the bell means it's time to go to lunch. I'll see you in 15 minutes. Free food! Let's go to lunch. We have a lunch room? We've never been to lunch before. Yay! I get to run to lunch like a weird kid. <laughs> I'm not hungry. Hey there, how's it going? Can I please get a cheeseburger? <laughs> cheeseburger? I got your cheeseburger right here. Meat slot surprise, enjoy. Thank you. 
Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, well, I got something to fill your belly. Me slot surprise. Thank you. Uh, do you have anything kosher? Kosher? I don't know what that is, but I got some meat sauce surprise for you. Okay, thank you. What are your vegan options? <laughs> you kids and your jokes. You never fail to crack me up. It's a meat slot surprise. I can't eat meat. Don't you dare disrespect my meat slot surprise again. Get out of my face. Uh, what is this? Is this even edible? I am not. Eating this. Come on, guys. Who doesn't love meat slot surprise? It's actually pretty good after you throw up in your mouth a few times. Well, I've already thrown up in my mouth once and it's still gross. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go back to class. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> well, hello there. Oh, hey there, handsome. What can I do for you? I want some of that. Really? You want some of my meat slop surprise? Yeah, it looks yummy. You know what? For use, I'm gonna give you two scoops. Okay. With extra loving. Mm. You enjoy that now, sweetheart. Oh, it looks yummy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now that's a hit to men. I think I'm in love. Hey, Jeffy, how was school? Delicious. Today at school, the lunch lady made meat slop surprise. What's meat slop surprise? Oh, I brought some home. I'll show you. Right here, Daddy. Ew, Jeffy, that looks gross. Well, it looks the same going in as it does coming out. Oh my God, it smells like throw up. Let me see. Oh my God, Jeffy, that's awful. But it tastes amazing. You should try some. Well, no, I'm, I'm gonna call the school and complain. They should not be serving our kids this kind of food. They should be serving healthy stuff. Oh, let me get my phone. But this is good. All right, I'm calling the school. Hello? Uh, yes, sir. May I please speak to the lunch lady? You speak it to us. Oh, wow. You have a very deep voice for a lunch lady. Thank you. I get it from my dad in two packs a day. Well, I'm calling because my son, Jeffy... <laughs> Shut up, Jeffy. Stop it. He brought home meat slop surprise. Yeah, what's wrong with it? Well, I think it's very gross and repulsive, and I think you should make something different. In all my 20 years of cooking... I ain't never had nobody complain about my meat slop surprise. Well, that's that's very crazy to hear because I think it's gross and I think everybody would hate it. So I think you should make something different. Too bad. It's the only thing I know how to make. So back off, pup. Well, I think you should learn how to cook, you not knowing how to cook her. <gasps> Marvin. Well, you know what? How about you become a lunch lady? And then you can decide what's going to be on the menu. I'll never become a lunch lady because I actually want a future and a career. <gasps> Marvin. Well, she was just very mean and gross and I think she should learn how to cook. Danny, you were really mean. That lunch lady, and she's a nice lady. She's not a nice lady, and she, she does not know how to cook. Well, you're ugly. Well, uh, throw this away. That was really mean when my daddy said to that lunch lady. I'm gonna call her and apologize. Hello. Hey, this is the kid in the yellow shirt from lunch today that really liked your cooking. Oh, hey there, sweetheart. Yeah, I wanted to call and apologize because I heard what my daddy said to you on the phone, and I thought it was really mean. But your cooking's really, really yummy. You really think so? Yeah, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Man, I love that kid. And that cross is why pyramids are shaped like triangles. Because if they were circles, they would roll away. Any questions, Cross? Free food! Oh no, it's lunchtime again. It's a good thing we brought our lunch today. All right, Cross, you know what the bell means. Time to go to lunch again. Yay! Lunchtime again! Come on, arms! I'm still not hungry. Hey there, hot mama. What's on the menu today? Hopefully it's you. Sorry, sweetheart, I'm taken by a beautiful man in a yellow shirt and a blue helmet. Uh, the good ones are always taken. Yeah, sorry about that, but here's your meat slop surprise. Sam. Ooh, thank you. What's cooking, good looking? Oh, there he is, my big handsome man. What's on your menu today? I got something extra special for you. Meat slot surprise, sandwich double scoop, mm. made with extra love. Thank you. Oh, he's gonna be mine someday. I just can't stand it. Oh man, I'm so glad I brought a Lunchable today. Me too. You guys are really missing out on this meat slot surprise sandwich. I mean, the bread really stops you from throwing up. The fact that it even makes you want to throw up means it's bad. Well, not everybody's privileged like you, Cody. We can't just bring Lunchables to school every day. Oh. Hey there, sweet cheeks. How's that meat slap surprise treating you? Oh, it's really good. Really? You know, I loves me a man that can appreciate my cooking. You truly are something special. Uh-huh. All right, I'll see you later, baby. Okay.
All right, Crass, I hope everyone enjoyed their lunch. So everyone get out a piece of paper and start taking notes. Hey there, sorry for interrupting, but I got a letter for Jeffy. Okay, make it quick. I'm trying to teach a Crass here. Here you go, Jeffies. I wrote you something special. Don't show nobody. Okay. I'll see you later, my love. What do you say? <gasps> I can't read. Give me that. No, give it back. Hey, hey, everybody. Jeffy has a love letter from the lunch lady. Give it back. It says, Dear Jeffy, I love you more than meat slop surprise. Love Muriel. And then she kissed it with her butthole. <laughs> Jeffy has a girlfriend. <laughs> Aha, Jeffy got a girlfriend. Jeffy has a girlfriend. Everyone shut up. <laughs> Where? Where? Uh oh, Marvin, sounds like someone needs to call the ambulance. No one likes you, Mommy. Jeffy, why are you crying? Because everyone's making fun of me because I got a girlfriend. Ooh, Jeffy, you have a girlfriend. Is it your right hand? That's not appropriate, Marvin. Peep the letter, Daddy. Oh, she wrote you a letter? Mm hmm. Dear Jeffy, I love you more than meat slop surprise. Love, Muriel. Who's Muriel? The lunch lady. What? The lunch lady, Jeffy. The lunch lady can't be writing you love letters. Jeffy, that's sick. She's like 80 years old. Well, you know what this is, Daddy? That's what we like to call a scratch and sniff. <sighs> yep. Smells like straight ass. Jeffy, you cannot date the lunch lady. This is sick. She could go to jail for this. But she makes me good food, Daddy. I'll get it. Wait, no, Jeffy, someone else answered the door. We have to yell at you about this stupid letter because this is wrong. Uh, hello? <gasps> oh my God, she's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Oh, those big, beautiful lips. Oh, that chin hair and that big, beautiful mole. I wonder what it tastes like. I gotta have her. Uh, hey, baby, uh, what are you doing here? Is my man Jeffy here? Uh, Jeffy? Yeah, he's here, but what do you need with him? He's my boyfriend. Wait, your boyfriend? Wait, he, he's dating this hot piece of ass? Sure is. Oh, lose the zero and get with the hero, baby. Come on, I'm a real man. I would never disrespect my Jeffy like that. Well, what does he have that I don't have? <laughs> he loves my meat slob surprise. <laughs> <laughs> if it's what I think it is, then I love it too, baby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what all men say. Now move. Oh, dang, she's a freak. I need that in my life. All right, Jeffy, promise me that if you hear from this lunch lady ever again, you have to call us immediately, okay? Okay, Daddy. Hey there, Jeffy's. Your baby's here. Hey. What? No, stay away from our son. We do not like you. Yeah, you're like 80 years old. Hey, I'm not a day over 60, and I'm in love. The older the berry, the sweeter the juice. Jeffy, stop it. Look, I'm gonna call the cops and have them settle this. Well, they can't stop true love. Hey there, someone call the cops? Yes, officer. This lunch lady's trying to date my son. Oh, no. Uh, Marvin, can I talk to you? What's wrong? That's one of my ex-girlfriends. She's one of your ex-girlfriends? How old is she? She's like 40, but the years have not been kind to her. Do my eyes deceive me? Is that Brooklyn Four Fingers guy? Hey, Muriel. Hey there, Brookie. I see you came crawling back to me. What? No, look, it was college, it was dark, I was drunk, and I thought the mole on her face was a nipple. I swear, hand to God. Yeah, well, it don't matter no way because I broke up with him. But no, it was the other way around. I broke up with her. Oh, yeah? Then why do I have voicemails on my phone of you crying, begging me to come back? Hey, delete those! Well, look, officer, look, she wrote this creepy letter to my son. We don't like it, and we want a restraining order against her. Yeah, I used to get love letters with that print on them all the time. Okay, look, Muriel, I'm writing a restraining order against you for Jeffy. You're not allowed within 100 feet of him. You can't stop our love! Oh, the law can absolutely stop your love because your love is icky, okay? So you're not allowed to come within 100 feet of him. Nope. Too late. Jesus Christ, just get out of here before I arrest you! <laughs> Fine! <sighs> Thank you so much. <gasps> Restraining order? That means she's single! Oh my god, I have a chance, I have a chance! Okay, I got the perfect plan! So I set up the perfect date, and then I call her pretending to be Jeffy, and then she comes over, she sees me, and then we fall in love. <laughs> Let me call her. <sighs> oh, it's ringing! Hello? Uh, hey there! <laughs> Jeffy, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Uh -uh. I'm sorry, Jeffy. I'm so sorry that we can't be together. But I set up the perfect dinner. You should come over. Uh -uh. Really? Mm -hmm. uh -uh. I'm on my way. Okay. Uh -uh. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. Oh, my God. I can't believe my Jeffy set up the most beautiful date. And he made meat slop surprise? 
Ooh, I'm gonna have to marry him. Hey, baby. What the? You're not my Jeffies. You're right. I'm better. I'll have you know, I'm waiting for my Jeffies. And he made me the most perfect meat slop surprise. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't, baby. See, the thing is, I made it. You know how to make me slop surprise? Oh, it's my specialty, baby. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, why don't you come over here and get some of this meat slop surprise, big boy? Oh, don't make me bad for it. Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, don't you ever leave me, baby. Sorry, sweet cheeks, but I'm gonna have to. Why? Well, you see, there's plenty of other fish in the sea. How do you think I got this smell? I love you! <laughs> Chef Pippi, what I just witnessed will scar me for the rest of my life. Lunchables. Me too. Look at these little wieners. Can you imagine having a little wiener? <laughs> I sure can't. Guys, check out my pieces. That looks disgusting, Joseph. I'd rather have a pizza than a wiener in my mouth. Have you even had a wiener in your mouth? No, and I don't plan on it. Guys, I can't open up my Lunchable. I'll get some scissors. Chef BB, can you bring me some scissors? <sighs> what do you need scissors for, you stupid brat? I can't open up my Lunchable. Oh my god, you're so weak. You're the weakest kid I've ever met, Junior. Well, then let me see you open it. <laughs> I can open it without scissors. Watch. <laughs> Just gotta get my fingers on it. You said you could open it. I, I, I can open it, okay? Just leave me alone. I'm just, just, just gotta bite it. You know what? Just gotta use your, your wisdom teeth. There we go. Yeah, I did it. I did it. I'm a boss. You can't touch me! <laughs> uh, all you did was open a Lunchable. What the news? Breaking news, MK! Okay? Tom Brady, seven-time Super Bowl champion, is retiring from football. Sad day for all of us. What? Tom Brady's retiring? Oh no, this can't be happening! This is a bad dream! It's a bad dream! No! He can't retire! Well, calm down, Chef He's just a football player. No, he's not just a football player! He's God! He's the GOAT! Bad! <laughs> well, he played long enough, Chef Pee Pee. No! He didn't play long enough! He's supposed to play till he's 90! My life's over! <laughs> Junior, Chef Pee Pee looks really upset. We should go check on him. This can't be happening! This can't be happening! <laughs> I'm depressed! I'm eating all the bread I can find! Oh no, guys, he's eating white bread. Oh, he must be really sad. <laughs> You can have! <laughs> you, don't, you don't play football anymore! So here, get the bread! Eat the bread, Tom! Oh, he's yelling at the Tom Brady book. Oh, come on, Chef PB, the carbs. <laughs> this isn't part of the TB12 method. The TB12 method is dead, Cody! <laughs> Just like Tom! <laughs> well, shouldn't we know that Tom Brady can come back in a few years? No, he can't! You saw the news! I know you saw the news! Yeah, you saw the news! He's dead! It's over! It's kaput! <laughs> We should call a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, Tom, no! Poor guy. Is he gonna be okay, doctor? Well, we have him in a straight jacket in a padded room so he can't hurt himself. What's going on? Well, it looks like he's having some kind of mental breakdown. Do you know what could have happened? Well, we were watching TV and then he found out Tom Brady retired. What? Tom Brady retired? Yeah. No, God, no, not Tom. He can't retire. He's not supposed to retire until he was like 90. I know, right? Oh God, this is the worst news ever. I'd rather lose my wife than Tom Brady. God, no. He's the ghost. He's the ghost. The best. Oh God, no, please, no. <laughs> Is Chef Pee, Pee gonna be okay? I don't know, guys. I've never seen him this sad before. Well, Tom Brady was his idol, dude. Well, it's not like we can do anything. I mean, it's not like we can stop Tom Brady from retiring. 
That's it, Cody. We have to stop Tom Brady from retiring. I just said we can't do that. Sure we can. Okay, how? We'll just pay him to keep playing. Oh, yeah, he loves money, dude. Guys, Tom Brady usually makes about $20 million a year. Well, we'll just save up $20 million and give it to him. Well, how are we going to save up $20 million? We'll just wash cars and look in the couch cushions. I don't think you're going to have $20 million in the couch cushions. And besides, the problem wasn't that they weren't paying him enough. The problem was that he just didn't want to play anymore. Well, if we give him an offer he can't refuse, he'll keep playing. What if we offer him one billion dollars. A billion dollars? He'll definitely play for like 10 years, dude. Well, I don't doubt that, but where are we going to get a billion dollars? Okay, how about we just empty our pockets, add up all our money, and maybe see how much money we have. We're not going to have anywhere near a billion dollars. I don't know, Cody. We might surprise you. I I'd, I'd be very surprised if we had a billion dollars. All right, uh, everyone empty your pockets. Well, would you look at that, Cody? What, seven dollars and fifty cents? Uh, 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 seven dollars and seventy-five cents. Oh, wow. If this doesn't get him to keep playing, I don't know what will. Exactly. Exactly. I was being sarcastic, Junior. Tom Brady shits this. No, he doesn't. He eats nothing but avocados. He doesn't poop money. No, Junior, my point is $7 is nothing to Tom Brady. Well, don't say that. What if he's bankrupt one day and he really needs his money? I think he's going to be just fine. Unless he's addicted to putting money in a paper shredder. Well, that's an even better reason for me not to give him my $7. <sighs> okay, fine. Well, think of another way to get him not to retire. <gasps> I got it. What if we kidnap Tom Brady? Whoa! No, 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 hear me out. We kidnap him, and we say, we'll only let you go if you keep playing. Well, when we let him go to play, he's just going to run away and never come back. No, he'll run away onto the football field and get touchdowns. And then he'll never come back. No, we'll make him pinky promise to not run away. Junior, these are terrible ideas. Come up with another one that isn't illegal. <sighs> okay. <gasps> okay, what if we call him and we ask him nicely not to retire? How are you going to get Tom Brady's number? Um, we'll call his agent. How are you going to get his agent's number? We'll call the agent's wife. How are you going to get the agent's wife's number? Facebook. Oh, that might work. Okay. All right, guys, I'm calling her. Hello? Hey, is this Tom Brady's agent's wife? Uh, yes, it is. Who is this? Let me talk to your husband. Oh, okay. Uh, honey, it's for you. Who is it, honey? Hello? Hey, are you Tom Brady's agent? I sure am. Why are you calling my wife? Well, I want to offer Tom Brady a billion dollar offer. A billion dollars? Okay, I'll put Tom on the call. Hello? Oh, we've got a billion dollar deal for you. A billion dollars? Okay, let's hear it. Uh, hi, Tom. Hi, I'm Tom Brady. Yeah, you are. Um, I'm from Billion Dollar Book Publishing Millionaires, Inc. Incorporated. Oh, yeah, I've heard of you guys. Uh, oh, well, we want to offer you $7.75. Uh, uh, so far, it, it'll be more later. Uh, to keep playing. Hello? Hello? The call dropped. I think he hung up on you when he heard how much you were really going to offer him. Oh, no. Oh, guys, what are we going to do? I think we just need to accept that Tom Brady's done with football. Yeah. I guess you're right, Cody. It was stupid to try to get him to come back. Boys, boys, you got to come quick. It's not looking good. What? What's wrong, doctor? Well, uh, I don't know how to say this, but your friend here is, um, dying. Dying? Not your BB. Who's going to cook for us? Why is he dying? Well, I don't really know. He's just completely lost the will to live. It's called broken heart syndrome. But what can we do to help him? Well, maybe if Tom Brady decided not to retire. I mean, I tried telling him that he could still watch Aaron Rodgers play, but then he just woke up for a brief second to say, I'd rather die, and then he went back into his coma. Oh, poor Chef BB, we're here for you. Guys, we have to stop Tom Brady from retiring. <sighs> Good luck with that. That's impossible. Nothing's impossible for a possible. What? It's from Kim Possible. Oh, I'm not familiar with the show. Come on, guys. Guys, Chef BB's dying. But guys, there's nothing else we can do. I'm surprised we even managed to get on the phone with Tom Brady. But I don't want Chef BB to die. There has to be something we can do that makes Tom Brady not retire. <gasps> I just thought of something so crazy it just might work. What, dude? Oh, God, what is it? We break into Tom Brady's house. No. You didn't let me finish. We break into Tom Brady's house. We steal one of his Super Bowl rings. And then when he noticed the ring's missing, he's like, I got to go win another one to replace it. And he goes and wins another Super Bowl. No, I'll tell you what he's going to do. He's going to call the police. And then we're going to go to jail. And he's still not going to be playing football. Well, no, no, no. He's not going to be happy knowing he's missing a ring. So he's like, I got to go play one more season to win a ring. But winning another ring isn't going to replace the ring we stole. Oh, Okay, fine. We'll steal the ring, and then we'll send him a ransom note saying, you only get this ring back if you go back and win the Super Bowl. Okay, let me see if I have this right. We're going to break into Tom Brady's house, which is burglary. We're going to steal one of his Super Bowl rings, which is theft. And then we're going to send him a ransom note, which is extortion, I think. And then even after all of that, he has to play a full season of football and win a Super Bowl? Exactly. It's going to work. It's going to bring Sheppy back to life. Everyone's going to be happy. And then Tom Brady's going to have eight rings, and he's going to be the Super Goat. Dude, he's so crazy, it might work, dude. Uh, 
Uh huh. No, it's not gonna work, and we're gonna go to jail. No, some guy stole his jersey after he won a Super Bowl, and that guy didn't go to jail. Wait, really? Yeah, Tom Brady doesn't press charges. Huh. Well, you might be onto something. All right, let's go break into Tom Brady's house and steal like, multiple Super Bowl rings. Because the more we steal, the more seasons he'll play to win those rings back. Ooh, let's do it, dude. All right, guys, we're at Tom Brady's house. How are we gonna break in, Junior? I don't know. Let's see if the door's unlocked. Oh, wow, he leaves the door unlocked? Rich people don't care, huh? Go, go, let's go, let's go. All right, guys, let's check the kitchen. They're not gonna be in the kitchen, Junior. You never know. Huh. No, not here. Oh, oh God, I found three of them! What, he keeps his Super Bowl rings next to the forks? I'll put them by the bowls, personally. Oh, come on, let me grab them, let me grab these three. All right, guys, we got them. That was incredibly easy. I told you, Cody, now all we have to do is write a ransom note to Tom Brady saying, if you ever want to see your Super Bowl rings again, you have to keep playing. Okay. Write it. With me? I don't want them tracing my handwriting back to me. Cody, they can't trace your handwriting. Yes, they can. Then write it with your left hand. <sighs> oh, okay, fine. What do you want it to say? Say, uh, Tom Brady, if you ever want to see your Super Bowl rings again, you have to keep playing. <sighs> All right. Come on, hurry. Okay, Junior has that. Oh my God, Cody, it's perfect. Why so sloppy, dude? I wrote it with my left hand. I think it's perfect, Cody. Okay, great. So how do we get the letter to him? Um... We break back into his house and we leave the letter. Oh, come on. Why didn't we just leave it when we were there before? We didn't have any paper, Cody. Come on, grab it. <sighs> okay, we left the note. Let's get out of here. Should I lock the door? What? No, it was unlocked when we got here. That'll be suspicious. Come on. Yeah, do think. All right, guys. The mission is complete. Well, now we just have to wait for Tom Brady to notice and then he'll call the cops. There's the news. Breaking news, MK. Three of Tom Brady's Super Bowl rings have been stolen. And there's a ransom note that was left at the scene, and the police are investigating now. Oh no, we're gonna go to jail! I'll never see my family again, I'll never get into college, I, my whole life is gonna be- Ow! Shut up, Cody, we wanted this to happen, it's part of the plan! And plus, they don't even know it's us. I think they know it's us, dude. Oh, let me do the talking. Hello? Hey, kid. Oh, the cops, what are you doing here? Well, Tom Brady's Super Bowl rings got stolen. What? Yeah, it's crazy, right? And whoever did it left behind this note that says that he has to play football again if he ever wants him back, and your friend is in the hospital because he retired, so that makes you suspect number one. Well, I didn't do it. All right, I'll see you about that. <laughs> Come on, just let me do it. No, dude, that's gross. Guys, the cops are here. Wait, there's the rings. Wait, you didn't hide the rings? No, Cody wanted me to hide them up his butt. I could have fit all three in there. Hell, I could have done all seven. You told me you didn't have the rings. Look, we, we just took the rings because we don't want Tom Brady to retire because Chef Pee Pee's dying. All right, well, you guys are lucky that Tom Brady doesn't press charges. You all be in big trouble. I'm just gonna take these back to him. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Chef Pee Pee. We tried so hard to get Tom Brady not to retire, and now you're gonna die. Hey, everybody. There's a guest here who wants to talk to you. Who? Hey, I'm Tom Brady. Tom Brady, what are you doing here? Well, I heard what you did for your friend, you know, stealing my Super Bowl rings, and I thought that was just the nicest gosh darn thing anyone's ever done. So I came to talk to your friend. Please talk to him. Maybe you'll bring him back to life. Okay, what's his name? Um, Chef Pee Pee. Hey there, Mr. Pee Pee. Uh huh? Tom? Tom Brady? <gasps> yep, that's me. Seven time Super Bowl winner, Tom Brady. Wait, what are you doing here, Tom? Well, I just want to let you know that just because I'm retiring doesn't mean I'm retiring from your heart and all the good memories I made for you. You're right, Tom. Just because you're retiring doesn't mean you're dead. That's right. Now pucker up. Wait, what? <laughs> there you go. Oh my god! I just got kissed by Tom Brady! I feel like his son! Uh, can I have a taste? Oh, sure! <laughs> Guys, are you ready to play Nerf guns? Oh yeah, dude, I'm so ready. You guys should probably wear some eye protection. Come on, Cody, you're ugly, but not that ugly. Yeah, we're kind of used to you now, buddy. No, I mean, so you don't shoot your eye out with a Nerf gun. We're not gonna do that, Cody. We're not gonna aim for each other's eyes. Yeah, we're not stupid. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep my glasses on. No, if we're not gonna wear glasses, you have to take yours off. Well, why don't you just put glasses on? Because it's two people that have to go find glasses and put them on when all you have to do is take yours off. Well, I'm not taking my glasses off. You're a stupid, dumb idiot. Wimp. I don't care what you call me. I'm not taking my glasses off. No balls take your glasses off. Okay, well that's ridiculous. Obviously I have balls. I got two big hairy balls. Somebody even say too hairy. Okay, there you go. I took my glasses off. You are so ugly, Cody. Dude, you look like a puffer fish. You look like your name's Ted and you sit outside of school in a white van. Did your mom drink while she was pregnant with you? I'll have you know, my mom didn't even know she was pregnant for the first five months. So yeah, she drunk and partied a little bit. 
And then she stopped after she found out, after she celebrated a little more. But look, can we just play now? Is your phone going off? <sighs> yeah, my mom has a tracker on my glasses that tells her when I take them off. But why? I don't know, I just have to answer this. Okay guys, I'm answering the phone. Now shut up, I don't want my mom to know we're playing with Nerf guns. Uh, hey mom. Cody, why did you take your glasses off? I, I, I just took them off for a second to clean them. Cody, you've had your glasses off for several seconds. Wait, there's a timer on the tracker? Yes, Cody, now put your glasses back on. I, I will, mom. And how are your hemorrhoids doing? What the fine, mom, just shut up. Hey, Joseph, we should make moaning noises into the phone to make his mom think he's doing something weird. Oh, yeah, dude, let's totally do it. Oh, Cody, oh, oh, yeah, uh oh. Oh, no, uncle, get out of my room. No, you can't come in here. Please, no, I, no, 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 stop it, stop it. No, not my pants, please. Look, I don't care how many fun toys you get me. No, me, no. Cody, what was that? I, I don't know, but it made me sad. Cody, put your glasses back on. Okay, Mom, damn! Look, guys, we gotta hurry up and play. My mom's gonna call me back. Okay, let's play, let's play. Ow! Jesus Christ! God, God, you you got a God, God, son of a big hairy dick in my eye! Well, Junior, why did you do that? Where, where, where did I shoot you at? Right in the eye! Uh, call a doctor! Uh, okay, I'll call a doctor. Uh, Can I use your phone? Yes, fine, use the phone! Uh, why is it sticky? I, 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 I I'm using, explain uh, it. Just, it's, I'm it's, using my phone. Okay! Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Jesus! Could you get that camera out of my face? Thank you. Did somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor. I accidentally shot my friend in the eye with a Nerf gun. Jesus, what, did you shoot him in both eyes? But, buddy, how many times do I have to tell you to back up? Oh my god, amateurs. Did you shoot him in both eyes multiple times? Why are his eyes so swollen? He always looks like that. Oh, you poor bastard. Am I gonna be okay? Well, I think you're gonna have a hard time finding dates, but can you see? Yeah, I think you're gonna be just fine. But you kids really should have been using eye protection. That's what I said, but then they said no balls. Oh yeah, I've been there, I know how that goes. One time I was doing a surgery, and the nurse said, no balls, you won't do the surgery blindfolded. So I did, and the guy died. But I mean, it was a tonsillectomy, so he's pretty much gonna die anyway, right? Like, a life without tonsils? What kind of life is that? I mean, don't talk to me if you don't have tonsils, right? Oh man, I bully people who don't have tonsils. Don't let me catch you without your tonsils. I'm gonna throw a party, and then it's gonna be a tonsils-only party. And there's gonna be a bouncer outside, and when you walk up, he's gonna say, say ah! And if you don't have your tonsils, you're getting thrown out of the party. Tonsils rule! Okay guys, let's play for real this time and do not shoot me in the eye again. How can we not, dude? Your eyes cover majority of your face. Well, just don't shoot me in the face. That's too many rules, let's play. Oh, God, mother right my fucking eye, God, son of a Hey guys, what are you doing? Oh, uh, we're playing with Nerf guns. <gasps> can I play? Well, we only have three, so ooh, you should ask your dad to buy you a Nerf gun. Okay, I will. Oh, my eye, ow, ow. Hey, daddy. Ooh, Daddy. Jeffy, stop talking to me like that. Daddy, can you buy me some Nerf guns? What? No, Jeffy, I've bought you plenty of Nerf guns in the past. Well, those are old and I lost all the bullets. Well, I'm sorry, that's not my problem. But Daddy, I need a new Nerf gun right now because all my friends are playing Nerf guns. Okay, look, I don't have a reason to go to the store. I'm not going to the store just to buy you a Nerf gun. Well, I think you need headache medicine. Why? Ow, Jeffy, why, why would you do that? Because I want Nerf guns. Oh, okay, fine. Now I'm going to go to the store, buy headache medicine, and you a dumb Nerf gun. Thanks, Daddy. All right, Jeffy, there's your dumb Nerf gun. Now leave me alone. What the hell is that, Daddy? It's the Nerf gun you wanted me to go to the store to get you. That's not a Nerf gun. That's a Zuru X Shot. What even is that? It was cheaper, and they're all the same, Jeffy. They're not the same, Daddy. I need to have the Nerf gun, the official Nerf gun. No, Jeffy, look, this one's called a Zuru X Shot. Doesn't that sound a lot cooler? Like, X Shot. It no, sounds... I'm going to get made fun of for having this, Daddy. No, look at the kid on the box. He looks like he's going to grow up and be a cool kid. And, and look, and look, the, the bullets are black, and, and look, the gun, it has a a skull on it. Ooh, that's, that's, that's pretty badass if you ask me. And and your your friends, they're going to say you're one cool bean. One cool bean. Yep, that's, that's what they're going to call you. So look, go play with it. All right, Daddy, they better say I'm one cool bean. That's exactly what they're going to say. That's what all the kids are saying. All right, guys, the bean is here. The bean? Yeah, I like flicking the bean and eating vagine. All right. Whoa, Jeffy, what kind of gun is that? It's a Zuru X-Shot. Wait, it's not a Nerf gun? No, my daddy couldn't afford a Nerf gun because he hates me, so he bought me this piece of shit. Oh, dude, it looks so cool and green. Can we trade? Sure. Oh, yeah. Be careful. She's loaded. Oh, dude, this is awesome. I wonder how fast it shoots. <laughs> Uh, that sound brings back good memories. What, Jeffy, are you okay? He shot that Nerf bullet down my throat! Okay, guys, I don't think we should play Nerf guns anymore. It's too dangerous. Let's all just get into bed and cuddle. Actually, you still might get something shot in your eye. <laughs> what, Jeffy, you should go tell your dad that you swallowed a Nerf bullet. Okay, Junior. Um, Daddy? What, Jeffy, what do you want? Um, don't get mad, but I was playing Nerf guns with my friends. Spit it out! And, and 
And Joseph accidentally shot me in the mouth with a Nerf gun and I swallowed the bullet. But you swallowed a Nerf bullet, Jeffy? On oh, accident? Well, now we have to call a doctor. Why? Do you think I'm going to die? Well, no, I just don't want the Nerf bullet to, like, turn sideways and clog your intestines and you get constipate the death or... I I'm gonna call the doctor. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor. So my son swallowed a nerf. Hold, hold on, hold, back, back up, back, back, back up. What? Oh, okay, that's it, that's it. You, Ow! Come on, Ow, get your, geez. you need to get your shit together, man. You don't know what you're doing. I'm just trying to do my job. Well, do it better, okay? Pick up that camera. Pick, pick it up. Pick it. Okay, okay. No, back up. You see, right there, right there. You don't get any closer than that. Okay. Okay. Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That guy's been pissing me off all day. So, so what do you need? Uh, so my son, he, he swallowed a Nerf bullet. Oh, that's fine. That happens. Wait, so like, you don't have to do surgery to get it out or anything? Oh, no. He should poop it out in a couple days. As long as it was just a normal Nerf bullet. Well, that's all it was. No, Daddy, tell him what you did. Tell him how poor you are. <sighs> okay, it wasn't a Nerf bullet. It was an off-brand, like, Zuru X-Shot bullet. What? It, it was off-brand? Yeah, it, it, I mean, it wasn't a Nerf bullet, but they're all the same thing, right? No, 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 no. This is very bad. Hold on. Okay, answer this very carefully. Did the Nerf bullet look like this? Because this is a normal Nerf bullet. Or did it look like this? Um, can I see the other one again? Okay, uh, was it this? A normal Nerf bullet? Or was it this? It was that one. Oh no, that's bad. That's very, very bad. Why is this one bad? Because it's black. Why is it being black bad? But is it not? It, black is beautiful. It, it, it's my favorite color, actually. But but no, it, this one's black because it has lead in it. See, it was made in a cheap Chinese factory where they make the off-brand Nerf bullets, so it has lead in it. So he's gonna get lead poisoning if he eats it. Well, he swallowed one. That's not good. We need him to throw that up because if it hits his digestive system, the lead's gonna get into his bloodstream, then it's gonna get into his heart, then he's gonna have lead heart and he's gonna die. Oh no, you're Jeffy, Jeffy, you have to throw up right now. You have to throw up or you're gonna die. Just, just please, Jeffy, just just try to throw up for me. Just just please, just just throw up. I don't know how to throw up, Daddy. Okay, just open your mouth and make noise like bleh, bleh, bleh. Ah. Oh, no no Jeffy try harder try to throw up harder ah. oh he doesn't know how to throw up can you help him okay I, I have a trick that models use sometimes just stick your finger down your throat to try to make yourself throw up you want me to choke on your fingers daddy okay that's uh. gross like I don't really want to do it now just, just oh, no, no no just tell him how to do it just 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 try to throw up throw up yeah this the <laughs> thin is beautiful you little piggy yeah that's it throw it up Throw up all that ah. nasty food and get thin. Ah. Okay. It's not working. Yeah, it works when models do it. Okay, I, I have an idea. Hold on. Okay, this will definitely make Jeffy throw up. It's just an empty jar. Ah, it may look empty, but there's something in there. What? My fart. My big, loud, stinky fart. Wait, what are you, five? No, look, I grabbed an empty jar, I sat on it, I blew ass in there, and I slapped the lid on real quick before it could escape. Hey there, little fart. I got you, little rascal. You might fart. There's no way this is gonna work. It's gonna work. I did it all the time in college. Look, all Jeffy has to do is take the lid off and then sniff my fart really hard. It'll make him throw up. All right, Jeffy, take the lid off and smell his fart. All right. Why, why are you drinking my fart? Because it smells good. Smells like beef and cheese. Oh, okay. Now I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Oh, hey, look, your stupid fart thing didn't work. Jeffy, Jeffy, let go of the fart. Stop drinking the fart. Oh, okay, okay, I have another idea that'll definitely make him throw up. <sighs> Jeffy, stop the smelling that. Boom, got him Burger King. That'll make him throw up. Burger King? Yep, it's disgusting. I mean, I used to love it as a kid, but now as an adult, I get food poisoning every time. I like Burger King, hence the crown. My liege. Wait, Jeffy, you like Burger King? Yeah. Oh, that's not gonna make him throw up. Man. We gotta think of something. Come on, Doctor, the lead poison's gonna kill him. We'll, we'll, we'll make him throw up. Uh, hold on, I just gotta dig in my ass and think for a second. Wait, what? You're digging in your butt? It helps me think. Oh, I have an idea. Jeffy, smell this. <sighs> Yummy! Here, you wanna smell mine? No, I, I'm good. Does it really <clears throat> smell good? <clears throat> No, it's not good. Uh, Marvin, you want to win? Uh, everyone stop smelling their butts. L listen, we got to find a way to make Jeffy throw up because if he gets, if he dies of lead poisoning, it's going to be my fault. Listen, because I bought him this stupid toy. Oh, we got to think. We got to think. We got to think. Well, I mean, you're his dad, so what usually makes him throw up? Um, green beans. You hit green beans, right, Jeffy? Yeah. Okay, uh, we, we got to get green beans. Well, do you have any green beans? No. And we didn't think of the ending before we started filming, and it's midnight, so nothing's open. We can't buy any green beans right now. Hmm. Well, I, I mean... I have this. I, I don't know if it helps. Wait, a printed out picture of green beans? You just have this? Yeah, I just keep it on me in case of emergencies. Wait, Jeffy, look, look at the picture. I hate green beans, Daddy! I think it's working! <laughs> I think he's gonna throw it up! Hey, he threw it up! Yeah, he threw it up! We did. We no did. lead poisoning we tonight. Did. No lead poisoning tonight. No lead poisoning tonight. We on a diet. Alright, Jeffy, shut up. 
All right, so we, we threw it up. All right, Jeffy, so you learned not to eat Nerf bullets, right? Yeah, but you gotta stop buying all the poor brands. Yeah, I mean, he can eat Nerf bullets, just not those. Uh, hey, don't don't really eat Nerf bullets. That's, that's Hey, ba back it up, back it up. I'm trying to tell them, don't eat, ner don't eat Nerf bullets. Yeah, don't eat them. This is just a joke. But anyway, Jeffy, yeah. okay, fine. I won't buy you the off brand anymore. I'll actually buy you Nerf brand from now on. Good. Hey, uh, hey guys, do, do you guys have your tonsils? I have mine. Well, I got mine removed when I was 13. <laughs> Loser! Tonsil list loser! What a loser! Alright, I'm gonna take off. Hello? Is Cody here? Uh, Cody, your mom's here! Uh, hey mom. Cody, why are your glasses off? I, oh no, I forgot to put them back on. Cody, that's it! Your little tushy's grounded! Come on, you little bug-eyed freak! We're going home! Marvin, do you know what day it is? Uh, Wednesday? No, Marvin, it's a special day. It's trash day, I have to take the trash out? No, Marvin, it's the most important day. Breakfast? No, that's the most important meal. Hey, Daddy, can I wear my bunny suit and listen to Hop Hop and dance on the couch all day? Well, Jenny, shut up. Uh, baby, I don't know what today is. What is it? Marvin, I can't believe you forgot it's our anniversary. <laughs> Ooh, Daddy forgot. Well, today's not our anniversary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, actually, I remember, today, uh, yeah, I knew today was our anniversary. No, you didn't. Yeah, yes, I did. I, I knew today was our anniversary. I actually got you a gift. It's in the car. You did? Yeah, yeah, I bought the gift weeks ago, and I left it in the car, and I had to go get it. So just wait right here. Let me go get it. Hey, Mommy, I totally think you should go with Daddy to the car to get your present. Well, no, no, Jeffy, you should stay right here. I can go with you, Marvin. Well, no, 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 no. I don't want you to walk outside. Like, it's just your day. It's our special day. You should sit on the couch and relax, and I'll go get the gift out of the car because it, it's in pieces. I got to put it together. I don't want you to see it when it's not complete. Okay, Marvin. Yeah, so where are you? No one follow me. I gotta go to the car to get the present. Oh man, I can't believe I forgot me and Rose's anniversary. Where am I gonna find a gift at the last minute? Is that a bunny rabbit? I can give her a bunny rabbit. Uh, hey little bunny rabbit. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't run away. I got a snack for you. I got a snack for you right here. Come here, come here, come here. Hold still, you split bunny rabbit. Should I put breathing holes? He's only gonna be there for a second. Come on. All right, baby, here's your gift. Oh my gosh, Marvin, you did remember. Hey, Danny, look, I got my bunny shoe on. That's great, Jeffy. Yeah, here's your gift. Marvin, why is it wrapped in Christmas wrapping paper? Because I couldn't find any other wrapping paper downstairs. I mean, I, I didn't want to buy new wrapping paper because I wanted to use the old one because I want to recycle pollution. Oh, okay. Uh, but why is it moving? Yeah, Danny, did you cut your wiener off and put it in the box? Why would I cut my wiener off, Jeffy? I don't know, because like when you cut a snake's head off, it still moves. What, Jeffy, shut up. But I never told you that. How did you know? Oh, because I just know you because we've been married for so long. I know you. Oh, heck no. There can only be one bunny rabbit in this house and I'm right here. But Jeffy, stop it. It's, it's her gift. So what are you going to name it? I'm going to name him Thumper. Humper? Why would you name him Humper? Like, <laughs> well, no, no, Jeffy. It's, <laughs> it's not Humper. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a Humper with, it's, no, it's Thumper with a T-H. Oh, the Humper. <laughs> no, Jeffy, stop it. No, it's not. Listen, uh, no, just leave, okay? Marvin, I have a question. What? What did? Why did you have to say that you had to put it together? Oh, oh, oh yeah, I had to put your gift together because I had to, um, I, I had to put them in the box. I didn't want them to suffocate, so I had to go and put them in the box. That's that's what I meant when I had to put your gift together. Well, you also said that you had them in the car for weeks. <gasps> No, 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 I bought them at the pet store weeks ago, and then they just dropped them off to my car right now. They, they put them in the car for me. Well, does the bunny rabbit want some of my carrot? Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure he would love your carrot. Last two damn bad! Where's my carrot? Oh, okay, Jeff, can you please leave? It's our anniversary. We want to spend time together. Yeah, I'm going to go make you guys the anniversary present. You don't have to do that. Ugh. Well, baby, do you, do you like your bunny rabbit? I do, Marvin, but I still have some questions. What? Like, do you have the papers from the pet store? I I, I left them there. I got to go print them out later. I, I mean, go back to the store and get them. Well, baby, baby, just enjoy your gift. I mean, it's I got a bunny rabbit for you. It's not like I went outside and grabbed it just now and just put it in a box to make it look like it's your gift. Okay, Marvin, you're right. And I love him. Thumper's the best. Yep, you go, just go play with him. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to make a carrot cake for my mommy and daddy's anniversary. First thing, I need some carrots. <coughs> Looks like enough carrots. The next thing we need is some eggies. <coughs> Darn it, I missed. <coughs> oh, missed again. I don't know why I keep missing. <coughs> you know what? There we go. All right, the next thing we need is the carrot cake mix. And then, last but not least, some flour. 
All right, Thumper, do you want to play with your little carrot toy? No? Oh, okay, okay. Well, how about this thing? <gasps> Thumper, where are you going? Come back! All right. Put your cake in there. Let me make sure the oven's at 550 degrees. All right, yep, sure is. All right. Jeffy, have you seen Thumper any? <gasps> Jeffy, you made a mess. Marvin's going to be so mad at you. Well, I was just trying to make you and Daddy an anniversary cake. Oh, that's so sweet, Jeffy. You have fun. Thanks, Mommy. It'll be done any minute. Marvin, have you seen Thumper anywhere? Thumper? I hardly knew her. What? I was just doing what you <laughs> I was just doing what Jeffy did earlier. It's not funny, Marvin. Well, you're, you're looking for Thumper? If he ran away, we can just go to the pet store and buy you a new one. What? I mean, Mommy, Daddy, I made you your anniversary cake. Aw, Marvin, who would have thought we would raise a little baker? But my name is Jeffy. It's not Baker. Well, there's just carrots popping out. It looks gross. It looks cute, Marvin. Look at the carrots and the sprinkles and the icing and... Wait, what's this? You did do it on purpose, Jeffy. You were jealous of this bunny rabbit because when you saw him, you said you wanted to be the only bunny rabbit in the house. But here's the thing, Daddy. I don't give a fuck. See, see that's, that's what you, you don't care. You don't care about anyone but yourself. You killed this bunny rabbit on purpose. You're a murderer. You, you kill animals. No, I don't. I didn't even do this on purpose. I didn't know he was getting in the cave. That's it, Jeffy. You are grounded. For how long? For a month. Okay, can we lock that in? What do you mean, can we lock it in? So you can't add any more time to it? Can we lock it in for a month? What, what, why would you want to lock it in? Because I don't want you to add any more time to it when you see the kitchen. What, what's wrong with the kitchen? Because that's at least a year, Daddy. <laughs> oh, that's it, Jimmy! <laughs> But you locked in a month, Danny, so deal with it. What you do? Oh, no, 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 I didn't lock in a month. You're gonna be grounded longer than a month. You know what? You're gonna be grounded for life because I'm kicking you out of my house. But father, how can you do this to your perfect son? Oh, you're the opposite of perfect. I'm calling the cops to put you in foster care. Hey there, somebody called the cops? Yes, officer, I want to kick him out of my house. Didn't you adopt him? Yes, but I want to unadopt him because I hate him. Well, he turns 18 in August. Can't you just wait? No, I can't wait. You don't understand. He makes my life a living hell. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> Are you listening? Listening. Okay, listen. I know his dad's dead, and I know his mom's in jail, but he has to have some other family members he can go live with because I don't want him to live here. Well, lucky for you, I have this new app on my phone called Family Finder that'll help me find anybody he's related to. Wait, what does it work? Well, let's see. Let's take a picture of him, and huh, wow, look at that. He has two grandparents that live not far from here. Well, he has two grandparents, really? Yeah, I guess I could send him to live with them. You hear that, Jeffy? You're gonna go live with your grandparents. Please don't do that to me, father. Wait, I don't care if you talk to me in a British accent. It's not gonna work. Drop him out with his grandparents. Oh, why do you want to kick him out so bad? Because I got my wife the perfect anniversary gift. I got her a pet rabbit, and she keeps looking at it because she's so... She's so upset that it's dead because he baked into a cake. Oh my god, why would you do that? Because it's wabbit season. Well, it's actually duck season. Wabbit season. 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 All right, fine. I'm going to take you to live with your grandparents. Come on. Just say goodbye to your parents. Tell Tiny Tim I won't be coming home this Christmas. Oh, Jeffy, stop it. Tell any little yeller out. Jeffy, leave. Tell Scarlett I do give a damn. Jeffy, get out of here. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so sorry about your pet rabbit, baby. All right, Jeffy, this is your grandparents' house. You're going to have to stay here from now on. But it's so dark and scary. Yeah, well, this is where you're going to have to stay since you get kicked out of your other house. Maybe don't kill bunnies next time. Come on. Aw. Huh. Every bunny welcome. Well, good. That kind of fits with your whole bunny thing. Uh, hello, ma'am. I'm Brooklyn T. Guy with the police department. You ain't got a warrant! No, ma'am, I, I don't have a warrant. That's not why I'm here. I'm here with your grandson, Jeffy. Jeffy? I ain't seen him in 15 years. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, he needs a place to stay, so I'm thinking he's gonna stay here. Oh, come on in, Jeffy. Grandpappy will be so happy to see you. Okay, Grandma. You have fun, Jeffy. Poppy! Your grandson Jeffy is here. Uh, let me see him. 
Hey, Grandpa! Boy, why you dress like a bunny rabbit? You look like a damn fool! Now, hold on, Pappy. You know what the sign on the front door says? It says, Every bunny is welcome. Well, leave me alone. I'm watching the Kiki Room. Oh, I love watching the Kiki. See that over there, Jeffy? That's a Kiki Room. Look at all the Kikis. Good Kikis. Come on, Pappy. Let's go show Jeffy the Kiki Room. Oh, make me get up and shit awful. All right, Jeffy, this is what we call the Kiki Room. This is where all 35 of my babies live. 32 confirmed alive. Jeffy, we don't have TV. TV is the devil. What we have is the Kiki Room, and we watch the Kikis like our own personal little sitcom. Like you see that orange one over there? Well, that one is married to the one right here with the mustache. And then this one over here is his secret lover. So, Jeffy, make sure you're a good boy, or else you'll get fed to the Kikis. And they're hungry for freedom. You hear that, Kikis? You stay in that room. Come on, Jeffy. Oh, Jeffy, come sit next to your grandpa and watch the Kiki show. Okay. Jeffy, you want grandpa to go get you something nice to drink? Maybe an ice cold Dr. Pepper? Okay, I'll take that. Ain't no damn sodas in this house. What the hell is wrong with you? Sodas is the devil. You drink water. Okay, then I'll have water. Mm-hmm. Come on, Jeffy, let's watch the Kikis. What? Wait, no, somebody come look at this. Kiki, what you doing in the laundry basket? Get out of there. It's not time to wash the dogs. Hey, Kiki, Kiki, you stop digging your balls. That's gross. Kiki, stop it. Can we change the channel? Well, there's only one show, and it's the Kiki show, and you're going to watch it. You know what? Go check on your grandma. She's taking too long. Okay. <laughs> um, Grandma? What you want? Grandma's about to cut up some spam for the Kikis. They ain't eating about two weeks, and they're starving. Oh. Why don't you go get Grandma another can of spam out of the pantry? It's down the hallway, the long, creepy hallway. Okay. Mm -hmm. Long, scary hallway? What is that? It's so scary. Oh, oh, an evil kiki? Oh, well, at least I found the spam. Oh, man, it's stuck on the wall. What's that noise? Hey, ah! What are you doing in the hallway? You looking for my new demags? No. You get back in there and watch the kiki show. Well, Grandma told me to come get the spam. I'll get the spam. You go on. Okay. All right, Jeffy, sit back and watch the Kiki Show. I'm tired of the Kiki Show. That's too damn bad. Watch it. I got the spam. Oh, can I have a piece? No, it's for the Kikis. Touch it and I'll catch you. Uh, Martha, I don't think this is enough spam for all the Kikis. Well, Pappy, we're out of spam. Oh, no, we're not. I see a whole bunch of spam right here. Wait, oh. me? Yeah. Get over here. Ah! Ah! Get back here. The Kikis are hungry. Get back here, goddammit. Martha, you scared him off! Well, the Kiki's are hungry! Ah, oh, dang, dang, dang! I don't want to live in my grandparents' house anymore! Jeffy, stop yelling. I have a really bad headache. I feel so sick. Hey, Daddy, how'd you get another bunny so quick? Well, I went outside and grabbed another bunny rabbit, and I lied and said the one in the cake wasn't really dead. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna make you a get-well-soon cake. Well, no, Jeffy, you can't make any more cakes! Look, look I'll hold the bunny rabbit back. I, I, don't, I don't want him to cook this one. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm sick, and I wasn't sick when we were filming the rest of the video, and we wanted to get the ending the next day, and then my voice sounded like this, and we still had to upload it, so that's why Marvin's sick like this. Yeah, so make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button, and make sure you're subscribed. And yeah, hit the subscribe button. You already said that. Yeah. <laughs>
mean I do, but I'm just trying to learn. Marvin, he's just trying to learn. He sucks at playing as my grandfather's and he's breaking it. Look at all the strings. Stop, stop, no. Jeffy. Stop it, Jeffy. Okay, we have to find something for him to do all summer because he's annoying me. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, you stay right here. Hello? Hello? There's no one here. What the? Summer camp? <gasps> Children of all ages? No adults allowed! Baby! I got something for Jeffy to do! Baby, 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 baby! I found the thing! Jeffy, stop it! Baby, I found the thing that's gonna make us free! Summer camp, children all ages, no adults allowed. Marvin, that sounds suspicious. So what's suspicious? There's nothing suspicious about this. Look, there's ice cream cones, there's, there's kayaking, there's kids playing tug of war. It sounds like fun. Well, who dropped it off? I don't know. It was just there at the door. Oh, no. Well, look, baby, it's fine. Jeffy, do you want to do all the things you see on this paper? Uh-huh. Well, then look, 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 go, look. It says it picks you up at 10 a.m. <gasps> that's like in an hour. So, so go get all your friends and invite them to summer camp. Can I take the violin? Man? No, you can't take that, but it'll be here waiting for you when you get back from summer camp. So look, grab the flag. Go, go, go. Okay, I'm gonna go show all my friends. Yeah, go hurry. Oh, baby, we're free for the entire summer. Marvin, I don't know. It didn't even say when summer camp ended. Baby, it's called summer camp. It obviously ends at the end of summer. That means I have two months of sitting here in the quiet. I can do whatever I want. Hell, I can even learn the violin. You know, I'm not going to, but because I don't want to be annoyed, but you know, I can do whatever I want. Guys, 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 it's summer vacation. What are we going to do? Ooh, I know. We should play naked tag where we all get naked and try to tag each other. I'm out. Well, good. It's just for the boys anyway, right, guys? Come on, let's get naked. Come on. Hey, do you guys want to go to summer camp? Summer camp? Dude, is that ice cream? Ooh, there's going to be so many boys there. I want to go canoeing. Yeah, let's go to summer camp. Debbie, how do we go? Well, the bus is pulling up right now. Let's go. Well, let's go, guys. Guys, 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 I can't believe we're going to summer camp. I know, dude. It's going to be so exciting. Hurry up, kids. Get on the bus. We don't have all day. Okay. Oh, is it hot out there or is it just you? What? Nothing. Just hurry up and get on the bus, you little scale. Come on inside. Don't be shy. Uh, where do we sit? Oh, you can sit anywhere you want. Hey, do you want to sit on my lap? Pretend you're driving the bus? No, I'd rather sit back here. Oh, dang it. Hey, 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 does anybody want to sit on my lap? Yeah. Uh, hey, guys, does that bus driver look kind of familiar to you? Eh, no. Yeah, I don't recognize him. Uh, I guess I'm just being weird. All right, you little cuties. Where do you think we're going today? I, I mean, I know where we're going. I just want to know where you think we're going. Summer camp? Yeah, summer camp. Summer camp? Good guess. But no, we're going to my house, which is kind of like summer camp, because I have all kinds of fun games we can play, but they're all in my basement. Uh, his house? I don't think he's supposed to be our bus driver. Guys, we're going on an adventure! Shut up! Do you want to have a boring summer? <laughs> we're gonna have a fun time, kids. Now let's get this bus going! <laughs> Come on, start. Oh, start. Hurry up before the cops show up and realize I'm not really a bus driver. Start, damn it. <laughs> oh, I got her going. Come on, kids! Yay, we're about to go! Uh, Junior, I want to get off. Tell your mom to get off the couch and go on a diet because she's so fat. She needs to exercise. All right, dispatch, I'm pulled up behind the school bus. I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to get away with this. Hey, kids, you ready to get going? Gotcha! You're under arrest for trying to kidnap these kids. Oh, dang it. I almost got away with it, too, if it weren't for those meddling policemen. Hey, why is our bus driver getting arrested? Well, maybe he doesn't have a driver's license. No, please, I can't go back to prison. Well, you're going to be in there for the rest of your life, Mr. Winkle. Yeah, Mr. Winkle, I knew I recognized him. Man, those sunglasses really disguised him. Hey, sorry, kids. Uh, Mr. Winkle over there stole this bus, and he passed passed out a whole bunch of summer camp flyers to kidnap as many kids as he could, so no summer camp for you kids, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to get off the bus. Oh man! Oh man, baby, isn't this relaxing? Just laying down with no noise? Hey there. Well, hey, what are you doing in my house? Leave! Well, I just wanted to tell you, your son almost got abducted. What? Did you get him back? Yeah. Dang it! Marvin! What, what happened? Well, this guy named Mr. Winkle was going around the neighborhood passing out these fake summer camp flyers so he could get kids onto his bus to take them back to his house. Marvin, I knew that summer camp was a bad idea. But, baby, look at the flyer. It's so convincing. Look at the ice cream cone. Yeah, it does look pretty good. Although, orange ice cream with chocolate? Mm, that just screams bad news. And this no adults allowed thing should have been a red flag. Well, I just thought obviously no adults would want to go to a kid's 
camp. That's weird. I guess. Well, where are the kids now? No, oh, they're out in the front yard crying because they didn't get to go to summer camp. Poor Jeffy. He must be traumatized. Marvin, go get him. No, I want him to go to summer camp. Marvin, I think he should be home for the summer. Absolutely not. I don't want to hear him play this violin all summer. Listen, officer, is there any other summer camps going on around here? Uh, not that I know of. Oh, my God. Okay, listen. Can you make a summer camp? You know, just take Jeffy for the whole summer? Make a summer camp? Yeah, I don't want to see Jeffy all summer. I, I mean, I'm kind of busy. I... I, I mean, I, my shift goes till 8, so I, I guess I could make a summer camp that only goes till 8. Well, like, like a day camp? Just like a day camp, like a quick one. Oh, okay, just do that. I just like, I just want a day of peace and quiet and a day for me to throw this violin away so Jeffy can't annoy me. Okay, yeah, sure, but how much are you going to pay me? Uh, uh, $20. $20? Come on, I'm a cop. Do you know how much I make? Not enough. Give me that 20 All right, I'll do it. Let me just change into something more appropriate. Okay, I have a day to get rid of this violin. But Marvin, that's your grandpa! Uh, now that summer camp was canceled, what are we gonna do all summer? I guess we could have a blindfolded hot dog sucking contest. I'm out. Well, that's fine. It's for the boys anyway. Come on, guys. Take your clothes off. Whip them hot dogs out. Good news, kids. I got paid 20 bucks to take you all to summer camp. Wait, we still gonna go to summer camp? Yeah, I mean, it's in the backyard, but come on. Yeah, summer camp! All right, kids. The first game is the three-legged race. Whoever can cross the finish line with their partner first wins. But wait a minute. Cody doesn't have a partner. He's cheating. Oh, no. I already have three legs. Every race is a three-legged race for me. You might as well disqualify me right now for my performance enhancing penis. You're going down, Junior. There's no way you're gonna win. You have a girl on your team, and the only way they're good at running is when they run to the kitchen to make sandwiches. Or if they run away with all your money. Yeah, someone on our team, based on the way they look, is really good at running. Wait, what, dude? What, gingers? I I'm a ginger. They're really good at running. I never heard of that stereotype. I'm a ginger, too. But you're a girl, so it cancels out. Okay, three, two, one, go, kid. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Come on, dude, you're so slow! I'm sorry, I'm not as fast as you people. What, what dude? Are you people that are fast at running, I'm not a fast running. Come on! Uh, 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 it's so hard to run with my big schlong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, Jeffy won! I thought I picked the right partner, but guess <sighs> not. I'm tired of you! Yay! I won, I won, I won! Ow! You dragged me the whole way! Well, I'm willing to win! <sighs> Sorry, guys, I didn't finish the race. One of my legs got twisted around one of my other legs. Well, I guess we have a winner. Come on, next game! All right, kids, next up is tug of war. So just break up into two teams, get on either side of this rope, and whoever can pull the other team over that line there wins. But there's an odd amount of people. Oh, don't worry, Penelope. I'm hunky as shit. We can take these three. Oh, and I'm used to pulling strings because I'm a girl and, you know, tampons. Oh, yeah? Well, we're going to win because someone on our team is a black. What? Belt in karate. I'm super strong, so I can pull you guys over that line. And I'm black, so that counts for something, dude. Yeah, and I have something wrong with me, so I'm super strong. So you're going down. Woo! All right, kids, get in position. All right, guys, we're totally gonna win this game. Yeah, we're gonna pull your rope so hard they're gonna crap your pants. Heck yeah, dude. All right, guys, you ready to lose? Uh, don't worry, Penelope, we got this. But you don't even have your hands on the rope. Well, that's because the rope is clenched between my butt cheeks. It's where I'm the strongest. Yeah, I've been doing Kegel exercises since I was in the womb. Ugh, I can crush an apple between my butt cheeks. It's insane. All right, kids, whoever gets pulled across this line loses. All right, one, two, three, go! <laughs> Cody, pull harder! Oh no, Penelope, my butt cheeks can't handle it! Clench harder! I'm clenching! I'm clenching! <laughs> Guys, we almost got it! Pull with all your mind! On three, we're gonna pull as hard as we can! One, two, three! <laughs> oh no, Cody! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we have a winner! Uh, okay, guys, damn, you can stop dragging it. Junior, how long do we run with the rope for? Until they say we won! What did they say to do? Ow, my butthole. Ha ha, Cody, we beat you guys, and it's because of the black belt that I am. Why you keep saying it like that, dude? You never gloated about being a black belt ever. But I am a black belt, and I want to brag about it. That's why we won. Cody, are you okay? I have rope burn on my bunghole. You should probably get that checked out, kid. What's the next game we're going to play? Well, follow me. All right, kids, next up is canoeing, so just get in that boat and go out on the water. You're not going to go with us? I'm not getting in that damn thing. There's snakes in that water, and crocodiles, and tapeworms that could go up my pee hole. Ooh, I want to go, but I don't really want to deal with the crocodiles. The crocodile hunter died. Yeah, it was sad. Dude, I'm not getting in that boat. I can't swim. Is it because you're blown? Huh? 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 Finish your sentence. Bad at swimming? I am bad at swimming. I want to go. Oh, yeah, me and Jeffy will go. Okay, good luck. Just don't tip over. I'm pretty sure that water will give you syphilis. Okay, let's go, Jeffy. All right. 
So, Junior, what are we supposed to be doing? I think we row the boat with the paddle. Oh, like the song? Row, row, row your boat, throw your paddle in the stream. You know what? No, you're not supposed to throw your paddle. That's how the song goes. Whoops. Well, at least we still have one paddle. Hey! Bam, Mr. Alligator! Bam, bam, bam! Uh, help! Dumb! Someone! Help! Help! The alligator bit Jeffy! Mr. Alligator, you give Jeffy back! <laughs> Can you at least hand me the paddle? What? Hey! Hey! Oh, that went so far away. I guess I could just swim. Oh, man, it is a nice day. <laughs> Mr. 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 An alligator got our canoe and ate Jeffy! What? We had an alligator, he jumped in the canoe and he ate Jeffy, he's dead! Uh, I told you not to go out on that pond. Well, you're not gonna do anything about it! Listen, kid, he's gone. Who wants ice cream? Me! All right, kids, I know I said ice cream, but all I have is popsicles, so enjoy that. Ooh, I love popsicles, dude! Me too! I dropped mine. Hey, hey, guys, do you dare me to, like, deep throat this whole popsicle? Like, did you shove the whole thing down my throat? Can I get another popsicle? I dropped mine. Dude, we can share one. I don't want to share with you. I want to share with Penelope. Ew, no, Junior. <laughs> oh, God, look. <coughs> All right, kids, you ready to make s'mores? Yeah, I want to make s'mores! Oh. All right, kids, now we're going to make s'mores. So just put your stick in the fire and we can cook your marshmallow. Okay, well, that was wrong. You said throw my stick in the fire. No, I didn't say throw it. I said put your stick in the fire. Like you put the tip of your stick in the fire. Oh, sometimes I only put in the tip. Nah, I'm just kidding. I get greedy. I put in the whole thing. Dude, I'm afraid of fire. Is it because you're- You better not say it, I swear to God, dude. Oh. You got so mad your hat came off. Oh, you make me mad. All right, kids, let's get to cooking these marshmallows. Well, those are some good-looking s'mores, kids. Uh, I still need to make mine. Joseph, why is your marshmallow black? I wanted it to look like that, dude. Do you have a problem with that? Well, no, no, I don't. I'll just shut up. All right, kids. You ready to tell some scary stories? I want to hear scary stories. I want to hear them. Okay, I'll go first. Okay, kids. Whenever you get older, sometimes you get this ringing in your ears, and it just keeps ringing and ringing, and there's nothing you can do about it, and it just won't stop ringing, and that's called tinnitus, and there's no cure. And whenever you're trying to go to sleep, you just hear ringing and ringing in your ears constantly and you just have to put up with it until you die. And then, if it, sometimes when you get older, you grind your teeth together in your sleep. And then whenever you move your jaw, you hear this kind of like sandy noise, like there's sand in there, and that's called TMJ. And if you don't get it taken care of, that can cause lock jaw, where your jaw just locks shut and you talk like this and there's nothing you can do. And then, there's this other thing. Whenever you have kids, for the first year of their life, there's this thing called SIDS, and that stands for Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. So that just means they can drop dead whenever, and nobody knows why. They just ran Randomly die. Yeah, so you guys can look forward to that when you grow up. So that's 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 all real. So you know, go ahead and tell whatever kind of made up fairy tales you were you were gonna tell. Oh, I got a story, dude. Once upon a time, there was a continent of happy people. Then white people came on boats and kidnapped them. Ah! There's no way that happened. Oh yeah, it happened, dude. Oh, yeah. that's so scary. Yeah, it's the saddest story of all. to run, kids! Ah! What's wrong? How's summer camp going? Oh, it's going pretty good. You know, we played tug of war, we had a three-legged race, we had some popsicles, we went canoeing, your son got eaten by a crocodile. What? Oh, hold on. Rude, I'm not done. Then we made some s'mores, and then there was a swamp monster! Oh, God, there he is now! Ah! Wait a minute. That's no swamp monster. That's Jeffy. Jeffy. And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you, stupid dog. You make me look bad. Booga 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 booga. Well, that's just not the right show. That's that's Courage the Cowardly Dog. Guys, it's summer vacation. Woo! Yeah. Summer. Well, it's a nice day outside. Let's go swimming. Oh, hell yeah. Let me get ready. Oh, dude, I can't wait to go swimming. Joseph, can you even swim? Why would you ask a question like that, huh? huh? Is it because I'm black? Well, I just... I, I... Hey, guys, I'm ready to go swimming. Yes. Check out my summer bod. Whoa, Cody, you're ripped. Yeah, it's because I've been doing an extra 200 sit-ups every morning. It's easy when Ken bends over in front of my face. It gives me something to work for. I wish my body looked like that. Well, take your shirts off. Let me see your abs. But we don't have abs. <laughs> of course not. It's not easy being a brick wall-built bitch like I am. So, guys, where are we going to go swimming at? Oh, dude, let's go to the river. Wait, aren't there 
there snakes in the river? Dude, one time I went to the river, and then the leech went out my pee hole and I peed blood! Yeah, we're not swimming in a river. Does anyone else have a place we can swim at? I wish I had a pool. Oh, I know a guy with a pool! I sneak in it all the time! Are there leeches in his pool? No, it's clean. So let's go swimming in his pool. But what if we get caught? Oh, he's never there, dude! Yeah, let's, let's go swim at that guy's house. Come on, guys. Okay. Alright, guys, the coast is clear. Let's go! Come on, guys, get in the pool. Okay, I'm about to. Man, this pool is so cool. Joseph, do you know who owns it? No, dude, I've never seen the guy. Hey, what are you hot little kids doing in my pool? Ah, it's Mr. Winkle, run! Ah! No, 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 come back. You can use it. Oh, damn, I came on too strong. Uh. What's wrong, Marvin? It's summer vacation, and I know Jeffy's going to annoy me for the next two months. Hmm, what we need is something for Jeffy to do outside to distract him all summer. Like a basketball goal? No, Marvin, like a pool! Baby, pools are expensive. Yeah, Marvin, but do you want Jeffy to annoy you inside or be outside all summer long so we can be alone together for the summer? Hmm, that is a good point. Oh, man, the thought of spending money is making my stomach hurt. Look, you call a pool company and get a quote. I got to use the bathroom. Okay. Hey there, thanks for calling Brooklyn Guys Handyman Services. I can do literally anything, except pay child support. <laughs> That's a little joke in case my ex-wife calls. You're not my ex-wife, are you? No, I'm not. Okay, good. So how can I help you? Well, my husband needs you to do something for us. Okay, what is it? He needs you to... Uh, oh, oh, I'm having a blonde moment. I can't think of it. Okay, well, just describe it. It's, uh, we need you to fill a deep, wet hole with liquid. <laughs> oh, okay, it's one of those kind of calls. Wait, and you said your husband wants my help with this? Yes, he wants you to do it. Oh, I get it, he likes to watch, okay. I mean, he will watch if you don't take too long. Oh, believe me, it won't take long at all. Oh, so you're quick? <laughs> I'm a little too quick, I'm Speedy Gonzalez over here. Oh, that's great! W really? Where have you been all my life, lucky man? Hmm, I'm trying to think of it, it starts with a... P. I can tell you what it is. Oh, no, don't tell me. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Um, yeah, it will. People get in it. Yeah, and I hope to be one of them. People, uh, multiple people at once. Oh, Jesus H. Christ. Uh, I like how many people are we talking? Oh, a whole party. A whole party? Oh, my God. This has happened? No, we want it to happen. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I got some buddies. I can invite them over. Yeah, let's do this. I'm still trying to think of it. Um, A snorkel could come in handy. Oh, you bet your ass it will. I'm going to be down there for a while. I'm going to have to breathe. Uh, You need lots of towels. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, I will. It can be slippery. Oh, I hope it is. Some people drown in it. Oh, yeah. Why do you think I need the snorkel? Other people use toys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my wife's into that. Honestly, it just makes me feel like less of a man. Some people pee in it. Oh, okay. Well, I don't really know how I feel about that. I, I mean, I guess I'll try anything once, but I got a nervous bladder, so... Oh! Oh, it's a pool! It's a swimming pool! I I'm sorry, what? It's a swimming pool. We need you to build us a swimming pool for the summer. Oh, God, I am a sick bastard. Of, co of course it's a pool. You said snorkel. Oh... Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll be right over. A actually, you know what? It won't be me that comes over. It'll be somebody who, who sounds like me and looks like me. But you can't see me. That doesn't matter. Look, uh, when the guy gets there, just don't even talk about it, okay? Let's forget this happened. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, I'll be right... Uh, I mean, he'll be right over. Okay. Hey, Marvin. What? You just wait outside the bathroom. Yeah, I came to get your house payment. Oh, my, my house payment. Uh, I, I don't have it. Shocker. Oh, I need to ask your permission for something. Is there any way that I could possibly get a swimming pool? Huh? You can't even afford your house payment. Why would I approve you for a swimming pool? Well, you see, my son would love to swim in it. Yeah, and I would love to swim in your house payment, but I never get it. Well, listen, listen, is there anything I can do? I, I just really want to buy a swimming pool for the house. Hmm. Now, if I let you get a swimming pool and you pay for it, and then when you default on your house payment, then I can come and take your house and sell it for more money. So on second thought, yeah, you can get a pool. Oh, thank you so much. But there are a few rules, so come with me so I can explain them to you. Oh, okay. So what are the rules? You're only allowed to have a small, boring pool in your backyard. The Homeowners Association hates fun, so your pool can only be five feet by five feet, okay? Absolutely no slides. If I see a slide going into your pool, you're done. Well, what about a small slide? No slides, okay? Okay, I got it. No slides. No, there will not be a single slide, okay? Okay. Marvin, what took you so long? Goodman was waiting for me outside the bathroom. Oh, what did he want? He wanted our house payment, but he did say we can get a pool. Oh, that's awesome, Marvin. Yeah, did you call the pool company? I did. He seemed really excited. Well, that's good. Hey, I'm not the guy that was on the phone. That guy's weird. Oh, you sound just like him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get that a lot, but I'm not him. That guy's a creep, and I'm not him. Did she fill you in on the phone? Well, I was hoping it was going to be the other way around, but yeah, she told me. So you can build a pool? Oh, oh boy, can I build a pool. I, I, I build pools in my sleep, yeah. 
So when's the last pool you built? Uh, yes, yesterday. Yes, I made a pool yesterday. Can we see a picture of it? No, that that was a, a secret pool for the CIA. It's a CIA secret pool. So have you built other pools in the past? Can we see a picture of those? No, no, I, I've only built secret CIA pools, so I'm, I can't take any pictures. They, they, they actually would have me killed just for talking about it. Whoa, whoa, did you see that bullet, that quiet bullet that just went over? That was them trying to kill me for talking about all their pools. So the CIA just has a bunch of pools? Yeah, yeah, they love their pools almost as much much as they love how secret they are. So so we're gonna be your first civilian pool? Yeah, my first non-secret pool, that, that'll be cool. I, I'm used to building pools next to aliens and, and, and nukes and stuff. So, okay, anyway, we have, these are things we need. The pool has to be five feet by five feet okay. and no slides. Oh, well that's easy because I don't even know how to make a slide. Okay, and the pool has to be in the backyard. Okay, oh, oh really? Because I'm used to building pools like in secret underground bunkers, you know, so this will be different. So I'm gonna show you my backyard, come on. Okay. This is the backyard. Oh yeah, this is the perfect place to build a pool. I, I would totally build a pool here if I could. But you said you could. I can, I can build a pool. So that's that's what I'm gonna do. Well then start. Um, okay, I guess I'd start by uh, di 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 digging a hole. Yeah, dig a hole. Digging a hole, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So um, just, uh, there you go. Um, I, I, I don't wanna do it while you're watching. I, I can't do it when people are watching. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna call somebody who knows how to build a pool. Okay, here's your pool. Jesus, wow, that, that is one hell of a pool. Man, that is that is just outstanding work. I don't know how you people do it. I, I mean, people who make pools. I don't know how people who make pools do it. I, I don't get it, that's mind blowing to me. Okay, can I get paid? Oh, well see, I can't really pay you until the guy that hired me to build this pool pays me. See, I'm lying, and a guy hired me to make a pool, but I don't know how, so I hired you to make the pool, and so now I need that guy to pay me. Okay, it's gonna be $400,000. What, Jesus, 400,000? Well, I, I didn't sign up for that. Hell, I don't even think he signed up for that. Well, if you don't pay me, then I'm gonna kill you and bury you with the shovel. Uh, okay, uh, y yes sir, amigo. Oh, oh man. Okay, I'm done with the pool. Already? He did say he was quick. Well, no, 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 no. That was that was the guy on the phone. I, I didn't say that. I'm not I'm not him. But yes, I don't last long either. So the pool's done? Yeah, come on. But uh, walk backwards. I want it to be a surprise. Uh, okay. All right, turn around. Look how big this pool is! What happened to five feet by five feet? No, oh, that's kind of hard to translate into Spanish. What? Uh, nothing, look at that big slide. A slide? I said no slide! Oh yeah, you did say that, didn't you? Oh, I'm sorry, it must have slipped my mind when I thought about how badass it would be. I mean, look at that, look at that thing, it's cool, it's fun. I know it's cool and fun, but the homeowners association said no slide. <laughs> them! What do they know? What are they, allergic to fun? They gotta be like 65. What do they do on the weekend? Croquet? They're too old for fun. Look at these palm trees. They scream youth. Alright, listen, the slide's gotta go, because they're gonna be mad. Okay, well, if they have a problem with it, tell them to come talk to me, because I have something long and wet they can suck on. That slide. Okay, listen, the, the slide's gotta go. Okay, man, listen, listen. how about you just pay me, and then we'll talk about the slide after. Okay, how much is it, like $20,000? Uh, like $800,000. $800,000?! I didn't agree to that! Yeah, well, I didn't either, but look how cool this pool is! I do not have $800,000 to pay for this dumb pool. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to fill it in with dirt. Then fill it in with dirt, because I can't pay for it. Okay, listen, man, I got a problem. Um, can I talk to you inside? Why can't we just talk out here? Because I, I don't know if he's listening. Come on. Well, who? In here, in here. Well, what's going on? Okay, look, man, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't build that pool out there. There's no way in hell I could build a pool that that nice. Then who built it? I don't know, some guy I found? Well, let me talk to him. I'll pay him. Well, see, that's the problem. He wants $800,000. Well, let me talk to him. I'll tell him we don't have that money. Well, see, I told him that, and he said he'd kill me if I didn't pay him. Hola, gringo. Oh, God, please don't cut my head off. You have my 400,000 pesos? What, pesos? 400,000? You said it was 800,000. Well, yeah, I was trying to get my cut. Cut for what? Well, for finding him. He made a really nice pool. I was the middleman. That's got to be worth something. How many dollars is 400,000 pesos? About $20,000. Oh, okay, great. So just pay us 40000 and I can still get my cut. Get out of here. Okay. okay, uh, baby, can you grab the plot convenient money that we don't tell you good men about? Okay, Marvin. Here you go. Arriba! Muchos gracias. Now we have a pool and it's paid for. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, how did you not know Mr. Wiggle owned that pool? Dude, I never see him. Look, there's a sign that says skinny dip in the pool, so I always skinny dip there. Plus, there's cameras pointed towards the pool, but he never comes outside. Because he's probably watching the cameras. That's so gross. Now where are we going to go swimming, guys? We can go swim at a community pool. Ew, no, Junior, that's gross. People pee in public pools. You know what? Actually, yeah, let's do it. Hey, guys, when did we get a swimming pool in your backyard? We don't have a swimming pool. What are you talking... <laughs> 
pool! Guys, guys, there's a swimming pool in the backyard! What, junior pools don't just come out of nowhere? Well, this one did, come on, let's go! What? We do have a pool now! Oh, dude, it's so sick! What, junior, how did you just magically get a pool? Maybe Santa Claus brought it. Well, Santa Claus can't bring a pool. Well, yes, he can, he's magic. He can't fit 30,000 gallons of water in a bag. Maybe he has 30,000 bags in his sleigh. Well, his sleigh's not big enough. Maybe he has like a limousine sleigh, got a new one. Well, junior, stop it. You're just not in the Christmas spirit, Cody. Well, no, because it's June. You're is my name. <sighs> All right, guys, last one in the pool is a big, fat, ugly mom and is a cow. <laughs> Cody, you know what? Actually, first person in the pool doesn't like big fat wieners. Uh, well, okay, I can't get in the pool now. That'd be a lie. Oh, right, uh, last one in the pool is a fat mom. Wait. Oh, man, guys. I could float in this pool all day. Oh, gosh, I can't. Yeah, this pool's really nice. Yeah, this is awesome, dude. Wait, why'd you guys get in the pool fully clothed? Because we're not comfortable with our bodies, Cody. Yeah, Cody, we don't have six-pack abs like you. Yeah, I kind of know how you feel. I left my shoes on. Why'd you leave your shoes on? Well, because I have bowling people feet. What's bowling people feet? Well, it's where my toes are all crooked, like I've been wearing bowling shoes. Ooh, I like feet. We know. What? Hey, guys, is that a slide? Oh, guys, we should go down it. Ooh, I bet you won't go down it naked. No, but I'll go down it fully clothed. Oh. All right, guys, I'm going to go down the slide. Here I go! Whee! Ah! You guys see me? Oh, sorry, Junior. We weren't watching. We were trying to see who could hold their breath the longest. And Jeffy's winning. Yeah, he's had his face underwater for over two minutes. Go, Jeffy, go! Okay, baby. I'm gonna go get Jeffy and show him the new pool. Okay, Marvin. Hey, Marvin. Oh, ask me why I'm pissed. Why are you pissed? Come with me. What the hell is that? Oh, uh, this is my pool. You told me I could get a pool. Yeah, no, I'll address that in a minute. I'm talking about what the hell is that? Oh, th those are twirly stairs. You climb up them. And what's connected to the twirly stairs? A twirly slide. And what did I say about the slide? Well, doesn't it look cool, though? It's going to look real cool being torn the fuck down. Well, well, don't make me tear it down. Tear it down. Well, no, no, listen, listen, the kids are going to love it, and it looks so nice, right? I'll tear it down. Well, don't, don't. Well, no, 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 please, please don't tear it down. I told you no slides. The Homeowners Association does not like fun. Well, well I, t tell them I got something they can suck on. Excuse me? Th they can suck on this big, long, wet slide. I'm going to hit you with this. Oh, okay, listen, look, we'll get rid of the slide, okay? We'll get rid of it. All right, well, let's go inside and talk about how your pool's not five feet by five feet. Uh, okay, yeah, it is. All right, Marvin, pull this. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. And stop. That right there is five feet. And if your pool's bigger than five feet, just by an eighth of an inch, I'm gonna bite your areola. Oh, okay. All right, the tape measures at five feet. And look, it's the length of the pool, we're good. Let's put it down, shall we? Looks like it's longer than five feet, dickhead. It's a little longer than five feet. Uh-huh, get your bald ass inside, I'm gonna deal with you. Uh, Jeffy, what are you doing in the pool, get out. Mm -mm -mm. Marvin, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. You just don't listen. It's like you're five years old. I tell you to build a pool five feet by five feet, and you put an Olympic-sized pool in your backyard. I tell you absolutely no slide, and you put a big McDonald's ball pit slide back there. Well, listen, I, I tried to follow the rules. Tried. Well, try harder next time, Marvin! Oh, okay, listen, look, can I keep the pool? You can keep the pool, but that slide, that slide's gotta go. Oh, you know God. what, bend over. But why? You're getting a spanking. I don't, I don't want to spank, I'm a grown man. I don't care, you've been a bad boy, bend over. Ow, that was my back. I don't care, get over it. But what you're gonna do right now is you're gonna go take a hammer and you're gonna hammer that slide down right now. So I can't keep the slide at all? No slide for you. You can keep the pool, but no slide. Oh, okay. This is a real problem. They really won't let Logan keep that slide. So he's gotta get rid of it. What do you want to do today? I made a portal gun. Anything you want to do, Joseph? Nah, what about you, dude? Wait, I made a portal gun. We could watch TV. Ooh, that sounds fun. I made a portal gun. What are you talking about, Cody? This, it's a portal gun. What's that? It's a portal gun. What's it do? It opens portals. It can take you to any time in any place, any universe. Wait, so if I want to go back in time and see a dinosaur, I can? Yup. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh? Then prove it. Okay, move out of the way. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, dude, what's that? It's a portal, Joseph. Were you not listening? No. Well, go inside it. Dude, I'm not going in that. What if I die? Well, 
Go after your hat. No, not my hat. Go get it. It's not fair. <laughs> Wait, Cody, where are we? I think we're in prehistoric times, Junior. What's more important is, where's my hat, dude? Yeah, Cody, where's his hat? Uh, I don't know. It could be literally anywhere. Well, we're not leaving until we find it. All right, Cody, you look that way. I'll look this way. Okay. Hmm, where could it be? Uh... Junior? What? There's that dinosaur you wanted to see. Oh, cool, a dinosaur! No, Junior is gonna see. Oh, oh no! Ah! 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 Cody, shoot a portal! Okay, okay. okay. <coughs> 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 oh, dude, that demon has my hat! He's bringing my hat! <coughs> 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 uh, Junior, that was too close. The dinosaur almost killed us! Hey, give me my hat back! <coughs> What? The caveman came with us, Cody! Oh, uh, I guess I'll just have to send him back. Oh, no. What? Well, the portal gun's out of juice. Well, change the batteries. No, I mean, like, literally juice. Like, it runs on apple juice. Apple juice? Yeah. Well, why does it run on apple juice? Why not batteries? Well, because apples are, like, the only fuel that can power a portal gun. What? Well, listen, man, you can make a battery of potatoes, so screw off! <laughs> The dinosaur, what's he doing here? He must have come through the portal before it closed, but why was he behind the couch for so long? It's almost like he was waiting there until I said that the portal gun was out of juice so we wouldn't be able to send it back, and we're just three kids and he's a dinosaur, so what are we even gonna do? Run! Okay. Ah! Ah! What do we do? What do we do? Let's in the closet. Uh, over here! Over here! Okay, 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 he's trapped in there. Oh, thank God. Hey. What? It just went off. Oh, I had a little bit of juice left and you wasted it? Come on, uh, dude! Sorry, guys. So, Cody, what do we do now? We have a dinosaur locked in the closet and a caveman right here. Well, we just need more apple juice so we can send them back. We don't have to send the caveman back. But yes, we do, Junior. He's dangerous. We can't take something from the past. It might affect the future. Like, what if this caveman's children's 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 children is like Albert Einstein or something? <laughs> okay, maybe not this caveman's children's 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 children. And he's eating my hair, so that's another reason he can't stay. <laughs> oh, hi, dear daddy. Ooh. Okay, so all we have to do is go ask Shepi for more apple juice, and then we can send them back. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Come on, whatever your name is. Is. Oh, we have to name him. We don't have to name him. He's just going to leave eventually. I like the name Doodoo Man. <laughs> what, Doodoo Man? Yeah, you like Doodoo Man? Oh, yeah, I like it. It fits. <laughs> Come on, Doodoo Man. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Can't wait to eat some flambe chips. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chef, do we have any apple juice? Shut the refrigerator, Junior. God! <laughs> <laughs> What was wrong with him? Junior, he's a caveman. He's never seen fire before. Wait, wait, Joseph, are you okay? I'm okay, dude. Well, let's go check on Doodoo Man. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> Doodoo Man, are you okay? <laughs> okay. Well, maybe if we show him fire isn't bad, he'll calm down. All right. Doodoo Man. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's okay. Doodoo Man, look. Look, <laughs> fire nice. Fire. Yeah, it's warm. Fire warm. Yes, good. Yes, fire. Fire. Don't, 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 don't touch it. Don't touch it. I'm going to do Doodoo Man. No! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, look, look, we need to teach Doodoo Man how to talk because he can't understand us and we could have told him that fire would have burned him. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I'm gonna get some cue cards so we can teach Doodoo Man how to talk. Are you okay, Doodoo Man? Okay, Doodoo Man, I got these word cards to teach you how to talk. So this is a bear. <laughs> No, 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 it's, it's okay, Doodoo Man. It's not really a bear. It's just a picture of a bear. Wait, have you even seen a bear? Uh, come over here, Doodoo Man. Say bear. Uh, oh, that was perfect. Ooh, nice. That wasn't really a word. Say dog. Uh, Ooh, that was good. It's the smart. same noise as bear. Say yo yo. Uh, uh, perfect. That's genius. These aren't words. Say apple. Uh, oh, that was apple. Oh, that was perfect. Uh, Say juice. Oh, that was perfect. Wait, wait, apple juice. That's right, guys. We need apple juice so we can send him back home. Well, no, no, we need to teach him how to talk. Well, we shouldn't be focused on teaching him how to talk. We should focus on sending him back where he came from. How do we know where to send him back? Like, we need to get him to talk so he can tell us what year he's from, huh? Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, look, these cards aren't working. Go get your laptop so we can, like, get a translator app or something. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, guys, I got my laptop. Let's look up a translator. <laughs> oh, no! I forgot that entire video! Junior, what the hell were you watching? <laughs> Nothing! Dude, this is my favorite video! And what? That's it out! Go to 922! Uh, no! Oh, the turtles, <laughs> though! Uh, oh, I think he wants you to put it back on. <laughs> no, Doodoo -doo Man, we're not gonna watch that anymore. <laughs> no, I'm not even supposed to be watching. Okay, You're not... okay guys, how about we just get the apple juice? He's seen too much. He yeah. hasn't seen enough! 922! 922! Go to it! No, 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 let's go get the apple juice. Doodoo -doo Man, you stay right here. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> All right, Cody, grab the apple juice. Okay, wait, Junior, why is there a cat in your fridge? There's not a cat in my fridge. Yes, there is. There's a cat in your fridge. I, I, I didn't know there was a cat. Just grab the apple juice. Wait, okay. Bye, Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Junior, wait, 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 wait
you're not, you're not, you're not to be watching that. Guys, we get the apple juice. Let's just send him home. <laughs> but he keeps spitting on me. Well, look, we can't send him home until we know what year he's from. Well, it's not like he knows what year he's from. It's not like they had calendars back then. You don't know that. He probably did have a calendar. He, like, chiseled it into a rock or something. Well, then how are we going to talk to him? Uh, oh, I'll call a translator. How about that? Okay. Hey there, you call the cops? Junior, why did you call the cops? Because they translate things all the time. Like, when they arrest bad guys, they got to know what they're saying. Yeah, I can speak all kinds of different languages. Hold on, let me talk to the little fella. Hey there, homie. What? What's crack a lacking? Not this again, dude. Come on. Oh, hey, hey, hey. I'm not trying to harsh your buzz, brother. Uh, what's all good in the hood? Oh, no, no, no. Not, not, not him. We want you to talk to the caveman. <laughs> Why is he shouting at me? What, is this your grandpa or something? No, it's a caveman. What, is he like dressed like a caveman? No, it's a real caveman from prehistoric times. <laughs> well, he's eating my hat, so tell him to knock it off before I tase him. Doodoo Man, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> His name is Doodoo Man? Play, play with that. <laughs> Okay, should I be worried about that? No, he likes fire. So listen, can you translate what he's saying? Translate? L listen, if that really is a caveman, I, I don't speak caveman. I, I think my ex-wife does, because I think she was with the caveman from the noises I heard coming out of our bedroom. He was like, ooh, ooh, ooga booga. Oh, did we watch the same video? 922, right? What? What's he talking about? So can you help us or not? No, listen, kids, I have real crimes to solve. Like, I'm pretty sure somebody out there is trying to use a counterfeit Applebee's gift card. Come on, popcorn, pop already, God! <laughs> okay, I smell it burning, but it's not cooking! <laughs> it's me! I'm the one that's cooking! Ah! Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> okay, I saw him set you on fire, I'm arresting that guy! <laughs> Freeze, you're under arrest for arson and attempted murder! <laughs> hey, put the lighter down! <laughs> What? No, 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 no. I don't care how much you try to suck me off to get out of going to jail. I've already let that happen too many times. Come on. You're going to jail for a long time. Wait, where are you going with Doodoo -doo Man? Well, Doodoo -doo Man is more like Felony Man because he you set your chef on fire. Uh, free my nigga Doodoo -doo Man. He ain't do nothing wrong. Well, he did do something wrong. Nah, he just don't like him because he's brown, huh? Huh? No, no, no he's, a, he's a white caveman and he's an arsonist. Look, get out of my way, kids. All right, get in there. You have the right to remain silent. If you do not... You're a caveman. You don't know what I'm saying. You have the right. Is there any way you can release Doodoo -doo Man? No, he's a dangerous animal. I can't let him free because he might end up hurting somebody else. He just started your car. Well, that's impossible. My car can't start because I'm not... What? That caveman just stole my car! I, I thought you said he was a caveman! How does he know how to drive? He is a caveman! What? <laughs> <laughs> I stole the car! They're never gonna catch me! <laughs> but wait a minute! If he's me, that means I'm... Dude, what the hell's going on? I don't know, but Doodoo -doo Man, get inside. Ew, 922. Where's all the dudes? Wait, uh, hey, hey guys, what took so long? What happened? I can't explain what just happened. Me either, dude. Okay, well, I put the apple juice in the portal gun, so we're ready to send him home. We still don't know what year to send him back to. I don't think I really care. I just want him the hell out of here. Okay, then make a portal gun. Okay, it has to warm up first. My clothes are all wet and my hat's ruined! Oh, I hope I have another one in the closet. <laughs> Come on, warm up, you stupid gun. How'd the dinosaur get out of the closet? I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense because he's a dinosaur and dinosaurs are strong and that's just a little closet and two doors probably wouldn't be able to hold him and maybe Chef Pee Pee went into the closet and tried to get a new hat because his other hat got burned but I wasn't there for that so I don't know. Oh, hey, the gun's ready. We'll make a portal, hurry! Yeah. Oh, oh, Doodle Man, you gotta go! <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> With him. Junior, we have bigger problems to deal with. We have this dinosaur right here. What? Oh, oh, Junior, look. I, I think he likes how shiny the portal gun is. Look, it's distracting him. Oh, then throw the portal gun in the portal and he'll, fa he'll chase after it. Oh, but then we won't be able to do portals anymore. Throw it inside the portal, Cody. Okay. <sighs> Thank God that's over with. But, Cody, how do we know that we sent them back to the right time? I don't know, but we're still alive and we're still here, so it must not have affected much. The news! This MacBook Pro while digging for dinosaur fossils, which is very interesting because the Apple Corporation did not exist in 65 million BC. Now, we think this is proof that dinosaurs brought Apple products to Earth so that dinosaurs could use the internet. And apparently, dinosaurs liked very dirty websites because the, the search history of this laptop, it is, it is just filthy. Hey, that's my laptop! Uh, 
I hate school. Uh, me too, dude. Come on, guys, cheer up. School's great. You get to be around your friends and learn new things. These are the best years of our lives. Jeffy hit him. Ow! Well, the bus is coming. Hopefully it runs you over. Yeah. Darn, it didn't hit you, Cody. Maybe next time, dude. Let's get on the bus. Ooh, look, a quarter. Hey, I got a quarter. Ow, ow, hey, my arm's down the door. Open the door. Open the door. All right, is everyone on the bus? Uh, yeah, I don't think we're missing anybody. Where's Cody? I think he's sick. All right, let's go to school. Open the door, my You guys hear that screaming? You hear too? Oh, I always hear a voice in my head screaming, kill everybody! I thought it was just me. <laughs> well, no, I think it's coming from outside. <laughs> what? Cody, what are you doing outside the bus? You're supposed to ride inside it. Cody, I tell him to stop the bus. Okay, I'll tell him to stop. Hey, stop the bus. I'm not stopping the bus. We gotta go to school. You're dragging Cody. I'm not dragging anything. Go back to your seat. <sighs> I think I just hit dinner. Ring Ring's gonna be happy she doesn't have to cook tonight. Hold on, Crass, let me go pick up my dinner. Is it cat? Is it dog? I hope it's cat. Oh no, I am so fired. Man, kid, you're lucky to be alive. You get hit by a bus. Most people don't survive that. But you did, and I, I think that's just neat. Hey, Cody. Hey, dude. Mm, thanks for coming, guys. Ow, never mind. It was a fly. I didn't want it to bite you. Yeah, that fly was really going to hurt me. How you feeling, Cody? Oh, I feel just peachy, Junior. You know, I feel like I got run over by a bus. Oh, I know what you're talking about. When I have the flu, I feel just like that. Right? But I actually did get run over by a bus. We know, Cody. Stop bragging about it. Stop being dramatic. Yeah, you're making your whole identity. Ooh, I always think I got ran over by a bus. We know. <sighs> Guys, my life sucks. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does, Junior. I got hit by a bus. What would you rather got hit by? A train or a bus? Ooh, tricky question. Well, I guess if I get hit by a train, I would have died, so I'll take the bus. See, look, you got hit by what you wanted. What? I didn't choose this. Yeah, yes, you did. I said a bus or a train. You chose a bus. Ugh, Junior, if I could move, I'd hit you. Cody, tell your friends to leave. It's time to insert your catheter. No, I want them to watch. What's a catheter? It's a needle that goes in your pee hole. Ew! Hell yeah, it is. And I want the man to do it. It's hot. Um, you know what? Actually, on second thought, you don't even need a catheter. You're, you're ready to be discharged. You can go home now. I can't believe believe you were hit by that bus. You know, if you were to sue the school, you'd make a lot of money. What, what, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm gonna sue this school. Ow, Junior, why? Well, there's a fly. What, how many flies are there in this goddamn hospital? What, you said you're gonna sue the school? Yes, I'm gonna sue the school because they own the school bus. Now I'm gonna sue them. Uh, okay, uh, do you want us to pick you up and take you home? Yeah, just drag me home. Uh, ow. Oh, the fly! Ow, ow, ow! Oh, I hate flies! Uh, just put me down gentle. Ow! So, Cody, how much money are you gonna sue the school for? Uh, I was thinking five million dollars. Five million dollars?! You're asking for a lot, dude! That's a lot of gravy! Yeah, well, my insides are mashed potatoes from where the bus ran me over. And besides, I need that money for my pain and suffering, and I didn't even get my catheter, so what's the point? Aren't you just happy to be alive? No, I want money! Cody, let's play basketball. I bet you'll feel better after that. I can't. Why, because I'll beat you, huh? Wait, huh? No. Go no, ahead and say no, it! No, Admit it! It's because I'm in a full bus! Body cast and I can't move. Well, you guys, if you need me, I'm gonna be on the basketball court dunking. I think you're just scared, Cody. Uh, Junior! There's someone at the door. C can you go get it? Junior, I'm in a full body cast. But I have an ingrown toenail and it hurts. Junior! Okay, fine, I'll get it. Hello? Is Cody here? Yeah, his tracker isn't working. We put a tracker in his booty and it went offline a few hours ago. And we paid good money for that tracker, so tell me where our son is. If he took that tracker out, I'm gonna be one mad mama bear. You know what? I think it's pretty racist that they call black bears black bears because of the color of their fur. And they call white bears polar bears. We should sign a petition to be called polar bears cracker barrels. I think there's a restaurant called that. No, that's cracker barrel, baby. Oh. And that's pretty racist too. I think we need a black barrel. Well, Cody's upstairs. Well, we're coming in. Yeah! Here's Cody. Oh my god, Cody, my baby, what happened to you? You better ain't got beat up by no girl, because if you did, I'm going to laugh at you. Ha! No, I got run over by a bus. Oh my god, Cody, I told you those cartoons were dangerous. That Miss Frizzle and her magic school bus are a bad influence. Why didn't you look both ways before crossing the street? You know you're supposed to be like the chicken that crossed the road. I did look both ways. I just got caught in the door of the bus, and then it dragged me around for a while before running me over. Excuses, excuses. Cody said he's going to sue the school for $5 million. He what now? Baby, I didn't know you gave birth to a cow. A cash cow. 
Well, I mean, she's a big fat cow, so obviously she'd give birth to a cow. Cody, we're gonna sue the school, and then we're gonna take this to the news, and you're gonna buy mommy some new cans. And I'm gonna get unsnipped. You're gonna have a little brother. <laughs> Come on, Cody, let's go get you the best lawyer we can. So I reviewed your case. So what do you think? What do I think? I'll tell you. You mind holding this for me for a second? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. I think it's gonna be a slam dunk! Oh. You guys are about to get paid! I'm gonna win no matter what! I could go into the courtroom with my wiener in my hand and I'd still win. Please do. You know what? I think I might. Order, 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 order! I am the Honorable Judge Boober! And today we will be hearing the case of Cody Natkiz versus the OIU Dumb Elementary School. Cody is suing the school for five million dollars for running him over with a school bus. Plaintiff, proceed with your proceedings. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, imagine this. Your son just got done eating breakfast and he waves goodbye. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. I'm on my way to school. He walks out the door and walks to the bus stop. He finally gets there, and he's waiting for the bus to arrive. And out of nowhere, BAM! He gets hit by a bus, and he's left on the side of the road to die. Look, he looks like a mummy, and he was left on the side of the road crying for his mummy. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, I'm done with my proceedings. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo. A very sad story indeed. Defendant, how do you defend your actions? Oh, it's my turn. Okay, man, don't worry. I'm going to win this case in my opening statement. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, my client is clearly Chinese. A simple eye test will show that. And being Chinese, he's, you know, unfamiliar with American traffic laws. But, you know, Chinese, Japanese, dirty knees, look at these. We're all human. We all make mistakes. You know, so what if he does make joke and pee pee in your coke? I think he still deserves a second chance at the American dream. I rest my case. Hmm, I see. Plaintiff! How do you respond? Guilty. We're not at that part yet. How do you respond to what he said? Oh, well, here is a photograph of my client before he was hit by a bus. Just look at him. A normal, ugly looking child. And now look at him! A hideous freak of nature! Unrecognizable! Looking like that, he will never get married and he'll never have a job. But five million dollars will make him very rich, because women love money. I'm gay. Men love money, too. That's all I have to say. I agree, we all love money. <laughs> Defendant? Defend. Oh yeah? Well, I can use pictures, too. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the court, can you tell me what this is? Oh, those are egg rolls! That's right, these are egg rolls. And this is what my client ate on the day he ran over the kid. Now, ladies and gentlemen, can you tell me what ingredients are in egg rolls? Hmm? Anybody? Well, neither can I. So how do we know that the ingredients of this egg roll did not cause my client to not realize that he was dragging a kid on his school bus for miles while he yelled for help and then run him over? Hmm? We don't know that. Which is why I think we should be investigating the egg roll company, huh? H how do we know the egg roll company doesn't have some kind of chemical in there that, that, that causes memory loss that could have caused this to happen, hmm? Actually, my wife Ring Ring made the egg rolls from scratch. Okay, well, his wife made the egg rolls, but I think we should investigate his wife. H how do we know this wasn't intentional? Maybe she took out an insurance policy on him and was hoping he crashed his bus. Hmm, I think we should look into that. So suck it. Suck it, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm, very good points. Hmm. Plaintiff, continue with your plaintiffing. Your Honor, my client is suffering from irreversible physical and psychological damage. He is afraid of school buses, something I like to call school busophobia. Allow me to demonstrate. All right, Cody, just like we practice. Ah! See, he screamed at the very top of his lungs at the sight of a school bus, something that is supposed to carry him safely to and from school. How is my client supposed to get a quality education if he's afraid of school buses? my case, Your Honor. That is very troubling to see. That will be very hard to defend against defendant, but I dare you to try. Oh man, I am sweating bullets. I, uh, I didn't print out any other pictures, but uh, hey, can I borrow that picture of that bus? Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, do you see this bus? This is not a picture of the bus that ran over the plaintiff. This is a stock photo of a bus. So why would he scream at a stock photo? He should only scream at a picture of the real bus. So I think he's faking it. I think he doesn't have any injuries. I, I mean, obviously he has physical injuries, but I think he doesn't have any psychological injuries. You know, I knew somebody who got run over by a bus, and he didn't bitch about it this much. I, I mean, he died, but, Your Honor, I object on the grounds that the plaintiff is being a little bitch about this whole thing. He should just be happy he's alive. I agree. He is lucky to be alive. Plaintiff! It is your tiff to plaint. Your Honor, I would like to call a witness. It's one of Cody's friends who was there that day and saw the whole thing. Junior, do you mind coming up here, please? What do I do? Could you just tell us everything that happened the day that Cody was hit by a bus? Yeah, so we were all getting on the bus, and Cody thought it would be cute to like ride under the bus and hang onto it like a monkey. Well, no, I didn't. I got stuck in the door. Well, look, all I saw is when I looked out the window, he was hanging onto the bus screaming, Wee, look at me! Well, no, I was saying, help me stop the bus! Well, he talked about this for weeks before he did it. I object to my own witness! Get the hell out of here! Why didn't we even call him in here? I don't know. I thought he was my friend. Hmm, how incriminating. Defendant? Do your thing. No, 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 H hold on. I want his witness. I want to talk to you. What's up? Well, you said he did all this on purpose? I mean, he had to. Why else would he be underneath the bus while it was moving? I mean, he had plenty of time to get on when we all got on. No, I was picking up a quarter I found on the ground and my arm got caught in the door. Aha! Uh -huh. He was bending over to pick up a quarter off the ground. This just shows that he was in it for the money all along. Who even bends over to pick up a quarter, huh? Who even uses quarters? They're worthless. This shows he was so desperate for money and that's why he's asking for such an egregious amount. I also asked him would he rather get hit by a train or a bus, and he chose bus. Aha! He chose this! My client was simply doing what he was asked to do. Mmm, this is getting juicy. Plaintiff, I can't wait to hear your response. Your Honor, are you really going to believe this crap? No one really wants to be hit by a bus. Let's look at the facts here. My client was hit by a bus, and the driver was Chinese. I would like to call in one more witness to the case, the client's mother. Judy, do you mind coming up here, please? Oh, the judge is hot. All right, listen to me. Focus. You are Cody Nutkiss's mother, correct? I think so. After he was born and they took him to the nursery, all the babies fell over, and there was just a big pile of babies and they said take one and go home so I did but I'm pretty sure he's mine okay now as Cody's mother is this what you wanted for your child to be brutally struck down in the street by a bus oh no I thought it would always be way cooler if he died in a plane crash then there'd be a whole news article about it see your honor not what the client's mother wanted Ooh, that judge is really hot can I go home with you <laughs> motion granted yes daddy <laughs> Um, Cody wins! <laughs> yes! Yes! I won! I got five million dollars! I did it! I did it! Oh, 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 oh. oh come on! That, that's not fair! I, I have a wife! You, you can have her if we can win! I'm sorry, man. I tried. Oh, it's okay. You wanna come back to my house? My wife's making egg rolls. Hell yeah! So I won your court case. You are the best lawyer ever! I know. Well, technically my mom won the case because she slept with the judge. As she should. He's a very beautiful man. Well, the good news is the $5 million has already cleared my bank account. And after removing necessary court fees and my attorney fees, this is what you're left with. What, a quarter? Wait, we're supposed to get millions! Well, let me break it down for you. So, my consultation fee is $2 million, my attorney retainer fee is $1 million, and my court fees are another $2 million. So that ate up your $5 million. You should be lucky you're even getting this quarter. But I get hit by a bus! Well, you also got hit with court fees. Hey, do you mind holding this up for me again? Oh, uh, sure, hold on. Swish. the apple bet sure jeffy it's the alphabet jeffy not the apple bet no it's the apple bet alphabet then why does a start with apple apple starts with a well hold your tongue and say apple why because it's funny just do it asshole asshole <laughs> jeffy don't cuss you said it first no i didn't i said asshole asshole marvin it does kind of sound like that sound like what asshole jeffy stop cussing jeffy give me the cards and let me help you uh -huh. all right here we go ready a b c D, Ugh. E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, 
M N O P There's no rhythm. Q R S T U V Double V. Wait, wait, wait. What what'd you just say, Jeffy? Double V. No, that's a double U. No, it's a double V. Cause look. See, you got a V right there, and if you put two V's side by side, it makes a double V. No, that's a double U. Well, Daddy, look right here. See, that's a U, and a U is rounded, and the V is pointy. And if you put two pointy V's together, you get a double V. And if it was really a W, they'd be rounded, and it would look like boobies. Well, I understand that makes sense, but it's called a double U, not a double V. Well, I think they should change it. Well, they're not going to change the alphabet, Jeffy. It's the way it is. Well, I'm going to sue. Who are you going to sue? I'm going to sue the alphabet. Well, you can't sue the alphabet, Jeffy. That is a double U. It'll always be a double U, no matter how much sense you're making. No, it's a double V, and I'm going to let someone know about it. <sighs> He's so dumb. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Pooh Bear, and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy versus the alphabet. Jeffy is suing the alphabet because he wants the letter W to be called double V. Uh, one thing, real quick. Uh, since the alphabet is not a person, uh, Bailiff, who do we have here representing the alphabet? Well, Your Honor, we have this dictionary, and it's full of words and letters, so I guess that's kind of like the alphabet, and I guess his name would be Webster. I mean, it has 20,000 words in it, but, I mean, there's actually 140,000 words in the English language, so I don't really know how they decided which 20,000 words to put in here. I guess it's just kind of like the top 20,000 words. Like, they should have called this, now that's what I call words. It's just kind of the best of. But anyway, we're using this as the alphabet. Oh, good, we can start then. Jeffy, tell me why you think the letter W should be called double V. Mommy, get in here! Well, Your Honor, most people call this letter a W when in fact it should be called a double V because this letter right here is a V. And if you put two Vs side by side, it makes a double V. This letter right here is a U. Notice how it's rounded on the bottom and on the double V, it's pointy like the letter V. So this letter right here should be called a double V and not a double U. Hmm, interesting. Let me see those cards. Yes, let's see how. Mm. Mm. Yes, I suppose you're right. It does look more like a double V than a double U. <laughs> Jeffy, you are a very smart young man. Oh, that must be my phone along. Oh yes, I have low blood sugar, so it's time for my daily Big Mac. It's bad for my cholesterol, but you only live once. Mm. 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 That is delicious. Oh, my heart! Oh, I'm having a Big Mac attack! Help me! Your Honor, are you okay? I'm having a heart attack. Someone help me. Sir, I'm a doctor. I can get you to a hospital right away. But but who's going to take over your judge duties? Him. That boy. He's a genius. I trust him to make good decisions while I'm in the hospital. Really? Him? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Are you questioning my orders? I choose him. Now get me to a hospital immediately. Right away, sir. <sighs> you, boy. You're the judge of this courtroom now! Everybody do what he says until I get back! Sir, we have to go right now! You are the judge. What you say goes! I'm the judge now? That's awesome! Order, order, order! <coughs> I'm Judge Jeffy, and there's gonna be some changes around here. And my first rule is that the letter W will be now called the letter double V. Anyone who calls it W will be sentenced to 50 years in prison. And also, if I find someone innocent, they'll get a good boy sticker. All right, bailiff, I'm ready to hear my first case. Okay, Your Honor, this is Goodman, and he was arrested on tax evasion. It's my hard-earned money. I shouldn't have to give it to poor people. He hasn't paid his taxes in 12 years, which is a very serious crime. Listen, Judge, this is a suitcase full of cold, hard cash. I'll give it to you if you just let me go. And that's bribery, which is another charge. Come on, just take the money. Don't take the money. Simon says take the money. Hmm. Uh, I'll take the money. Bring it here. Here you go. You can't do that. All right, thank you very much. I find this man innocent. And don't forget your good boy sticker. Thank you. All right, bailiff, I'm ready to hear the next case. Hey, Your Honor, you can't be doing that. Doing what? Letting people bribe you to get away with their crimes. But I'm the judge. Well, yeah.